Isaiah chapter the vision of Isaiah the son of Amos which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Uzziah Jotham Ahaz and Hezekiah kings of Judah hear O heavens and give ear O earth for Hashem hath spoken children I have reared and brought up and they have rebelled against me the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib but Israel doth not know my people doth not consider a sinful nation a people laden with iniquity a seed of evildoers children that deal. Corruptly they have forsaken Hashem they have contemned the Holy One of Israel they are turned away backward on what part will ye yet be stricken seeing ye stray away more and more the whole head is sick and the whole heart faint from the sole of the foot even unto the head there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and festering sores they have not been pressed neither bound up neither mollified with oil your country is desolate your cities are burned with fire your land. Strangers devour it in your presence and it is desolate as overthrown by floods and the daughter of Zion is left as a booth in a vineyard as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers as a besieged city except Hashem of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant we should have been as Sodom we should have been like unto Gomorrah hear the word of Hashem ye rulers of Sodom give ear unto the law of our God ye people of Gomorrah to what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me saith. Hashem I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats when ye come to appear before me who hath required this at your hand to trample my courts bring no more vain oblations it is an offering of abomination unto me new moon and sabbath the holding of convocations I cannot endure iniquity along with the solemn assembly your new moons and your appointed seasons my soul hate they are a burden unto me. I am weary to bear them and when ye spread forth your hands I will hide mine eyes from you ye when ye make many prayers I will not hear your hands are full of blood wash you make you clean put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes cease to do evil learn to do well seek justice relieve the oppressed judge the fatherless plead for the widow come now and let us reason together saith Hashem though your sins be as scarlet they shall be as white as snow though they be red like crimson they shall be as wool if ye be willing and obedient ye shall eat the good of the land but if ye refuse and rebel ye shall be devoured with the sword for the mouth of Hashem hath spoken how is the faithful city become a harlot she that was full of justice righteousness lodged in her but now murderers thy silver is become dross thy wine mixed with water thy princes are rebellious and companions of thieves every one loveth bribes and followeth after rewards they judge not thee fatherless neither doth the cause of the widow come unto them therefore saith the Lord Hashem of hosts the mighty one of Israel ah, I will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies and I will turn my hand upon thee and purge away thy dross as with lie and will take away all thine alloy and I will restore thy judges as at the first and thy counselors as at the beginning afterward thou shalt be called the city of righteousness the faithful city Zion shall be redeemed with justice and they that return of her with righteousness but the destruction of the transgressors and the sinners shall be together and they that forsake Hashem shall be consumed for they shall be ashamed of the terebinths which ye have desired and ye shall be confounded for the gardens that ye have chosen for ye shall be as a terebinth whose leaf fadeth and as a garden that hath no water and the strong shall be as tow and his work as a spark and they shall both burn together and none shall quench them Isaiah chapter the word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem and it shall come to pass in the end of days that the mountain of Hashem's house shall be established as the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it and many peoples shall go and say come ye and let us go up to the mountain of Hashem to the house of the God of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of Hashem from Jerusalem and he shall judge between the nations and shall decide for many peoples and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks nation shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn war any more O house of Jacob come yet and let us walk in the light of Hashem for thou hast forsaken thy people the house of Jacob for they are replenished from the east and with soothsayers like the Philistines and they please themselves in the brood of aliens their land also is full of silver and gold neither is there any end of their treasures their land also is full of horses neither is there any end of their chariots their land also is full of idols every one worshipeth the work of his own hands that which his own fingers have made and man bow it down and man lowereth himself and thou canst not bear with them enter into the rock and hide thee in the dust from before the terror of Hashem and from the glory of his majesty the lofty looks of man shall be brought low and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down and Hashem alone shall be exalted in that day for Hashem of hosts hath a day upon all that is proud and lofty and upon all that is lifted up and it shall be brought low and upon all the cedars of Lebanon that are high and lifted up and upon all the oaks of Bashan and upon all the high mountains and upon all the hills that are lifted up and upon every lofty tower and upon every fortified wall and upon all the ships of Tarshish and upon all delightful imagery and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down and the haughtiness of men shall be brought low and Hashem alone shall be exalted in that day and the idols shall utterly pass away and men shall go into the caves of the rocks and into the holes of the earth from before the terror of Hashem and from the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake mightily. The earth in that day a man shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold which they made for themselves to worship to the moles and to the bats to go into the clefts of the rocks and into the crevices of the crags from before the terror of Hashem and from the glory of his majesty when he ariseth to shake mightily the earth cease ye from man in whose nostrils is a breath for how little is he to be accounted Isaiah chapter for behold the Lord Hashem of hosts doth take.
away from Jerusalem and from Judah stay and staff every stay of bread and every stay of water the mighty man and the man of war the judge and the prophet and the diviner and the elder the captain of fifty and the man of rank and the counselor and the cunning charmer and the skillful enchanter and I will give children to be their princes and babes shall rule over them and the people shall oppress one another every man his fellow and every man his neighbor the child shall behave insolently against the aged and the base against the honorable for a man shall take hold of his brother of the house of his father thou hast a mantle be thou our ruler and let this ruin be under thy hand in that day shall he swear saying I will not be a healer for in my house is neither bread nor a mantle ye shall not make me ruler of a people for Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against Hashem to provoke the eyes of his glory the show of their countenance doth witness against them and they declare their sin as Sodom they hide it not woe unto their soul for they have wrought evil unto themselves say ye of the righteous that it shall be well with him for they shall eat the fruit of their doings woe unto the wicked it shall be ill with him for the work of his hands shall be done to him as for my people a babe is their master and women rule over them O oh my people they that lead thee cause thee to err and destroy thee way of thy paths Hashem standeth up to plead and standeth to judge the peoples Hashem will enter into judgment with the elders of his people and the princes thereof it is ye that have eaten up the vineyard the spoil of the poor is in your houses what mean ye that ye crush my people and grind the face of the poor saith the Lord the God of hosts moreover Hashem said because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes walking and mincing as they go and making a tinkling with their feet therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion and Hashem will lay bare their secret parts in that day the Lord will take away the bravery of their anklets and the fillets and the crescents the pendants and the bracelets and the veils the head tires and the armlets and the sashes and the corslets and the amulets the rings and the nose jewels the aprons and the mantlets and the cloaks and the girdles and the gauze robes and the fine linen and the turbans and the mantles and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet spices there shall be rottenness and instead of a girdle rags and instead of curled hair baldness and instead of a stomacher a girding of sackcloth branding instead of beauty thy men shall fall by the sword and thy mighty in the war and her gates shall lament and mourn and utterly bereft she shall sit upon the ground chapter and seven women shall take hold of one man. In that day saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only let us be called by thy name take thou away our reproach in that day shall the growth of Hashem be beautiful and glorious and the fruit of the land excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel and it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy even every one that is written unto life in Jerusalem when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of destruction and Hashem will create over the whole habitation of Mount Zion and over her assemblies a cloud and smoke by day and the shining of a flaming fire by night for over all the glory shall be a canopy and there shall be a pavilion for a shadow in the daytime from the heat and for a refuge and for a covert from storm and from rain chapter let me sing of my well-beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard my well-beloved had a vineyard in a very fruitful hill and he digged it and cleared it of stones and planted it with the choicest vine and built a tower in the midst of it and also hewed out of at therein and he looked that it should bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes and now O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah judge I pray you betwixt me and my vineyard what could have been done more to my vineyard that I have not done in it wherefore when I looked that it should bring forth grapes brought it forth wild grapes and now come I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard I will take away the hedge thereof and it shall be eaten up I will break down the fence thereof and it shall be trodden down and I will lay it waste it shall not be pruned nor hoed but there shall come up briars and thorns I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it for the vineyard of Hashem of hosts is the house of Israel and the men of Judah the plant of his delight and he looked for justice but behold violence for righteousness but behold a cry woe unto them that join house to house that lay field to field till there be no room and ye be made to dwell alone in the midst of the land in mine ears said Hashem of hosts of a truth many houses shall be desolate even great and fair without inhabitant for ten acres of vineyard shall yield one bath and the seed of a homer shall yield an ephah woe unto them that rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink that tarry late into the night till wine inflame them and the harp and the psaltery the tabret and the pipe and wine are in their feasts but they regard not the work of Hashem neither have they considered the operation of his hands therefore my people are gone into captivity for want of knowledge and their honorable men are famished and their multitude are parched with thirst therefore the netherworld hath enlarged her desire and opened her mouth without measure and down goeth their glory and their tumult and their uproar and he that rejoiceth among them and man is bowed down and man is humbled and the eyes of the lofty are humbled but Hashem of hosts is exalted through justice and God the Holy One is sanctified through righteousness then shall the lambs feed as in their pasture and the waste places of the fat ones shall wanderers eat woe unto them that draw iniquity with cords of vanity and sin as it were with a cart rope that say let him make speed let him hasten his work that we may see it and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come that we may know it woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that change darkness into light and light into darkness that change bitter into sweet and sweet into bitter woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine. 
and men of strength to mingle strong drink that justify the wicked for a reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him therefore as the tongue of fire devoureth the stubble and as the chaff is consumed in the flame so their root shall be as rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust because they have rejected the law of Hashem of hosts and Kantim ned the word of the Holy One of Israel therefore is the anger of Hashem kindled against his people and he hath stretched forth his hand against them and hath smitten them and the hills did tremble and their carcasses were as refuse in the midst of the streets for all this his anger is not turned away but his hand is stretched out still and he will lift up an ensign to the nations from far and will hiss unto them from the end of the earth and behold they shall come with speed swiftly none shall be weary nor stumble among them none shall slumber nor sleep neither shall the girdle of their loins be loosed nor the latchet of their shoes be broken whose arrows are sharp and all their bows bent their horses hoofs shall be counted like flint and their wheels like a whirlwind their roaring shall be like a lion they shall roar like young lions yea they shall roar and lay hold of the prey and carry it away safe and there shall be none to deliver and they shall roar against them in that day like the roaring of the sea and if one look unto the land behold darkness and distress and the light is darkened in the skies thereof chapter in the year that king Uzziah died I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple above him stood the seraphim each one had six wings with twain he covered his face and with twain he covered his feet and with twain he did fly and one called unto another and said holy 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 is Hashem of hosts the whole earth is full of his glory and the posts of the door were moved at the voice of them that called and the house was filled with smoke then said I woe is me for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips for mine eyes have seen the king Hashem of hosts then flew unto me one of the seraphim with a glowing stone in his hand which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar and he touched my mouth with it and said lo this hath touched thy lips and thine iniquity is taken away and thy sin expiated and I heard the voice of the Lord saying whom shall I send and who will go for us then I said here am I send me and he said go and tell this people here yet indeed but understand not and see yet indeed but perceive not make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes lest they seeing with their eyes and hearing with their ears and understanding with their heart return and be healed then said I Lord how long and he answered until cities be waste without inhabitant and houses without man and the land become utterly waste and Hashem have removed men far away and the forsaken places be many in the midst of the land and if there be yet a tenth in it it shall again be eaten up as a terebinth and as an oak whose stock remaineth when they cast their leaves so the holy seed shall be the stock thereof Isaiah chapter and it came to pass in the days of Ahaz the son of Jotham the son of Uzziah king of Judah that Rezin the king of Aram and Pekah the son of Remaliah king of Israel went up to Jerusalem to war against it but could not prevail against it and it was told the house of David saying Aram is confederate with Ephraim and his heart was moved and the heart of his people as the trees of the forest are moved with the wind then said Hashem unto Isaiah go forth now to meet Ahaz thou and Shear Jashub thy son at the end of the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field and say unto him keep calm and be quiet fear not neither let thy heart be faint because of these two tales of smoking firebrands for the fierce anger of Rezin and Aram and of the son of Remaliah because Aram hath counseled evil against the Ephraim also and the son of Remaliah saying let us go up against Judah and vex it and let us make a breach therein for us and set up a king in the midst of it even the son of Tabeel thus saith the Lord God it shall not stand neither shall it come to pass for the head of Aram is Damascus and the head of Damascus is Rezin. And within threescore and five years shall Ephraim be broken that it be not a people and the head of Ephraim is Samaria and the head of Samaria is Remaliah the son if ye will not have faith surely ye shall not be established and Hashem spoke again unto Ahaz saying ask thee a sign of Hashem thy God ask it either in the depth or in the height above but Ahaz said I will not ask neither will I try Hashem and he said here ye now O house of David is it a small thing for you to weary men that ye will weary my God also therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign behold the young woman shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel curd and honey shall he eat when he know it to refuse the evil and choose the good ye before the child shall know to refuse the evil and choose the good the land whose two kings thou hast a horror of shall be forsaken Hashem shall bring upon thee and upon thy people and upon thy father's house days that have not come from the day that Ephraim departed from Judah even the king of Assyria and it shall come to pass in that day that Hashem shall hiss for the fly that is in the uttermost part of the rivers of Egypt and for the bee that is in the land of Assyria and they shall come and shall rest all of them in the rugged valleys and in the holes of the rocks and upon all thorns and upon all brambles in that day shall the Lord shave with a razor that is hired in the parts beyond the river even with the king of Assyria the head and the hair of the feet and it shall also sweep away the beard and it shall come to pass in that day that a man shall rear a young cow and two sheep and it shall come to pass for the abundance of milk that they shall give he shall eat curd for curd and honey shall every one eat that is left in the midst of the land and it shall come to pass in that day that every place where there were a thousand vines and a thousand silverlings shall even be for briars and thorns with arrows and with bow shall one come thither because all the land shall become briars and thorns and all the hills that were digged with the mattock thou shalt not come thither for fear of briars and thorns but it shall be for the sending forth of oxen and for the treading of sheep Isaiah chapter and Hashem said unto me take thee a great tablet and write upon it in common script the spoil speedeth the prey hasteth and I will take unto me faithful witnesses to record Uriah the priest and 
Zechariah the son of Jebarekiah and I went unto the prophetess and she conceived and bore a son then said Hashem unto me call his name Marshal al Hashbaz for before the child shall have knowledge to cry my father and my mother the riches of Damascus and the spoil of Samaria shall be carried away before the king of Assyria and Hashem spoke unto me yet again saying for as much as this people hath refused the waters of Shiloh that go softly and rejoiceth with Rezin and Remaliah his son. Now therefore behold the Lord bringeth up upon them the waters of the river mighty and many even the king of Assyria and all his glory and he shall come up over all his channels and go over all his banks and he shall sweep through Judah overflowing as he passeth through he shall reach even to the neck and the stretching out of his wings shall fill the breadth of thy land O Emmanuel make an uproar O ye peoples and ye shall be broken in pieces and give ear all ye of far countries gird yourselves and ye shall be broken in pieces gird yourselves and ye shall be broken in pieces take counsel together and it shall be brought to not speak the word and it shall not stand for God is with us for Hashem spoke thus to me with a strong hand admonishing me that I should not walk in the way of this people saying say ye not a conspiracy concerning all whereof this people do say a conspiracy neither fear ye their fear nor account it dreadful Hashem of hosts him shall yet Sanctify and let him be your fear and let him be your dread and he shall be for a sanctuary but for a stone of stumbling and for a rock of offense to both the houses of Israel for a jinn and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken bind up the testimony seal the instruction among my disciples and I will wait for Hashem that hideth his face from the house of Jacob and I will look for him behold I. And the children whom Hashem hath given me shall be for signs and for wonders in Israel from Hashem of hosts who dwelleth in Mount Zion and when they shall say unto you seek unto the ghosts and the familiar spirits that chirp and that mutter should not a people seek unto their God on behalf of the living unto the dead for instruction and for testimony surely they will speak according to this word wherein there is no light and they shall pass this way that are sore bestead and hungry. And it shall come to pass that when they shall be hungry they shall fret themselves and curse by their king and by their god and whether they turn their faces upward or look unto the earth behold distress and darkness the gloom of anguish and outspread thick darkness for is there no gloom to her that was steadfast now the former hath lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali but the latter hath dealt a more grievous blow by the way of the sea beyond the Jordan in the district of the nations Isaiah chapter the people that walked in darkness have seen a great light they that dwelt in the land of the shadow of death upon them hath the light shine thou hast multiplied the nation thou hast increased their joy they joy before thee according to the joy in harvest as men rejoice when they divide the spoil for the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder the rod of his oppressor thou hast broken as in the day of Midian for every boot stamped with Fierceness and every cloak rolled in blood shall even be for burning for fuel of fire for a child is born unto us a son is given unto us and the government is upon his shoulder and his name is called Pele Josel Gibri Biad Sar Shalom that the government may be increased and of peace there be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it through justice and through righteousness from henceforth even forever the zeal of Hashem of hosts doth perform. This the Lord sent a word into Jacob and it hath lighted upon Israel and all the people shall know even Ephraim and the inhabitant of Samaria that say in pride and in arrogancy of heart the bricks are fallen but we will build with hewn stones the sycamores are cut down but cedars will we put in their place therefore Hashem doth set upon high the adversaries of Rezin against him and spur his enemies the Arameans on the east and the Philistines on the west and they devour Israel with open mouth for all this his anger is not turned away but his hand is stretched out still yet the people turneth not unto him that smite them neither do they seek Hashem of hosts therefore Hashem doth cut off from Israel head and tail palm branch and rush in one day the elder and the man of rank he is the head and the prophet that Tiak hate lies he is the tail for they that lead this people cause them to err and they that are led of them are destroyed therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men neither shall he have compassion on their fatherless and widows for every one is ungodly and an evildoer and every mouth speaketh wantonness for all this his anger is not turned away but his hand is stretched out still for wickedness burneth as the fire it devoureth the briars and thorns yet it kindleth in the thickets of the forest and they roll upward in thick clouds of smoke through the wrath of Hashem of hosts is the land burnt up the people also are as the fuel of fire no man spareth his brother and one snatcheth on the right hand and is hungry and he eateth on the left hand and is not satisfied they eat every man the flesh of his own arm Manasseh Ephraim and Ephraim Manasseh and they together are against Judah for all this his anger is not turned away but his hand is stretched out still Isaiah chapter woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and to the writers that write iniquity to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right of the poor of my people that widows may be their spoil and that they may make the fatherless their prey and what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the ruin which shall come from far to whom will ye flee for help and where will ye leave your glory they can do not except crouch under the captives and fall under the slain for all this his anger is not turned away but his hand is stretched out still O as her the rod of mine anger in whose hand as a staff is mine.
Indignation I do send him against an ungodly nation and against the people of my wrath do I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tread them down like the mire of the streets howbeit he meaneth not so neither doth his heart think so but it is in his heart to destroy and to cut off nations not a few for he saith are not my princes all of them kings is not Calno as Carchemish is not Hamath as Arpad is not Samaria as Damascus as my hand hath reached thee. Kingdoms of the idols whose graven images did exceed them of Jerusalem and of Samaria shall I not as I have done unto Samaria and her idols so do to Jerusalem and her idols wherefore it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his whole work upon Mount Zion and on Jerusalem I will punish the fruit of the arrogant heart of the king of Assyria and the glory of his haughty looks for he hath said by the strength of my hand I have done it and by my wisdom for I am prudent in that. I have removed the bounds of the peoples and have robbed their treasures and have brought down as one mighty the inhabitants and my hand hath found as a nest the riches of the peoples and as one gathereth eggs that are forsaken have I gathered all the earth and there was none that moved the wing or that opened mouth or chirped should the axe boast itself against him that heweth therewith should the saw magnify itself against him that moveth it as if a rod should move them that lift it up or as if a staff should lift up him that is not wood therefore will the Lord Hashem of hosts send among his fat ones leanness and under his glory there shall be kindled a burning like the burning of fire and the light of Israel shall be for a fire and his holy one for a flame and it shall burn and devour his thorns and his briars in one day and the glory of his forest and of his fruitful field he will consume both soul and body and it shall be as when a sick man wasteth away and the remnant of the trees of his forest shall be few that a child may write them down and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and they that are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them but shall stay upon Hashem the Holy One of Israel in truth the remnant shall return even the remnant of Jacob unto God the mighty for though thy people O Israel be as the sand of the sea only a remnant of them shall return and extermination is determined overflowing with righteousness for an extermination holy determined shall the Lord the God of hosts make in the midst of all the earth therefore thus saith the Lord the God of hosts O my people that dwellest in Zion be not afraid of Asher though he smite thee with the rod and lift up his staff against thee after the manner of Egypt for yet a very little while and the indignation shall be accomplished and mine anger shall be to their destruction and Hashem of hosts shall stir up against him a scourge as in the slaughter of Midian at the rock of Oreb and as his rod was over the sea so shall he lift it up after the manner of Egypt and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall depart from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed by reason of fatness he is come to Aeoth he is passed through Migran at Mikmas he layeth up his baggage they are gone over the pass they have taken up their lodging at Gavarama. Trembleeth Jibeth Shal is fled cry thou with a shrill voice O daughter of Galim hearken O Ladish O thou poor Anat Hoth Madmanah is in mad flight the inhabitants of Gabim flee to cover this very day shall he halt at Nob shaking his hand at the mount of the daughter of Zion the hill of Jerusalem behold the Lord Hashem of hosts shall lop the boughs with terror and the high ones of stature shall be hewn down and the lofty shall be laid low and he shall cut down the thickets of the forest. With iron and Lebanon shall fall by a mighty one Isaiah chapter and there shall come forth a shoot out of the stock of Jesse and a twig shall grow forth out of his roots and the spirit of Hashem shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of Hashem and his delight shall be in the fear of Hashem and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes neither decide after the hearing of his ears but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the land and he shall smite the land with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked and righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins and faithfulness the girdle of his reins and the wolf shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the kid and the calf and the young lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them and the cow and the bear feed their young ones shall lie down together and the lion shall eat straw like the ox and the sucking child shall play on the hole of the asp and the weaned child shall put his hand on the basilisk's den they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of Hashem as the waters cover the sea and it shall come to pass in that day that the root of Jesse that standeth for an ensign of the peoples unto him shall the nation seek and his resting place shall be glorious and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord will set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people that shall remain from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea and he will set up an ensign for the nations and will assemble the dispersed of Israel and gather together the scattered of Judah from the four corners of the earth the envy also of Ephraim shall depart and they that harass Judah shall be cut off Ephraim shall not envy Judah and Judah shall not vex Ephraim and they shall fly down upon the shoulder of the Philistines on the west together shall they spoil the children of the east they shall put forth their hand upon Edom and Moab and the children of Ammon shall obey them and Hashem will utterly destroy the tongue of the Egyptian sea and with his scorching wind will he shake his hand over the river and will smite it into seven streams and cause men to march over dry shot and there shall be a highway for the remnant of his people that shall remain from Assyria like as there was for Israel in the day that he came up out of the land of Egypt Isaiah chapter and in that day thou shalt say I will give thanks unto thee O Hashem for though thou was angry with me thine anger is turned away and thou comfortest me behold God is my salvation I will trust and will not be afraid for God Hashem is my strength and 
song and he is become my salvation therefore with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation and in that day shall ye say give thanks unto Hashem proclaim his name declare his doings among the peoples make mention that his name is exalted sing unto Hashem for he hath done gloriously this is made known in all the earth cry aloud and shout thou inhabitant of Zion for great is the holy one of Israel in the midst of the Isaiah chapter the burden of Babylon which Isaiah the son of Amos did see set ye up an ensign upon the high mountain lift up the voice unto them wave the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles I have commanded my consecrated ones yet I have called my mighty ones for mine anger even my proudly exulting ones hark a tumult in the mountains like as of a great people hark the uproar of the kingdoms of the nations gathered together Hashem of hosts mustereth the host of the battle they come from a far country from the end of Heaven even Hashem and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole earth howl ye for the day of Hashem is at hand as destruction from the Almighty shall it come therefore shall all hands be slack and every heart of man shall melt and they shall be affrighted pangs and throes shall take hold them they shall be in pain as a woman in travail they shall look aghast one at another their faces shall be faces of flame behold the day of Hashem cometh cruel and full of wrath and fierce. Anger to make the earth a desolation and to destroy the sinners thereof out of it for the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light the sun shall be darkened in his going forth and the moon shall not cause her light to shine and I will visit upon the world their evil and upon the wicked their iniquity and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the tyrants I will make man more rare than fine gold even man then. The pure gold of Ophir therefore I will make the heavens to tremble and the earth shall be shaken out of her place for the wrath of Hashem of hosts and for the day of his fierce anger and it shall come to pass that as the chaste gazelle and as sheep that no man gathereth they shall turn every man to his own people and shall flee every man to his own land every one that is found shall be thrust through and every one that is caught shall fall by the sword their babes also shall be dashed. In pieces before their eyes their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished behold I will stir up the Medes against them who shall not regard silver and as for gold they shall not delight in it and their bows shall dash the young men in pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb there I shall not spare children and Babylon the glory of kingdoms the beauty of the Chaldeans pride shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah it shall never be inhabited. Neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there neither shall the shepherds make their fold there but wild cats shall lie there and their houses shall be full of ferrets and ostriches shall dwell there and satyrs shall dance there and jackals shall howl in their castles and wild dogs in the pleasant palaces and her time is near to come and her days shall not be prolonged Isaiah chapter for Hashem will have compassion on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the stranger shall join himself with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob and the peoples shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of Hashem for servants and for handmaids and they shall take them captive whose captives they were and they shall rule over their oppressors and it shall come to pass in the day that Hashem shall give thee rest from thy travail and from thy trouble and from the hard service wherein thou wast made to serve that thou shalt take up this parable against the king of Babylon and say how hath the oppressor ceased the exact rest of gold ceased Hashem hath broken the staff of the wicked the scepter of the rulers that smote the peoples in wrath with an incessant stroke that ruled the nations in anger with a persecution that none restrained the whole earth is at rest and is quiet they break forth into singing yet Cypresses rejoice at thee and the cedars of Lebanon since thou art laid down no feller is come up against us the netherworld from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming the shades are stirred up for thee even all the chief ones of the earth all the kings of the nations are raised up from their thrones all they do answer and say unto thee art thou also become weak as we art thou become like unto us thy pomp is brought down to the netherworld and the noise of thy Saul tarries the maggot is spread under thee and the worms cover thee how art thou fallen from heaven O day star son of the morning how art thou cut down to the ground that didst cast lots over the nations and thou saidst in thy heart I will ascend into heaven above the stars of God will I exalt my throne and I will sit upon the mount of meeting in the uttermost parts of the north I will ascend above the heights of the clouds I will be like the most high yet thou shalt be brought down. To the netherworld to the uttermost parts of the pit they that saw thee do narrowly look upon thee they gaze earnestly at thee is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did shake kingdoms that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners all the kings of the nations all of them sleep in glory every one in his own house but thou art cast forth away from thy grave like an abhorred offshoot in the riment of the slain that are thrust through with the sword that go down to the pavement of the pit as a carcass trodden underfoot thou shalt not be joined with them in burial because thou hast destroyed thy land thou hast slain thy people the seed of evildoers shall not be named forever prepare yes slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they rise not up and possess the earth and fill the face of the world with cities and I will rise up against them Seth Hashem of hosts and Cut off from Babylon name and remnant and offshoot and offspring Seth Hashem I will also make it a possession for the bittern and pools of water and I will sweep it with the besom of destruction Seth Hashem of hosts Hashem of hosts hath sworn saying surely as I have thought so shall it come to pass and as I have purposed so shall it stand that I will break as her in my land and upon my mountains tread him underfoot then shall his yoke depart from off them and his burden depart from off.
their shoulder this is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations for Hashem of hosts hath purposed and who shall disannul it and his hand is stretched out and who shall turn it back in the year that King Ahaz died was this burden rejoice not O Philistia all of thee because the rod that smote thee is broken for out of the serpent's root shall come forth a basi lisk and his fruit shall be a flying serpent and the firstborn of the poor shall feed and the needy shall lie down in safety and I will kill thy root with famine and thy remnant shall be slain howl O gate cry O city melt away O Philistia all of thee for there cometh a smoke out of the north and there is no straggler in his ranks what then shall one answer the messengers of the nation that Hashem hath founded Zion and in her shall the afflicted of his people take refuge Isaiah chapter the burden of Moab for in the night that Ar of Moab is laid waste he is brought to ruin for in the night that Kir of Moab is laid waste he is brought to ruin he is gone up to Baith and to Dibon to the high places to weep upon Nebo and upon Medbo Moab howleth on all their heads is baldness every beard is shaven in their streets they gird themselves with sackcloth on their housetops and in their broad places every one howleth weeping profusely and Heshbon crieth out and Elioli their voice is heard even unto Hahas therefore the armed men of Moab cry aloud his soul is faint within him my heart crieth out for Moab her fugitives reach unto Zora heifer of three years old for by the ascent of Luhith with weeping they go up for in the way of Horonim they raise up a cry of destruction for the waters of Nimrim shall be desolate for the grass is withered away the herbage faileth there is no green thing there for the abundance they have gotten and that which they have laid up shall they carry away to the brook of the willows for the cry is gone round about the borders of Moab the howling thereof unto Eglame and the howling thereof unto Bir Elim for the waters of Dimon are full of blood for I will bring yet more upon Dimon a lion upon him that escapeth of Moab and upon the remnant of the land Isaiah chapter send ye the lambs for the ruler of the land from the crags that are toward the wilderness unto the mount of the daughter of Zion for it shall be that as wandering birds as a scattered nest so shall the daughters of Moab be at the fords of Arnon give counsel execute justice make thy shadow as the night in the midst of the noonday hide the outcasts betray not the fugitive let mine outcasts dwell with thee as for Moab be thou a cover to him from the face of the spoiler for the extortion is at an end spoiling seizeth they that trampled down are consumed out of the land and a throne is established through mercy and there sitteth thereon in truth in the tent of David one that judgeth and seek justice and is ready in righteousness we have heard of the pride of Moab he is very proud even of his haughtiness and his pride and his arrogancy his ill-founded boastings therefore shall Moab wail for Moab everyone shall wail for the sweet cakes of Kir Hairst shall ye mourn sorely stricken for the fields of Heshbon languish and the vine of Subma whose choice plants did overcome the lords of nations they reached even unto Jazer they wandered into the wilderness her branches were spread abroad they passed over the sea therefore I will weep with the weeping of Jazer for the vine of Sibma I will water thee with my tears O Heshbon and Elioli for upon thy summer fruits and upon thy harvest the battle shout is fallen and gladness and joy are taken away out of the fruitful field and in the vineyards there shall be no singing neither shall there be shouting no treader shall tread out wine in the presses I have made the vintage shout to cease wherefore my heart moaneth like a harp for Moab and mine inward parts for Kir Hares and it shall come to pass when it is seen that Moab hath wearied himself upon the high place that he shall come to his sanctuary to pray but he shall not prevail this is the word that Hashem spoke concerning Moab in time past but now Hashem hath spoken saying within three years as the years of a hireling and the glory of Moab shall wax contemptible for all his great multitude and the remnant shall be very small and without Strength Isaiah chapter the burden of Damascus behold Damascus is taken away from being a city and it shall be a ruinous heap the cities of Aro are forsaken they shall be for flocks which shall lie down and none shall make them afraid the fortress also shall cease from Ephraim and the kingdom from Damascus and the remnant of Aram shall be as the glory of the children of Israel saith Hashem of hosts and it shall come to pass in that day that the glory of Jacob shall be made thin and the fatness of his flesh shall wax lean and it shall be as when the harvestman gathereth the standing corn and reapeth the ears with his arm yet it shall be as when one gleaneth ears in the valley of Rephaim yet there shall be left therein gleanings as at the beating of an olive tree two or three berries in the top of the uppermost bough four or five in the branches of the fruitful tree saith Hashem the God of Israel in that day shall a man regard his maker and his eyes shall look to the Holy One of Israel and he shall not regard the altars the work of his hands neither shall he look to that which his fingers have made either the Asherim or the sun images in that day shall his strong cities be as the forsaken places which were forsaken from before the children of Israel after the manner of woods and lofty forests and it shall be a desolation for thou hast forgotten the God of thy salvation and thou hast not been mindful of the rock of thy stronghold therefore thou didst plant plants of pleasantness and didst set it with slips of a stranger in the day of thy planting thou didst make it to grow and in the morning thou didst make thy seed to blossom a heap of boughs in the day of grief and of desperate pain ah the uproar of many peoples that roar like the roaring of the seas and the rushing of nations that rush like the rushing of mighty waters the nations shall rush like the rushing of many waters but he shall rebuke them and they shall flee far off 
and shall be chased as the chaff of the mountains before the wind and like the whirling dust before the storm at eventide behold terror and before the morning they are not this is the portion of them that spoil us and the lot of them that rob us Isaiah chapter a land of the buzzing of wings which is beyond the rivers of Ethiopia that sendeth ambassadors by the sea even in vessels of papyrus upon the waters go yes swift messengers to a nation tall and of glossy skin to a people terrible from their beginning onward a nation that is sturdy and treadeth down whose land the rivers divide all ye inhabitants of the world and ye dwellers on the earth when an ensign is lifted up on the mountain see ye and when the horn is blown here ye for thus hath Hashem said unto me I will hold me still and I will look on in my dwelling place like clear heat in sunshine like a cloud of dew in the heat of harvest for before the harvest when the blossom is over and the bud beko methe ripening grape he will cut off the sprigs with pruning hooks and the shoots will he take away and lop off they shall be left together unto the ravenous birds of the mountains and to the beasts of the earth and the ravenous birds shall summer upon them and all the beasts of the earth shall winter upon them in that time shall a present be brought unto Hashem of hosts of a people tall and of glossy skin and from a people terrible from their beginning onward a nation that is sturdy and treadeth down whose land the rivers divide to the place of the name of Hashem of hosts the Mount Zion Isaiah chapter the burden of Egypt behold Hashem writhed upon a swift cloud and cometh unto Egypt and the idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence and the heart of Egypt shall melt within it and I will spur Egypt against Egypt and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor city against city and kingdom against kingdom and the spirit of Egypt shall be made empty within it and I will make void the counsel thereof and they shall seek unto the idols and to the whisperers and to the ghosts and to the familiar spirits and I will give over the Egyptians into the hand of a cruel lord and a fierce king shall rule over them saith the Lord Hashem of hosts and the waters shall fail from the sea and the river shall be drained dry and the rivers shall become foul the streams of Egypt shall be minished and dried up the reeds and flags shall wither the mosses by the Nile by the brink of the Nile and all that is sown by the Nile shall become dry be driven away and be no more the fishers also shall lament and all they that cast angle into the Nile shall mourn and they that spread nets upon the waters shall languish moreover they that work in combed flax and they that weave cotton shall be ashamed and her foundations shall be crushed all they that make dams shall be grieved in soul the princes of Zoan are utter fools the wisest. Counselors of Pharaoh are a senseless counsel how can ye say unto Pharaoh I am the son of the wise the son of ancient kings where are they then thy wise men and let them tell thee now and let them know what Hashem of hosts hath purposed concerning Egypt the princes of Zoan are become fools the princes of Naf are deceived they have caused Egypt to go astray that are the cornerstone of her tribes Hashem hath mingled within her a spirit of dizziness and they have caused Egypt to stagger. In every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit neither shall there be for Egypt any work which head or tail palm branch or rush may do in that day shall Egypt be like unto women and it shall tremble and fear because of the shaking of the hand of Hashem of hosts which he shaked over it and the land of Judah shall become a terror unto Egypt whensoever one make mention thereof to it it shall be afraid because of the purpose of Hashem of hosts which he purposeth against it. In that day there shall be five cities in the land of Egypt that speak the language of Canaan and swear to Hashem of hosts one shall be called the city of destruction in that day shall there be an altar to Hashem in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to Hashem and it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto Hashem of hosts in the land of Egypt for they shall cry unto Hashem because of the oppressors and he will send them a savior and a defender who will deliver them and Hashem shall make himself known to Egypt and the Egyptians shall know Hashem in that day yet they shall worship with sacrifice and offering and shall vow a vow unto Hashem and shall perform it and Hashem will smite Egypt smiting and healing and they shall return unto Hashem and he will be entreated of them and will heal them in that day shall there be a highway out of Egypt to Assyria and the Assyrian shall come into Egypt and the Egyptian into Assyria and the Egyptians shall worship with the Assyrians in that day shall Israel be the third with Egypt and with Assyria a blessing in the midst of the earth for that Hashem of hosts hath blessed him saying blessed be Egypt my people and Assyria the work of my hands and Israel mine inheritance Isaiah chapter in the year that Tartan came into Ashdod when Sargon the king of Assyria sent him and he fought against Ashdod and took it at that time Hashem spoke by Isaiah the son of Amos saying go and loose the sackcloth from off thy loins and put thy shoe from off thy foot and he did so walking naked and barefoot and Hashem said like as my servant Isaiah hath walked naked and barefoot to be for three years a sign and a wonder upon Egypt and upon Ethiopia so shall the king of Assyria lead away the captives of Egypt and the exiles of Ethiopia young and old naked and barefoot and with buttocks uncovered to the shame of Egypt and they shall be dismayed and ashamed because of Ethiopia there expectation and of Egypt their glory and the inhabitant of this coast land shall say in that day behold such is our expectation whither we fled for help to be delivered from the king of Assyria and how shall we escape Isaiah chapter the burden of the wilderness of the sea as whirlwinds in the south sweeping on it cometh from the wilderness from a dreadful land a grievous vision is declared unto me the treacherous dealer dealeth treacherously and the spoiler spoileth go up O Elam.
Besiege O media all the sighing thereof have I made to cease therefore are my loins filled with convulsion pangs have taken hold upon me as the pangs of a woman in travail I am bent so that I cannot hear I am affrighted so that I cannot see my heart is bewildered terror hath overwhelmed me the twilight that I longed for hath been turned for me into trembling they prepare the table they light the lamps they eat they drink rise up yet princes anoint the shield for thus hath the Lord said unto me go said a watchman let him declare what he seeth and when he seeth a troop horsemen by pairs a troop of asses a troop of camels he shall hearken diligently with much heed and he cried as a lion upon the watchtower o lord i stand continually in the daytime and i am set in my ward all the nights and behold there came a troop of men horsemen by pairs and he spoke and said fallen fallen is babylon and all the graven images of her gods are broken unto the ground o thou my Threshing and the winnowing of my floor that which I have heard from Hashem of hosts the God of Israel have I declared unto you the burden of Duma one calleth unto me out of seer watchmen what of the night watchmen what of the night the watchman said the morning cometh and also the night if ye will inquire inquire ye return come the burden upon Arabia in the thickets in Arabia shall ye lodge o ye caravans of Dedanites unto him that is thirsty bring ye water the inhabitants of the land of Tima did meet the fugitive with his bread for they fled away from the swords from the drawn sword and from the bent bow and from the grievousness of war for thus hath the Lord said unto me within a year according to the years of a hireling and all the glory of Kedar shall fail and the residue of the number of the archers the mighty men of the children of Kedar shall be diminished for Hashem the God of Israel hath spoken it Isaiah chapter the burden concerning the valley of Vision what aileth thee now that thou art wholly gone up to the house tops thou that art full of uproar a tumultuous city a joyous town thy slain are not slain with the sword nor dead in battle all thy rulers are fled together without the bow they are bound all that are found of thee are bound together they are fled afar off therefore said I look away from me I will weep bitterly strain not to comfort me for the destruction of the daughter of my people for it is a day of trouble and of trampling and of perplexity from the Lord the God of hosts in the valley of vision kir shouting and show at the mount and Elam bore the quiver with troops of men even horsemen and kir uncovered the shield and it came to pass when thy choicest valleys were full of chariots and the horsemen set themselves in array at the gate and the covering of Judah was laid bare that thou didst look in that day to the armor in the house of the forest and ye saw the breaches of the city of David that they were many and ye gathered together the waters of the lower pool and ye numbered the houses of Jerusalem and ye broke down the houses to fortify the wall ye made also a basin between the two walls for the water of the old pool but ye looked not unto him that had done this neither had ye respect unto him that fashioned it long ago and in that day did the Lord the God of hosts call to weeping and to lamentation and to baldness and to girding with sackcloth and behold joy and gladness. Slaying oxen and killing sheep eating flesh and drinking wine let us eat and drink for tomorrow we shall die and Hashem of hosts revealed himself in mine ears surely this iniquity shall not be expiated by you till ye die saith the Lord the God of hosts thus saith the Lord the God of hosts go get thee unto the steward even unto Shibna who is over the house what hast thou here and whom hast thou here that thou hast hewed thee out here a sepulchre thou that hewest thee out a sepulchre. On high and gravest a habitation for thyself in the rock behold Hashem will hurl thee up and down with a man's throw yea he will wind thee round and round he will violently roll and toss thee like a ball into a large country there shalt thou die and there shall be the chariots of thy glory thou shame of the Lord's house and I will thrust thee from thy post and from thy station shalt thou be pulled down and it shall come to pass in that day that I will call my servant Iliakim the son of Hilkiah and I will clothe him with thy robe and bind him with thy girdle and I will commit thy government into his hand and he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah and the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder and he shall open and none shall shut and he shall shut and none shall open and I will fasten him as a peg in a sure place and he shall be for a throne of honor to his father's house and they shall hang upon him all the glory of his father's house the offspring and the issue all vessels of small quantity from the vessels of cups even to all the vessels of flagons in that day saith Hashem of hosts shall the peg that was fastened in a sure place give way and it shall be hewn down and fall and the burden that was upon it shall be cut off for Hashem hath spoken it Isaiah chapter the burden of Tyre how ye ships of Tars hish for it is laid waste so that there is no house no entering in from the land of Kittim it is revealed to them be still ye inhabitants of the coast land thou whom the merchants of Zidon that pass over the sea have replenished and on great waters the seed of Sheer the harvest of the Nile was her revenue and she was the mart of nations be thou ashamed O Zidon for the sea hath spoken the stronghold of the sea saying I have not travailed nor brought forth neither have I reared young men nor brought up virgins when the report cometh to Egypt they shall be sorely. Pained at the report of Tyre pass ye over to Tars Hishhal ye inhabitants of the coast land is this your joyous city whose feet in antiquity in ancient days carried her afar off to sojourn who hath devised this against Tyre the crowning city whose merchants are princes whose traffickers are the honorable of the earth Hashem of hosts hath devised it to pollute the pride of all glory to bring into contempt all the honorable of the earth overflow thy land as the Nile O daughter of 
Tars Hish there is no girdle any more he hath stretched out his hand over the sea he hath shaken the kingdoms Hashem hath given commandment concerning Canaan to destroy the strongholds thereof and he said thou shalt no more rejoice O thou oppressed virgin daughter of Zidon arise pass over to Kittim even there shalt thou have no rest behold the land of the Chaldeans this is the people that was not when Asher founded it for shipmen they set up their towers they overthrew the palaces. Thereof it is made a ruin how ye ships of Tars Hish for your stronghold is laid waste and it shall come to pass in that day that Tyre shall be forgotten seventy years according to the days of one king after the end of seventy years it shall fare with Tyre as in the song of the harlot take a harp go about the city thou harlot long forgotten make sweet melody sing many songs that thou mayest be remembered and it shall come to pass after the end of seventy years that Hashem will remember. Tyre and she shall return to her hire and shall have commerce with all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth and her gain and her hire shall be holiness to Hashem it shall not be treasured nor laid up for her gain shall be for them that dwell before Hashem to eat their fill and for stately clothing Isaiah chapter behold Hashem make the earth empty and make that waste and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof and it shall be as with the people so with the priest as with the servant so with his master as with the maid so with her mistress as with the buyer so with the seller as with the lender so with the borrower as with the creditor so with the debtor the earth shall be utterly emptied and clean despoiled for Hashem hath spoken this word the earth fainteth and fadeth away the world faileth and fadeth away the lofty people of the earth do fail the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws violated the statute broken the everlasting covenant therefore hath a curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are found guilty therefore the inhabitants of the earth waste away and men are left few the new wine faileth the vine fadeth all the merry hearted do sigh the mirth of tabret seizeth the noise of them that rejoice into the joy of the harp seizeth they drink not wine with a song strong drink is bitter to them that drink it broken down is the city of wasteness every house is shut up that none may come in there is a crying in the streets amidst the wine all joy is darkened the mirth of the land is gone in the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten unto ruin for thus shall it be in the midst of the earth among the peoples as at the beating of an olive tree as at the gleanings when the vintage is done those yonder lift up their voice they sing for joy for the majesty of Hashem they shout from the sea therefore. Glorify Yah Hashem in the regions of light even the name of Hashem the God of Israel in the isles of the sea from the uttermost part of the earth have we heard songs glory to the righteous but I say I waste away I waste away woe is me the treacherous deal treacherously yea the treacherous deal very treacherously terror and the pit and the trap are upon thee O inhabitant of the earth and it shall come to pass that he who fleet from the noise of the terror shall fall into the pit and he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the trap for the windows on high are opened and the foundations of the earth do shake the earth is broken broken down the earth is crumbled in pieces the earth trembleth and tottereth the earth reeleth to and fro like a drunken man and swayeth to and fro as a lodge and the transgression thereof is heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again and it shall come to pass in that day that Hashem will punish the host of the high heaven on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth and they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the dungeon and shall be shut up in the prison and after many days shall they be punished then the moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed for Hashem of hosts will reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his elders shall be glory Isaiah chapter O Hashem thou art my God I will exalt thee I will praise thy name for thou hast done wonderful things even Councils of old in faithfulness and truth for thou hast made of a city a heap of a fortified city a ruin a castle of strangers to be no city it shall never be built therefore shall the strong people glorify thee the city of the terrible nations shall fear thee for thou hast been a stronghold to the poor a stronghold to the needy in his distress a refuge from the storm a shadow from the heat for the blast of the terrible ones was as a storm against the wall as the heat in a dry place. Thou didst subdue the noise of strangers as the heat by the shadow of a cloud the song of the terrible ones was brought low and in this mountain will Hashem of hosts make unto all peoples a feast of fat things a feast of wines on the lees of fat things full of marrow of wines on the lees well refined and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering that is cast over all peoples and the veil that is spread over all nations he will swallow up death forever and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all faces and the reproach of his people will he take away from off all the earth for Hashem hath spoken it and it shall be said in that day lo this is our God for whom we waited that he might save us this is Hashem for whom we waited we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation for in this mountain will the hand of Hashem rest and Moab shall be trodden down in his place even as straw is trodden down in the dunghill and when he shall spread forth his hands. In the midst thereof as he that swimmeth spreadeth forth his hands to swim his pride shall be brought down together with the cunning of his hands and the high fortress of thy walls will he bring down lay low and bring to the ground even to the dust Isaiah chapter in that day shall the song be sung in the land of Judah we have a strong city walls and bulwarks doth he appoint for salvation open yea the gates that the righteous nation that keepeth faithfulness may enter in the mind. State on thee thou keepest in perfect peace because it trusteth in thee trust yet in Hashem forever for Hashem is God an everlasting rock for he hath brought down them that dwell on high the lofty city laying it low laying it low even to the ground bringing it even to the dust the foot shall tread it down even the feet of the poor and the steps of the needy the way of the just is straight thou most upright makest plain the path of the just yet in the way of thy judgments O Hashem.
Have we waited for thee to thy name and to thy memorial is the desire of our soul with my soul have I desired thee in the night yet with my spirit within me have I sought thee earnestly for when thy judgments are in the earth the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness let favor be shown to the wicked yet will he not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness will he deal wrongfully and will not behold the majesty of Hashem Hashem thy hand was lifted up yet they see not they shall see with shame thy zeal for the people ye fire shall devour thine adversaries Hashem thou wilt establish peace for us for thou hast indeed wrought all our works for us O Hashem our God other lords beside thee have had dominion over us but by thee only do we make mention of thy name the dead live not the shades rise not to that end hast thou punished and destroyed them and made all their memory to perish thou hast gotten the honor with the nations O Hashem ye exceeding great Honor with the nations thou art honored unto the farthest ends of the earth Hashem in trouble have they sought thee silently they poured out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them like as a woman with child that draweth near the time of her delivery is in pain and crieth out in her pangs so have we been at thy presence O Hashem we have been with child we have been in pain we have as it were brought forth wind we have not wrought any deliverance in the land neither are the inhabitants of the world come to life thy dead shall live my dead bodies shall arise awake and sing ye that dwell in the dust for thy dew is as the dew of light and the earth shall bring to life the shades come my people enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee hide thyself for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed for behold Hashem cometh forth out of his place to visit upon the inhabitants of the earth their iniquity the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain Isaiah chapter in that day Hashem with his sore and great and strong sword will punish Leviathan the slant serpent and Leviathan the tortuous serpent and he will slay the dragon that is in the sea in that day sing ye of her a vineyard of foaming wine I Hashem do guard it I water it every moment lest mine anger visit it I guard it night and day fury is not in me would that I were as the briars and thorns in flame I would with one step burn it altogether or else let him take hold of my strength that he may make peace with me ye let him make peace with me in days to come shall Jacob take root Israel shall blossom and bud and the face of the world shall be filled with fruitage hath he smitten him as he smote those that smote him or is he slain according to the slaughter of them that were slain by him in full measure when thou sendest her away thou dost contend with her he hath removed her with his rough blast in the day of the East wind therefore by this shall the iniquity of Jacob be expiated and this is all the fruit of taking away his sin when he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten in pieces so that the Asherim and the sun images shall rise no more for the fortified city is solitary a habitation abandoned and forsaken like the wilderness there shall the calf feed and there shall he lie down and consume the branches thereof when the boughs thereof are withered they shall be broken off the women shall come and set them on fire for it is a people of no understanding therefore he that made them will not have compassion upon them and he that formed them will not be gracious unto them and it shall come to pass in that day that Hashem will beat off his fruit from the flood of the river unto the brook of Egypt and ye shall be gathered one by one O ye children of Israel and it shall come to pass in that day that a great horn shall be blown and they shall come that were lost in the land of Assyria and they that were dispersed in the land of Egypt and they shall worship Hashem in the holy mountain at Jerusalem Isaiah chapter woe to the crown of pride of the drunkards of Ephraim and to the fading flower of his glorious beauty which is on the head of the fat valley of them that are smitten down with wine behold the Lord hath a mighty and strong one as a storm of hail a tempest of destruction as a storm of mighty waters overflowing that cast death down to the earth with violence the crown of pride of the drunkards of Ephraim shall be trodden underfoot and the fading flower of his glorious beauty which is on the head of the fat valley shall be as the first ripe fig before the summer which when one looped upon it while it is yet in his hand he eateth it up in that day shall Hashem of hosts be for a crown of glory and for a diadem of beauty unto the residue of his people and for a spirit of judgment to him that sitteth in judgment and for strength to them that turn back the battle at the gate but these also reel through wine and stagger through strong drink the priest and the prophet reel through strong drink they are confused because of wine they stagger because of strong drink they reel in vision they totter in judgment for all tables are full of filthy vomit and no place is clean whom shall one teach knowledge and whom shall one make to understand the message them that are weaned from the milk them that are drawn from the breasts for it is precept by precept precept by precept line by line line by line here a little there a little for with stammering lips and with a strange tongue shall it be spoken to this people to whom it was said this is the rest give ye rest to the weary and this is the refreshing yet they would not hear and so the word of Hashem is unto them precept by precept precept by precept line by line line by line here a little there a little that they may go and fall backward and be broken and snared and taken wherefore hear the word of Hashem yes coffers the ballad mongers of this people which is in Jerusalem because ye have said we have made a covenant with death and with the nether world are we at agreement when the scouring scourge shall pass through it shall not come unto us for we have made lies our refuge and in falsehood have we hid ourselves therefore thus saith the Lord God behold I lay in Zion for a foundation a stone a tried stone a costly cornerstone of sure foundation he that believeth shall not make haste and I will make justice the line and righteousness the plummet and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies and the waters shall overflow the hiding place and your covenant with death shall be disannulled and your agreement with the nether world shall not stand when the scouring scourge shall pass through then ye shall be trodden down by it as often as it passeth through it shall take you for morning by morning shall it pass.
through by day and by night and it shall be sheer terror to understand the message for the bed is too short for a man to stretch himself and the covering too narrow when he gathereth himself up for Hashem will rise up as in Mount Perazim he will be wroth as in the valley of Gibeon that he may do his work strange is his work and bring to pass his act strange is his act now therefore be ye not scoffers lest your bands be made strong for an extermination wholly determined have I heard from. The Lord the God of hosts upon the whole land give ye ear and hear my voice attend and hear my speech is the plowman never done with plowing to sow with the opening and harrowing of his ground when he hath made plain the face thereof doth he not cast abroad the black cumin and scatter the cumin and put in the wheat in rows and the barley in the appointed place and the spelt in the border thereof for he doth instruct him aright as God doth teach him for the black cumin is not threshed with a threshing sludge neither is a cartwheel turned about upon the cumin but the black cumin is beaten out with a staff and the cumin with a rod is bread corn crushed nay he will not ever be threshing it and though the roller of his wagon and its sharp edges move noisily he doth not crush it this also cometh forth from Hashem of hosts wonderful is his counsel and great his wisdom Isaiah chapter I Ariel Ariel the city where David encamped at yet year to year let the feasts come round then will I distress Ariel and there shall be mourning and moaning and she shall be unto me as a hearth of God and I will encamp against thee round about and will lay siege against thee with a mound and I will raise siege works against thee and brought down thou shalt speak out of the ground and thy speech shall be low out of the dust and thy voice shall be as of a ghost out of the ground and thy speech shall chirp out of the dust but the multitude of thy foes shall be like small dust and the multitude of the terrible ones as chaff that passeth away yet it shall be at an instant suddenly there shall be a visitation from Hashem of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with whirlwind and tempest and the flame of a devouring fire and the multitude of all the nations that war against Ariel even all that war against her and the bulwarks about her and they that distress her shall be as a dream a vision of the night and it shall be as when a Hungry man dreameth and behold he eateth but he awaked and his soul is empty or as when a thirsty man dreameth and behold he drinketh but he awaked and behold he is faint and his soul hath appetite so shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against Mount Zion stupefy yourselves and be stupid blind yourselves and be blind ye that are drunken but not with wine that stagger but not with strong drink for Hashem hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and hath closed. Your eyes the prophets and your heads the seers hath he covered and the vision of all this is become unto you as the words of a writing that is sealed which men deliver to one that is learned saying read this I pray thee and he saith I cannot for it is sealed and the writing is delivered to him that is not learned saying read this I pray thee and he saith I am not learned and the Lord said for as much as this people draw near and with their mouth and with their lips do honor me but have removed their heart far from me and their fear of me is a commandment of men learned by rote therefore behold I will again do a marvelous work among this people even a marvelous work and a wonder and the wisdom of their wise men shall perish and the prudence of their prudent men shall be hid woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from Hashem and their works are in the dark and they say who seeth us and who knoweth us O oh, your perversity shall the potter be esteemed as clay that the thing made should say of him that made it he made me not or the thing framed say of him that framed it he hath no understanding is it not yet a very little while and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field and the fruitful field shall be esteemed as a forest and in that day shall the deaf hear the words of a book and the eyes of the blind shall see out of obscurity and out of darkness the humble also shall increase their joy in Hashem and the neediest among men shall exult in the Holy One of Israel for the terrible one is brought to naught and the scorner seizeth and all they that watch for iniquity are cut off that make a man an offender by words and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate and turn aside the just with the thing of naught therefore thus saith Hashem who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob Jacob shall not now be ashamed neither shall his face now wax pale when he seeth his children the work of my hands in the midst of him that they sanctify my name yea they shall sanctify the Holy One of Jacob and shall stand in awe of the God of Israel they also that err in spirit shall come to understanding and they that murmur shall learn instruction Isaiah chapter woe to the rebellious children saith Hashem that take counsel but not of me and that form projects but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to take refuge in the stronghold of Pharaoh and to take shelter in the shadow of Egypt therefore shall the stronghold of Pharaoh turn to your shame and the shelter in the shadow of Egypt to your confusion for his princes are at Zoan and his ambassadors are come to Hanes they shall all be ashamed of a people that cannot profit them that are not a help nor profit but a shame and also a reproach the burden of the beasts of the south through the land of trouble and anguish from whence come the lioness and the lion the viper and flying serpent they carry their riches upon the shoulders of young asses and their treasures upon the humps of camels to a people that shall not profit them for Egypt helpeth in vain and to no purpose therefore have I called her arrogancy that sitteth still now go write it before them on a tablet and inscribe it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever for it is a rebellious people lying children children that refuse to hear the teaching of Hashem that say to the seers see not and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things speak unto us smooth things prophesy delusions get you out of the way turn aside out of the path cause the holy one of Israel to cease from before us wherefore thus saith the holy one of Israel because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly.
at an instant and he shall break it as a potter's vessel is broken breaking it in pieces without sparing so that there shall not be found among the pieces thereof assured to take fire from the hearth or to take water out of the cistern for thus said the Lord God the Holy One of Israel in sitting still and rest shall ye be saved in quietness and in confidence shall be your strength and ye would not but ye said no for we will flee upon horses therefore shall ye flee and we will ride upon. The swift therefore shall they that pursue you be swift one thousand shall flee at the rebuke of one at the rebuke of five shall ye flee till ye be left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain and as an ensign on a hill and therefore will Hashem wait that he may be gracious unto you and therefore will he be exalted that he may have compassion upon you for Hashem is a God of justice happy are all they that wait for him for O people that dwellest in Zion at Jerusalem thou shalt weep no more. He will surely be gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry when he shall hear he will answer thee and though the Lord give you sparing bread and scant water yet shall not thy teacher hide himself any more but thine eyes shall see thy teacher and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left and ye shall defile thy graven images overlaid with silver and thy molten images covered with gold thou shalt put them far away as one unclean thou shalt say unto it get thee hence and he will give the rain for thy seed wherewith thou sowest the ground and bread of the increase of the ground and it shall be fat and plenteous in that day shall thy cattle feed in large pastures the oxen likewise and the young asses that till the ground shall eat savory prov ender which hath been winnowed with the shovel and with the fan and there shall be upon every lofty mountain and upon every high hill Streams and water courses in the day of the great slaughter when the towers fall moreover the light of the moon shall be as the light of the sun and the light of the sun shall be sevenfold as the light of the seven days in the day that Hashem bindeth up the bruise of his people and healeth the stroke of their wound behold the name of Hashem cometh from far with his anger burning and in thick uplifting of smoke his lips are full of indignation and his tongue is as a devouring fire and his breath is as an overflowing stream that divideth even unto the neck to sift the nations with the sieve of destruction and a bridle that causeth to air shall be in the jaws of the peoples ye shall have a song as in the night when a feast is hallowed and gladness of heart as when one goeth with the pipe to come into the mountain of Hashem to the rock of Israel and Hashem will cause his glorious voice to be heard and will show the lighting down of his arm with furious anger and the flame of a devouring fire with a bursting of clouds and a storm of rain and hailstones for through the voice of Hashem shall as her be dismayed the rod with which he smote and in every place where the appointed staff shall pass which Hashem shall lay upon him it shall be with tabrets and harps and in battles of wielding will he fight with them for a hearth is ordered of old yet for the king it is prepared deep and large the pile thereof is fire and much wood the breath of Hashem like a stream of Brimstone doth kindle it Isaiah chapter woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and rely on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are exceeding mighty but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel neither seek Hashem yet he also is wise and bringeth evil and doth not call back his words but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity now the Egyptians are men and not God and their horses flesh and not spirit so when Hashem shall stretch out his hand both he that helpeth shall stumble and he that is helped shall fall and they all shall perish together for thus saith Hashem unto me like as the lion or the young lion growling over his prey though a multitude of shepherds be called forth against him will not be dismayed at their voice nor abase himself for the noise of them so will Hashem of hosts come down to fight upon Mount Zion and upon the hill thereof as birds hovering so will Hashem of hosts protect Jerusalem he will deliver it as he protecteth it he will rescue it as he passeth over turn ye unto him against whom ye have deeply rebelled O children of Israel for in that day they shall cast away every man his idols of silver and his idols of gold which your own hands have made unto you for a sin then shall as her fall with the sword not of man and the sword not of men shall devour him and he shall flee from the sword and his young men shall become tributary and his rock shall pass away by reason of terror and his princes shall be dismayed at the ensign Seth Hashem whose fire is in Zion and his furnace in Jerusalem Isaiah chapter Behold a king shall reign in righteousness and as for princes they shall rule in justice and a man shall be as in a hiding place from the wind and a covered from the tempest as by the water courses in a dry place as in the shadow of a great rock in a weary land and the eyes of them that see shall not be closed and the ears of them that hear shall attend the heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge and the tongue of the stammerer shall be ready to speak plainly the vile person shall be no more called liberal nor the churl said to be noble for the vile person will speak villainy and his heart will work iniquity to practice ungodliness and to utter wickedness against Hashem to make empty the soul of the hungry and to cause the drink of the thirsty to fail the instruments also of the churl. Are evil he Devi saith wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words and the needy when he speak the right but the liberal Devi saith liberal things and by liberal things shall he stand rise up ye women that are at ease and hear my voice ye confident daughters give ear unto my speech after a year and days shall ye be troubled ye confident women for the vintage shall fail the ingathering shall not come tremble ye women that are at ease be troubled ye confident ones strip you and make.
you bear and gird sackcloth upon your loins smiting upon the breasts for the pleasant fields for the fruitful vine for the land of my people whereon thorns and briars come up yet for all the houses of joy and the joyous city for the palace shall be forsaken the city with its stir shall be deserted the mound and the tower shall be for dense forever a joy of wild asses a pasture of flocks until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and the wilderness become a fruitful field and the fruitful field be counted for a forest then justice shall dwell in the wilderness and righteousness shall abide in the fruitful field and the work of righteousness shall be peace and the effect of righteousness quietness and confidence forever and my people shall abide in a peaceable habitation and in secure dwellings and in quiet resting places and it shall hail in the downfall of the forest but the city shall descend into the valley happy are ye that sow beside all waters that Send forth freely the feet of the ox and the ass Isaiah chapter woe to thee that spoilest and thou wast not spoiled and dealest treacherously and they dealt not treacherously with thee when thou hast ceased to spoil thou shalt be spoiled and when thou art weary with dealing treacherously they shall deal treacherously with thee O Hashem be gracious unto us we have waited for thee be thou their arm every morning our salvation also in the time of trouble at the noise of the tumult the peoples are fled at the lifting up of thyself the nations are scattered and your spoil is gathered as the caterpillar gathereth as locusts leap do they leap upon it Hashem is exalted for he dwelleth on high he hath filled Zion with justice and righteousness and the stability of thy times shall be a horde of salvation wisdom and knowledge and the fear of Hashem which is his treasurer behold their valiant ones cry without the ambassadors of peace weep bitterly the highways lie waste the wayfaring man seizeth he hath broken the covenant he hath despised the cities he regardeth not man the land mourneth and languisheth Lebanon is ashamed it with a ret Sharon is like a wilderness and Bashan and Carmel are clean bare now will I arise saith Hashem now will I be exalted now will I lift myself up ye conceive chaff ye shall bring forth stubble your breath is a fire that shall devour you and the peoples shall be as the burnings of lime as thorns cut down that are burned in the fire here ye that are far off what I have done and ye that are near acknowledge my might the sinners in Zion are afraid trembling hath seized the ungodly who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings he that walketh righteously and speaketh uprightly he that despiseth the gain of oppressed ions that shaketh his hands from holding of bribes that stoppeth his ears from hearing of blood and shutteth his eyes from looking upon evil he shall dwell on high his place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks his bread shall be given his waters shall be sure thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty they shall behold a land stretching afar thy heart shall muse on the terror where is he that counted where is he that weighed where is he that counted the towers thou shalt not see the fierce people a people of a deep speech that thou canst not perceive of a stammering tongue that thou canst not understand look upon zion the city of our solemn gatherings thine eyes shall see Jerusalem a peaceful habitation a tent that shall not be removed the stakes whereof shall never be plucked up neither shall any of the cords thereof be broken but their Hashem will be with us in majesty in a place of broad rivers and streams wherein shall go no galley with oars neither shall gallant ship pass thereby for Hashem is our judge Hashem is our lawgiver Hashem is our king he will save us thy tacklings are loose they do not hold the stand of their mass they do not spread the sail then is the prey of a great spoil divided the lame take the prey and the inhabitant shall not say I am sick the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity Isaiah chapter come near ye nations to hear and attend ye peoples let the earth hear and the fullness thereof the world and all things that come forth of it for Hashem hath indignation against all the nations and fury against all their host he hath utterly destroyed them he hath delivered them to the slaughter their slain also shall be cast out and the stench of their carcasses shall come up and the mountains shall be melted with their blood and all the host of heaven shall molder away and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll and all their host shall fall down as the leaf falleth off from the vine and as a falling fig from the fig tree for my sword hath drunk its fill in heaven behold it shall come down upon Edom and upon the people of my band to judgment the sword of Hashem is filled with blood it is made fat with fatness with the blood of lambs and goats with the fat of the kidneys of rams for Hashem hath a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Edom and the wild oxen shall come down with them and the bullocks with the bulls and their land shall be drunken with blood and their dust made fat with fatness for Hashem hath a day of vengeance a year of recompense for the controversy of Zion and the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch and the dust thereof into brimstone and the land thereof shall become burning pitch it shall not be quenched night nor day the smoke thereof shall go up forever from generation to generation it shall lie waste none shall pass through it forever and ever but the pelican and the bittern shall possess it and the owl and the raven shall dwell therein and he shall stretch over it the line of confusion and the plummet of emptiness as for her. Nobles none shall be there to be called to the kingdom and all her princes shall be nothing and thorns shall come up in her palaces nettles and thistles in the fortresses thereof and it shall be a habitation of wild dogs an enclosure for ostriches and the wild cats shall meet with the jackals and the satyr shall cry to his fellow yet the night monster shall repose there and shall find her a place of rest there shall the arrow snake make her nest and lay and hatch and brood under her shadow. Yet there shall the kites be gathered every one with her mate seek yet out of the book of Hashem and read no one of these shall be missing none shall want her mate for my mouth it hath commanded and the breath thereof it hath gathered them and he hath cast the lot for them and his hand hath divided it unto them by line they shall possess it forever from generation to generation shall they dwell therein Isaiah chapter the wilderness and the parched land shall be glad and the desert.
shall rejoice and blossom as the rose it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice even with joy and singing the glory of Lebanon shall be given unto it the excellency of Carmel and Sharon they shall see the glory of Hashem the excellency of our God strengthen ye the weak hands and make firm the tottering knees say to them that are of a fearful heart be strong fear not behold your God will come with vengeance with the recompense of God he will come and save you then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped then shall the lame man leap as a heart and the tongue of the dumb shall sing for in the wilderness shall waters break out and streams in the desert and the parched land shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water in the habitation of jackals herds shall lie down it shall be an enclosure for reeds and rushes and a highway shall be there and a way and it shall be called the way of holiness the unclean shall not pass over it but it shall be for those the wayfaring men ye fools shall not err therein no lion shall be there nor shall any ravenous beast go up thereon they shall not be found there but the redeemed shall walk there and the ransomed of Hashem shall return and come with singing unto Zion and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads they shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and sighing shall flee away Isaiah chapter now it came to pass in the fourteenth year of King Hezekiah that Sennacherib king of Assyria came up against all the fortified cities of Judah and took them and the king of Assyria sent Rabshakeh from Lachish to Jerusalem unto king Hezekiah with a great army and he stood by the conduit of the upper pool in the highway of the fuller's field then came forth unto him Eliakim the son of Hilkiah that was over the household and Shebna the scribe and Joah the son of Azaph the recorder and Rabshakeh said unto them say ye now to Hezekiah thus saith the great. King the king of Assyria what confidence is this wherein thou trustest I said it is but vain words for counsel and strength are for the war now on whom dost thou trust that thou hast rebelled against me behold thou trustest upon the staff of this bruised reed even upon Egypt whereon if a man lean it will go into his hand and pierce it so is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust on him but if thou say unto me we trust in Hashem our God is not that he whose high places and whose altars. Hezekiah hath taken away and hath said to Judah and to Jerusalem ye shall worship before this altar now therefore I pray thee make a wager with my master the king of Assyria and I will give thee two thousand horses if thou be able on thy part to set riders upon them how then canst thou turn away the face of one captain even of the least of my master's servants yet thou puttest thy trust on Egypt for chariots and for horsemen and am I now come up without Hashem against this land to destroy. It Hashem said unto me go up against this land and destroy it then said Iliakim and Shebna and Joah unto Rabshakeh speak I pray thee unto thy servants in the Aramean language for we understand it and speak not to us in the Jews language in the ears of the people that are on the wall but Rabshakeh said hath my master sent me to thy master and to thee to speak these words hath he not sent me to the men that sit upon the wall to eat their own dung and to drink their own water with you. Then Rabshakeh stood and cried with a loud voice in the Jews' language and said Hear ye the words of the great king the king of Assyria thus saith the king Let not Hezekiah beguile you for he will not be able to deliver you neither let Hezekiah make you trust in Hashem saying Hashem will surely deliver us the city shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria hearken not to Hezekiah for thus saith the king of Assyria make your peace with me and come out to me and eat ye every one of his vine and every one of his fig tree and drink ye every one the waters of his own cistern until I come and take you away to a land like your own land a land of corn and wine a land of bread and vineyards beware lest Hezekiah persuade you saying Hashem will deliver us hath any of the gods of the nations delivered his land out of the hand of the king of Assyria where are the gods of Hamath and Arpad where are the gods of Sepharvaim and have they delivered Samaria out of my hand. Who are they among all the gods of these countries that have delivered their country out of my hand that Hashem should deliver Jerusalem out of my hand but they held their peace and answered him not a word for the king's commandment was saying answer him not then came Iliakim the son of Hilkiah that was over the household and Shebna the scribe and Joah the son of Azaph the recorder to Hezekiah with their clothes rent and told him the words of Rabshakeh Isaiah chapter and it came to pass when king Hezekiah heard it that he rent his clothes and covered himself with sackcloth and went into the house of Hashem and he sent Iliakim who was over the household and Shebna the scribe and the elders of the priests covered with sackcloth unto Isaiah the prophet the son of Amos and they said unto him thus saith Hezekiah this day is a day of trouble and of rebuke and of contumely for the children are come to the birth and there is not strength to bring forth it may be Hashem thy God will hear the words of Rabshakeh whom the king of Assyria his master hath sent to taunt the living God and will rebuke the words which Hashem thy God hath heard wherefore make prayer for the remnant that is left. So the servants of king Hezekiah came to Isaiah and Isaiah said unto them thus shall ye say to your master thus saith Hashem be not afraid of the words that thou hast heard wherewith the servants of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me behold I will put a spirit in him. And he shall hear a rumor and shall return unto his own land and I will cause him to fall by the sword in his own land. So Rabshakeh returned and found the king of Assyria warring against Libna for he had heard that he was departed from Lachish and he heard say concerning Tiraka king of Ethiopia he is come out to fight against thee and when he heard it he sent messengers to Hezekiah saying thus shall ye speak to Hezekiah king of Judah saying let not thy God in whom thou trustest. 
Beguile thee saying Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria Behold thou hast heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all lands by destroying them utterly and shalt thou be delivered have the gods of the nations delivered them which my fathers have destroyed Gozan and Haran and Retef and the children of Eden that were in Telassar where is the king of Hamath and the king of Arpad and the king of the city of Sepharvaim of Hena and Iva and Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it and Hezekiah went up unto the house of Hashem and spread it before Hashem and Hezekiah prayed unto Hashem saying O Hashem of hosts the God of Israel that sittest upon the cherubim thou art the God even thou alone of all the kingdoms of the earth thou hast made heaven and earth incline thine ear O Hashem and hear open thine eyes O Hashem and see and hear all the words of Sennacherib who hath sent to taunt the living God of a truth Hashem the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the countries and their land and have cast their gods into the fire for they were no gods but the work of men's hands wood and stone therefore they have destroyed them now therefore O Hashem our God save us from his hand that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art Hashem even thou only then Isaiah the son of Amos sent unto Hezekiah saying thus saith Hashem the God of Israel whereas thou hast prayed to me against. Sennacherib king of Assyria this is the word which Hashem hath spoken concerning him the virgin daughter of Zion hath despised thee and laughed thee to scorn the daughter of Jerusalem hath shaken her head at thee whom hast thou taunted and blasphemed and against whom hast thou exalted thy voice yet thou hast lifted up thine eyes on high even against the holy one of Israel by thy servants hast thou taunted the Lord and hast said with the multitude of my chariots am I come up to the height of the mountains to the innermost parts of Lebanon and I have cut down the tall cedars thereof and the choice cypress trees thereof and I have entered into his farthest height the forest of his fruitful field I have digged and drunk water and with the sole of my feet have I dried up all the rivers of Egypt hast thou not heard long ago I made it in ancient times I fashioned it now have I brought it to pass yet it is done that fortified cities should be laid waste into ruinous heaps. Therefore their inhabitants were of small power they were dismayed and confounded they were as the grass of the field and as the green herb as the grass on the housetops and as a field of corn before it is grown up but I know thy sitting down and thy going out and thy coming in and thy raging against me because of thy raging against me and for that thine uproar is come up into mine ears therefore will I put my hook in thy nose and my bridle in thy lips and I will turn thee back by the way by which thou camest and this shall be the sign unto thee ye shall eat this year that which groweth of itself and in the second year that which springeth of the same and in the third year sow ye and reap and plant vineyards and eat the fruit thereof and the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall again take root downward and bear fruit upward for out of Jerusalem shall go forth a remnant and out of Mount Zion they that shall escape the zeal of Hashem of hosts shall perform. This therefore thus saith Hashem concerning the king of Assyria he shall not come unto the city nor shoot an arrow there neither shall he come before it with shield nor cast a mound against it by the way that he came by the same shall he return and he shall not come unto the city saith Hashem for I will defend the city to save it for mine own sake and for my servant David's sake and the angel of Hashem went forth and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and fourscore and Five thousand and when men arose early in the morning behold they were all dead corpses so Sennacherib king of Assyria departed and went and returned and dwelt at Nineveh and it came to pass as he was worshipping in the house of Nisroch his god that Adramelech and Sarezer his son smote him with the sword and they escaped into the land of Ararat and Ezerhaddon his son reigned in his stead Isaiah chapter in those days was Hezekiah sick unto death and Isaiah the prophet the son of Amos came to him and said unto him thus saith Hashem set thy house in order for thou shalt die and not live then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed unto Hashem and said remember now O Hashem I beseech thee how I have walked before thee in truth and with a whole heart and have done that which is good in thy sight and Hezekiah wept sore then came the word of Hashem to Isaiah saying go and say to Hezekiah thus saith Hashem the God of David thy father I have heard thy prayer I have seen thy tears behold I will add unto thy days fifteen years and I will deliver thee and the city out of the hand of the king of Assyria and I will defend the city and this shall be the sign unto thee from Hashem that Hashem will do this thing that he hath spoken behold I will cause the shadow of the dial which is gone down on the sun dial of Ahas to return backward ten degrees so the sun returned ten degrees by which degrees it was gone down the writing of Hezekiah king of Judah when he had been sick and was recovered of his sickness I said in the noontide of my days I shall go even to the gates of the netherworld I am deprived of the residue of my years I said I shall not see Hashem even Hashem in the land of the living I shall behold man no more with the inhabitants of the world my habitation is plucked up and carried away from me as a shepherd's tent I have rolled up like a weaver my life he will cut me off from the thrum from day even to night wilt. Thou make an end of me the more I make myself like unto a lion until morning the more it breaketh all my bones from day even to night wilt thou make an end of me like a swallow or a crane so do I chatter I do moan as a dove mine eyes fail with looking upward O Hashem I am oppressed be thou my surety what shall I say he hath both spoken unto me and himself hath done it I shall go softly all my years for the bitterness of my soul O Lord by these things men live and altogether therein is. 
the life of my spirit wherefore recover thou me and make me to live behold for my peace I had great bitterness but thou hast in love to my soul delivered it from the pit of corruption for thou hast cast all my sins behind thy back for the nether world cannot praise thee death cannot celebrate thee they that go down into the pit cannot hope for thy truth the living the living he shall praise thee as I do this day the father to the children shall make known thy truth Hashem is ready to save me therefore we will sing songs to the stringed instruments all the days of our life in the house of Hashem and Isaiah said let them take a cake of figs and lay it for a plaster upon the boil and he shall recover and Hezekiah said what is the sign that I shall go up to the house of Hashem Isaiah chapter at that time Merodach Baladon the son of Baladon king of Babylon sent a letter and a present to Hezekiah for he heard that he had been sick and was recovered and Hezekiah was glad of them and showed them his treasure house the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious oil and all the house of his armor and all that was found in his treasures there was nothing in his house nor in all his dominion that Hezekiah showed them not then came Isaiah the prophet unto king Hezekiah and said unto him what said these men and from whence came they unto thee and Hezekiah said they are come from a far country unto me even from Babylon then said he what have they seen in thy house and Hezekiah answered all that is in my house have they seen there is nothing among my treasures that I have not shown them then said Isaiah to Hezekiah hear the word of Hashem of hosts behold the days come that all that is in thy house and that which thy fathers have laid up in store until this day shall be carried to Babylon nothing shall be left saith Hashem and of thy sons that shall issue from thee whom thou shalt beget shall they take away and they shall be officers in the palace of the king of Babylon then said Hezekiah unto Isaiah good is the word of Hashem which thou hast spoken he said moreover if but there shall be peace and truth in my days Isaiah chapter comfort ye comfort ye my people saith your God bid Jerusalem take heart and proclaim unto her that her time of service is accomplished that her guilt is paid off that she hath received of Hashem's hand double for all her sins hark one calleth clear yet in the wilderness the way of Hashem make plain in the desert a highway for our God every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the rugged shall be made level and the rough places a plain and the glory of Hashem shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of Hashem hath spoken it hark one saith proclaim and he saith what shall I proclaim all flesh is grass and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field the grass with a wreath. The flower fadeth because the breath of Hashem bloweth upon it surely the people is grass the grass withereth the flower fadeth but the word of our God shall stand forever O thou that telliest good tidings to Zion get thee up into the high mountain O thou that telliest good tidings to Jerusalem lift up thy voice with strength lift it up be not afraid say unto the cities of Judah behold your God behold the Lord God will come as a mighty one and his arm will rule for him behold his reward is with him and his recompense before him even as a shepherd that feedeth his flock that gathereth the lambs in his arm and carrieth them in his bosom and gently ledeth those that give suck who hath measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and meted out heaven with the span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance who hath meted out the spirit of Hashem or who was his counselor that he might instruct him with whom took he counsel and who instructed him and taught him in the path of right and taught him knowledge and made him to know the way of discernment behold the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance behold the isles are as a moat in weight and Lebanon is not sufficient fuel nor the beasts thereof sufficient for burnt offerings all the nations are as nothing before him they are accounted by him as things of naught and vanity to whom then will ye liken God or what likeness will ye compare unto him the image perchance which the craftsman hath melted and the goldsmith spread over with gold the silversmith casting silver chains a whole moke is set apart he chooseth a tree that will not rot he seeked unto him a cunning craftsman to set up an image that shall not be moved no ye not here ye not hath it not been told you from the beginning have ye not understood the foundations of the earth it is he that sitteth above the circle of the earth and the inhabitants thereof are as grass hoppers that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain and spreadeth them out as a tent to dwell in that bringeth princes to nothing he make the judges of the earth as a thing of not scarce are they planted scarce are they sown scarce hath their stock taken root in the earth when he blow it upon them they wither and the whirlwind taketh them away as stubble to whom then will ye liken me that I should be equal saith the holy one lift up your eyes on high and see who hath created these he that bringeth out their host by number he calleth them all by name by the greatness of his might and for that he is strong in power not one faileth why sayest thou O Jacob and speakest O Israel my way is hid from Hashem and my right is passed over from my God hast thou not known hast thou not heard that the everlasting God Hashem the creator of the ends of the earth fainteth not neither is weary his discernment is past. Searching out he giveth power to the faint and to him that hath no might he increaseth strength even the youths shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall but they that wait for Hashem shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint Isaiah chapter keep silence before me O islands and let the peoples renew their strength let them draw near then let them speak let us come near together. To judgment who hath raised up one from the east at whose steps victory attendeth he giveth nations before him and maketh him rule over kings his sword maketh them as the dust his bow as the driven stubble he pursueth them and passeth on safely the way with his feet he treadeth not who hath wrought and done it he that called the generations from the beginning I Hashem who am the first and with the last am the same the isles saw and feared the ends of the earth trembled they drew near. 
and came they helped everyone his neighbor and everyone said to his brother be of good courage so the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith and he that smooth hate with the hammer him that smite the anvil saying of the soldering it is good and he fastened it with nails that it should not be moved but thou Israel my servant Jacob whom I have chosen the seed of Abraham my friend thou whom I have taken hold of from the ends of the earth and called thee from the uttermost parts thereof and said unto thee thou art my servant I have chosen thee and not cast thee away fear thou not for I am with thee be not dismayed for I am thy God I strengthen thee yet I help thee yet I uphold thee with my victorious right hand behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded they that strove with thee shall be as nothing and shall perish thou shalt seek them and shalt not find them even them that contended with thee they that warred against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught for I Hashem thy God hold thy right hand who say unto thee fear not I help thee fear not thou worm Jacob and ye men of Israel I help thee Seth Hashem and thy Redeemer the Holy One of Israel behold I make thee a new threshing sledge having sharp teeth thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small and shalt make the hills as chaff thou shalt fan them and the wind shall carry them away and the whirlwind shall scatter them and thou shalt rejoice. In Hashem thou shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel the poor and needy seek water and there is none and their tongue faileth for thirst I Hashem will answer them I the God of Israel will not forsake them I will open rivers on the high hills and fountains in the midst of the valleys I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water I will plant in the wilderness the cedar the acacia tree and the myrtle and the oil tree I will set in the desert the cypress the plain tree and the larch together that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of Hashem hath done this and the Holy One of Israel hath created it produce your cause saith Hashem bring forth your reason saith the king of Jacob let them bring them forth and declare unto us the things that shall happen the former things what are they declare yet that we may consider and know the end of them or announce to us things to come declare the things that are to Come hereafter that we may know that ye are gods ye do good or do evil that we may be dismayed and behold it together behold ye are nothing and your work a thing of not an abomination is he that chooseth you I have roused up one from the north and he is come from the rising of the sun one that calleth upon my name and he shall come upon rulers as upon mortar and as the potter treadeth clay who hath declared from the beginning that we may know and before time that we may say that he is. Right ye there is none that declareth ye there is none that announceth ye there is none that heareth your utterances a harbinger unto Zion will I give behold behold them and to Jerusalem a messenger of good tidings and I look but there is no man even among them but there is no counselor that when I ask of them can give an answer behold all of them their works are vanity and not their molten images are wind and confusion Isaiah chapter behold my servant whom I uphold mine. Elect in whom my soul delighteth I have put my spirit upon him he shall make the right to go forth to the nations he shall not cry nor lift up nor cause his voice to be heard in the street a bruised reed shall he not break and the dimly burning wick shall he not quench he shall make the right to go forth according to the truth he shall not fail nor be crushed till he have set the right in the earth and the isles shall wait for his teaching thus saith God Hashem he that created the heavens and stretched them forth he that spread forth the earth and that which cometh out of it he that giveth breath unto the people upon it and spirit to them that walk therein I Hashem have called thee in righteousness and have taken hold of thy hand and kept thee and set thee for a covenant of the people for a light of the nations to open the blind eyes to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house I am Hashem that is my name and my glory will I not give to another neither my praise to graven images behold the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth I tell you of them sing unto Hashem a new song and his praise from the end of the earth ye that go down to the sea and all that is there in the isles and the inhabitants thereof let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice the villages that Kedar doth inhabit let the inhabitants of Sela exult let them shout from the top of the mountains let them give glory unto Hashem and declare his praise in the islands Hashem will go forth as a mighty man he will stir up jealousy like a man of war he will cry yet he will shout aloud he will prove himself mighty against his enemies I have long time held my peace I have been still and refrained myself now will I cry like a travailing woman gasping and panting at once I will make waste mountains and hills and dry up all their herbs and I will make the rivers islands and will dry up the pools and I will bring the blind by a way that they knew not in paths that they knew not will I lead them I will make darkness light before them and rugged places plain these things will I do and I will not leave them undone they shall be turned back greatly ashamed that trust in graven images that say unto molten images ye are our gods here ye deaf and look ye blind that ye may see who is blind but my servant or deaf as my messenger that I send who is Blind as he that is wholehearted and blind as Hashem's servant seeing many things thou observest not opening the ears he heareth not Hashem was pleased for his righteousness sake to make the teaching great and glorious but this is a people robbed and spoiled they are all of them snared in holes and they are hid in prison houses they are for a prey and none delivereth for a spoil and none saith restore who among you will give ear to this who will hearken and hear for the time to come. Who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers did not Hashem he against whom we have sinned and in whose ways they would not walk neither were they obedient unto his law therefore he poured upon him the fury of his anger and the strength of battle and it set him on fire round about yet he knew not and it burned him yet he laid it not to heart Isaiah chapter but now thus saith Hashem that created thee O Jacob and he that formed thee O Israel fear not for I have redeemed thee I have 
Call thee by thy name thou art mine when thou passest through the waters I will be with thee and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee when thou walkest through the fire thou shalt not be burned neither shall the flame kindle upon thee for I am Hashem thy God the Holy One of Israel thy Savior I have given Egypt as thy ransom Ethiopia and Sable for thee since thou art precious in my sight and honorable and I have loved thee therefore will I give men for thee and peoples for thy life fear not for I am with thee I will bring thy seed from the east and gather thee from the west I will say to the north give up and to the south keep not back bring my sons from far and my daughters from the end of the earth every one that is called by my name and whom I have created for my glory I have formed him yet I have made him the blind people that have eyes shall be brought forth and the deaf that have ears all the nations are gathered together and the peoples are assembled who among them can declare this and announce to us former things let them bring their witnesses that they may be justified and let them hear and say it is truth ye are my witnesses saith Hashem and my servant whom I have chosen that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he before me there was no God formed neither shall any be after me I even I am Hashem and beside me there is no savior I have declared and I have saved and I have announced and there was no Strange God among you therefore ye are my witnesses saith Hashem and I am God yes since the day was I am he and there is none that can deliver out of my hand I will work and who can reverse it thus saith Hashem your Redeemer the Holy One of Israel for your sake I have sent to Babylon and I will bring down all of them as fugitives even the Chaldeans in the ships of their shouting I am Hashem your Holy One the Creator of Israel your King thus saith Hashem who make the way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters who bringeth forth the chariot and horse the army and the power they lie down together they shall not rise they are extinct they are quenched as a wick remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old behold I will do a new thing now shall it spring forth shall ye not know it I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert the beasts of the field shall honor me the jackals and the ostriches because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people mine elect the people which I formed for myself that they might tell of my praise yet thou hast not called upon me O Jacob neither hast thou wearied thyself about me O Israel thou hast not brought me the small cattle of thy burnt offerings neither hast thou honored me with thy sacrifices I have not burdened thee with a meal offering nor wearied thee with frank incense thou hast bought me no sweet cane with money neither hast Thou satisfied me with the fat of thy sacrifices but thou hast burdened me with thy sins thou hast wearied me with thine iniquities I even I am he that blotteth out thy transgressions for mine own sake and thy sins I will not remember put me in remembrance let us plead together declare thou that thou mayest be justified thy first father sinned and thine intercessors have transgressed against me therefore I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary and I have given Jacob to condemnation and Israel to reviling Isaiah chapter yet now hear O Jacob my servant and Israel whom I have chosen thus saith Hashem that made thee and formed thee from the womb who will help thee fear not O Jacob my servant and thou Jeshurun whom I have chosen for I will pour water upon the thirsty land and streams upon the dry ground I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring and they shall spring up among the grass as willows by the water courses one shall say I am Hashem's and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob and another shall subscribe with his hand unto Hashem and surname himself by the name of Israel thus saith Hashem the king of Israel and his redeemer Hashem of hosts I am the first and I am the last and beside me there is no God and who as I can proclaim let him declare it and set it in order for me since I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming and that shall come to pass let them declare fear ye not neither be afraid have I not announced unto thee of old and declared it and ye are my witnesses is there a God beside me ye there is no rock I know not any they that fashion a graven image are all of them vanity and their delectable things shall not profit and their own witnesses see not nor know that they may be ashamed who hath fashioned a God or molten an image that is profitable for nothing behold all the fellows thereof shall be ashamed and the craftsmen skilled above men let them all be gathered together let them stand up they shall fear they shall be ashamed together the smith maketh an axe and worketh in the coals and fashioneth it with hammers and worketh it with his strong arm yet he is hungry and his strength faileth he drinketh no water and is faint the carpenter stretcheth out a line he marketh it out with a pencil he fitteth it with planes and he marketh it out with the compasses and maketh it after the figure of a man according to the beauty of a man too dwell in the house he heweth him down cedars and taketh the ilex and the oak and strengtheneth for himself one among the trees of the forest he planteth a bay tree and the rain doth nourish it then a man used it for fuel and he taketh thereof and warmeth himself yet he kind let it and baketh bread yet he maketh the god and worshipeth it he maketh it a graven image and falleth down thereto he burneth the half thereof in the fire with the half thereof he eateth flesh he roasteth roast and is satisfied yet he warmeth himself and saith aha I am warm I have seen the fire and the residue thereof he make the God even his graven image he falleth down unto it and worshipeth and perth unto it and saith deliver me for thou art my God they know not neither do they understand for their eyes are beta bed that they cannot see and their hearts that they cannot understand and none considereth in his heart neither is there knowledge nor understanding to say I have burned the half of it in the fire yet also I have baked bread upon the coals thereof I have roasted flesh and eaten it and shall I make the residue thereof an abomination shall I fall down to the stock of a tree he striveth after ashes a deceived heart hath turned him aside that he cannot deliver his soul nor say is there not a lie in my right hand remember these things O Jacob and Israel for thou art my servant I have formed thee thou art mine own servant O Israel thou shouldest not forget me I have 
blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions and as a cloud thy sins return unto me for I have redeemed thee sing O ye heavens for Hashem hath done it shout ye lowest parts of the earth break forth into singing ye mountains O forest and every tree therein for Hashem hath redeemed Jacob and doth glorify himself in Israel thus saith Hashem thy redeemer and he that formed thee from the womb I am Hashem that maketh all things that stretched forth the heavens alone that spread abroad thee earth by myself that frustrateth the tokens of the impostors and make the diviners mad that turneth wise men backward and make their knowledge foolish that confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers that saith of Jerusalem she shall be inhabited and of the cities of Judah they shall be built and I will raise up the waste places thereof that saith to the deep be dry and I will dry up thy rivers that saith of Cyrus he is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure even saying of Jerusalem she shall be built and to the temple my foundation shall be laid Isaiah chapter thus saith Hashem to his anointed to Cyrus whose right hand I have holden to subdue nations before him and to loose the loins of kings to open the doors before him and that the gates may not be shut I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight I will break in pieces the doors of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron and I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I am Hashem who call thee by thy name even the God of Israel for the sake of Jacob my servant and Israel mine elect I have called thee by thy name I have surnamed thee though thou hast not known me I am Hashem and there is none else beside me there is no God I have girded thee though thou hast not known me that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me I am. Hashem and there is none else I form the light and create darkness I make peace and create evil I am Hashem that doth all these things drop down ye heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness let the earth open that they may bring forth salvation and let her cause righteousness to spring up together I Hashem have created it woe unto him that striveth with his maker as a pot's herd with the pot's herds of the earth shall the clay say to him that fashioned it what makest. Thou or thy work it hath no hands woe unto him that saith unto his father wherefore begettest thou or to a woman wherefore travailest thou thus saith Hashem the Holy One of Israel and his maker ask me of the things that are to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands command ye me I even I have made the earth and created man upon it I even my hands have stretched out the heavens and all their host have I commanded I have roused him up in victory and I make level all his ways he shall build my city and he shall let mine exiles go free not for price nor reward saith Hashem of hosts thus saith Hashem the labor of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia and of the Sabaeans men of stature shall come over unto thee and they shall be thine they shall go after thee in chains they shall come over and they shall fall down unto thee they shall make supplication unto thee surely God is in thee and there is none else there is no other God verily thou art a God that hidest thyself O God of Israel the Saviour they shall be ashamed ye confounded all of them they shall go in confusion together that are makers of idols O Israel that art saved by Hashem with an everlasting salvation ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end for thus saith Hashem that created the heavens he is God that formed the earth and made it he established it he created it not a waste he formed it to be inhabited I am Hashem and there is none else I have. Not spoken in secret in a place of the land of darkness I said not unto the seed of Jacob seek ye me in vain I Hashem speak righteousness I declare things that are right assemble yourselves and come draw near together ye that are escaped of the nations they have no knowledge that carry the wood of their graven image and pray unto a God that cannot save declare ye and bring them near ye let them take counsel together who hath announced this from ancient time and declared it of old have. Not I Hashem and there is no God else beside me a just God and a Savior there is none beside me look unto me and be ye saved all the ends of the earth for I am God and there is none else by myself have I sworn the word is gone forth from my mouth in righteousness and shall not come back that unto me every knee shall bow every tongue shall swear only in Hashem shall one say of me is victory and strength even to him shall men come in confusion all they that were incensed against him in. Hashem shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory Isaiah chapter Bel bow it down Nebo stupeth their idols are upon the beasts and upon the cattle the things that ye carried about are made a load a burden to the weary beast they stoop they bow down together they could not deliver the burden and themselves are gone into captivity hearken unto me O house of Jacob and all the remnant of the house of Israel that are born by me from the birth that are carried from the womb. Even to old age I am the same and even to whore hairs will I carry you I have made and I will bear ye I will carry and will deliver to whom will ye liken me and make me equal and compare me that we may be like ye that lavish gold out of the bag and weigh silver in the balance ye that hire a goldsmith that he make it a god to fall down there to ye to worship he is born upon the shoulder he is carried and set in his place and he standeth from his place he doth not remove ye though one cry. Unto him he cannot answer nor save him out of his trouble remember this and stand fast bring it to mind O ye transgressors remember the former things of old that I am God and there is none else I am God and there is none like me declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and all my pleasure will I do calling a bird of prey from the east the man of my counsel from a far country yet I have spoken I will also.
bring it to pass I have purposed I will also do it hearken unto me yes doubt hearted that are far from righteousness I bring near my righteousness it shall not be far off and my salvation shall not tarry and I will place salvation in Zion for Israel my glory Isaiah chapter come down and sit in the dust O virgin daughter of Babylon sit on the ground without a throne O daughter of the Chaldeans for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate take the millstones and grind meal. Remove thy veil strip off the train uncover the lake pass through the rivers thy nakedness shall be uncovered yet thy shame shall be seen I will take vengeance and will let no man intercede our redeemer Hashem of hosts is his name the holy one of Israel sit thou silent and get thee into darkness O daughter of the Chaldeans for thou shalt no more be called the mistress of kingdoms I was wroth with my people I profaned mine inheritance and gave them into thy hand thou didst show them no mercy upon the aged hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke and thou saidst forever shall I be mistress so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart neither didst remember the end thereof now therefore hear this thou that art given to pleasures that sittest securely that sayest in thy heart I am and there is none else beside me I shall not sit as a widow neither shall I know the loss of children but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day the loss of children and widowhood in their full measure shall they come upon thee for the multitude of thy sorceries and the great abundance of thine enchantments and thou hast been secure in thy wickedness thou hast said none seeth me thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee and thou hast said in thy heart I am and there is none else beside me yet shall evil came upon thee thou shalt not know how to charm it away and calamity shall fall upon thee thou shalt not be able to put it away and ruin shall come upon thee suddenly before thou knowest stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries wherein thou hast labored from thy youth if so be thou shalt be able to profit if so be thou mayest prevail thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels let now the astrologers the stargazers the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from the things that shall come upon thee behold they shall be as stubble the fire shall burn them they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame it shall not be a coal to warm at nor a fire to sit before thus shall they be unto thee with whom thou hast labored they that have trafficked with thee from thy youth shall wander every one to his quarter there shall be none to save the Isaiah chapter here yet this O house of Jacob who are called by the name of Israel and are come forth out of the fountain of Judah who swear by the name of Hashem and make mention of the God of Israel but not in truth nor in righteousness for they call themselves of the holy city and stay themselves upon the God of Israel Hashem of hosts is his name I have declared the former things from of old yea they went forth out of my mouth and I announced them suddenly I did them and they came to pass because I knew that thou art obstinate and thy neck is an iron sinew and thy brow brass therefore I have declared it to thee from of old before it came to pass I announced it to thee lest thou shouldest say mine idol hath done them and my graven image and my molten image hath commanded them thou hast heard see all this and yet will ye not declare it I have announced unto thee new things from this time even hidden things which thou hast not known they are created now and not from of old and before this day thou heardest them not lest thou shouldest say behold I knew them yet thou heardest not yet thou knewest not yet from of old thine ear was not opened for I knew that thou wouldest deal very treacherously and wast called a transgressor from the womb for my name's sake will I defer mine anger and for my praise will I refrain for thee that I cut thee not off behold I have refined thee but not as silver I have tried thee in the furnace of affliction for mine own sake for mine own sake will I do it for how should it be profaned and my glory will I not give to another hearken unto me O Jacob and Israel my called I am he I am the first I also am the last yet my hand hath laid the foundation of the earth and my right hand hath spread out the heavens when I call unto them they stand up together assemble yourselves all ye and hear which among them hath declared these things he whom Hashem loveth shall perform his pleasure on Babylon and show his arm on the Chaldeans I even I have spoken ye I have called him I have brought him and he shall make his way prosperous come ye near unto me hear ye this from the beginning I have not spoken in secret. From the time that it was there am I and now the Lord God hath sent me and his spirit thus saith Hashem thy Redeemer the Holy One of Israel I am Hashem thy God who teach hate thee for thy prophet who ledeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go O that thou wouldest hearken to my commandments then would thy peace be as a river and thy righteousness as the waves of the sea thy seed also would be as the sand and the offspring of thy body like the grains thereof his name would not be cut off nor destroyed from before me go ye forth from Babylon flee ye from the Chaldeans with a voice of singing declare ye tell this utter it even to the end of the earth say ye the Hashem hath redeemed his servant Jacob and they thirst not when he led them through the deserts he caused the waters to flow out of the rock for them he cleaved the rock also and the waters gushed out there is no peace saith Hashem concerning the wicked Isaiah chapter listen O isles unto me and hearken ye peoples from far Hashem hath called me from the womb from the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name and he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword in the shadow of his hand hath he hid me and he hath made me a polished shaft in his quiver hath he concealed me and he said unto me thou art my servant Israel in whom I will be glorified but I said I have labored in vain I have spent my strength for naught and vanity yet surely my right is with Hashem and my recompense with my God and now saith Hashem that formed me from the womb to be his servant to bring Jacob back to him and that Israel be gathered unto him for I am honorable in the eyes of Hashem and my God is become my strength yet he saith it is too light a thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the offspring of Israel I will also give thee for a light of the nations that my salvation may be unto the end of the earth thus saith Hashem the Redeemer of 
Israel his holy one to him who is despised of men to him who is abhorred of nations to a servant of rulers kings shall see and arise princes and they shall prostrate themselves because of Hashem that is faithful even the holy one of Israel who hath chosen thee thus saith Hashem in an acceptable time have I answered thee and in a day of salvation have I helped thee and I will preserve thee and give thee for a covenant of the people to raise up the land to cause to inherit the desolate. Heritage is saying to the prisoners go forth to them that are in darkness show yourselves they shall feed in the ways and in all high hills shall be their pasture they shall not hunger nor thirst neither shall the heat nor sun smite them for he that hath compassion on them will lead them even by the springs of water will he guide them and I will make all my mountains away and my highways shall be raised on high behold these shall come from far and low these from the north and from the West and these from the land of Shinem sing O heavens and be joyful O earth and break forth into singing O mountains for Hashem hath comforted his people and hath compassion upon his afflicted but Zion said the Hashem hath forsaken me and the Lord hath forgotten me can a woman forget her sucking child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb yet these may forget yet will not I forget thee behold I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands thy walls are continually before me thy children make haste thy destroyers and they that made thee waste shall go forth from thee lift up thine eyes round about and behold all these gather themselves together and come to thee as I live saith Hashem thou shalt surely clothe thee with them all as with an ornament and gird thyself with them like a bride for thy waste and thy desolate places and thy land that hath been destroyed surely now shalt thou be too straight for the inhabitants and they that swallowed thee up shall be far away the children of thy bereavement shall yet say in thine ears the place is too straight for me give place to me that I made well then shalt thou say in thy heart who hath begotten me these seeing I have been bereaved of my children and am solitary and exile and wandering to and fro and who hath brought up these behold I was left alone these where were they thus saith the Lord God behold I will lift up my hand to the nations and set up mine ensign to the peoples and they shall bring thy sons in their bosom and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders and kings shall be thy foster fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers they shall bow down to thee with their face to the earth and lick the dust of thy feet and thou shalt know that I am Hashem for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the captives of the victorious be delivered but thus saith Hashem even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered and I will contend with him that contendeth with thee and I will save thy children and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine and all flesh shall know that I Hashem am thy savior and thy redeemer the mighty one of Jacob Isaiah chapter thus saith Hashem where is the bill of your mother's divorcement wherewith I have put her away or which of my creditors is it to whom I have sold you behold for your iniquities were yes sold and for your transgressions was your mother put away wherefore when I came was there no man when I called was there none to answer is my hand shortened at all that it cannot redeem or have I no power to deliver behold at my rebuke I dry up the sea I make the rivers a wilderness their fish become foul because there is no water and die for thirst I clothe the heavens with blackness and I make sackcloth their covering the Lord God hath given me the tongue of them that are taught that I should know how to sustain with words him that is weary he wakeneth morning by morning he wakeneth mine ear to hear as they that are taught the Lord God hath opened mine ear and I was not rebellious neither turned away backward I gave my back to the smiters and my checks to them that plucked off the hair I hid not my face from shame and spitting for the Lord God will help me therefore have I not been confounded therefore. Have I set my face like a flint and I know that I shall not be ashamed he is near that justifieth me who will contend with me let us stand up together who is mine adversary let him come near to me behold the Lord God will help me who is he that shall condemn me behold they all shall wax old as a garment the moth shall eat them up who is among you that feareth Hashem that obeyeth the voice of his servant though he walketh in darkness and hath no light let him trust in the name of Hashem. And stay upon his God behold all ye that kindle a fire that gird yourselves with fire brands be gone in the flame of your fire and among the brands that ye have kindled this shall ye have of my hand ye shall lie down in sorrow Isaiah chapter hearken to me ye that follow after righteousness ye that seek Hashem look unto the rock whence ye were hewn and to the hole of the pit whence ye were digged look unto Abraham your father and unto Sarah that bore you for when he was but one I called him and I blessed him and made him many for Hashem hath comforted Zion he hath comforted all her waste places and hath made her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of Hashem joy and gladness shall be found therein thanksgiving and the voice of melody attend unto me O my people and give ear unto me O my nation for instruction shall go forth from me and my right on a sudden for a light of the peoples my favor is near my salvation is gone forth and mine arms shall judge thee peoples the isles shall wait for me and on mine arm shall they trust lift up your eyes to the heavens and look upon the earth beneath for the heavens shall vanish away like smoke and the earth shall wax old like a garment and they that dwell therein shall die in like manner but my salvation shall be forever and my favor shall not be abolished hearken unto me ye that know righteousness the people in whose heart is my law fear ye not the taunt of men neither be ye dismayed at their revilings for the moth shall eat them up like a garment and the worm shall eat them like wool but my favor shall be forever and my salvation unto all generations awake awake put on strength O arm of Hashem awake as in the days of old the generations of ancient times art thou not at that hewed Rahab in pieces that pierced the dragon art thou not at that dried up the sea the waters of the great deep that made the depths of the sea away for the redeemed to pass over and the ransomed of 
Hashem shall return and come with singing unto Zion and everlasting joy shall be upon their heads they shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and sighing shall flee away I even I am he that comforteth you who art thou that thou art afraid of man that shall die and of the son of man that shall be made as grass and hast forgotten Hashem thy maker that stretched forth the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth and fearest continually all the day because of the fury of the oppressor as he maketh ready to destroy and where is the fury of the oppressor he that is bent down shall speedily be loosed and he shall not go down dying into the pit neither shall his bread fail for I am Hashem thy God who stirreth up the sea that the waves thereof roar Hashem of hosts is his name and I have put my words in thy mouth and have covered thee in the shadow of my hand that I may plant the heavens and lay the foundations of the earth and say unto Zion thou art my people awake awake. Stand up O Jerusalem that hast drunk at the hand of Hashem the cup of his fury thou hast drunk in the beaker even the cup of staggering and drained it there is none to guide her among all the sons whom she hath brought forth neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she hath brought up these two things are befallen thee who shall bemoan thee desolation and destruction and the famine and the sword how shall I comfort thee thy sons have fainted they lie at the head of all the streets as an antelope in a net they are full of the fury of Hashem the rebuke of thy God therefore hear now this thou afflicted and drunken but not with wine thus saith thy Lord Hashem and thy God that pleadeth the cause of his people behold I have taken out of thy hand the cup of staggering the beaker even the cup of my fury thou shalt no more drink it again and I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee that have said to thy soul bow down that we may go over and thou hast laid thy back as the ground and as the street to them that go over Isaiah chapter awake awake put on thy strength O Zion put on thy beautiful garments O Jerusalem the holy city for henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean shake thyself from the dust arise and sit down O Jerusalem loose thyself from the bands of thy neck O captive daughter of Zion for thus saith Hashem ye were sold for naught and ye shall be redeemed without money for thus saith the Lord God my people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause now therefore what do I hear saith Hashem seeing that my people is taken away for not they that rule over them do howl saith Hashem and my name continually all the day is blasphemed therefore my people shall know my name therefore they shall know in that day that I even he that spoke behold here I am how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of the messenger of good tidings that announceth peace the harbinger of good tidings that announceth salvation that saith unto Zion thy God reigneth hark thy watchmen they lift up the voice together do they sing for they shall see I to I Hashem returning to Zion break forth into joy sing together ye waste places of Jerusalem for Hashem hath comforted his people he hath redeemed Jerusalem Hashem hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God depart ye depart ye go ye out from thence touch no unclean thing go ye out of the midst of her be ye clean ye that bear the vessels of Hashem for ye shall not go out in haste neither shall ye go by flight for Hashem will go before you and the God of Israel will be your reward behold my servant shall prosper he shall be exalted and lifted up and shall be very high according as many were appalled at thee so marred was his visage unlike that of a man and his form unlike that of the sons of men so shall he startle many nations kings shall shut their mouths because of him for that which had not been told them shall they see and that which they had not heard shall they perceive Isaiah chapter who would have believed our report and to whom hath the arm of Hashem been revealed for he shot up right forth as a sapling and as a root out of a dry ground he had no form nor comeliness that we should look upon him nor beauty that we should delight in him he was despised and forsaken of men a man of pains and acquainted with disease and as one from whom men hide their face he was despised and we esteemed him not surely our diseases he did bear and our pains he carried whereas we did esteem him stricken smitten of God and afflicted but he was wounded because of our transgressions he was crushed because of our iniquities the chastisement of our welfare was upon him and with his stripes we were healed all we like sheep did go astray we turned every one to his own way and Hashem hath made to light on him the iniquity of us all he was oppressed though he humbled himself and opened not his mouth as a lamb that is led to the slaughter and as a sheep that before her shearers is dumb yet he opened not his mouth by oppression and judgment he was taken away and with his generation who did reason for he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people to whom the stroke was due and they made his grave with the wicked and with the rich his tomb although he had done no violence neither was any deceit in his mouth yet it pleased Hashem to crush him by disease to see if his soul would offer itself in restitution that he might see his seed prolong his days and that the purpose of Hashem might prosper by his hand of the travail of his soul he shall see to the full even my servant who by his knowledge did justify the righteous one to the many and their iniquities he did bear. Therefore will I divide him a portion among the great and he shall divide the spoil with the mighty because he bared his soul unto death and was numbered with the transgressors yet he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors Isaiah chapter sing O barren thou that didst not bear break forth into singing and cry aloud thou that didst not travail for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife Seth Hashem enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thy habitation spare not lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes for thou shalt spread abroad on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall possess the nations and make the desolate cities to be inhabited fear not for thou shalt not be ashamed neither be thou confounded for thou shalt not be put to shame for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth and the reproach of thy widowhood shalt thou remember no more for thy maker is
Thy husband Hashem of hosts is his name and the Holy One of Israel is thy Redeemer the God of the whole earth shall he be called for Hashem hath called thee as a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit and a wife of youth can she be rejected saith thy God for a small moment have I forsaken thee but with great compassion will I gather thee in a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment but with everlasting kindness will I have compassion on thee saith Hashem thy Redeemer for this is as the waters of Noah unto me for as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth so have I sworn that I would not be wroth with thee nor rebuke thee for the mountains may depart and the hills be removed but my kindness shall not depart from thee neither shall my covenant of peace be removed saith Hashem that hath compassion on thee O thou afflicted tossed with tempest and not comforted behold I will set thy stones in fair colors and lay thy foundations with sapphires and I will make thy pinnacles of rubies and thy gates of carbuncles and all thy border of precious stones and all thy children shall be taught of Hashem and great shall be the peace of thy children in righteousness shalt thou be established be thou far from oppression for thou shalt not fear and from ruin for it shall not come near thee behold they may gather together but not by me whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall because of thee behold I have created the smith that bloweth the fire of coals and bringeth forth a weapon for his work and I have created the waster to destroy no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of Hashem and their due reward from me saith Hashem Isaiah chapter ho every one that thirsteth come ye for water and he that hath no money come ye buy and eat ye come buy wine and milk without money and Without price wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread and your gain for that which satisfieth not hearken diligently unto me and eat ye that which is good and let your soul delight itself in fatness incline your ear and come unto me here and your soul shall live and I will make an everlasting covenant with you even the sure mercies of David behold I have given him for a witness to the peoples a prince and commander to the peoples behold thou shalt call a nation that thou knowest not and a nation that knew not thee shall run unto thee because of Hashem thy God and for the Holy One of Israel for he hath glorified thee seek ye Hashem while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near let the wicked forsake his way and the man of iniquity his thoughts and let him return unto Hashem and he will have compassion upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith Hashem for as the Heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither except it water the earth and make it bring forth and bud and give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void except it accomplish that which I please and make the thing whereto I sent it prosper for ye shall go out with joy. And be led forth with peace the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle and it shall be to Hashem for a memorial for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off Isaiah chapter thus saith Hashem keep ye justice and do righteousness for my salvation is near to come and my favor to be revealed happy is the man. That doth this and the son of man that holdeth fast by it that keepeth the sabbath from profaning it and keepeth his hand from doing any evil neither let the alien that hath joined himself to Hashem speak saying the Hashem will surely separate me from his people neither let the eunuch say behold I am a dry tree for thus saith Hashem concerning the eunuchs that keep my sabbaths and choose the things that please me and hold fast by my covenant even unto them will I give in my house and within my walls a monument and a memorial better than sons and daughters I will give them an everlasting memorial that shall not be cut off also the aliens that join themselves to Hashem to minister unto him and to love the name of Hashem to be his servants every one that keepeth the sabbath from profaning it and holdeth fast by my covenant even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be acceptable upon mine altar for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people saith the Lord God who gathereth the dispersed of Israel yet I will gather others to him beside those of him that are gathered all ye beasts of the field come to devour ye all ye beasts in the forest his watchmen are all blind without knowledge they are all dumb dogs they cannot bark raving lying down loving to slumber ye the dogs are greedy they know not when they have enough and these are shepherds that cannot understand they all turn to their own way each one to his gain one and all come yet I will fetch wine and we will fill ourselves with strong drink and tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant Isaiah chapter the righteous perisheth and no man layeth it to heart and godly men are taken away none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come he entereth into peace they rest in their beds each one that walketh in his uprightness but draw near Hither ye sons of the sorceress the seed of the adulterer and the harlot against whom do ye sport yourselves against whom make ye a wide mouth and draw out the tongue are ye not children of transgression a seed of falsehood ye that inflame yourselves among the terebinths under every leafy tree that slay the children in the valleys under the clefts of the rocks among the smooth stones of the valley is thy portion they they are thy lot even to them hast thou poured a drink offering thou. 
Hast offered a meal offering should I pacify myself for these things upon a high and lofty mountain hast thou set thy bed thither also wentest thou up to offer sacrifice and behind the doors and the posts hast thou set up thy symbol for thou hast uncovered and art gone up from me thou hast enlarged thy bed and chosen thee of them whose bed thou lovedst whose hand thou sawest and thou wentest to the king with ointment and didst increase thy perfumes and didst send thine ambassadors far off. Even down to the nether world thou wast wearied with the length of thy way yet saidst thou not there is no hope thou didst find a renewal of thy strength therefore thou wast not affected and of whom hast thou been afraid and in fear that thou wouldest fail and as for me thou hast not remembered me nor laid it to thy heart have not I held my peace even of long time therefore thou fearest me not I will declare thy righteousness thy works also they shall not profit thee when thou criest. Let them that thou hast gathered deliver thee but the wind shall carry them all away a breath shall bear them off but he that taketh refuge in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain and he will say cast ye up cast ye up clear the way take up the stumbling block out of the way of my people for thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity whose name is holy I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to revive thee. Spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones for I will not contend for ever neither will I be always wroth for the spirit that enwrappeth itself is from me and the souls which I have made for the iniquity of his covetousness was I wroth and smote him I hid me and was wroth and he went on froardly in the way of his heart I have seen his ways and will heal him I will lead him also and requite with comforts him and his mourners peace peace to him that is far off and to him that is near Seth Hashem that create the fruit of the lips and I will heal him but the wicked are like the troubled sea for it cannot rest and its waters cast up mire and dirt there is no peace Seth my God concerning the wicked Isaiah chapter cry aloud spare not lift up thy voice like a horn and declare unto my people their transgression and to the house of Jacob their sins yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God they ask of me righteous ordinances they delight to draw near unto God wherefore have we fasted and thou seest not wherefore have we afflicted our soul and thou takest no knowledge behold in the day of your fast ye pursue your business and exact all your labors behold ye fast for strife and contention and to smite with the fist of wickedness ye fast not this day so as to make your voice to be heard on high is such the fast that I have chosen the day for. A man to afflict his soul is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him wilt thou call this a fast and an acceptable day to Hashem is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the fetters of wickedness to undo the bands of the yoke and to let the oppressed go free and that ye break every yoke is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house when thou seest the naked that thou cover him and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh then shall thy light break forth as the morning and thy healing shall spring forth speedily and thy righteousness shall go before thee the glory of Hashem shall be thy reward then shalt thou call and Hashem will answer thou shalt cry and he will say here I am if thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke the putting forth of the finger and speaking wickedness and if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul then shall thy light rise in darkness and thy gloom be as the noonday and Hashem will guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul in drought and make strong thy bones and thou shalt be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters fail not and they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach the restorer of paths to dwell in if thou turn away thy foot because of the Sabbath from pursuing thy business on my holy day and call the Sabbath a delight and the holy of Hashem honorable and shalt honor it not doing thy wanted ways nor pursuing thy business nor speaking thereof then shalt thou delight thyself in Hashem and I will make thee to ride upon the high places of the earth and I will feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father for the mouth of Hashem hath spoken it Isaiah chapter behold Hashem's hand is not shortened that it cannot save neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear but your iniquities have separated between you and your God and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear for your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity your lips have spoken lies your tongue muttereth wickedness none sueth in righteousness and none pleadeth in truth they trust in vanity and speak lies they conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity they hatch basilisks eggs and weave the spider's web he that eateth of their eggs dieth and that which is crushed breaketh out into a viper their webs shall not become garments neither shall men cover themselves with their works their works are works of iniquity and the act of violence is in their hands their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed innocent blood their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity desolation and destruction are in their paths the way of peace they know not and there is no right in their goings they have made them crooked paths whosoever goeth therein doth not know peace therefore is just as far from us neither doth righteousness overtake us we look for light but behold darkness for brightness but we walk in gloom we grope for the wall like the blind yea as they that have no eyes do we grope we stumble at noonday as in the twilight we are in dark places like the dead we all growl like bears and mourn sore like doves we look for right but there is none for salvation but it is far off from us for 
our transgressions are multiplied before thee and our sins testify against us for our transgressions are present to us and as for our iniquities we know them transgressing and denying Hashem and turning away from following our God speaking oppression and perverseness conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood and justice is turned away backward and righteousness standeth afar off for truth hath stumbled in the broad place and uprightness cannot enter and truth is lacking. And he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey and Hashem saw it and it displeased him that there was no justice and he saw that there was no man and was astonished that there was no intercessor therefore his own arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness it sustained him and he put on righteousness as a coat of mail and a helmet of salvation upon his head and he put on garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak according to their deeds. Accordingly he will repay fury to his adversaries recompense to his enemies to the islands he will repay recompense so shall they fear the name of Hashem from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun for distress will come in like a flood which the breath of Hashem driveth and a redeemer will come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob saith Hashem and as for me this is my covenant with them saith Hashem my spirit that is upon thee and my words which I have. Put in thy mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth nor out of the mouth of thy seed nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed saith Hashem from henceforth and forever Isaiah chapter arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of Hashem is risen upon thee for behold darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the peoples but upon thee Hashem will arise and his glory shall be seen upon thee and nations shall walk at thy light and kings at the brightness of thy rising lift up. Thine eyes round about and see they all are gathered together and come to thee thy sons come from far and thy daughters are born on the side then thou shalt see and be radiant and thy heart shall throb and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be turned unto thee the wealth of the nations shall come unto thee the caravan of camels shall cover thee and of the young camels of Midian and Ephah all coming from Sheba they shall bring gold and incense and shall proclaim the praises. Of Hashem all the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee the rams of Nebaioth shall minister unto thee they shall come up with acceptance on mine altar and I will glorify my glorious house who are these that fly as a cloud and as the doves to their coats surely the isles shall wait for me and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far their silver and their gold with them for the name of Hashem thy God and for the Holy One of Israel because he hath glorified thee. And aliens shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee for in my wrath I smote thee but in my favor have I had compassion on thee thy gates also shall be open continually day and night they shall not be shut that men may bring unto thee the wealth of the nations and their kings in procession for that nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish yea those nations shall be utterly wasted the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee the cypress the plain tree and the larch together to beautify the place of my sanctuary and I will make the place of my feet glorious and the sons of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee and all they that despised thee shall bow down at the solace of thy feet and they shall call thee the city of Hashem the Zion of the Holy One of Israel whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated so that no man passed through thee I will make thee an eternal excellency a joy of many generations thou shalt also suck the milk of the nations and shalt suck the breast of kings and thou shalt know that I Hashem am thy savior and I the mighty one of Jacob thy redeemer for brass I will bring gold and for iron I will bring silver and for wood brass and for stones iron I will also make thy officers peace and righteousness thy magistrates violence shall no more be heard in thy land desolation nor destruction within thy borders but thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise the sun shall be no. More thy light by day neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee but Hashem shall be unto thee an everlasting light and thy God thy glory thy sun shall no more go down neither shall thy moon withdraw itself for Hashem shall be thine everlasting light and the days of thy morning shall be ended thy people also shall be all righteous they shall inherit the land forever the branch of my planting the work of my hands wherein I glory the smallest shall become a thousand and the least a mighty nation I Hashem will hasten it in its time Isaiah chapter the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because Hashem hath anointed me to bring good tidings unto the humble he hath sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the eyes to them that are bound to proclaim the year of Hashem's good pleasure and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them a garland for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the mantle of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called terebinths of righteousness the planting of Hashem wherein he might glory and they shall build the old wastes they shall raise up the former desolations and they shall renew the waste cities the desolations of many generations and strangers shall stand and feed your flocks and aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers but ye shall be named the priests of Hashem. Men shall call you the ministers of our God ye shall eat the wealth of the nations and in their splendour shall ye revel for your shame which was double and for that they rejoiced confusion is their portion therefore in their land they shall possess double everlasting joy shall be unto them for I Hashem love justice I hate robbery with iniquity and I will give them their recompense in truth and I will make an everlasting covenant with them and their seed shall be known among the nations.
and their offspring among the peoples all that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which Hashem hath blessed I will greatly rejoice in Hashem my soul shall be joyful in my God for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation he hath covered me with the robe of victory as a bridegroom putteth on a priestly diadem and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels for as the earth bringeth forth her growth and as the garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring. Forth so the Lord God will cause victory and glory to spring forth before all the nations Isaiah chapter for Zion's sake will I not hold my peace and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until her triumph go forth as brightness and her salvation as a torch that burneth and the nations shall see thy triumph and all kings thy glory and thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of Hashem shall mark out thou shalt also be a crown of beauty in the hand of Hashem and a royal diadem. In the open hand of thy God thou shalt no more be termed forsaken neither shall thy land any more be termed desolate but thou shalt be called my delight is in her and thy land espoused for Hashem delighteth in thee and thy land shall be espoused for as a young man espouseth a virgin so shall thy sons espouse thee and as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride so shall thy God rejoice over thee I have set watchmen upon thy walls O Jerusalem they shall never hold their peace day nor night. Yea that are Hashem's remembrancers take ye no rest and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth Hashem hath sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength surely I will no more give thy corn to be food for thine enemies and strangers shall not drink thy wine for which thou hast labored but they that have garnered it shall eat it and praise Hashem and they that have gathered it shall drink it in the courts of my sanctuary go through go. Through the gates clear ye the way of the people cast up cast up the highway gather out the stones lift up an ensign over the peoples behold Hashem hath proclaimed unto the end of the earth say ye to the daughter of Zion behold thy salvation cometh behold his reward is with him and his recompense before him and they shall call them the holy people the redeemed of Hashem and thou shalt be called sought out a city not forsaken Isaiah chapter who is this that cometh from Edom with crimson garments from Basra this that is glorious in his apparel stately in the greatness of his strength I that speak in victory mighty to save wherefore is thine apparel red and thy garments like his that treadeth in the wine vat I have trodden the wine press alone and of the peoples there was no man with me yet I trod them in mine anger and trampled them in my fury and their life blood is dashed against my garments and I have stained all my raiment for the day of vengeance that was in my heart and my year of redemption are come and I looked and there was none to help and I beheld in astonishment and there was none to uphold therefore mine own arm brought salvation unto me and my fury it upheld me and I trod down the peoples in mine anger and made them drunk with my fury and I poured out their lifeblood on the earth I will make mention of the mercies of Hashem and the praises of Hashem according to all that Hashem hath bestowed on us and the great goodness toward the house of Israel which he hath bestowed on them according to his compassions and according to the multitude of his mercies for he said surely they are my people children that will not deal falsely so he was their savior in all their affliction he was afflicted and the angel of his presence saved them in his love and in his pity he redeemed them and he bore them and carried them all the days of old but they rebelled and grieved his holy spirit therefore he was turned to be their enemy himself fought against them then his people remembered the days of old the days of Moses where is he that brought them up out of the sea with the shepherds of his flock where is he that put his holy spirit in the midst of them that caused his glorious arm to go at the right hand of Moses that divided the water before them to make himself an everlasting name that led them through the deep as a horse in the wilderness without stumbling as the cattle that go down into the valley the spirit of Hashem caused them to rest so didst thou lead thy people to make thyself a glorious name look down from heaven and see even from thy holy and glorious habitation where is thy zeal and thy mighty acts the yearning of thy heart and thy compassions now restrain toward me for thou art our father for Abraham knoweth us not and Israel doth not acknowledge us thou O Hashem art our father our redeemer from everlasting is thy name O Hashem why dost thou make us to err from thy ways and hardenest our heart from thy fear return for thy servants sake the tribes of thine inheritance thy holy people they have well nigh driven out our adversaries have trodden down thy sanctuary we are become as they over whom thou never borest rule as they that were not called by thy name O that thou wouldest rend the heavens that thou wouldest come down that the mountains might quake at thy presence Isaiah chapter as when fire kind left the brushwood and the fire causeth the waters to boil to make thy name known to thine adversaries that the nations might tremble at thy presence when thou didst tremendous things which we looked not for O that thou wouldest come down that the mountains might quake at thy presence and whereof from of old men have not heard nor perceived by the ear neither hath the eye seen a God beside thee who worketh for him that wait for him thou didst take away him that joyfully worked righteousness those that remembered thee in thy ways behold thou wast wroth and we sinned upon them have we stayed of old that we might be saved and we are all become as one that is unclean and all our righteousnesses are as a polluted garment and we all do fade as a leaf and our iniquities like the wind take us away and there is none that calleth upon thy name that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee for thou hast hid thy face from us and hast consumed us by means of our iniquities but now O Hashem thou art our father we 
are the clay and thou art potter and we all are the work of thy hand be not wroth very sore O Hashem neither remember iniquity forever behold look we beseech thee we are all thy people thy holy cities are become a wilderness Zion is become a wilderness Jerusalem a desolation our holy and our beautiful house where our fathers praised thee is burned with fire and all our pleasant things are laid waste wilt thou refrain thyself for these things O Hashem wilt thou hold thy peace and Afflict us very sore Isaiah chapter I gave access to them that asked not for me I was at hand to them that sought me not I said behold me behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people that walk in a way that is not good after their own thoughts a people that provoke me to my face continually that sacrifice in gardens and burn incense upon bricks that sit among the graves and lodge in the vaults that eat. Swine's flesh and broth of abominable things is in their vessels that say stand by thyself come not near to me for I am holier than thou these are a smoke in my nose a fire that burneth all the day behold it is written before me I will not keep silence except I have requited yet I will requite into their bosom your own iniquities and the iniquities of your fathers together saith Hashem that have offered upon the mountains and blasphemed me upon the hills therefore will I first measure their wage into their bosom thus saith Hashem as when wine is found in the cluster one saith destroy it not for a blessing is in it so will I do for my servants sakes that I may not destroy all and I will bring forth a seed out of Jacob and out of Judah an inheritor of my mountains and mine elect shall inherit it and my servants shall dwell there and Sharon shall be a fold of flocks and the valley of Acre a place for herds to lie down in for my people that have sought me but yet that Forsake Hashem that forget my holy mountain that prepare a table for fortune and that offer mingled wine in full measure unto destiny I will destine you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I called ye did not answer when I spoke ye did not hear but ye did that which was evil in mine eyes and chose that wherein I delighted not therefore thus saith the Lord God behold my servants shall eat but ye shall be hungry behold my servants shall drink but ye shall be thirsty behold my servants shall rejoice but ye shall be ashamed behold my servants shall sing for joy of heart but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall wail for vexation of spirit and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto mine elect so may the Lord God slay thee but he shall call his servants by another name so that he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself by the God of truth and he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the God of truth because the former troubles are forgotten and because they are hid from mine eyes for behold I create new heavens and a new earth and the former things shall not be remembered nor come into mind but be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create for behold I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her people a joy and I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her nor the voice of crying there shall be no more thence an infant of days nor an old man that hath not filled his days for the youngest shall die a hundred years old and the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed and they shall build houses and inhabit them and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them they shall not build and another inhabit they shall not plant and another eat for as the days of a tree shall be the days of my people and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands they shall not labor in vain nor bring forth for terror for they are the seed blessed of Hashem and their offspring with them and it shall come to pass that before they call I will answer and while they are yet speaking I will hear the wolf and the lamb shall feed together and the lion shall eat straw like the ox and dust shall be the serpent's food they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain saith Hashem Isaiah chapter thus saith Hashem the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool where is the house that ye may build unto me and where is the place that may be my resting place for all these things hath my hand made and so all these things came to be saith Hashem but on this man will I look even on him that is poor and of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word he that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man he that sacrificeth a lamb as if he broke a dog's neck he that offereth a meal offering as if he offered swine's blood he that make the memorial offering of frankincense as if he blessed an idol according as they have chosen their own ways and their soul delighteth in their abominations even so I will choose their mockings and will bring their fears upon them because when I called none did answer when I spoke they did not hear but they did that which was evil in mine eyes and chose that in which I delighted not hear the word of Hashem yea that tremble at his word your brethren that hate you that cast you out for my name's sake have said let Hashem be glorified that we may gaze upon your joy but they shall be ashamed hark an uproar from the city hark it cometh from the temple hark Hashem rendereth recompense to his enemies before she travailed she brought forth before her pain came she was delivered of a man child who hath heard such a thing who hath seen such things is a land born in one day is a nation brought forth at once for as soon as Zion travailed she brought forth her children shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth Seth Hashem shall I that cause to bring forth shut the womb saith thy God rejoice ye with Jerusalem and be glad with her all ye that love her rejoice for joy with her all ye that mourn for her that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breast of her consolations that ye may drink deeply with delight of the abundance of her glory for thus saith Hashem behold I will extend peace to her like a river and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing stream and ye shall suck thereof ye shall be born upon the
sighed and shall be dandled upon the knees as one whom his mother comforteth so will I comfort you and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem and when ye see this your heart shall rejoice and your bones shall flourish like young grass and the hand of Hashem shall be known toward his servants and he will have indignation against his enemies for behold Hashem will come in fire and his chariots shall be like the whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire for by fire will Hashem contend and by his sword with all flesh and the slain of Hashem shall be many they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves to go unto the gardens behind one in the midst eating swine's flesh and the detestable thing and the mouse shall be consumed together saith Hashem for I know their works and their thoughts the time cometh that I will gather all nations and tongues and they shall come and shall see my glory and I will work a sign among them and I will send such as escape of them unto the nations to Tars Hishpul and Lud that draw the bow to Tubal and Javan to the isles afar off that have not heard my fame neither have seen my glory and they shall declare my glory among the nations and they shall bring all your brethren out of all the nations for an offering unto Hashem upon horses and in chariots and in fitters and upon mules and upon swift beasts to my holy mountain Jerusalem saith Hashem as the children of Israel bring their offering in a clean vessel into the house of Hashem and of them also will I take for the priests and for the Levites saith Hashem for as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me saith Hashem so shall your seed and your name remain and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me saith Hashem and they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have rebelled against me for their worm shall not die neither shall their fire be quenched and they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh Jeremiah chapter the words of Jeremiah the son of Hilkiah of the priests that were in Anathoth in the land of Benjamin to whom the word of Hashem came in the days of Josiah the son of Ammon king of Judah in the thirteenth year of his reign it came also in the days of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah unto the end of the eleventh year of Zedekiah the son of Josiah king of Judah unto the carrying away of Jerusalem captive in the fifth month and the word of Hashem came unto me saying before I formed thee in the belly I knew thee and before thou camest forth out of the womb I sanctified thee I have appointed thee a prophet unto the nations then said I O Lord God behold I cannot speak for I am a child but Hashem said unto me say not I am a child for to whomsoever I shall send thee thou shalt go and whatsoever I shall command thee thou shalt speak be not afraid of them for I am with thee to deliver thee saith Hashem then Hashem put forth his hand and touched my mouth and Hashem said unto me behold I have put my words in thy mouth see I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to overthrow to build and to plant moreover the word of Hashem came unto me saying Jeremiah what seest thou and I said I see a rod of an almond tree then said Hashem unto me thou hast well seen for I watch over my word to perform it and the word of Hashem came unto me the second time saying what seest thou and I said I see a seething pot and the face thereof is from the north then Hashem said unto me out of the north the evil shall break forth upon all the inhabitants of the land for lo I will call all the families of the kingdoms of the north saith Hashem and they shall come and they shall set every one his throne at the entrance of the gates of Jerusalem and against all the walls thereof round about and against all the cities of Judah and I will utter my judgments against them touching all their wickedness in that they have forsaken me and have offered unto other gods and worshipped the work of their own hands thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee be not dismayed at them lest I dismay thee before them for behold I have made thee this day a fortified city and an iron pillar and brazen walls against the whole land against the kings of Judah against the princes thereof against the priests thereof and against the people of the land and they shall fight against thee but they shall not prevail against thee for I am with thee saith Hashem to deliver thee Jeremiah chapter and the word of Hashem came to me saying go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem saying thus saith Hashem I remember for thee the affection of thy youth the love of thine espousals how thou wentest after me in the wilderness in a land that was not sown Israel is Hashem's hallowed portion his first fruits of the increase all that devour him shall be held guilty evil shall come upon them saith Hashem hear ye the word of Hashem O house of Jacob and all the families of the house of Israel thus saith Hashem what unrighteousness have your fathers found in me that they are gone far from me and have walked after things of not and are become not neither said they where is Hashem that brought us up out of the land of Egypt that led us through the wilderness through a land of deserts and of pits through a land of drought and of the shadow of death through a land that no man passed through and where no man dwelt and I brought you into a land of fruitful fields to eat the fruit thereof and the good thereof but when ye entered ye defiled my land and made my heritage an abomination the priests said not where is Hashem and they that handle the law knew me not and the rulers transgressed against me the prophets also prophesied by Baal and walked after things that do not profit wherefore I will yet plead with you saith Hashem and with your children's children will I plead for pass over to the isles of the Kittites and see and send unto Kedar and consider diligently and see if there hath been such a thing hath a nation changed its gods which yet are no gods but my people hath changed its glory for that which doth not profit be astonished O ye heavens at this and be horribly afraid be yet exceeding amazed saith Hashem for my people have committed two evils they have forsaken me the fountain of living waters and hewed them out cisterns broken cisterns that can hold no water is Israel a servant is he a homeborn slave why is he become a prey the young lions have roared upon him and let their voice resound and they have made his land desolate his cities are laid waste without inhabitant the children also of Naf and Tophan he's feet upon the crown.
of thy head is it not this that doth cause it unto thee that thou hast forsaken Hashem thy God when he led thee by the way and now what hast thou to do in the way to Egypt to drink the waters of Shear or what hast thou to do in the way to Assyria to drink the waters of the river thine own wickedness shall correct thee and thy backslidings shall reprove thee know therefore and see that it is an evil and a bitter thing that thou hast forsaken Hashem thy God neither is my fear in thee saith. The Lord God of hosts for of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands and thou saidst I will not transgress upon every high hill and under every leafy tree thou didst recline playing the harlot yet I had planted thee a noble vine holy a right seed how then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me for though thou wash thee with nitre and take thee much soap yet thine iniquity is marked before me saith the Lord God how canst thou say I am not defiled I have not gone after the Baalim see thy way in the valley know what thou hast done thou art a swift young camel traversing her ways a wild ass used to the wilderness that snuffeth up the wind in her desire her lust who can hinder it all they that seek her will not weary themselves in her month they shall find her withhold thy foot from being unshot and thy throat from thirst but thou saidst there is no hope no for I have loved strangers and after them will I go as the thief is Ashamed when he is found so is the house of Israel ashamed they their kings their princes and their priests and their prophets who say to a stock thou art my father and to a stone thou hast brought us forth for they have turned their back unto me and not their face but in the time of their trouble they will say arise and save us but where are thy gods that thou hast made thee let them arise if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble for according to the number of thy cities are. Thy gods O Judah wherefore will ye contend with me ye all have transgressed against me saith Hashem in vain have I smitten your children they received no correction your sword hath devoured your prophets like a destroying lion O generation see ye the word of Hashem have I been a wilderness unto Israel or a land of thick darkness wherefore say my people we roam at large we will come no more unto thee can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire yet my people have forgotten me. Days without number how trimmest thou thy way to seek love therefore even the wicked women hast thou taught thy ways also in thy skirts is found the blood of the souls of the innocent poor thou didst not find them breaking in yet for all these things thou saidst I am innocent surely his anger is turned away from me behold I will enter into judgment with thee because thou sayest I have not sinned how greatly dost thou cheapen thyself to change thy way thou shalt be ashamed of. Egypt also as thou wast ashamed of as her from him also shalt thou go forth with thy hands upon thy head for Hashem hath rejected them in whom thou didst trust and thou shalt not prosper in them Jeremiah chapter saying if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's may he return unto her again will not that land be greatly polluted but thou hast played the harlot with many lovers and wouldest thou yet return to me saith Hashem lift up thine eyes unto the high. Hills and see where hast thou not been lain with by the ways hast thou sat for them as an Arabian in the wilderness and thou hast polluted the land with thy harlotries and with thy wickedness therefore the showers have been withheld and there hath been no latter rain yet thou hadst a harlot's forehead thou refusedst to be ashamed didst thou not just now cry unto me my father thou art the friend of my youth will he bear grudge forever will he keep it to the end behold thou hast spoken. But hast done evil things and hast had thy way and Hashem said unto me in the days of Josiah the king hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel did she went up upon every high mountain and under every leafy tree and there played the harlot and I said after she hath done all these things she will return unto me but she returned not and her treacherous sister Judah saw it and I saw when for as much as backsliding Israel had committed adultery I had put her away and given her a bill of divorcement that yet treacherous Judah her sister feared not but she also went and played the harlot and it came to pass through the lightness of her harlotry that the land was polluted and she committed adultery with stones and with stocks and yet for all this her treacherous sister Judah hath not returned unto me with her whole heart but feignedly saith Hashem even Hashem said unto me backsliding Israel hath proved herself more righteous than treacherous Judah go and proclaim these words toward the north and say return thou backsliding Israel saith Hashem I will not frown upon you for I am merciful saith Hashem I will not bear grudge forever only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against Hashem thy God and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every leafy tree and yet have not hearkened to my voice saith Hashem return O backsliding children saith Hashem for I am a Lord unto you and I will take you one of a city and two of a family and I will bring you to Zion and I will give you shepherds according to my heart who shall feed you with knowledge and understanding and it shall come to pass when ye are multiplied and increased in the land in those days saith Hashem they shall say no more the ark of the covenant of Hashem neither shall it come to mind neither shall they make mention of it neither shall they miss it neither shall it be made any more at that time they shall call Jerusalem the throne of Hashem and all the Nations shall be gathered unto it to the name of Hashem to Jerusalem neither shall they walk any more after the stubbornness of their evil heart in those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers but I said how would I put thee among the sons and give thee a pleasant land the goodliest heritage of the nations and I said thou shalt call me my 
Father and shalt not turn away from following me surely as a wife treacherously departeth from her husband so have ye dealt treacherously with me O house of Israel Seth Hashem hark upon the high hills is heard the suppliant weeping of the children of Israel for that they have perverted their way they have forgotten Hashem their God return ye backsliding children I will heal your backslidings here we are we are come unto thee for thou art Hashem our God truly vain have proved thee. Hills the uproar on the mountains truly in Hashem our God is the salvation of Israel but the shameful thing hath devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth their flocks and their herds their sons and their daughters let us lie down in our shame and let our confusion cover us for we have sinned against Hashem our God we and our fathers from our youth even unto this day and we have not hearkened to the voice of Hashem our God Jeremiah chapter if thou wilt return O Israel saith. Hashem ye return unto me and if thou wilt put away thy detestable things out of my sight and wilt not waver and wilt swear as Hashem liveth in truth in justice and in righteousness then shall the nations bless themselves by him and in him shall they glory for thus saith Hashem to the men of Judah and to Jerusalem break up for you a fallow ground and so not among thorns circumcise yourselves to Hashem and take away the foreskins of your heart ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem lest my fury go forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings declare ye in Judah and publish in Jerusalem and say blow ye the horn in the land cry aloud and say assemble yourselves and let us go into the fortified cities set up a standard towards Zion put yourselves under covered stay not for I will bring evil from the north and a great destruction a lion is gone up from his thicket and a destroyer of nations is set out gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate that thy cities be laid waste without inhabitant for this gird you with sackcloth lament and wail for the fierce anger of Hashem is not turned back from us and it shall come to pass at that day saith Hashem that the heart of the king shall fail and the heart of the princes and the priests shall be astonished and the prophets shall wonder then said I O Lord God surely thou hast greatly deceived this people and Jerusalem saying ye shall have peace. Whereas the sword reach it unto the soul at that time shall it be said of this people and of Jerusalem a hot wind of the high hills in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people not to fan nor to cleanse a wind too strong for this shall come for me now will I also utter judgments against them behold he cometh up as clouds and his chariots are as the whirlwind his horses are swifter than eagles woe unto us for we are undone O Jerusalem wash thy heart from wickedness that thou mayest be saved how long shall thy baleful thoughts lodge within thee for hark one declareth from Dan and announceth calamity from the hills of Ephraim make ye mention to the nations behold publish concerning Jerusalem watchers come from a far country and give out their voice against the cities of Judah as keepers of a field are they against her roundabout because she hath been rebellious against me saith Hashem thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee this is thy wickedness yet it is bitter yet it reacheth unto thy heart my bowels my bowels I writhe in pain the chambers of my heart my heart moaneth within me I cannot hold my peace because thou hast heard O oh my soul the sound of the horn the alarm of war destruction followeth upon destruction for the whole land is spoiled suddenly are my tents spoiled my curtains in a moment how long shall I see the standard shall I hear the sound of the horn for my people is foolish they know me not they are Sodish children and they have no understanding they are wise to do evil but to do good they have no knowledge I beheld the earth and lo it was waste and void and the heavens and they had no light I beheld the mountains and lo they trembled and all the hills moved to and fro I beheld and lo there was no man and all the birds of the heavens were fled I beheld and lo the fruitful field was a wilderness and all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of Hashem and before his fierce anger for thus saith Hashem the whole land shall be desolate yet will I not make a full end for this shall the earth mourn and the heavens above be black because I have spoken it I have purposed it and I have not repented neither will I turn back from it for the noise of the horsemen and bowmen the whole city fleet they go into the thickets and climb up upon the rocks every city is forsaken and not a man dwelleth therein and thou that art spoiled what doest thou that thou clothest thyself with scarlet that thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold that thou enlargest thine eyes with paint in vain dost thou make thyself fair thy lovers despise thee they seek thy life for I have heard a voice as of a woman in travail the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child the voice of the daughter of Zion that gaspeth for breath that spreadeth her hands woe is me now for my soul fainteth before the murderers Jeremiah chapter run yet to and fro through the streets of Jerusalem and see now and know and seek in the broad places thereof if ye can find a man if there be any that doth justly that seek truth and I will pardon her and though they say as Hashem liveth surely they swear falsely O Hashem are not thine eyes upon truth thou hast stricken them but they were not affected thou hast consumed them but they have refused to receive correction they have made their faces harder than a rock they have refused to return and I said Surely these are poor they are foolish for they know not the way of Hashem nor the ordinance of their God I will get me unto the great men and will speak unto them for they know the way of Hashem and the ordinance of their God but these had altogether broken the yoke and burst the bands wherefore a lion out of the forest doth slay them a wolf of the deserts doth spoil them a leopard watcheth over their cities every one that goeth out thence is torn in pieces because their transgressions are many their backslidings are increased wherefore should I pardon thee the children have forsaken me and sworn by no gods and when I had fed them to the full they committed adultery and assembled themselves in troops at the harlots houses they are become as well fed horses lusty stallions every one nay it after his neighbor's wife shall I not punish for these things saith Hashem and shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this go ye up into her rose and destroy but make 
not a full end take away her shoots for they are not Hashem's for the house of Israel and the house of Judah have dealt very treacherously against me saith Hashem they have belied Hashem and said it is not he neither shall evil come upon us neither shall we see sword nor famine and the prophets shall become wind and the word is not in them thus be it done unto them wherefore thus saith Hashem the God of hosts because yes speak this word behold I will make my words in thy mouth fire and this people would and it shall devour them lo I will bring a nation upon you from far O house of Israel saith Hashem it is an enduring nation it is an ancient nation a nation whose language thou knowest not neither understandest what they say their quiver is an open sepulchre they are almighty men and they shall eat up thy harvest and thy bread they shall eat up thy sons and thy daughters they shall eat up thy flocks and thy herds they shall eat up thy vines and thy fig trees they shall batter thy fortified cities wherein thou trusteth with the sword but even in those days saith Hashem I will not make a full end with you and it shall come to pass when ye shall say wherefore hath Hashem our God done all these things unto us then shalt thou say unto them like as ye have forsaken me and served strange gods in your land so shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours declare ye this in the house of Jacob and announce it in Judah saying hear now this O foolish people and without understanding that have eyes and see not that have ears and hear not fear ye not me saith Hashem will ye not tremble at my presence who have placed the sand for the bound of the sea an everlasting ordinance which it cannot pass and though the waves thereof toss themselves yet can they not prevail though they roar yet can they not pass over it but this people hath a revolting and a rebellious heart they are revolted and gone neither say they in their heart let us now Fear Hashem our God that giveth the former rain and the latter in due season that keepeth for us the appointed weeks of the harvest your iniquities have turned away these things and your sins have withhold and good from you for among my people are found wicked men they pry as fowlers lie in wait they set a trap they catch men as a cage is full of birds so are their houses full of deceit therefore they are become great and waxen rich they are waxen fat they are become sleek yea they overpass in deeds of wickedness they plead not the cause the cause of the fatherless that they might make it to prosper and the right of the needy do they not judge shall I not punish for these things saith Hashem shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this an appalling and horrible thing is come to pass in the land the prophets prophesy in the service of falsehood and the priests bear rule at their beck and my people love to have it so what then will ye do in the end thereof Jeremiah chapter put yourselves under covered ye children of Benjamin away from the midst of Jerusalem and blow the horn into Koah and set up a signal on Beth Jerum for evil looped forth from the north and a great destruction the comely and delicate one the daughter of Zion will I cut off shepherds with their flocks come unto her they pitch their tents against her round about they feed bear every one what is nigh at hand prepare ye war against her arise and let us go up at noon woe unto us for the day declineth for the shadows of the evening are stretched out arise and let us go up by night and let us destroy her palaces for thus hath Hashem of hosts said hew ye down her trees and cast up a mound against Jerusalem this is the city to be punished everywhere there is oppression in the midst of her as a cistern welleth with her waters so she welleth with her wickedness violence and spoil is heard in her before me continually is sickness and wounds be thou Corrected O Jerusalem lest my soul be alienated from thee lest I make thee desolate a land not inhabited thus saith Hashem of hosts they shall thoroughly glean as a vine the remnant of Israel turn again thy hand as a grape gatherer upon the shoots to whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear behold their ear is dull and they cannot attend behold the word of Hashem is become unto them a reproach they have no delight in it therefore I am full of the fury of Hashem I am weary withholding in pour it out upon the babes in the street and upon the assembly of young men together for even the husband with the wife shall be taken the aged with him that is full of days and their houses shall be turned unto others their fields and their wives together for I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land saith Hashem for from the least of them even unto the greatest of them every one is greedy for gain and from the prophet even unto the priest every one dealeth falsely they have healed also the hurt of my people lightly saying peace peace when there is no peace they shall be put to shame because they have committed abomination yet they are not at all ashamed neither know they how to blush therefore they shall fall among them that fall at the time that I punish them they shall stumble saith Hashem thus saith Hashem stand yet in the ways and see and ask for the old paths where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls but they said we will not walk therein and I set watchmen over you attend to the sound of the horn but they said we will not attend therefore hear ye nations and know O congregation what is against them here O earth behold I will bring evil upon this people even the fruit of their thoughts because they have not attended unto my words and as for my teaching they have rejected it to what purpose is to me the frank incense that cometh from Sheba and the sweet cane from A. Far country your burnt offerings are not acceptable nor your sacrifices pleasing unto me therefore thus saith Hashem behold I will lay stumbling blocks before this people and the fathers and the sons together shall stumble against them the neighbor and his friend and they shall perish thus saith Hashem behold a people cometh from the north country and a great nation shall be roused from the uttermost parts of the earth they lay hold on bow and spear they are cruel and have no compassion. Their voice is like the roaring sea and they ride upon horses set in array as a man for war against the O daughter of Zion we have heard the fame thereof our hands wax feeble anguish hath taken hold of us and pain as of a woman in travail go not forth into the field nor walk by the way for there is the sword of the enemy and terror on every side O daughter of my people gird thee with sackcloth and wallow thyself in ashes make thee mourning as for an only son most bitter lamentation for.
The spoiler shall suddenly come upon us I have made thee a tower and a fortress among my people that thou mayest know and try their way they are all grievous revolters going about with slanders they are brass and iron they all of them deal corruptly the bellows blow fiercely the lead is consumed of the fire in vain doth the founder refine for the wicked are not separated refuse silver shall men call them because Hashem hath rejected them Jeremiah chapter the word that came to Jeremiah from Hashem saying stand in the gate of Hashem's house and proclaim there this word and say hear the word of Hashem all ye of Judah that enter in at these gates to worship Hashem thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel amend your ways and your doings and I will cause you to dwell in this place trust ye not in lying words saying the temple of Hashem the temple of Hashem the temple of Hashem are these nay but if ye thoroughly amend your ways and your doings if ye thoroughly execute justice between a man and his neighbor if ye oppress not the stranger the fatherless and the widow and shed not innocent blood in this place neither walk after other gods to your hurt then will I cause you to dwell in this place in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever behold ye trust in lying words that cannot profit will ye steal murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and offer unto Baal and walk after other gods whom ye have not known and Come and stand before me in this house whereupon my name is called and say we are delivered that ye may do all these abominations is this house whereupon my name is called become a den of robbers in your eyes behold I even I have seen it saith Hashem for go ye now unto my place which was in Shiloh where I caused my name to dwell at the first and see what I did to it for the wickedness of my people Israel and now because ye have done all these works saith Hashem and I spoke unto you. Speaking betimes and often but ye heard not and I called you but ye answered not therefore will I do unto the house whereupon my name is called wherein ye trust and unto the place which I gave to you and to your fathers as I have done to Shiloh and I will cast you out of my sight as I have cast out all your brethren even the whole seed of Ephraim therefore pray not thou for this people neither lift up cry nor prayer for them neither make intercession to me for I will not hear thee ceased. Thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem the children gather wood and the fathers kindle the fire and the women knead the dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods that they may provoke me do they provoke me saith Hashem do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces therefore thus saith the Lord God behold mine anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place upon man and upon beast and upon the trees of the field and upon the fruit of the land and it shall burn and shall not be quenched thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel at your burnt offerings unto your sacrifices and eat ye flesh for I spoke not unto your fathers nor commanded them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices but this thing I commanded them saying hearken unto my voice and I will be your God and ye shall be my people and walk yet in all the way that I command you that it may be well with you but they hear can not nor incline their ear but walked in their own counsels even in the stubbornness of their evil heart and went backward and not forward even since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt unto this day and though I have sent unto you all my servants the prophets sending them daily betimes and often yet they hear can not unto me nor incline their ear but made their neck stiff they did worse than their fathers and thou shalt speak all these words unto them but they will not hearken to thee thou shalt also call unto them but they will not answer thee therefore thou shalt say unto them this is the nation that hath not hearkened to the voice of Hashem their God nor received correction faithfulness is perished and is cut off from their mouth cut off thy hair and cast it away and take up a lamentation on the high hills for Hashem hath rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath for the children of Judah have done that which is evil in my sight saith Hashem they have set their detestable things in the house whereon my name is called to defile it and they have built the high places of Tophet which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire which I commanded not neither came it into my mind therefore behold the days come saith Hashem that it shall no more be called Tophet nor the valley of the son of Hinnom but the valley of slaughter for they shall bury in Tophet for lack of room and the carcasses of this people shall be food for the fowls of the heaven and for the beasts of the earth and none shall frighten them away then will I cause to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride for the land shall be desolate Jeremiah chapter at that time saith Hashem they shall bring out the bones of the kings of Judah and the bones of his princes and the bones of the priests and the bones of the prophets and the bones of the inhabitants of Jerusalem out of their graves and they shall spread them before the sun and the moon and all the host of heaven whom they have loved and whom they have served and after whom they have walked and whom they have sought and whom they have worshipped they shall not be gathered nor be buried they shall be for dung upon the face of the earth and death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue that remain of this evil family that remain in all the places whither I have driven them saith Hashem of hosts moreover thou shalt say unto them thus saith Hashem do men fall and not rise up again doth one turn away and not return why then is this people of Jerusalem slidden back by a perpetual backsliding they hold fast deceit they refuse to return I attended and listened but they spoke not aright no man Repenteth him of his wickedness saying what have I done every one turneth away in his course as a horse that rusheth headlong in the battle yet the stork in the heaven knoweth her appointed times and the turtle and the swallow and the crane observe the time of their coming but my people know not the ordinance of Hashem how do ye say we are wise and the law of Hashem is with us lo certainly in vain hath wrought the vain pen of the scribes the wise men are ashamed they are dismayed and 
Taken low they have rejected the word of Hashem and what wisdom is in them therefore will I give their wives unto others and their fields to them that shall possess them for from the least even unto the greatest every one is greedy for gain from the prophet even unto the priest every one dealeth falsely and they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people lightly saying peace peace when there is no peace they shall be put to shame because they have committed abomination yea they are not at all ashamed neither know they how to blush therefore shall they fall among them that fall in the time of their visitation they shall stumble Seth Hashem I will utterly consume them Seth Hashem there are no grapes on the vine nor figs on the fig tree and the leaf is faded and I gave them that which they transgress why do we sit still assemble yourselves and let us enter into the fortified cities and let us be cut off there for Hashem our God hath cut us off and given us water of gall to drink because we have sinned against Hashem we looked for peace but no good came and for a time of healing and behold terror the snorting of his horses is heard from Dan at the sound of the neighing of his strong ones the whole land trembleth for they are come and have devoured the land and all that is in it the city and those that dwell therein for behold I will send serpents basilisks among you which will not be charmed and they shall bite you Seth Hashem though I would take comfort against sorrow my heart is faint within me behold the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people from a land far off is not Hashem in Zion is not her king in her why have they provoked me with their graven images and with strange vanities the harvest is past the summer is ended and we are not saved for the hurt of the daughter of my people am I seized with anguish I am black appalment hath taken hold on me is there no bomb in Gilead is there no physician there why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered oh that my head were waters and mine eyes a fountain of tears that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people Jeremiah chapter oh that I were in the wilderness in a lodging place of wayfaring men that I might leave my people and go from them for they are all adulterers an assembly of treacherous men and they bend their tongue their bow of falsehood and they are grown mighty in the land but not for truth for they proceed from evil to evil and me they know not Seth Hashem take ye heed every one of his neighbor and trust ye not in any brother for every brother acteth subtly and every neighbor goeth about with slanders and they deceive every one his neighbor and truth they speak not they have taught their tongue to speak lies they weary themselves to commit iniquity thy habitation is in the midst of deceit through deceit they refuse to know me Seth Hashem therefore thus. Seth Hashem of hosts behold I will smelt them and try them for how else should I do because of the daughter of my people their tongue is a sharpened arrow it speaketh deceit one speaketh peaceably to his neighbor with his mouth but in his heart he layeth wait for him shall I not punish them for these things Seth Hashem shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this for the mountains will I take up a weeping and wailing and for the pastures of the wilderness a lamentation because they are burned up so that none passeth through and they hear not the voice of the cattle both the fowl of the heavens and the beast are fled and gone and I will make Jerusalem heaps a lair of jackals and I will make the cities of Judah a desolation without an inhabitant who is the wise man that he may understand this and who is he to whom the mouth of Hashem hath spoken that he may declare it wherefore is the land perished and laid waste like a wilderness so that none passeth through and Hashem saith because they have forsaken my law which I set before them and have not hearkened to my voice neither walked therein but have walked after the stubbornness of their own heart and after the Baalim which their fathers taught them therefore thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel behold I will feed them even this people with wormwood and give them water of gall to drink I will scatter them also among the nations whom neither they nor their fathers have known and I will send the sword after them till I have consumed them thus saith Hashem of hosts consider ye and call for the morning women that they may come and send for the wise women that they may come and let them make haste and take up a wailing for us that our eyes may run down with tears and our eyelids gush out with waters for a voice of wailing is heard out of Zion how are we undone we are greatly confounded because we have forsaken the land because our dwellings have cast us out ye hear the word of Hashem O ye women and let your ear receive the word of his mouth and teach your daughters wailing and every one her neighbor lamentation for death is come up into our windows it is entered into our palaces to cut off the children from the street and the young men from the broad places speak thus saith Hashem and the carcasses of men fall as dung upon the open field and as the handful after the harvestmen which none gathereth thus saith Hashem let not the wise man glory in his wisdom neither let the mighty man glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches but let him that glorieth glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me that I am Hashem who exercise mercy justice and righteousness in the earth for in these things I delight saith Hashem behold the days come saith Hashem that I will punish all them that are circumcised in their uncircumcision Egypt and Judah and Edom and the children of Ammon and Moab and all that have the corners of their hair pulled that dwell in the wilderness for all the nations are uncircumcised but all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart Jeremiah chapter here ye the word which Hashem speaketh unto you O house of Israel thus saith Hashem learn not the way of the nations and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the nations are dismayed at them for the customs of the peoples are vanity for it is but a tree which one cutteth out of the forest the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe they deck it with silver and with gold they fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not they are like a pillar in a garden of cucumbers and speak not they must needs be born because they cannot go be not afraid of them for they cannot do evil neither is it in them to do good there is none like unto thee O Hashem thou art great and thy name is great in might who would not fear thee O king of the nations for it befitteth thee for as much as among all the 
wise men of the nations and in all their royalty there is none like unto thee but they are altogether brutish and foolish the vanities by which they are instructed are but a stock silver beaten into plates which is brought from Tarshish and gold from Uphaz the work of the craftsmen and of the hands of the goldsmith blue and purple is their clothing they are all the work of skillful men but Hashem God is the true God he is the living God and the everlasting king at his wrath the earth. Trembleth and the nations are not able to abide his indignation thus shall ye say unto them the gods that have not made the heavens and the earth these shall perish from the earth and from under the heavens he that hath made the earth by his power that hath established the world by his wisdom and hath stretched out the heavens by his understanding at the sound of his giving a multitude of waters in the heavens when he causeth the vapours to ascend from the ends of the earth when he make lightnings with the rain and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasuries every man is proved to be brutish without knowledge every goldsmith is put to shame by the graven image his molten image is falsehood and there is no breath in them they are vanity a work of delusion in the time of their visitation they shall perish not like these is the portion of Jacob for he is the former of all things and Israel is the tribe of his inheritance Hashem of hosts is his name gather up thy Where's from the ground O thou that abidest in the siege for thus saith Hashem behold I will sling out the inhabitants of the land at this time and will distress them that they may feel it woe is me for my hurt my wound is grievous but I said this is but a sickness and I must bear it my tent is spoiled and all my cords are broken my children are gone forth of me and they are not there is none to stretch forth my tent any more and to set up my curtains for the shepherds are become brutish and have not inquired of Hashem therefore they have not prospered and all their flocks are scattered hark a report behold it cometh and a great commotion out of the north country to make the cities of Judah desolate a dwelling place of jackals O Hashem I know that man's way is not his own it is not in man to direct his steps as he walketh O Hashem correct me but in measure not in thine anger lest thou diminish me pour out thy wrath upon the nations that know thee not and upon the families that call not on thy name for they have devoured Jacob yea they have devoured him and consumed him and have laid waste his habitation Jeremiah chapter the word that came to Jeremiah from Hashem saying hear ye the words of this covenant and speak unto the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and say thou unto them thus saith Hashem the God of Israel cursed be the man that heareth not the words of this covenant which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt out of the iron furnace saying hearken to my voice and do them according to all which I command you so shall ye be my people and I will be your God that I may establish the oath which I swore unto your fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey as at this day then answered I and said Amen O Hashem and Hashem said unto me proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem saying hear ye the words of this covenant and do them for I earnestly forewarned your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt even unto this day forewarning betimes and often saying hearken to my voice yet they hearkened not nor inclined their ear but walked every one in the stubbornness of their evil heart therefore I brought upon them all the words of this covenant which I commanded them to do but they did them not and Hashem said unto me a conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem they are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers who refused to hear my words and they are gone after other gods to serve them the house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant which I made with their fathers therefore thus saith Hashem behold I will bring evil upon them which they shall not be able to escape and though they shall cry unto me I will not hearken unto them then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble for according to the number of thy cities are thy gods O Judah and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have ye set up altars to the shameful thing even altars to offer unto Baal therefore pray not thou for this people neither lift up cry nor prayer for them for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble what hath my beloved to do in my house seeing she hath wrought lewdness with many and the hallowed flesh is passed from thee when thou doest evil then thou rejoicest Hashem called thy name a leafy olive tree fair with goodly fruit with the noise of a great tumult he hath kindled fire upon it and the branches of it are broken for Hashem of hosts that planted thee hath pronounced evil against thee because of the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah which they have wrought for themselves in provoking me by offering unto Baal and Hashem gave me knowledge of it and I knew it then thou showedst me their doings but I was like a docile lamb that is led to the slaughter and I knew not that they had devised devices against me let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof and let us cut him off from the land of the living that his name may be no more remembered but O Hashem of hosts that judgest righteously that treest the reins and the heart let me see thy vengeance on them. For unto thee have I revealed my cause therefore thus saith Hashem concerning the men of Anad Hoth that seek thy life saying thou shalt not prophesy in the name of Hashem that thou die not by our hand therefore thus saith Hashem of hosts behold I will punish them the young men shall die by the sword their sons and their daughters shall die by famine and there shall be no remnant unto them for I will bring evil upon the men of Anad Hoth even the year of their visitation Jeremiah chapter. Right wouldest thou be O Hashem were I to contend with thee yet will I reason with thee wherefore doth the way of the wicked prosper wherefore are all they secure that deal very treacherously thou hast planted them yea they have taken root they grow yea they bring forth fruit thou art near in their mouth and far from their reins but thou O Hashem knowest me thou seest me and triest my heart toward thee pull them out like sheep for the slaughter and prepare them for the day of slaughter.
How long shall the land mourn and the herbs of the whole field wither for the wickedness of them that dwell therein the beasts are consumed and the birds because they said he seeth not our end if thou hast run with the footmen and they have wearied thee then how canst thou contend with horses and though in a land of peace thou art secure yet how wilt thou do in the thickets of the Jordan for even thy brethren and the house of thy father even they have dealt treacherously with thee even. They have cried aloud after thee believe them not though they speak fair words unto thee I have forsaken my house I have cast off my heritage I have given the dearly beloved of my soul into the hand of her enemies my heritage is become unto me as a lion in the forest she hath uttered her voice against me therefore have I hated her is my heritage unto me as a speckled bird of prey are the birds of prey against her round about come yet assemble all the beasts of the field bring them to devour many shepherds have destroyed my vineyard they have trodden my portion underfoot they have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness they have made it a desolation it mourneth unto me being desolate the whole land is made desolate because no man layeth it to heart upon all the high hills in the wilderness spoilers are come for the sword of Hashem devoureth from the one end of the land even to the other end of the land no flesh hath peace they have sown wheat and have reaped thorns they have put themselves to pain they profit not be ye then ashamed of your increase because of the fierce anger of Hashem thus saith Hashem as for all mine evil neighbors that touch the inheritance which I have caused my people Israel to inherit behold I will pluck them up from off their land and will pluck up the house of Judah from among them and it shall come to pass after that I have plucked them up I will again have compassion on them and I will bring them back every man to his heritage and every man to his land and it shall come to pass if they will diligently learn the ways of my people to swear by my name as Hashem liveth even as they taught my people to swear by Baal then shall they be built up in the midst of my people but if they will not hearken then will I pluck up that nation plucking up and destroying it saith Hashem Jeremiah chapter thus said Hashem unto me go and get thee a linen girdle and put it upon thy loins and put it not in water. So I got a girdle according to the word of Hashem and put it upon my loins and the word of Hashem came unto me the second time saying take the girdle that thou hast gotten which is upon thy loins and arise go to Parath and hide it there in a cleft of the rock so I went and hid it in Parath as Hashem commanded me and it came to pass after many days that Hashem said unto me arise go to Parath and take the girdle from thence which I commanded thee to hide there then I went to Parath and digged and took the girdle from the place where I had hid it and behold the girdle was marred it was profitable for nothing then the word of Hashem came unto me saying thus saith Hashem after this manner will I mar the pride of Judah and the great pride of Jerusalem even this evil people that refuse to hear my words that walk in the stubbornness of their heart and are gone after other gods to serve them and to worship them that it be as this girdle which is profitable for nothing. For as the girdle cleaveth to the loins of a man so have I caused to cleave unto me the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah saith Hashem that they might be unto me for a people and for a name and for a praise and for a glory but they would not hearken moreover thou shalt speak unto them this word thus saith Hashem the God of Israel every bottle is filled with wine and when they shall say unto thee do we not know that every bottle is filled with wine then shalt thou say. Unto them thus saith Hashem behold I will fill all the inhabitants of this land even the kings that sit upon David's throne and the priests and the prophets and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with drunkenness and I will dash them one against another even the fathers and the sons together saith Hashem I will not pity nor spare nor have compassion that I should not destroy them here yet and give ear be not proud for Hashem hath spoken give glory to Hashem your God before it grow dark and before your feet stumble upon the mountains of twilight and while ye look for light he turn it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness but if ye will not hear it my soul shall weep in secret for your pride and mine eyes shall weep sore and run down with tears because Hashem's flock is carried away captive say thou unto the king and to the queen mother sit ye down low for your head tires are come down even your beautiful crown the cities of the south are shut up and there is none to open them Judah is carried away captive all of it it is wholly carried away captive lift up your eyes and behold them that come from the north where is the flock that was given thee thy beautiful flock what wilt thou say when he shall set the friends over thee as head whom thou thyself hast trained against thee shall not pangs take hold of thee as of a woman in travail and if thou say in thy heart wherefore are these things befallen me for the greatness of thine iniquity are thy skirts uncovered and thy heels suffer violence can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil therefore will I scatter them as the stubble that passeth away by the wind of the wilderness this is thy lot the portion measured unto thee from me saith Hashem because thou hast forgotten me and trusted in falsehood therefore will I also uncover thy skirts upon thy face and thy shame shall appear thine adulteries and thy Nayings the lewdness of thy harlotry on the hills in the field have I seen thy detestable acts woe unto thee O Jerusalem thou wilt not be made clean when shall it ever be Jeremiah chapter the word of Hashem that came to Jeremiah concerning the droughts Judah mourneth and the gates thereof languish they bow down in black unto the ground and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up and their nobles send their lads for water they come to the pits and find no water their vessels return empty. They are ashamed and confounded and cover their heads because of the ground which is cracked for there hath been no rain in the land the plowmen are ashamed they cover their heads yet the hind also in the field calveth and forsake her young because there is no grass and the wild asses stand on the high hills they gasp for air like jackals their eyes fail because there is no herbage though our iniquities testify against us O Hashem work thou for thy name's sake for our backslidings are.
Many we have sinned against thee O thou hope of Israel the Saviour thereof in time of trouble why shouldest thou be as a stranger in the land and as a wayfaring man that turneth aside to tarry for a night why shouldest thou be as a man overcome as a mighty man that cannot save yet thou O Hashem art in the midst of us and thy name is called upon us leave us not thus saith Hashem unto this people even so have they loved to wander they have not refrained their feet therefore Hashem doth not. Except them now will he remember their iniquity and punish their sins and Hashem said unto me pray not for this people for their good when they fast I will not hear their cry and when they offer burnt offering and meal offering I will not accept them but I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence then said I O Lord God behold the prophets say unto them ye shall not see the sword neither shall ye have famine but I will give you assured peace in this place. Then Hashem said unto me the prophets prophesy lies in my name I sent them not neither have I commanded them neither spoke I unto them they prophesy unto you a lying vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their own heart therefore thus saith Hashem as for the prophets that prophesy in my name and I sent them not yet they say sword and famine shall not be in this land by sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed and the people to whom they prophesy shall be cast out in the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and the sword and they shall have none to bury them them their wives nor their sons nor their daughters for I will pour their evil upon them and thou shalt say this word unto them let mine eyes run down with tears night and day and let them not cease for the virgin daughter of my people is broken with a great breach with a very grievous blow if I go forth into the field then behold the slain with the sword and if I enter into the City then behold them that are sick with famine for both the prophet and the priest are gone about to a land and knew it not hast thou utterly rejected Judah hath thy soul loathed Zion why hast thou smitten us and there is no healing for us we looked for peace but no good came and for a time of healing and behold terror we acknowledge O Hashem our wickedness even the iniquity of our fathers for we have sinned against thee do not contemn us for thy name's sake do not deceive anew the throne. Of thy glory remember break not thy covenant with us are there any among the vanities of the nations that can cause rain or can the heavens give showers art not thou he O Hashem our God and do we not wait for thee for thou hast made all these things Jeremiah chapter then said Hashem unto me though Moses and Samuel stood before me yet my mind could not be toward this people cast them out of my sight and let them go forth and it shall come to pass when they say unto thee whither shall we go forth then thou shalt tell them thus saith Hashem such as are for death to death and such as are for the sword to the sword and such as are for the famine to the famine and such as are for captivity to captivity and I will appoint over them four kinds saith Hashem the sword to slay and the dogs to drag and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy and I will cause them to be a horror among all the kingdoms of the earth because of Manasseh the son of Hezekiah king of Judah for that which he did in Jerusalem for who shall have pity upon thee O Jerusalem or who shall bemoan thee or who shall turn aside to ask of thy welfare thou hast cast me off saith Hashem thou art gone backward therefore do I stretch out my hand against thee and destroy thee I am weary with repenting and I fan them with a fan in the gates of the land I bereave them of children I destroy my people since they return not from their ways their widows are increased too. Me above the sand of the seas I bring upon them against the mother a chosen one even a spoiler at noonday I cause anguish and terrors to fall upon her suddenly she that hath borne seven languisheth her spirit droopeth her son is gone down while it was yet day she is ashamed and confounded and the residue of them will I deliver to the sword before their enemies saith Hashem woe is me my mother that thou hast borne me a man of strife and a man of contention to the whole earth I have not lent. Neither have men lent to me yet every one of them doth curse me Hashem said verily I will release thee for good verily I will cause the enemy to make supplication unto thee in the time of evil and in the time of affliction can iron break iron from the north and brass thy substance and thy treasures will I give for a spoil without price and that for all thy sins even in all thy borders and I will make thee to pass with thine enemies into a land which thou knowest not for a fire is kindled in my nostril which shall burn upon you thou O Hashem knowest remember me and think of me and avenge me of my persecutors take me not away because of thy long suffering know that for thy sake I have suffered taunts thy words were found and I did eat them and thy words were unto me a joy and the rejoicing of my heart because thy name was called on me O Hashem God of hosts I sat not in the assembly of them that make merry nor rejoiced I sat alone because of thy hand for thou hast filled me with indignation why is my pain perpetual and my wound incurable so that it refused to be healed wilt thou indeed be unto me as a deceitful brook as waters that fail therefore thus saith Hashem if thou return and I bring thee back thou shalt stand before me and if thou bring forth the precious out of the vial thou shalt be as my mouth let them return unto thee but thou shalt not return unto them and I will make thee unto this people a fortified brazen wall and they shall fight against thee but they shall not prevail against thee for I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee saith Hashem and I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible Jeremiah chapter the word of Hashem came also unto me saying thou shalt not take thee a wife neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place for thus saith Hashem concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place and concerning their mothers that bore them and concerning their fathers that begot them in this land they shall die of grievous deaths they shall not be lamented neither shall they be buried they shall be as dung upon the face of the ground and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth for thus saith Hashem enter not into the house of mourning neither go to lament neither bemoan them for I have 
Taken away my peace from this people saith Hashem even mercy and compassion both the great and the small shall die in this land they shall not be buried neither shall men lament for them nor cut themselves nor make themselves bald for them neither shall men break bread for them in mourning to comfort them for the dead neither shall men give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or for their mother and thou shalt not go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and to drink for thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel behold I will cause to cease out of this place before your eyes and in your days the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride and it shall come to pass when thou shalt tell this people all these words and they shall say unto thee wherefore hath Hashem pronounced all this great evil against us or what is our iniquity or what is our sin that we have committed against Hashem our God then shalt thou say unto them because your fathers have forsaken me saith Hashem and have walked after other gods and have served them and have worshipped them and have forsaken me and have not kept my law and ye have done worse than your fathers for behold ye walk every one after the stubbornness of his evil heart so that ye hearken not unto me therefore will I cast you out of this land into a land that ye have not known neither ye nor your fathers and there shall ye serve other God's day and night for as much as I will show you no favor therefore behold the days come saith Hashem that it shall no more be said as Hashem liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt but as Hashem liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the countries whither he had driven them and I will bring them back into their land that I gave unto their fathers behold I will send for many fishers saith Hashem and they shall fish them and afterward I will send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the clefts of the rocks for mine eyes are upon all their ways they are not hid from my face neither is their iniquity concealed from mine eyes and first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have profaned my land they have filled mine inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable things and their abominations O Hashem my strength and my stronghold and my refuge in the day of affliction unto thee shall the nations come from the ends of the earth and shall say our fathers have inherited not but lies vanity and things wherein there is no profit shall a man make unto himself gods and they are no gods therefore behold I will cause them to know this once will I cause them to know my hand and my might and they shall know that my name is Hashem Jeremiah chapter the sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond it is graven upon the tablet of their heart and upon the horns of your altars like the symbols of their sons are their altars and their asherim are by the leafy trees upon the high hills O thou that sittest upon the mountain in the field I will give thy substance and all thy treasures for a spoil and thy high places because of sin throughout all thy borders and thou even of thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not for ye have kindled a fire in my nostril which shall burn for ever thus saith Hashem cursed is the man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm and whose heart departeth from Hashem for he shall be like a tamarisk in the desert and shall not see when good cometh but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness a salt land and not inhabited blessed is the man that trusteth in Hashem and whose trust Hashem is for he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out its roots by the river and shall not see when heat cometh but its foliage shall be luxuriant and shall not be anxious in the year of drought neither shall cease from yielding fruit the heart is deceitful above all things and it is exceeding weak who can know it I Hashem search the heart I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways according to the fruit of his doings as the partridge that broodeth over young which she hath not brought forth so is he that getteth riches and not by right in the midst of his days he shall leave them and at his end he shall be a fool thou throne of glory on high from the beginning thou place of our sanctuary thou hope of Israel Hashem all that forsake thee shall be ashamed they that depart from thee shall be written in the earth because they have forsaken Hashem the fountain of living waters heal me O Hashem and I shall be healed save me and I shall be saved for thou art my praise behold they say unto me where is the word of Hashem let it come now as for me I have not hastened from being a shepherd after thee neither have I desired the woeful day thou knowest it that which came out of my lips was manifest before thee be not a ruin unto me thou art my refuge in the day of evil let them be ashamed that persecute me but let not me be ashamed let them be dismayed but let not me be dismayed bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with Double destruction thus said Hashem unto me go and stand in the gate of the children of the people whereby the kings of Judah come in and by which they go out and in all the gates of Jerusalem and say unto them hear ye the word of Hashem ye kings of Judah and all Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem that enter in by these gates thus saith Hashem take heed for the sake of your souls and bear no burden on the Sabbath day nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem neither carry forth a burden out of your houses on the Sabbath day neither do ye any work but hallow ye the Sabbath day as I commanded your fathers but they hear can not neither incline their ear but made their neck stiff that they might not hear nor receive instruction and it shall come to pass if ye diligently hearken unto me saith Hashem to bring in no burden through the gates of the city on the Sabbath day but to hallow the Sabbath day to do no work therein then shall there enter in by the gates of this city kings and princes sitting upon the throne of David riding in chariots and on horses they and their princes the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and the city shall be inhabited forever and they shall come from the cities of Judah and from the places round about Jerusalem and from the land of Benjamin and from the lowland and from the mountains and from the south bringing burnt offerings and sacrifices and meal offerings and frankincense and bringing sacrifices of 
thanksgiving unto the house of Hashem but if ye will not hearken unto me to hallow the Sabbath day and not to bear a burden and enter in at the gates of Jerusalem on the Sabbath day then will I kindle a fire in the gates thereof and it shall devour the palaces of Jerusalem and it shall not be quenched Jeremiah chapter the word which came to Jeremiah from Hashem saying arise and go down to the potter's house and there I will cause thee to hear my words then I went down to the potter's house and behold he was at his work on the wheels and whensoever the vessel that he made of the clay was marred in the hand of the potter he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make it then the word of Hashem came to me saying O house of Israel cannot I do with you as this potter saith Hashem behold as the clay in the potter's hand so are ye in my hand O house of Israel at one instant I may speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to break down and to destroy it but if that nation turn from their evil because of which I have spoken against it I repent of the evil that I thought to do unto it and at one instant I may speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant it but if it do evil in my sight that it hearken not to my voice then I repent of the good wherewith I said I would benefit it now therefore do thou speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem saying thus. Seth Hashem behold I frame evil against you and devise a device against you return ye now every one from his evil way and amend your ways and your doings but they say there is no hope but we will walk after our own devices and we will do every one after the stubbornness of his evil heart therefore thus Seth Hashem ask ye now among the nations who hath heard such things the virgin of Israel hath done a very horrible thing doth the snow of Lebanon fail from the rock of the field or are the strange cold flowing waters plucked up for my people hath forgotten me they offer unto vanity and they have been made to stumble in their ways in the ancient paths to walk in bypaths in a way not cast up to make their land an astonishment and a perpetual hissing every one that passeth thereby shall be astonished and shake his head I will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy I will look upon their back and not their face in the day of their calamity then said they come. And let us devise devices against Jeremiah for instruction shall not perish from the priest nor counsel from the wise nor the word from the prophet come and let us smite him with the tongue and let us not give heed to any of his words give heed to me O Hashem and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me shall evil be recompensed for good for they have digged a pit for my soul remember how I stood before thee to speak good for them to turn away thy wrath from them therefore. Deliver up their children to the famine and hurl them to the power of the sword and let their wives be bereaved of their children and widows and let their men be slain of death and their young men smitten of the sword in battle let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them for they have digged a pit to take me and hid snares for my feet yet Hashem thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me forgive not their iniquity neither blot out their sin from thy sight but let them be made to stumble before thee deal thou with them in the time of thine anger Jeremiah chapter thus said Hashem go and get a potter's earthen bottle and take of the elders of the people and of the elders of the priests and go forth unto the valley of the son of Hinnom which is by the entry of the gate Harseth and proclaim there the words that I shall tell thee and say hear ye the word of Hashem O kings of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel behold I will bring evil upon this place which whosoever heareth his ears shall tingle because they have forsaken me and have estranged this place and have offered in it unto other gods whom neither they nor their fathers have known nor the kings of Judah and have filled this place with the blood of innocents and have built the high places of Baal to burn their sons in the fire for burnt offerings unto Baal which I commanded not nor spoke it neither came it. Into my mind therefore behold the days come saith Hashem that this place shall no more be called Tophet nor the valley of the son of Hinnom but the valley of slaughter and I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place and I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies and by the hand of them that seek their life and their carcasses will I give to be food for the fowls of the heaven and for the beasts of the earth and I will make the city an astonishment. And a hissing every one that passeth thereby shall be astonished and hiss because of all the plagues thereof and I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters and they shall eat every one the flesh of his friend in the siege and in the straightness wherewith their enemies and they that seek their life shall straighten them then shalt thou break the bottle in the sight of the men that go with thee and shalt say unto them thus saith Hashem of hosts even so. Will I break this people and the city as one break the potter's vessel that cannot be made whole again and they shall bury in Tophet for want of room to bury thus will I do unto this place saith Hashem and to the inhabitants thereof even making the city as Tophet and the houses of Jerusalem and the houses of the kings of Judah which are defiled shall be as the place of Tophet even all the houses upon whose roofs they have offered unto all the host of heaven and have poured out drink. Offerings unto other gods then came Jeremiah from Tophet whither Hashem had sent him to prophesy and he stood in the court of Hashem's house and said to all the people thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel behold I will bring upon the city and upon all her towns all the evil that I have pronounced against it because they have made their next dip that they might not hear my words Jeremiah chapter now Pashur the son of Immer the priest who was chief officer in the house of Hashem heard Jeremiah prophesying these things then Pashur smote Jeremiah the prophet and put him in the stocks that were in the upper gate of Benjamin which was in the house of Hashem and it came to pass on the morrow that Pashur brought forth Jeremiah out of the stocks then said Jeremiah unto him the Hashem hath not called thy name Pashur but Magormus Sabib for thus saith Hashem behold I will make thee a terror to thyself and to all thy friends and they shall fall by the sword of 
their enemies and thine eyes shall behold it and I will give all Judah into the hand of the king of Babylon and he shall carry them captive to Babylon and shall slay them with the sword moreover I will give all the store of the city and all the gains thereof and all the wealth thereof yet all the treasures of the kings of Judah will I give into the hand of their enemies who shall spoil them and take them and carry them to Babylon and thou Pashur and all that dwell in thy house shall go into captivity and thou shalt come to Babylon and there thou shalt die and there shalt thou be buried thou and all thy friends to whom thou hast prophesied falsely O Hashem thou hast enticed me and I was enticed thou hast overcome me and hast prevailed I am become a laughing stock all the day every one mocketh me for as often as I speak I cry out I cry violence and spoil because the word of Hashem is made a reproach unto me and a derision all the day and if I say I will not make mention of him nor speak any more in his name then there is in my heart as it were a burning fire shut up in my bones and I weary myself to hold it in but cannot for I have heard the whispering of many terror on every side denounce and we will denounce him even of all my familiar friends them that watch for my halting peradventure he will be enticed and we shall prevail against him and we shall take our revenge on him but Hashem is with me as a mighty warrior therefore my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail they shall be greatly ashamed because they have not prospered even with an everlasting confusion which shall never be forgotten but O Hashem of hosts that triest the righteous that cease the reins and the heart let me see thy vengeance on them for unto thee have I revealed my cause sing unto Hashem praise ye Hashem for he hath delivered the soul of the needy from the hand of evildoers cursed be the day wherein I was born the day wherein my mother bore me let it not be blessed cursed be the man who brought tidings to my father saying a man child is born unto thee making him very glad and let that man be as the cities which Hashem overthrew and repented not and let him hear a cry in the morning and an alarm at noontide because he slew me not from the womb and so my mother would have been my grave and her womb always great wherefore came I forth out of the womb to see labor and sorrow that my days should be consumed in shame. Jeremiah chapter the word which came unto Jeremiah from Hashem when King Zedekiah sent unto him Pashur the son of Malchiah and Zephaniah the son of Masiah the priest saying inquire I pray thee of Hashem for us for Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon make war against us peradventure Hashem will deal with us according to all his wondrous works that he may go up from us then said Jeremiah unto them thus shall ye say to Zedekiah thus saith Hashem the God of Israel behold I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands wherewith ye fight against the king of Babylon and against the Chaldeans that besiege you without the walls and I will gather them into the midst of the city and I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand and with a strong arm even in anger and in fury and in great wrath and I will smite the inhabitants of the city both man and beast they shall die of a great pestilence and afterward saith Hashem I will deliver Zedekiah king of Judah and his servants and the people and such as are left in the city from the pestilence from the sword and from the famine into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon and into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of those that seek their life and he shall smite them with the edge of the sword he shall not spare them neither have pity nor have compassion and unto this people thou shalt say thus saith Hashem behold I set before you the way of life and the way of death he that abide in the city shall die by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence but he that goeth out and falleth away to the Chaldeans that besiege you he shall live and his life shall be unto him for a prey for I have set my face against the city for evil and not for good saith Hashem it shall be given into the hand of the king of Babylon and he shall burn it with fire and unto the house of the king of Judah hear ye the word of Hashem O house of David thus saith Hashem execute justice in the morning and deliver the spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor lest my fury go forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings behold I am against thee O inhabitant of the valley and rock of the plain saith Hashem ye that say who shall come down against us or who shall enter into our habitations and I will punish you according to the fruit of your doings saith Hashem and I will kindle a fire in her forest and it shall devour all that is Round about her Jeremiah chapter thus said Hashem go down to the house of the king of Judah and speak there this word and say hear the word of Hashem O king of Judah that sittest upon the throne of David thou and thy servants and thy people that enter in by these gates thus saith Hashem execute ye justice and righteousness and deliver the spoiled out of the hand of the oppressor and do no wrong do no violence to the stranger the fatherless nor the widow neither shed innocent blood in this place for if ye do this thing indeed then shall there enter in by the gates of this house king sitting upon the throne of David riding in chariots and on horses he and his servants and his people but if ye will not hear these words I swear by myself saith Hashem that this house shall become a desolation for thus saith Hashem concerning the house of the king of Judah thou art Gilead unto me the head of Lebanon yet surely I will make thee a wilderness cities which are not inhabited. And I will prepare destroyers against thee every one with his weapons and they shall cut down thy choice cedars and cast them into the fire and many nations shall pass by the city and they shall say every man to his neighbor wherefore hath Hashem done thus unto this great city then they shall answer because they forsook the covenant of Hashem their God and worshipped other gods and served them weep ye not for the dead neither bemoan him but weep sore for him that goeth away for he.
shall return no more nor see his native country for thus saith Hashem touching Shalom the son of Josiah king of Judah who reigned instead of Josiah his father and who went forth out of this place he shall not return thither any more but in the place whither they have led him captive there shall he die and he shall see this land no more woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness and his chambers by injustice that useth his neighbor's service without wages and giveth him not. His hire that saith I will build me a white house and spacious chambers and cutteth him out windows and it is sealed with cedar and painted with vermilion shalt thou reign because thou strivest to excel in cedar did not thy father eat and drink and do justice and righteousness then it was well with him he judged the cause of the poor and needy then it was well is not this to know me saith Hashem but thine eyes and thy heart are not but for thy covetousness and for shedding innocent blood and for oppression and for violence to do it therefore thus saith Hashem concerning Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah they shall not lament for him ah my brother or ah sister they shall not lament for him ah lord or ah his glory he shall be buried with the burial of an astron and cast forth beyond the gates of Jerusalem go up to Lebanon and cry and lift up thy voice in Bashan and cry from Abarim for all thy lovers are destroyed I spoke unto thee in thy prosperity but thou saidst I will not hear this hath been thy manner from thy youth that thou hearkenst not to my voice the wind shall feed upon all thy shepherds and thy lovers shall go into captivity surely then shalt thou be ashamed and confounded for all thy wickedness O inhabitant of Lebanon that art nestled in the cedars how gracious shalt thou be when pangs come upon thee the pain as of a woman in travail as I live saith Hashem though Konia the son of Jehoiakim king of Judah were the signet upon my right hand yet would I pluck thee thence and I will give thee into the hand of them that seek thy life and into the hand of them of whom thou art afraid even into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon and into the hand of the Chaldeans and I will cast thee out and thy mother that bore thee into another country where ye were not born and there shall ye die but to the land where unto they long to return thither shall they not return is this man Konia a despised broken image is he a vessel wherein is no pleasure wherefore are they cast out he and his seed and are cast into the land which they know not o land 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 hear the word of Hashem thus saith Hashem right yea this man childless a man that shall not prosper in his days for no man of his seed shall prosper sitting upon the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah Jeremiah chapter woe unto the shepherds that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture saith Hashem Therefore thus saith Hashem the God of Israel against the shepherds that feed my people ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not taken care of them behold I will visit upon you the evil of your doings saith Hashem and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries whither I have driven them and will bring them back to their folds and they shall be fruitful and multiply and I will set up shepherds over them who shall feed them and they shall fear no more nor be dismayed neither shall any be lacking saith Hashem behold the days come saith Hashem that I will raise unto David a righteous shoot and he shall reign as king and prosper and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land in his days Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safely and this is his name whereby he shall be called Hashem is our righteousness therefore behold the days come saith Hashem that they shall no more say as Hashem liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt but as Hashem liveth that brought up and that led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country and from all the countries whither I had driven them and they shall dwell in their own land concerning the prophets my heart within me is broken all my bones shake I am like a drunken man and like a man whom wine hath overcome because of Hashem and because of his holy words for the land is full of adulterers for because of swearing the land mourneth the pastures of the wilderness are dried up and their course is evil and their force is not right for both prophet and priest are ungodly yea in my house have I found their wickedness saith Hashem wherefore their way shall be unto them as slippery places in the darkness they shall be thrust and fall therein for I will bring evil upon them even the year of their visitation saith Hashem and I have seen unseemliness in the prophets of Samaria they prophesied by Baal and caused my people Israel to err but in the prophets of Jerusalem I have seen a horrible thing they commit adultery and walk in lies and they strengthen the hands of evildoers that none doth return from his wickedness they are all of them become unto me as Sodom and the inhabitants thereof as Gomorrah therefore thus saith Hashem of hosts concerning the prophets behold I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of golfer from the prophets of Jerusalem is ungodliness gone forth into all the land thus saith Hashem of hosts hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you they lead you unto vanity they speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of Hashem they say continually unto them that despise me the Hashem hath said ye shall have peace and unto every one that walketh in the stubbornness of his own heart they say no evil shall come upon you for who hath stood in the counsel of Hashem that he should perceive and hear his word who hath attended to his word and heard it behold a storm of Hashem is gone forth in fury a whirling storm it shall whirl upon the head of the wicked the anger of Hashem shall not return until he have executed until he have performed the purposes of his heart in the end of days ye shall consider it perfectly I have not sent these prophets yet they ran I have not spoken to them yet they prophesied but if they have stood in my counsel then let them cause my people to hear my words and Turn them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings am I a God near at hand saith Hashem and not a God afar off can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him saith Hashem do not I fill heaven and earth saith Hashem I have heard what the prophets have said that prophesy lies in my name saying I have dreamed I have dreamed how long shall this be is it in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies and the prophets of the deceit of their own heart that 
Think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams which they tell every man to his neighbor as their fathers forgot my name for Baal the prophet that hath a dream let him tell a dream and he that hath my word let him speak my word faithfully what hath the straw to do with the wheat Seth Hashem is not my word like as fire Seth Hashem and like a hammer that break the rock in pieces therefore behold I am against the prophet Seth Hashem that steal my words every one from his neighbor behold I am against the prophet Seth Hashem that use their tongues and say he Seth behold I am against them that prophesy lying dreams Seth Hashem and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies and by their wantonness yet I sent them not nor commanded them neither can they profit this people at all Seth Hashem and when this people or the prophet or a priest shall ask thee saying what is the burden of Hashem then shalt thou say unto them what burden I will cast you off Seth Hashem and as for the prophet and the priest and the people that shall say the burden of Hashem I will even punish that man and his house thus shall ye say every one to his neighbor and every one to his brother what hath Hashem answered and what hath Hashem spoken and the burden of Hashem shall ye mention no more for every man's own word shall be his burden and would ye pervert the words of the living God of Hashem of hosts our God thus shalt thou say to thee Prophet what hath Hashem answered thee and what hath Hashem spoken but if ye say the burden of Hashem therefore thus saith Hashem because ye say this word the burden of Hashem and I have sent unto you saying ye shall not say the burden of Hashem therefore behold I will utterly tear you out and I will cast you off and the city that I gave unto you and to your fathers away from my presence and I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you and a perpetual shame which shall not be forgotten Jeremiah chapter Hashem showed me and behold two baskets of figs set before the temple of Hashem after that Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon had carried away captive Jeconiah the son of Jehoiakim king of Judah and the princes of Judah with the craftsmen and smiths from Jerusalem and had brought them to Babylon one basket had very good figs like the figs that are first ripe and the other basket had very bad figs which could not be eaten they were so bad then said Hashem unto me what seest thou Jeremiah and I said figs the good figs very good and the bad very bad that cannot be eaten they are so bad and the word of Hashem came unto me saying thus saith Hashem the God of Israel like these good figs so will I regard the captives of Judah whom I have sent out of this place into the land of the Chaldeans for good and I will set mine eyes upon them for good and I will bring them back to this land and I will build them and not pull them down and I will plant them and not pluck them up and I will give them a heart to know me that I am Hashem and they shall be my people and I will be their God for they shall return unto me with their whole heart and as the bad figs which cannot be eaten they are so bad surely thus saith Hashem so will I make Zedekiah the king of Judah and his princes and the residue of Jerusalem that remain in this land and them that dwell in the land of Egypt I will even make them a horror among all the kingdoms of the earth. For evil a reproach and a proverb a taunt and a curse in all places whither I shall drive them and I will send the sword the famine and the pestilence among them till they be consumed from off the land that I gave unto them and to their fathers Jeremiah chapter the word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah that was the first year of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon which Jeremiah the prophet spoke unto all the people of Judah and to all the inhabitants of Jerusalem saying from the thirteenth year of Josiah the son of Ammon king of Judah even unto this day these three and twenty years the word of Hashem hath come unto me and I have spoken unto you speaking betimes and often but ye have not hearkened and Hashem hath sent unto you all his servants the prophets sending them betimes and often but ye have not hearkened nor inclined your ear to hear saying return ye now every one from his evil way and from the evil of your doings and dwell in the land that Hashem hath given unto you and to your fathers for ever and ever and go not after other gods to serve them and to worship them and provoke me not with the work of your hands and I will do you no hurt yet ye have not hearkened unto me saith Hashem that ye might provoke me with the work of your hands to your own hurt therefore thus saith Hashem of hosts because ye have not heard my words behold I will send and take all the families of the north saith Hashem and I will send unto Nebuchadrezzar the king of Babylon my servant and will bring them against this land and against the inhabitants thereof and against all these nations round about and I will utterly destroy them and make them an astonishment and a hissing and perpetual desolations moreover I will cause to cease from among them the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride the sound of the millstones and the light of the lamp and this whole land shall be a desolation and a waste and these nations shall serve the king of Babylon seventy years and it shall come to pass when seventy years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation Seth Hashem for their iniquity and the land of the Chaldeans and I will make it perpetual desolations and I will bring upon that land all my words which I have pronounced against it even all that is written in this book which Jeremiah hath prophesied against all the nations for many nations and great kings shall make bondmen of them also and I will recompense them according to their deeds and according to the work of their own hands for thus saith Hashem the God of Israel unto me take this cup of the wine of fury at my hand and cause all the nations to whom I send thee to drink it and they shall drink and reel to and fro and be like madmen because of the sword that I will send among them then took I the cup of Hashem's hand and made all the nations to drink unto whom Hashem had sent me Jerusalem and the cities of Judah and the kings thereof and the princes thereof to make them an appalment an astonishment a hissing and a curse as it is this day Pharaoh king of Egypt and his servants and his princes and all his people and all the mingled people and all the kings of the land of us and all the kings of the land of the Philistines and Ashkelon and Gaza and Ekron and the remnant of Ashdod.
Edom and Moab and the children of Ammon and all the kings of Tyre and all the kings of Zidon and the kings of the isle which is beyond the sea Dedan and Tema and Buzz and all that have the corners of their hair pulled and all the kings of Arabia and all the kings of the mingled people that dwell in the wilderness and all the kings of Zimri and all the kings of Elam and all the kings of the Medes and all the kings of the north far and near one with another and all the kingdoms of the world which are upon the face of the earth and the king of Shezhach shall drink after them and thou shalt say unto them thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel drink ye and be drunken and spew and fall and rise no more because of the sword which I will send among you and it shall be if they refuse to take the cup at thy hand to drink then shalt thou say unto them thus saith Hashem of hosts ye shall surely drink for lo I begin to bring evil on the city whereupon my name is called. And should ye be utterly unpunished ye shall not be unpunished for I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth saith Hashem of hosts therefore prophesy thou against them all these words and say unto them Hashem doth roar from on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation he doth mightily roar because of his fold he giveth a shout as they that tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth a noise is come even to the end of the earth for Hashem hath a controversy with the nations he doth plead with all flesh as for the wicked he hath given them to the sword saith Hashem thus saith Hashem of hosts behold evil shall go forth from nation to nation and a great storm shall be raised up from the uttermost parts of the earth and the slain of Hashem shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth they shall not be lamented neither gathered nor buried they shall be dung upon the face of the ground wail yet shepherds and cry and wallow yourselves in the dust ye leaders of the flock for the days of your slaughter are fully come and I will break you in pieces and ye shall fall like a precious vessel and the shepherds shall have no way to flee nor the leaders of the flock to escape hark the cry of the shepherds and the wailing of the leaders of the flock for Hashem despoileth their pasture and the peaceable folds are brought to silence because of the fierce anger of Hashem he hath forsaken his covert as the lion for their land is become a waste because of the fierceness of the oppressing sword and because of his fierce anger Jeremiah chapter in the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah came this word from Hashem saying thus saith Hashem stand in the court of Hashem's house and speak unto all the cities of Judah which come to worship in Hashem's house all the words that I command thee to speak unto them diminish not a word it may be they will hearken and turn every man from his evil way that I may repent me of the evil which I purpose to do unto them because of the evil of their doings and thou shalt say unto them thus saith Hashem if ye will not hearken to me to walk in my law which I have set before you to hearken to the words of my servants the prophets whom I send unto you even sending them betimes and often but ye have not hearkened then will I make this house like Shiloh and will make the city a curse to all the nations of the earth so the priests and the prophets and all the people heard Jeremiah speaking these words in the house of Hashem now it came to pass when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking all that Hashem had commanded him to speak unto all the people that the priests and the prophets and all the people laid hold on him saying thou shalt surely die why hast thou prophesied in the name of Hashem saying this house shall be like Shiloh and the city shall be desolate without an inhabitant and all the people were gathered against Jeremiah in the house of Hashem when the princes of Judah heard these things they came up from the king's house unto the house of Hashem and they sat in the entry of the new gate of Hashem's house then spoke the priests and the prophets unto the princes and to all the people saying this man is worthy of death for he hath prophesied against the city as ye have heard with your ears then spoke Jeremiah unto all the princes and to all the people saying the Hashem sent me to prophesy against this house and against the city all the words that ye have heard therefore now amend your ways and your doings and hearken to the voice of Hashem your God and Hashem will repent him of the evil that he hath pronounced against you but as for me behold I am in your hand do with me as is good and right in your eyes only know ye for certain that if ye put me to death ye will bring innocent blood upon yourselves and upon the city and upon the inhabitants thereof for of a truth Hashem hath sent me unto you to speak all these words in your ears then said the princes and all the people unto the priests and to the prophets this man is not worthy of death for he hath spoken to us in the name of Hashem our God then rose up certain of the elders of the land and spoke to all the assembly of the people saying Micah the Moorish tide prophesied in the days of Hezekiah king of Judah and he spoke to all the people of Judah saying thus saith Hashem of hosts Zion shall be ploughed as a field and Jerusalem shall become heaps and the mountain of the house as the high places of a forest did Hezekiah king of Judah and all Judah put him at all to death did he not fear Hashem and entreat the favor of Hashem and Hashem repented him of the evil which he had pronounced against them thus might we procure great evil against our own souls and there was also a man that prophesied in the name of Hashem Uriah the son of Shemaiah of Kiriath Jerim and he prophesied against the city and against this land according to all the words of Jeremiah and when Jehoiakim the king with all his mighty men and all the princes heard his words the king sought to put him to death but when Uriah heard it he was afraid and fled and went into Egypt and Jehoiakim the king sent men into Egypt Elna then the son of Akbar and certain men with him into Egypt and they fetched forth Uriah out of Egypt and brought him unto Jehoiakim. The king who slew him with the sword and cast his dead body into the graves of the children of the people nevertheless the hand of Ahikam the son of Shaphan was with Jeremiah that they should not give him into the hand of the people to put him to death Jeremiah chapter in the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah came this word unto Jeremiah from Hashem saying thus saith Hashem to me make thee bands and bars and put them upon thy neck and send them to 
the king of Edom and to the king of Moab and to the king of the children of Ammon and to the king of Tyre and to the king of Zidon by the hand of the messengers that come to Jerusalem unto Zedekiah king of Judah and give them a charge unto their masters saying thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel thus shall ye say unto your masters I have made the earth the man and the beast that are upon the face of the earth by my great power and by my outstretched arm and I give it unto whom it seemeth right unto me and now have I given all these lands into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon my servant and the beasts of the field also have I given him to serve him and all the nations shall serve him and his son and his son's son until the time of his own land come and then many nations and great kings shall make him their bondman and it shall come to pass that the nation and the kingdom which will not serve the same Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and that will not put their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon that nation will I visit Seth Hashem with the sword and with the famine and with the pestilence until I have consumed them by his hand but as for you hearken ye not to your prophets nor to your diviners nor to your dreams nor to your soothsayers nor to your sorcerers that speak unto you saying ye shall not serve the king of Babylon for they prophesy a lie unto you to remove you far from your land and that I should drive you out and yet should perish but the nation that shall bring their neck under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him that nation will I let remain in their own land Seth Hashem and they shall till it and dwell therein and I spoke to Zedekiah king of Judah according to all these words saying bring your necks under the yoke of the king of Babylon and serve him and his people and live why will ye die thou and thy people by the sword by the famine and by the pestilence as Hashem hath spoken concerning the nation that will not serve the king of Babylon and hearken not unto the words of the prophets that speak unto you saying ye shall not serve the king of Babylon for they prophesy a lie unto you for I have not sent them Seth Hashem and they prophesy falsely in my name that I might drive you out and that ye might perish yet and the prophets that prophesy unto you also I spoke to the priests and to all this people saying thus Seth Hashem hearken not to the words of your prophets that prophesy unto you saying behold the vessels of Hashem's house shall now shortly be brought back from Babylon for they prophesy a lie unto you hearken not unto them serve the king of Babylon and live wherefore should the city become desolate but if they be prophets and if the word of Hashem be with them let them now make intercession to Hashem of hosts that the vessels which are left in the house of Hashem and in the house of the king of Judah and at Jerusalem go not to Babylon for thus saith Hashem of hosts concerning the pillars and concerning the sea and concerning the bases and concerning the residue of the vessels that remain in the city which Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon took not when he carried away captive Jeconiah the son of Jehoiakim king of Judah from Jerusalem to Babylon and all the nobles of Judah and Jerusalem yet thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel concerning the vessels that remain in the house of Hashem and in the house of the king of Judah and at Jerusalem they shall be carried to Babylon and there shall they be until the day that I remember them Seth Hashem and bring them up and restore them to this place Jeremiah chapter and it came to pass the same year in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah king of Judah in the fourth year in the fifth month that Hananiah the son of Atzer the prophet who was of Gibeon spoke unto me in the house of Hashem in the presence of the priests and of all the people saying thus speak Hashem of hosts the God of Israel saying I have broken the yoke of the king of Babylon within two full years will I bring back into this place all the vessels of Hashem's house that Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon took away from this place and carried them to Babylon and I will bring back to this place Jeconiah the son of Jehoiakim king of Judah with all the captives of Judah that went to Babylon saith Hashem for I will break the yoke of the king of Babylon then the prophet Jeremiah said unto the prophet Hananiah in the presence of the priests and in the presence of all the people that stood in the house of Hashem even the prophet Jeremiah said Amen Hashem do so Hashem perform thy words which thou hast prophesied to bring back the vessels of Hashem's house and all them that are carried away captive from Babylon unto this place nevertheless hear thou now this word that I speak in thine ears and in the ears of all the people the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence the prophet that prophesieth of peace when the word of the prophet shall come to pass then shall the prophet be known that Hashem hath truly sent him then Hananiah the prophet took the bar from off the prophet Jeremiah's neck and broke it and Hananiah spoke in the presence of all the people saying thus saith Hashem even so will I break the yoke of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon from off the neck of all the nations within two full years and the prophet Jeremiah went his way then the word of Hashem came unto Jeremiah after that Hananiah the prophet had broken the bar from off the neck of the prophet Jeremiah saying go and tell Hananiah saying thus saith Hashem thou hast broken the bars of wood but thou shalt make in their stead bars of iron for thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel I have put a yoke of iron upon the neck of all these nations that they may serve Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and they shall serve him and I have given him the beasts of the field also then said the prophet Jeremiah unto Hananiah the prophet here now Hananiah Hashem hath not sent thee but thou makest this people to trust in a lie therefore thus saith Hashem behold I will send thee away from off the face of the earth this year thou shalt die because thou hast spoken perversion against Hashem so Hananiah the prophet died the same year in the seventh month Jeremiah chapter now these are the words of the letter that Jeremiah the prophet sent from Jerusalem unto the residue of the elders of the captivity and to the priests and to the prophets and to all the people whom Nebuchadnezzar had carried away captive from Jerusalem to Babylon after that Jeconiah the king and the queen mother and the officers and the princes of Judah and Jerusalem and the craftsmen and the smiths were departed from Jerusalem by the 
hand of Elasa the son of Shaphan and Gemariah the son of Hilkiah whom Zedekiah king of Judah sent unto Babylon to Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon saying thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel unto all the captivity whom I have caused to be carried away captive from Jerusalem unto Babylon build ye houses and dwell in them and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them take ye wives and beget sons and daughters and take wives for your sons and give your daughters to husbands that they may bear sons and daughters and multiply ye there and be not diminished and seek the peace of the city whither I have caused you to be carried away captive and pray unto Hashem for it for in the peace thereof shall ye have peace for thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel let not your prophets that are in the midst of you and your diviners beguile you neither hearken ye to your dreams which ye cause to be dreamed for they prophesy falsely unto you in my name I have not sent them. Seth Hashem for thus Seth Hashem after seventy years are accomplished for Babylon I will remember you and perform my good word toward you in causing you to return to this place for I know the thoughts that I think toward you Seth Hashem thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope and ye shall call upon me and go and pray unto me and I will hearken unto you and ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart and I will be found of you Seth Hashem and I will turn your captivity and gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you Seth Hashem and I will bring you back unto the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive for ye have said the Hashem hath raised us up prophets in Babylon for thus Seth Hashem concerning the king that sitteth upon the throne of David and concerning all the people that dwell in the city your brethren that are not gone forth with you into captivity thus saith Hashem of hosts behold I will send upon them the sword the famine and the pestilence and will make them like vile figs that cannot be eaten they are so bad and I will pursue after them with the sword with the famine and with the pestilence and will make them a horror unto all the kingdoms of the earth a curse and an astonishment and a hissing and a reproach among all the nations whither I have driven them because they have not hearkened to my word saith Hashem wherewith I sent unto them my servants the prophets sending them betimes and often but ye would not hear Seth Hashem hear ye therefore the word of Hashem all ye of the captivity whom I have sent away from Jerusalem to Babylon thus Seth Hashem of hosts the God of Israel concerning Ahab the son of Koliah and concerning Zedekiah the son of Masiah who prophesy a lie unto you in my name behold I will deliver them into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon and he shall slay them before your eyes and of them shall be taken up a curse by all the captivity of Judah that are in Babylon saying the Hashem make thee like Zedekiah and like Ahab whom the king of Babylon roasted in the fire because they have wrought vile deeds in Israel and have committed adultery with their neighbors wives and have spoken words in my name falsely which I commanded them not but I am he that know it and am witness saith Hashem and concerning Shimei the Neolamite thou shalt speak saying. Thus speak Hashem of hosts the God of Israel saying because thou hast sent letters in thine own name unto all the people that are at Jerusalem and to Zephaniah the son of Masiah the priest and to all the priests saying the Hashem hath made thee priest in the stead of Jehoiada the priest that there should be officers in the house of Hashem for every man that is mad and make himself a prophet that thou shouldest put him in the stocks and in the collar now therefore why hast thou not? Rebuke Jeremiah of Anathoth who make himself a prophet to you for as much as he hath sent unto us in Babylon saying the captivity is long build ye houses and dwell in them and plant gardens and eat the fruit of them and Zephaniah the priest read this letter in the ears of Jeremiah the prophet then came the word of Hashem unto Jeremiah saying send to all them of the captivity saying thus saith Hashem concerning Shemaiah the Neolamite because that Shemaiah hath prophesied unto you and I sent him not and he hath caused you to trust in a lie therefore thus saith Hashem behold I will punish Shimei the Neolamite and his seed he shall not have a man to dwell among this people neither shall he behold the good that I will do unto my people saith Hashem because he hath spoken perversion against Hashem Jeremiah chapter the word that came to Jeremiah from Hashem saying thus speak Hashem the God of Israel saying write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book for lo the days come saith Hashem that I will turn the captivity of my people Israel and Judah saith Hashem and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers and they shall possess it and these are the words that Hashem spoke concerning Israel and concerning Judah for thus saith Hashem we have heard a voice of trembling of fear and not of peace ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins. As a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness alas for that day is great so that none is like it and it is a time of trouble unto Jacob but out of it shall he be saved and it shall come to pass in that day saith Hashem of hosts that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and will burst thy bands and strangers shall no more make him their bondman but they shall serve Hashem their God and David their king whom I will raise up unto them therefore fear thou not O Jacob my. Servant saith Hashem neither be dismayed O Israel for lo I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity and Jacob shall again be quiet and at ease and none shall make him afraid for I am with thee saith Hashem to save thee for I will make a full end of all the nations whither I have scattered thee but I will not make a full end of thee for I will correct thee in measure and will not utterly destroy thee for thus saith Hashem thy hurt is incurable and thy wound is. 
Grievous non demeth of thy wound that it may be bound up thou hast no healing medicines all thy lovers have forgotten thee they seek thee not for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy with the chastisement of a cruel one for the greatness of thine iniquity because thy sins were increased why criest thou for thy hurt that thy pain is incurable for the greatness of thine iniquity because thy sins were increased I have done these things unto thee therefore all they that devour. Thee shall be devoured and all thine adversaries every one of them shall go into captivity and they that spoil thee shall be a spoil and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey for I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wounds saith Hashem because they have called thee an outcast she is Zion there is none that careth for her thus saith Hashem behold I will turn the captivity of Jacob's tents and have compassion on his dwelling places and the city shall be build it upon her own mount and the palace shall be inhabited upon its wanted place and out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry and I will multiply them and they shall not be diminished I will also increase them and they shall not dwindle away their children also shall be as aforetime and their congregation shall be established before me and I will punish all that oppress them and their prince shall be of themselves and their ruler shall proceed from the midst of them and I will cause him to draw near and he shall approach unto me for who is he that hath pledged his heart to approach unto me saith Hashem and ye shall be my people and I will be your God behold a storm of Hashem is gone forth in furious sweeping storm it shall whirl upon the head of the wicked the fierce anger of Hashem shall not return until he have executed until he have performed the purposes of his heart in the end of days ye shall consider it Jeremiah chapter at that time saith Hashem will I be the God of all the families of Israel and they shall be my people thus saith Hashem the people that were left of the sword have found grace in the wilderness even Israel when I go to cause him to rest from afar Hashem appeared unto me yet I have loved thee with an everlasting love therefore with affection have I drawn thee again will I build thee and thou shalt be built O virgin of Israel again shalt thou be adorned with thy tabrets and shalt go. Forth in the dances of them that make merry again shalt thou plant vineyards upon the mountains of Samaria the planters shall plant and shall have the use thereof for there shall be a day that the watchmen shall call upon the mount Ephraim arise yet and let us go up to Zion unto Hashem our God for thus saith Hashem sing with gladness for Jacob and shout at the head of the nations announce yet praise yet and say O Hashem save thy people the remnant of Israel behold I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the uttermost parts of the earth and with them the blind and the lame the woman with child and her that travaileth with child together a great company shall they return hither they shall come with weeping and with supplications will I lead them I will cause them to walk by rivers of waters in a straight way wherein they shall not stumble for I am become a father to Israel and Ephraim is my firstborn hear the word of Hashem O ye nations and declare it. In the isles afar off and say he that scattered Israel doth gather him and keep him as a shepherd doth his flock for Hashem hath ransomed Jacob and he redeemeth him from the hand of him that is stronger than he and they shall come and sing in the height of Zion and shall flow unto the goodness of Hashem to the corn and to the wine and to the oil and to the young of the flock and of the herd and their soul shall be as a watered garden and they shall not pine any more at all then shall. The virgin rejoice in the dance and the young men and the old together for I will turn their mourning into joy and will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow and I will satiate the soul of the priests with fatness and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness saith Hashem thus saith Hashem a voice is heard in Ramah lamentation and bitter weeping Rachel weeping for her children she refused to be comforted for her children because they are not thus saith Hashem refrain. Thy voice from weeping and thine eyes from tears for thy work shall be rewarded saith Hashem and they shall come back from the land of the enemy and there is hope for thy future saith Hashem and thy children shall return to their own border I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself thou hast chastised me and I was chastised as a calf untrained turn thou me and I shall be turned for thou art Hashem my God surely after that I was turned I repented and after that I was instructed I smote upon my thigh I was ashamed yet even confounded because I did bear the reproach of my youth is Ephraim a darling son unto me is he a child that is dandled for as often as I speak of him I do earnestly remember him still therefore my heart yearneth for him I will surely have compassion upon him saith Hashem set thee up waymarks make thee guideposts set thy heart toward the highway even the way by which thou wentest return O virgin of Israel return to these thy cities how long wilt Thou turn away coyly O thou backsliding daughter for Hashem hath created a new thing in the earth a woman shall court a man thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel yet again shall they use the speech in the land of Judah and in the cities thereof when I shall turn their captivity the Hashem bless thee O habitation of righteousness O mountain of holiness and Judah and all the cities thereof shall dwell therein together the husbandmen and they that go forth with flocks for I have satiated the weary soul and every pining soul have I replenished upon this I awaked and beheld and my sleep was sweet unto me behold the days come saith Hashem that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and with the seed of beast and it shall come to pass that like as I have watched over them to pluck up and to break down and to overthrow and to destroy and to afflict so will I watch over them to build and to plant saith Hashem in those days they shall say no more the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge but every one shall die for his own iniquity every man that eats the sour grapes his teeth shall be set on edge behold the days come saith Hashem that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt for as much as they broke 
My covenant although I was a lord over them Seth Hashem but this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days Seth Hashem I will put my law in their inward parts and in their heart will I write it and I will be their God and they shall be my people and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying no Hashem for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them Seth Hashem for I will forgive their iniquity and their sin will I remember no more thus Seth Hashem who giveth the sun for a light by day and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night who stirreth up the sea that the waves thereof roar Hashem of hosts is his name if these ordinances depart from before me Seth Hashem then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever thus Seth Hashem if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath then will I also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done Seth Hashem behold the days come Seth Hashem that the city shall be built to Hashem from the tower of Hananel unto the gate of the corner and the measuring line shall yet go out straight forward unto the hill Gareb and shall turn about unto go and the whole valley of the dead bodies and of the ashes and all the fields unto the brook Kidron unto the corner of the horse gate toward the east shall be holy unto Hashem it shall not be plucked up nor thrown down any more forever Jeremiah chapter the word that came to Jeremiah from Hashem in the tenth year of Zedekiah king of Judah which was the eighteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar now at that time the king of Babylon's army was besieging Jerusalem and Jeremiah the prophet was shut up in the court of the guard which was in the king of Judah's house for Zedekiah king of Judah had shut him up saying wherefore dost thou prophesy and say thus saith Hashem behold I will give the city into the hand of the king of Babylon and he shall take it and Zedekiah king of Judah shall not escape out of the hand of the Chaldeans but shall surely be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon and shall speak with him mouth to mouth and his eyes shall behold his eyes and he shall lead Zedekiah to Babylon and there shall he be until I remember him Seth Hashem though ye fight with the Chaldeans ye shall not prosper and Jeremiah said the word of Hashem came unto me saying behold Hanamel the son of Shalom thine uncle shall come unto thee saying buy thee my field that is in Anathoth for the right of redemption is thine to buy it so Hanamel mine uncle's son came to me in the court of the guard according to the word of Hashem and said unto me buy my field I pray thee that is in Anathoth which is in the land of Benjamin for the right of inheritance is thine and the redemption is thine buy it for thyself then I knew that this was the word of Hashem and I bought the field that was in Anathoth of Hanamel mine uncle's son and weighed him the money even seventeen shekels of silver and I subscribed the deed and sealed it and called witnesses and weighed him the money in the balances so I took the deed of the purchase both that which was sealed containing the terms and conditions and that which was open and I delivered the deed of the purchase unto Barak the son of Neria the son of Masiah in the presence of Hanamel mine uncle's son and in the presence of the witnesses that subscribed the deed of the purchase before all the Jews that sat in the court of the guard and I charged Barak before them saying thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel take these deeds this deed of the purchase both that which is sealed and this deed which is open and put them in an earthen vessel that they may continue many days for thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel houses and fields and vineyards shall yet again be bought in this land now after I had delivered the deed of the purchase unto Barak the son of Neria I prayed unto Hashem saying O Lord God behold thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and by thy outstretched arm there is nothing too hard for thee who showest mercy unto thousands and recompensest the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them the great the mighty God Hashem of hosts is his name great in counsel and mighty in work whose eyes are open upon all the ways of the sons of men to give every one according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings who didst set signs and wonders in the land of Egypt even unto this day and in Israel and among other men and madest thee a name as at this day and didst bring forth thy people Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and with wonders and with a strong hand and with an outstretched arm and with great terror and gavest them this land which thou didst swear to their fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey and they came in and possessed it but they hearkened not to thy voice neither walked in thy law they have done nothing of all that thou commandedst them to do therefore thou hast caused all this evil to befall them behold the mounts they are come unto the city to take it and the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans that fight against it because of the sword and of the famine and of the pestilence and what thou hast spoken is come to pass and behold thou seest it yet thou hast said unto me O Lord God buy thee the field for money and call witnesses whereas the city is given into the hand of the Chaldeans then came the word of Hashem unto Jeremiah saying behold I am Hashem the God of all flesh is there anything too hard for me therefore thus saith Hashem behold I will give the city into the hand of the Chaldeans and into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon and he shall take it and the Chaldeans that fight against the city shall come and set the city on fire and burn it with the houses upon whose roofs they have offered unto Baal and poured out drink offerings unto other gods to provoke me for the children of Israel and the children of Judah have only done that which was evil in my sight from their youth for the children of Israel have only provoked me with the work of their hands Seth Hashem for the city hath been to me a provocation of mine anger and of my fury from the day that they built it even unto this day that I should remove it from before my face because of all the evil of the children of Israel and of the children of Judah which they have done to provoke me they their kings their princes their priests and their prophets and the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and they have turned unto me the back and not the face and though I taught them teaching them betimes and often yet they have not here can to receive 
instruction but they set their abominations in the house whereupon my name is called to defile it and they built the high places of Baal which are in the valley of the son of Hinnom to set apart their sons and their daughters unto Molech which I commanded them not neither came it into my mind that they should do this abomination to cause Judah to sin and now therefore thus saith Hashem the God of Israel concerning the city whereof yes say it is given into the hand of the king of Babylon. By the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence behold I will gather them out of all the countries whither I have driven them in mine anger and in my fury and in great wrath and I will bring them back unto this place and I will cause them to dwell safely and they shall be my people and I will be their God and I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever for the good of them and of their children after them and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. That I will not turn away from them to do them good and I will put my fear in their hearts that they shall not depart from me yet I will rejoice over them to do them good and I will plant them in this land in truth with my whole heart and with my whole soul for thus saith Hashem like as I have brought all this great evil upon this people so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them and fields shall be bought in this land whereof yes say it is desolate without man or beast it is given into the hand of the Chaldeans men shall buy fields for money and subscribe the deeds and seal them and call witnesses in the land of Benjamin and in the places about Jerusalem and in the cities of Judah and in the cities of the hill country and in the cities of the lowland and in the cities of the south for I will cause their captivity to return Seth Hashem Jeremiah chapter moreover the word of Hashem came unto Jeremiah the second time while he was yet shut up in the court of the guard saying thus saith Hashem the maker thereof Hashem that formed it to establish it Hashem is his name call unto me and I will answer thee and will tell thee great things and hidden which thou knowest not for thus saith Hashem the God of Israel concerning the houses of the city and concerning the houses of the kings of Judah which are broken down for mounds and for ramparts whereon they come to fight with the Chaldeans even to fill them with the dead bodies of men whom I have slain in mine anger and in my fury and for all whose wickedness I have hid my face from the city behold I will bring it healing and cure and I will cure them and I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth and I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return and will build them as at the first and I will cleanse them from all their iniquity whereby they have sinned against me and I will pardon all their iniquities whereby they have sinned against me and whereby they have transgressed against me and the city shall be to me for a name of joy for a praise and for a glory before all the nations of the earth which shall hear all the good that I do unto them and shall fear and tremble for all the good and for all the peace that I procure unto it thus saith Hashem yet again there shall be heard in this place whereof yes say it is waste without man and without beast even in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem that are desolate without man and without inhabitant and without beast the voice of joy and the voice of gladness the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride the voice of them that say give thanks to Hashem of hosts for Hashem is good for his mercy endureth forever even of them that bring offerings of thanksgiving into the house of Hashem for I will cause the captivity of the land to return as at the first saith Hashem thus saith Hashem of hosts yet again shall there be in this place which is waste without man and without beast and in all the cities thereof a habitation of shepherds causing their flocks to lie down in the cities of the hill country in the cities of the lowland and in the cities of the south and in the land of Benjamin and in the places about Jerusalem and in the cities of Judah shall the flocks again pass under the hands of him that counteth them saith Hashem behold the days come saith Hashem that I will perform that good word which I have spoken concerning the house of Israel and concerning the house of Judah in those days and at that time will I cause a shoot of righteousness to grow up unto David and he shall execute justice and righteousness in the land in those days shall Judah be saved and Jerusalem shall dwell safely and this is the name whereby she shall be called Hashem is our righteousness for thus saith Hashem there shall not be cut off unto David a man to sit upon the throne of the house of Israel neither shall there be cut off unto the priests the levites a man before me to offer burnt offerings and to burn meal offerings and to do sacrifice continually and the word of Hashem came unto Jeremiah saying thus saith Hashem if ye can break my covenant with the day and my covenant with the night so that there should not be day and night in their season then may also my covenant be broken with David my servant that he should not have a son to reign upon his throne and with the levites the priests my ministers as the host of heaven cannot be numbered neither the sand of the sea measured so will I multiply the seed of David my servant and the levites that minister unto me and the word of Hashem came to Jeremiah saying considerest thou not what this people have spoken saying the two families which Hashem did choose he hath cast them off and they contemn my people that they should be no more a nation before them thus saith Hashem if my covenant be not with day and night if I have not appointed the ordinances of heaven and earth then will I also cast away the seed of Jacob and of David my servant so that I will not take of his seed to be rulers over the seed of Abraham Isaac and Jacob for I will cause their captivity to return and will have compassion on them Jeremiah chapter the word which came unto Jeremiah from Hashem when Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon and all his army and all the kingdoms of the land of his dominion and all the peoples fought against Jerusalem and against all the cities thereof saying thus saith Hashem the God of Israel go and speak to Zedekiah king of Judah and tell him thus saith Hashem behold I will give the city into the hand of the king of Babylon and he shall burn it with fire and thou shalt not escape out of his hand but shalt surely be taken and delivered into his hand and thine eyes shall behold the eyes of the king of Babylon and he shall speak with thee mouth to mouth and thou shalt go to Babylon yet hear the word 
of Hashem O Zedekiah king of Judah thus saith Hashem concerning thee thou shalt not die by the sword thou shalt die in peace and with the burnings of thy fathers the former kings that were before thee so shall they make a burning for thee and they shall lament thee O Lord for I have spoken the word saith Hashem then Jeremiah the prophet spoke all these words unto Zedekiah king of Judah in Jerusalem when the king of Babylon's army fought against Jerusalem and against all the cities of Judah that were left against Lachish and against Azekah for these alone remained of the cities of Judah as fortified cities the word that came unto Jeremiah from Hashem after that the king Zedekiah had made a covenant with all the people that were at Jerusalem to proclaim liberty unto them that every man should let his manservant and every man his maidservant being a Hebrew man or a Hebrew woman go free that none should make bondmen of them even of a Jew his brother and all the princes. And all the people here can that had entered into the covenant to let every one his manservant and every one his maidservant go free and not to make bondmen of them any more they here can and let them go but afterwards they turned and caused the servants and the handmaids whom they had let go free to return and brought them into subjection for servants and for handmaids therefore the word of Hashem came to Jeremiah from Hashem saying thus saith Hashem the God of Israel I made a covenant with your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage saying at the end of seven years ye shall let go every man his brother that is a Hebrew that hath been sold unto thee and hath served thee six years thou shalt let him go free from thee but your fathers here can not unto me neither inclined their ear and yet were now turned and had done that which is right in mine eyes in proclaiming liberty every man to his neighbor and Ye had made a covenant before me in the house whereon my name is called but ye turned and profaned my name and caused every man his servant and every man his handmaid whom ye had let go free at their pleasure to return and ye brought them into subjection to be unto you for servants and for handmaids therefore thus saith Hashem ye have not here kenned unto me to proclaim liberty every man to his brother and every man to his neighbor behold I proclaim for you a liberty saith Hashem unto the sword unto the pestilence and unto the famine and I will make you a horror unto all the kingdoms of the earth and I will give the men that have transgressed my covenant that have not performed the words of the covenant which they made before me when they cut the calf in twain and passed between the parts thereof the princes of Judah and the princes of Jerusalem the officers and the priests and all the people of the land that passed between the parts of the calf I will even give them into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of them that seek their life and their dead bodies shall be for food unto the fowls of the heaven and to the beasts of the earth and Zedekiah king of Judah and his princes will I give into the hand of their enemies and into the hand of them that seek their life and into the hand of the king of Babylon's army that are gone up from you behold I will command Seth Hashem and cause them to return to the city and they shall fight against it and take it and burn it with fire and I will make the cities of Judah a desolation without inhabitant Jeremiah chapter the word which came unto Jeremiah from Hashem in the days of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah saying go unto the house of the Rechabites and speak unto them and bring them into the house of Hashem into one of the chambers and give them wine to drink then I took Jazaniah the son of Jeremiah the son of Habazaniah and his brethren and all his sons and the whole house of the Rechabites and I brought them into the house of Hashem into the chamber of the sons of Hanan the son of Igdaliah the man of God which was by the chamber of the princes which was above the chamber of Masiah the son of Shalom the keeper of the door and I set before the sons of the house of the Rechabites goblets full of wine and cups and I said unto them drink ye wine but they said we will drink no wine for Jonadab the son of Rechab our father commanded us saying ye shall drink no wine neither ye nor your sons forever neither shall ye build house nor sow seed nor plant vineyard nor have any but all your days ye shall dwell in tents that ye may live many days in the land wherein ye sojourn and we have here ken to the voice of Jonadab the son of Rechab our father in all that he charged us to drink no wine all our days we our wives our sons nor our daughters nor to build houses for us to dwell in neither to have vineyard or field or seed but we have dwelt in tents and have here kenned and done according to all that Jonadab our father commanded us but it came to pass when Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon came up against the land that we said come and let us go to Jerusalem for fear of the army of the Chaldeans and for fear of the army of the Arameans so we dwell at Jerusalem then came the word of Hashem unto Jeremiah saying thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel go and say to the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem will ye not Receive instruction to hearken to my words saith Hashem the words of Jonadab the son of Rechab that he commanded his sons not to drink wine are performed and unto this day they drink none for they hearken to their father's commandment but I have spoken unto you speaking betimes and often and ye have not hearkened unto me I have sent also unto you all my servants the prophets sending them betimes and often saying return ye now every man from his evil way and amend your doings and go not after other gods to serve them and ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers but ye have not inclined your ear nor hearkened unto me because the sons of Jonadab the son of Rechab have performed the commandment of their father which he commanded them but this people hath not hearkened unto me therefore thus saith Hashem the God of hosts the God of Israel behold I will bring upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem all the evil that I have pronounced against them because I have spoken unto them but they have not heard and I have called unto them but they have not answered and unto the house of the Rechabites Jeremiah said thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel because ye have here kenned to the commandment of Jonadab your father and kept all his precepts and done according unto all that he commanded you therefore thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel there shall not be cut off unto Jonadab the son of Rechab a man to stand 
before me forever Jeremiah chapter and it came to pass in the fourth year of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah that this word came unto Jeremiah from Hashem saying take thee a roll of a book and write therein all the words that I have spoken unto thee against Israel and against Judah and against all the nations from the day I spoke unto thee from the days of Josiah even unto this day it may be that the house of Judah will hear all the evil which I purpose to do unto them that they may return every man from his evil way and I may forgive their iniquity and their sin. Then Jeremiah called Barak the son of Neriah and Barak wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of Hashem which he had spoken unto him upon a roll of a book and Jeremiah commanded Barak saying I am detained I cannot go into the house of Hashem therefore go thou and read in the roll which thou hast written from my mouth the words of Hashem in the ears of the people in Hashem's house. Upon a fast day and also thou shalt read them in the ears of all Judah that come out of their cities it may be they will present their supplication before Hashem and will return every one from his evil way for great is the anger and the fury that Hashem hath pronounced against this people and Barak the son of Neriah did according to all that Jeremiah the prophet commanded him reading in the book the words of Hashem in Hashem's house now it came to pass in the fifth year of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah in the ninth month that they proclaimed a fast before Hashem all the people in Jerusalem and all the people that came from the cities of Judah unto Jerusalem then did Barak read in the book the words of Jeremiah in the house of Hashem in the chamber of Gemariah the son of Shaphan the scribe in the upper court at the entry of the new gate of Hashem's house in the ears of all the people and when Micaiah the son of Gemariah the son of Shaphan had heard out of the Book all the words of Hashem he went down into the king's house into the scribe's chamber and lo all the princes sat there even Elishama the scribe and Delaiah the son of Shemaiah and Elnath and the son of Akbar and Gemariah the son of Shaphan and Zedekiah the son of Hananiah and all the princes then Micaiah declared unto them all the words that he had heard when Barak read the book in the ears of the people therefore all the princes sent Jehudi the son of Nethaniah the son of Shalemiah the son of Cusi unto Barak saying take in thy hand the roll wherein thou hast read in the ears of the people and come so Barak the son of Neriah took the roll in his hand and came unto them and they said unto him sit down now and read it in our ears so Barak read it in their ears now it came to pass when they had heard all the words they turned in fear one toward another and said unto Barak we will surely tell the king of all these words and they asked Barak saying tell us now how didst thou write all these words at his mouth? Then Barak answered them he pronounced all these words unto me with his mouth and I wrote them with ink in the book then said the princes unto Barak go hide thee thou and Jeremiah and let no man know where ye are and they went into the king into the court but they had deposited the roll in the chamber of Elishama the scribe and they told all the words in the ears of the king so the king sent Jehudi to fetch the roll and he took it out of the chamber of Elishama the scribe and Jehudi read it in the ears of the king and in the ears of all the princes that stood beside the king now the king was sitting in the winter house in the ninth month and the brazier was burning before him and it came to pass when Jehudi had read three or four columns that he cut it with the penknife and cast it into the fire that was in the brazier until all the roll was consumed in the fire that was in the brazier yet they were not afraid nor rent their garments neither the king nor any of his servants that heard all these words moreover Elnathan and Deliah and Gemariah had entreated the king not to burn the roll but he would not hear them and the king commanded Jeremiah the king's son and Syria the son of Israel and Shalemiah the son of Abdeel to take Barak the scribe and Jeremiah the prophet but Hashem hid them then the word of Hashem came to Jeremiah after that the king had burned the roll and the words which Barak wrote at the mouth of Jeremiah saying take thee again another roll and write in it all the former words that were in the first roll which Jehoiakim the king of Judah hath burned and concerning Jehoiakim king of Judah thou shalt say thus saith Hashem thou hast burned this roll saying why hast thou written therein saying the king of Babylon shall certainly come and destroy this land and shall cause to cease from thence man and beast therefore thus saith Hashem concerning Jehoiakim king of Judah he shall have none to sit upon the throne of David and his dead body shall be cast out in the day to the heat and in the night to the frost and I will visit upon him and his seed and his servants their iniquity and I will bring upon them and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem and upon the men of Judah all the evil that I have pronounced against them but they hearkened not then took Jeremiah another roll and gave it to Barak the scribe the son of Neriah who wrote Therein from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the book which Jehoiakim king of Judah had burned in the fire and there were added besides unto them many like words Jeremiah chapter and Zedekiah the son of Josiah reigned as king instead of Coniah the son of Jehoiakim whom Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon made king in the land of Judah but neither he nor his servants nor the people of the land did hearken unto the words of Hashem which he spoke by the prophet Jeremiah and Zedekiah. The king sent Jehuchal the son of Shalemiah and Zephaniah the son of Masiah the priest to the prophet Jeremiah saying pray now unto Hashem our God for us now Jeremiah came in and went out among the people for they had not put him into prison and Pharaoh's army was come forth out of Egypt and when the Chaldeans that besieged Jerusalem heard tidings of them they broke up from Jerusalem then came the word of Hashem unto the prophet Jeremiah saying thus saith Hashem the God of Israel. Thus shall ye say to the king of Judah that sent you unto me to inquire of me behold Pharaoh's army which is come forth to help you shall return to Egypt into their own land and the Chaldeans shall return and fight against the city and they shall take it and burn it with fire thus saith Hashem deceive not yourselves saying the Chaldeans shall surely depart from us for they shall not depart for though ye had smitten the whole army of the Chaldeans that fight against you and there remained. 
but wounded men among them yet would they rise up every man in his tent and burn the city with fire and it came to pass that when the army of the Chaldeans was broken up from Jerusalem for fear of Pharaoh's army then Jeremiah went forth out of Jerusalem to go into the land of Benjamin to receive his portion there in the midst of the people and when he was in the gate of Benjamin a captain of the ward was there whose name was Irajah the son of Shalemiah the son of Hananiah and he laid Hold on Jeremiah the prophet saying thou fallest away to the Chaldeans then said Jeremiah it is false I fall not away to the Chaldeans but he hearkened not to him so I rejallied hold on Jeremiah and brought him to the princes and the princes were wroth with Jeremiah and smote him and put him in prison in the house of Jonathan the scribe for they had made that the prison when Jeremiah was come into the dungeon house and into the cells and Jeremiah had remained there many days then. Zedekiah the king sent and fetched him and the king asked him secretly in his house and said is there any word from Hashem and Jeremiah said there is he said also thou shalt be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon moreover Jeremiah said unto king Zedekiah wherein have I sinned against thee or against thy servants or against this people that ye have put me in prison where now are your prophets that prophesied unto you saying the king of Babylon shall not come against you nor against this land and now here I pray thee O my lord the king let my supplication I pray thee be presented before thee that thou cause me not to return to the house of Jonathan the scribe lest I die there then Zedekiah the king commanded and they committed Jeremiah into the court of the guard and they gave him daily a loaf of bread out of the baker's street until all the bread in the city was spent thus Jeremiah remained in the court of the guard Jeremiah chapter and Shephesha the son of Matan and Gedaliah the son of Pashur and Jekyll the son of Shalemiah and Pashur the son of Malchiah heard the words that Jeremiah spoke unto all the people saying thus saith Hashem he that remaineth in the city shall die by the sword by the famine and by the pestilence but he that goeth forth to the Chaldeans shall live and his life shall be unto him for a prey and he shall live thus saith Hashem the city shall surely be given into the hand of the army of the king of Babylon and he shall take it then the princes said unto the king let this man we pray thee be put to death for as much as he weakeneth the hands of the men of war that remain in the city and the hands of all the people in speaking such words unto them for this man seek not the welfare of this people but the hurt then Zedekiah the king said behold he is in your hand for the king is not he that can do anything against you then took they Jeremiah and cast him into the pit of Malchia the kings son that was in the court of the guard and they let down Jeremiah with cords and in the pit there was no water but mire and Jeremiah sank in the mire now when Ebmelech the Ethiopian an officer who was in the king's house heard that they had put Jeremiah in the pit the king then sitting in the gate of Benjamin Ebmelech went forth out of the king's house and spoke to the king saying my lord the king these men have done evil in all that they have done to Jeremiah the prophet whom they have cast into the pit and he is like to die in the place where he is because of the famine for there is no more bread in the city then the king commanded Ebmelech the Ethiopian saying take from hence thirty men with thee and take up Jeremiah the prophet out of the pit before he die so Ebmelech took the men with him and went into the house of the king under the treasury and took thence worn clouts and worn rags and let them down by cords into the pit to Jeremiah and Ebmelech. The Ethiopian said unto Jeremiah put now these worn clouts and rags under thine armholes under the cords and Jeremiah did so so they drew up Jeremiah with the cords and took him up out of the pit and Jeremiah remained in the court of the guard then Zedekiah the king sent and took Jeremiah the prophet unto him into the third entry that was in the house of Hashem and the king said unto Jeremiah I will ask thee a thing hide nothing from me then Jeremiah said unto Zedekiah if I declare it unto thee wilt thou not surely put me to death and if I give thee counsel thou wilt not hearken unto me so Zedekiah the king swore secretly unto Jeremiah saying as Hashem liveth that made us the soul I will not put thee to death neither will I give thee into the hand of these men that seek thy life then said Jeremiah unto Zedekiah thus saith Hashem the God of hosts the God of Israel if thou wilt go forth unto the king of Babylon's princes then thy soul shall live and the city shall not be burned with fire and thou shalt live thou and thy house but if thou wilt not go forth to the king of Babylon's princes then shall the city be given into the hand of the Chaldeans and they shall burn it with fire and thou shalt not escape out of their hand and Zedekiah the king said unto Jeremiah I am afraid of the Jews that are fallen away to the Chaldeans lest they deliver me into their hand and they mock me but Jeremiah said they shall not deliver thee hearken I beseech thee to the voice of Hashem in that which I speak unto thee so it shall be well with thee and thy soul shall live but if thou refuse to go forth this is the word that Hashem hath shown me behold all the women that are left in the king of Judah's house shall be brought forth to the king of Babylon's princes and those women shall say thy familiar friends have set thee on and have prevailed over thee thy feet are sunk in the mire and they are turned away back and they shall bring out all thy wives and thy children to the Chaldeans and thou shalt not escape out of their hand but shalt be taken by the hand of the king of Babylon and thou shalt cause the city to be burned with fire then said Zedekiah unto Jeremiah let no man know of these words and thou shalt not die but if the princes hear that I have talked with thee and they come unto thee and say unto thee declare unto us now what thou hast said unto the king hide it not from us and we will not put thee to death also what the king said unto thee then thou shalt say unto them I presented my supplication before the king that he would not cause me to return to Jonathan's house to die there then came all the princes unto Jeremiah and asked him and he told them according to all these words that the king had commanded so they left off speaking with him for the matter was not reported so Jeremiah abode in the court of the guard until the day that Jerusalem was taken and it came to pass when Jerusalem was taken. 
Jeremiah chapter in the ninth year of Zedekiah king of Judah in the tenth month came Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon and all his army against Jerusalem and besieged it in the eleventh year of Zedekiah in the fourth month the ninth day of the month a breach was made in the city that all the princes of the king of Babylon came in and sat in the middle gate even Nergal Sarezer some Garnibo Sarsechim Rab Saris Nergal Sarezer Rab Mag with all the residue of the princes of the king of Babylon. And it came to pass that when Zedekiah the king of Judah and all the men of war saw them then they fled and went forth out of the city by night by the way of the king's garden by the gate betwixt the two walls and he went out the way of the Arabah but the army of the Chaldeans pursued after them and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho and when they had taken him they brought him up to Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon to Riblah in the land of Hamath and he gave judgment upon him then. The king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah in Riblah before his eyes also the king of Babylon slew all the nobles of Judah moreover he put out Zedekiah's eyes and bound him in fetters to carry him to Babylon and the Chaldeans burned the king's house and the house of the people with fire and broke down the walls of Jerusalem then Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard carried away captive into Babylon the remnant of the people that remained in the city the deserters also that fell away to him with the rest of the people that remained but Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard left of the poor of the people that had nothing in the land of Judah and gave them vineyards and fields in that day now Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon gave charge concerning Jeremiah to Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard saying take him and look well to him and do him no harm but do unto him even as he shall say unto thee so Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard sent and Nebuchadnezzar's ban rab Saris and Nergal Sarisa Rab Mag and all the chief officers of the king of Babylon they sent and took Jeremiah out of the court of the guard and committed him unto Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan that he should carry him home so he dwelt among the people now the word of Hashem came unto Jeremiah while he was shut up in the court of the guard saying go and speak to Ebmelek the Ethiopian saying thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel behold I will bring my words upon this city for evil and not for good and they shall be accomplished before thee in that day but I will deliver thee in that day saith Hashem and thou shalt not be given into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid for I will surely deliver thee and thou shalt not fall by the sword but thy life shall be for a prey unto thee because thou hast put thy trust in me saith Hashem Jeremiah chapter the word which came to Jeremiah from Hashem after that Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard had left him go from Ramah when he had taken him being bound in chains among all the captives of Jerusalem and Judah that were carried away captive unto Babylon and the captain of the guard took Jeremiah and said unto him the Hashem thy God pronounced this evil upon this place and Hashem hath brought it and done according as he spoke because ye have sinned against Hashem and have not hearkened to his voice therefore this thing is come upon you and now behold I loose thee this day from the chains which are upon thy hand if it seem good unto thee to come with me into Babylon come and I will look well unto thee but if it seem ill unto thee to come with me into Babylon forbear behold all the land is before thee whither it seemeth good and right unto thee to go thither go yet he would not go back go back then to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan whom the king of Babylon hath made governor over the cities of Judah and dwell with him among the people or go wheresoever it Seemeth right unto thee to go so the captain of the guard gave him an allowance and a present and let him go then went Jeremiah unto Gedaliah the son of Ahikam to Mizpah and dwelt with him among the people that were left in the land now when all the captains of the forces that were in the fields even they and their men heard that the king of Babylon had made Gedaliah the son of Ahikam governor in the land and had committed unto him men and women and children and of the poorest of the land. Of them that were not carried away captive to Babylon then they came to Gedaliah to Mizpah even Ishmael the son of Nethaniah and Yohanan and Jonathan the sons of Korea and Syria the son of Tanhumeth and the sons of Ephi the Netophathite and Jezaniah the son of the Mogacathite they and their men and Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan swore unto them and to their men saying fear not to serve the Chaldeans dwell in the land and serve the king of Babylon and it shall be well with. You as for me behold I will dwell at Mizpah to stand before the Chaldeans that may come unto us but ye gather ye wine and summer fruits and oil and put them in your vessels and dwell in your cities that ye have taken likewise when all the Jews that were in Moab and among the children of Ammon and in Edom and that were in all the countries heard that the king of Babylon had left a remnant of Judah and that he had set over them Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan then all the Jews returned out of all places whither they were driven and came to the land of Judah to Gedaliah unto Mizpah and gathered wine and summer fruits in great abundance moreover Yohanan the son of Korea and all the captains of the forces that were in the fields came to Gedaliah to Mizpah and said unto him dost thou know that Balis the king of the children of Ammon hath sent Ishmael the son of Nethaniah to take thy life but Gedaliah the son of Ahikam believed them not then Yohanan the son of Korea spoke to Gedaliah in Mizpah secretly saying let me go I pray thee and I will slay Ishmael the son of Nethaniah and no man shall know it wherefore should he take thy life that all the Jews that are gathered unto thee should be scattered and the remnant of Judah perish but Gedaliah the son of Ahikam said unto Yohanan the son of Korea thou shalt not do this thing for thou speakest falsely of Ishmael Jeremiah chapter now it came to pass in the seventh month that Ishmael the 
son of Nethaniah the son of Elishama of the seed royal and one of the chief officers of the king and ten men with him came unto Gedaliah the son of Ahikam to Mizpah and there they did eat bread together in Mizpah then arose Ishmael the son of Nethaniah and the ten men that were with him and smote Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan with the sword and slew him whom the king of Babylon had made governor over the land Ishmael also slew all the Jews that were with him even with Gedaliah at Mizpah and the Chaldeans that were found there even the men of war and it came to pass the second day after he had slain Gedaliah and no man knew it that there came certain men from Shechem from Shiloh and from Samaria even fourscore men having their beards shaven and their clothes rent and having cut themselves with meal offerings and frankincense in their hand to bring them to the house of Hashem and Ishmael the son of Nethaniah went forth from Mizpah to meet them weeping. All along as he went and it came to pass as he met them he said unto them come to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam and it was so when they came into the midst of the city that Ishmael the son of Nethaniah slew them and cast them into the midst of the pit he and the men that were with him but ten men were found among them that said unto Ishmael slay us not for we have stores hidden in the field of wheat and of barley and of oil and of honey so he forbore and slew them not among their brethren. Now the pit wherein Ishmael cast all the dead bodies of the men whom he had slain by the side of Gedaliah was that which Asa the king had made for fear of Basa king of Israel the same Ishmael the son of Nethaniah filled with them that were slain then Ishmael carried away captive all the residue of the people that were in Mizpah even the king's daughters and all the people that remained in Mizpah whom Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard had committed to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam Ishmael the Son of Nethaniah carried them away captive and departed to go over to the children of Ammon but when Yohanan the son of Korea and all the captains of the forces that were with him heard of all the evil that Ishmael the son of Nethaniah had done then they took all the men and went to fight with Ishmael the son of Nethaniah and found him by the great waters that are in Gibeon now it came to pass that when all the people that were with Ishmael saw Yohanan the son of Korea and all the captains of the forces that were with him then they were glad so all the people that Ishmael had carried away captive from Mizpah cast about and returned and went unto Yohanan the son of Korea but Ishmael the son of Nethaniah escaped from Yohanan with eight men and went to the children of Ammon then took Yohanan the son of Korea and all the captains of the forces that were with him all the remnant of the people whom he had recovered from Ishmael the son of Nethaniah from Mizpah after that he had slain Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the men even the men of war and the women and the children and the officers whom he had brought back from Gibeon and they departed and dwelt in Jeruth Chimam which is by Bethlehem to go to enter into Egypt because of the Chaldeans for they were afraid of them because Ishmael the son of Nethaniah had slain Gedaliah the son of Ahikam whom the king of Babylon made governor over the land Jeremiah chapter then all the captains of the forces. And Yohanan the son of Korea and Jezaniah the son of Hashiah and all the people from the least even unto the greatest came near and said unto Jeremiah the prophet let we pray thee our supplication be accepted before thee and pray for us unto Hashem thy God even for all this remnant for we are left but a few of many as thine eyes do behold us that Hashem thy God may tell us the way wherein we should walk and the thing that we should do then Jeremiah the prophet said unto them I have heard you behold I will pray unto Hashem your God according to your words and it shall come to pass that whatsoever thing Hashem shall answer you I will declare it unto you I will keep nothing back from you then they said to Jeremiah the Hashem be a true and faithful witness against us if we do not even according to all the word wherewith Hashem thy God shall send thee to us whether it be good or whether it be evil we will hearken to the voice of Hashem our God to whom we send thee that it may be well with us when we hearken to the voice of Hashem our God and it came to pass after ten days that the word of Hashem came unto Jeremiah then called he Yohanan the son of Korea and all the captains of the forces that were with him and all the people from the least even to the greatest and said unto them thus saith Hashem the God of Israel unto whom ye sent me to present your supplication before him if ye will still abide in this land then will I build you and not pull you down and I will plant you and not pluck you up for I repent me of the evil that I have done unto you be not afraid of the king of Babylon of whom ye are afraid be not afraid of him saith Hashem for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand and I will grant you compassion that he may have compassion upon you and cause you to return to your own land but if ye say we will not abide in this land so that ye hearken not to the voice of Hashem your God saying no but we will go into the land of Egypt where we shall see no war nor hear the sound of the horn nor have hunger of bread and there will we abide now therefore hear ye the word of Hashem a remnant of Judah thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel if ye wholly set your faces to enter into Egypt and go to sojourn there then it shall come to pass that the sword which ye fear shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt and the famine whereof ye are afraid shall follow hard after you there in Egypt and there ye shall die so shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there they shall die by the sword by the famine and by the pestilence and none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them for thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel as mine anger and my fury hath been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem so shall my fury be poured forth upon you when ye shall enter into Egypt and ye shall be an execration and an 
astonishment and a curse and a reproach and ye shall see this place no more Hashem hath spoken concerning you a remnant of Judah go ye not into Egypt know certainly that I have forewarned you this day for ye have dealt deceitfully against your own souls for ye sent me unto Hashem your God saying pray for us unto Hashem our God and according unto all that Hashem our God shall say so declare unto us and we will do it and I have this day declared it to you but ye have not hearkened to the voice of Hashem your God in anything for which he hath sent me unto you now therefore know certainly that ye shall die by the sword by the famine and by the pestilence in the place whither ye desire to go to sojourn there Jeremiah chapter and it came to pass that when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking unto all the people all the words of Hashem their God wherewith Hashem their God had sent him to them even all these words then spoke Azariah the son of Hashiah and Yohanan the son of Korea and all the proud men saying unto Jeremiah thou speakest falsely Hashem our God hath not sent thee to say ye shall not go into Egypt to sojourn there but Barak the son of Nerea set hath thee on against us to deliver us into the hand of the Chaldeans that they may put us to death and carry us away captives to Babylon so Yohanan the son of Korea and all the captains of the forces and all the people here kenned not to the voice of Hashem to dwell in the land of Judah but Yohanan the son of Korea and all the captains of the forces took all the remnant of Judah that were returned from all the nations whither they had been driven to sojourn in the land of Judah the men and the women and the children and the king's daughters and every person that Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard had left with Gedaliah the son of Ahikam the son of Shaphan and Jeremiah the prophet and Barak the son of Neriah and they came into the land of Egypt for they hearkened not to the voice of Hashem and they came even to Tophanes then came the word of Hashem unto Jeremiah in Tophanes saying take great stones in thy hand and hide them in the mortar in the framework which is at the entry of Pharaoh's house in Tophanes in the sight of the men of Judah and say unto them thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel behold I will send and take Nebuchadrezzar the king of Babylon my servant and will set his throne upon these stones that I have hid and he shall spread his royal pavilion over them and he shall come and shall smite the land of Egypt such as are for death to death and such as are for captivity to captivity and such as are for the sword to the sword and I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt and he shall burn them and carry them away captives and he shall fold up the land of Egypt as a shepherd foldeth up his garment and he shall go forth from thence in peace he shall also break the pillars of Beth Shemesh that is in the land of Egypt and the houses of the gods of Egypt shall he burn with fire Jeremiah chapter the word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the Jews that dwelt in the land of Egypt that dwelt at Migdal and at Tophanes and at Noph and in the country of Pathra saying thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel ye have seen all the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem and upon all the cities of Judah and behold this day they are a desolation and no man dwelleth therein because of their wickedness which they have committed to provoke me in that they went to offer and to serve other gods whom they knew not neither they nor ye nor your fathers howbeit I sent unto you all my servants the prophets sending them betimes and often saying O do not this abominable thing that I hate but they hear can not nor incline their ear to turn from their wickedness to forbear offering unto other gods wherefore my fury and mine anger was poured forth and was kindled in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem and they are wasted and desolate as at this day therefore now thus saith Hashem the God of hosts the God of Israel wherefore commit ye this great evil against your own souls to cut off from you man and woman infant and suckling out of the midst of Judah to leave you none remaining in that ye provoke me with the works of your hands offering unto other gods in the land of Egypt whither ye are gone to sojourn that ye may be cut off and that ye may be a curse and a reproach among all the nations of the earth have ye forgotten the wicked deeds of your fathers and the wicked deeds of the kings of Judah and the wicked deeds of their wives and your own wicked deeds and the wicked deeds of your wives which they committed in the land of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem they are not humbled even unto this day neither have they feared nor walked in my law nor in my statutes that I set before you and before your fathers therefore thus saith Hashem of Hosts the God of Israel behold I will set my face against you for evil even to cut off all Judah and I will take the remnant of Judah that have set their faces to go into the land of Egypt to sojourn there and they shall all be consumed in the land of Egypt shall they fall they shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine they shall die from the least even unto the greatest by the sword and by the famine and they shall be an execration and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach for. I will punish them that dwell in the land of Egypt as I have punished Jerusalem by the sword by the famine and by the pestilence so that none of the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall escape or remain that they should return into the land of Judah to which they have a desire to return to dwell there for none shall return save such as shall escape then all the men who knew that their wives offered unto other gods and all the women that stood by a great assembly even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt in Pathros answered Jeremiah saying as for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of Hashem we will not hearken unto thee but we will certainly perform every word that is gone forth out of our mouth to offer unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done we and our fathers our kings and our princes in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem for then had we plenty of 
food and were well and saw no evil but since we let off to offer to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine and is it we that offer to the queen of heaven and pour out drink offerings unto her did we make her cakes in her image and pour out drink offerings unto her without our husbands then jeremiah said unto all the people to the men and to the women even to all the people that had given him that answer saying the offering that yet offered in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem yet and your fathers your kings and your princes and the people of the land did not Hashem remember them and came it not into his mind so that Hashem could no longer bear because of the evil of your doings and because of the abominations which ye have committed therefore is your land become a desolation and an astonishment and a curse without an inhabitant as at this day because yet have offered and because ye have sinned against Hashem and have not hearkened to the voice of Hashem nor walked in his law nor in his statutes nor in his testimonies therefore this evil is happened unto you as at this day moreover Jeremiah said unto all the people and to all the women hear the word of Hashem all Judah that are in the land of Egypt thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel saying ye and your wives have both spoken with your mouths and with your hands have fulfilled it saying we will surely perform our vows that we have vowed to offer to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her ye shall surely establish your vows and surely perform your vows therefore hear ye the word of Hashem all Judah that dwell in the land of Egypt behold I have sworn by my great name saith Hashem that my name shall no more be named in the mouth of any man of Judah in all the land of Egypt saying as the Lord God liveth behold I watch over them for evil and not for good and all the men of Judah that are in the land of Egypt shall be consumed by the sword and by the famine until there be an end of them and they that escape the sword shall return out of the land of Egypt into the land of Judah few in number and all the remnant of Judah that are gone into the land of Egypt to sojourn there shall know whose word shall stand mine or theirs and this shall be the sign unto you saith Hashem that I will punish you in this place that ye may know that my words shall surely stand against you for evil thus saith Hashem behold I will give Pharaoh Hop for king of Egypt into the hand of his enemies and into the hand of them that seek his life as I gave Zedekiah king of Judah into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon his enemy and that sought his life Jeremiah chapter the word that Jeremiah the prophet spoke unto Barak the son of Neria when he wrote these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah in the fourth year of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah saying thus saith Hashem the God of Israel concerning thee O Barak thou didst say woe is me now for Hashem hath added sorrow to my pain I am weary with my groaning and I find no rest thus shalt thou say unto him thus saith Hashem behold that which I have built will I break down and that which I have planted I will pluck up and this in the whole land and seekest thou great things for thyself seek them not for behold I will bring evil upon all flesh saith Hashem but thy life will I give unto thee for a prey in all places whither thou goest Jeremiah chapter the word of Hashem which came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the nations of Egypt concerning the army of Pharaoh Necho king of Egypt which was by the river Euphrates in Karchemish which Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon smote in the fourth year of Jehoiakim the son of Josiah king of Judah make ready buckler and shield and draw near to battle harness the horses and mount ye horsemen and stand forth with your helmets furbish the spears put on the coats of mail wherefore do I see them dismayed and turned backward and their mighty ones are beaten down and they are fled apace and look not back terror is on every side saith Hashem the swift cannot flee away nor the mighty man escape in the north by the river Euphrates have they stumbled and fallen who is this like the Nile that riseth up like the rivers whose waters toss themselves Egypt is like the Nile that riseth up and like the rivers whose waters toss themselves and he saith I will rise up I will cover the earth I will destroy the city and the inhabitants thereof prance ye horses and rush madly ye chariots and let the mighty men go forth cush and put that handle the shield and the ludim that handle and bend the bow for the Lord God of hosts shall have on that day a day of vengeance that he may avenge him of his adversaries and the sword shall devour and be satiate and shall be made drunk with their blood. For the Lord God of hosts hath a sacrifice in the north country by the river Euphrates go up into Gilead and take bomb O virgin daughter of Egypt in vain dost thou use many medicines there is no cure for thee the nations have heard of thy shame and the earth is full of thy cry for the mighty man hath stumbled against the mighty they are fallen both of them together the word that Hashem spoke to Jeremiah the prophet how that Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon should come and smite the land of Egypt declare ye in Egypt and announce in Migdal and announce in Naf and in Tophan he say ye stand forth and prepare thee for the sword hath devoured round about thee why is thy strong one overthrown he stood not because Hashem did thrust him down he made many to stumble ye they fell one upon another and said arise and let us return to our own people and to the land of our birth from the oppressing sword they cried their Pharaoh king of Egypt is but a noise he hath let thee appointed time pass by as I live saith the king whose name is Hashem of hosts surely like Tabor among the mountains and like Carmel by the sea so shall he come O thou daughter that dwellest in Egypt furnish thyself to go into captivity for Naf shall become a desolation and shall be laid waste without inhabitant Egypt is a very fair heifer but the gadfly out of the north is come it is come also her mercenaries in the midst of her are like calves of the stall for they also are turned 
back they are fled away together they did not stand for the day of their calamity is come upon them the time of their visitation the sound thereof shall go like the serpents for they march with an army and come against her with axes as hewers of wood they cut down her forests saith Hashem though it cannot be searched because they are more than the locusts and are innumerable the daughter of Egypt is put to shame she is delivered into the hand of the people of the north Hashem of hosts. The God of Israel saith Behold I will punish Ammon of No and Pharaoh and Egypt with her gods and her kings even Pharaoh and them that trust in him and I will deliver them into the hand of those that seek their lives and into the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon and into the hand of his servants and afterwards it shall be inhabited as in the days of old saith Hashem but fear not thou O Jacob my servant neither be dismayed O Israel for lo I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity and Jacob shall again be quiet and at ease and none shall make him afraid fear not thou O Jacob my servant saith Hashem for I am with thee for I will make a full end of all the nations whither I have driven thee but I will not make a full end of thee and I will correct thee in measure but will not utterly destroy thee Jeremiah chapter the word of Hashem that came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning the Philistines before that Pharaoh smote Gaza thus saith Hashem Behold waters rise up out of the north and shall become an overflowing stream and they shall overflow the land and all that is therein the city and them that dwell therein and the men shall cry and all the inhabitants of the land shall wail at the noise of the stamping of the hoofs of his strong ones at the rushing of his chariots at the rumbling of his wheels the fathers look not back to their children for feebleness of hands because of the day that cometh to spoil all the Philistines too. Cut off from Tyre and Zidon every helper that remaineth for Hashem will spoil the Philistines the remnant of the Isle of Kaftor baldness is come upon Gaza Ashkelon is brought to not the remnant of their valley how long wilt thou cut thyself O thou sword of Hashem how long will it be ere thou be quiet put up thyself into thy scabbard rest and be still how canst thou be quiet for Hashem hath given it a charge against Ashkelon and against the seashore there hath he appointed it. Jeremiah chapter of Moab thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel woe unto Nebo for it is spoiled Kiriathame is put to shame it is taken Miskab is put to shame and dismayed the praise of Moab is no more in Heshbon they have devised evil against her come and let us cut her off from being a nation thou also O madman shalt be brought to silence the sword shall pursue thee hark a cry from Horonim spoiling and great destruction Moab is destroyed her little ones have caused a cry to be heard for by the ascent of Luhith with continual weeping shall they go up for in the going down of Horonim they have heard the distressing cry of destruction flee save your lives and be like a tamarisk in the wilderness for because thou hast trusted in thy works and in thy treasures thou also shalt be taken and Chemosh shall go forth into captivity his priests and his princes together and the spoiler shall come upon every city and no city shall escape the valley also shall perish. And the plain shall be destroyed as Hashem hath spoken give wings unto Moab for she must fly and get away and her cities shall become a desolation without any to dwell therein cursed be he that doth the work of Hashem with a slack hand and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood Moab hath been at ease from his youth and he hath settled on his lees and hath not been emptied from vessel to vessel neither hath he gone into captivity therefore his taste remaineth in him and his Sent is not changed therefore behold the days come saith Hashem that I will send unto him them that tilt up and they shall tilt him up and they shall empty his vessels and break their bottles in pieces and Moab shall be ashamed of Chemosh as the house of Israel was ashamed of Bethel their confidence how say yeah we are mighty men and valiant men for the war Moab is spoiled and they are gone up into her cities and his chosen young men are gone down to the slaughter saith the king whose name is Hashem of hosts the calamity of Moab is near to come and his affliction hasteth fast bemoan him all ye that are round about him and all ye that know his name say how is the strong staff broken the beautiful rod O thou daughter that dwellest in Dibon come down from thy glory and sit in thirst for the spoiler of Moab is come up against thee he hath destroyed thy strongholds O inhabitant of Aro or stand by the way and watch ask him that fleet and her that escapeth say what hath been done Moab is put to shame for it is dismayed wail and cry tell yet it in Arnon that Moab is spoiled and judgment is come upon the country of the plain upon Halon and upon Yaza and upon Mephoth and upon Dibon and upon Nebo and upon Beth Deblathame and upon Kiriathame and upon Beth Gamel and upon Bethmian and upon Kirioth and upon Basra and upon all the cities of the land of Moab far or near the horn of Moab is cut off and his arm is broken Seth Hashem make yet him drunken. For he magnified himself against Hashem and Moab shall wallow in his vomit and he also shall be in derision for was not Israel a derision unto thee was he found among thieves for as often as thou speakest of him thou waggest the head O ye that dwell in Moab leave the cities and dwell in the rock and be like the dove that make her nest in the sides of the pit's mouth we have heard of the pride of Moab he is very proud his loftiness and his pride and his haughtiness and the assumption of his heart I know his arrogancy saith Hashem that it is ill-founded his boastings have wrought nothing well-founded therefore will I wail for Moab yet I will cry out for all Moab for the men of Kir Hares shall my heart moan with more than the weeping of Jazer will I weep for thee O vine of Sibma thy branches passed over the sea they reached even to the sea of Jazer upon thy summer fruits and upon thy vintage the spoiler is fallen and gladness and joy is taken away from the fruitful. 
field and from the land of Moab and I have caused wine to cease from the wine presses none shall tread with shouting the shouting shall be no shouting from the cry of Heshbon even unto Eliali even unto Hahas have they uttered their voice from Zor even unto Horonim a heifer of three years old for the waters of Nimrim also shall be desolate moreover I will cause to cease in Moab Seth Hashem him that offereth in the high place and him that offereth to his gods therefore my heart moaneth. For Moab like pipes and my heart moaneth like pipes for the men of Kir Hares therefore the abundance that he hath gotten is perished for every head is bald and every beard clipped upon all the hands are cuttings and upon the loin sackcloth on all the housetops of Moab and in the broad places thereof there is lamentation everywhere for I have broken Moab like a vessel wherein is no pleasure Seth Hashem how is it broken down well yet how hath Moab turned the back with shame so shall. Moab become a derision and a dismay to all that are round about him for thus saith Hashem behold he shall swoop as a vulture and shall spread out his wings against Moab the cities are taken and the strongholds are seized and the heart of the mighty men of Moab at that day shall be as the heart of a woman in her pangs and Moab shall be destroyed from being a people because he hath magnified himself against Hashem terror and the pit and the trap are upon the O inhabitant of Moab saith. Hashem he that fleet from the terror shall fall into the pit and he that getteth up out of the pit shall be taken in the trap for I will bring upon her even upon Moab the year of their visitation saith Hashem in the shadow of Heshbon the fugitives stand without strength for a fire is gone forth out of Heshbon and a flame from the midst of Sihon and it devoureth the corner of Moab and the crown of the head of the tumultuous ones woe unto thee O Moab the people of Chemosh is undone for thy sons are taken away captive and thy daughters into captivity yet will I turn the captivity of Moab in the end of days saith Hashem thus far is the judgment of Moab Jeremiah chapter of the children of Ammon thus saith Hashem hath Israel no sons hath he no heir why then doth Malcam take possession of Gad and his people dwell in the cities thereof therefore behold the days come saith Hashem that I will cause an alarm of war to be heard against Rabbah of the children of Ammon and it shall become a desolate mound and her daughters shall be burned with fire then shall Israel dispossess them that did dispossess him saith Hashem wail O Heshbon for Ai is undone cry ye daughters of Rabbah gird you with sackcloth lament and run to and fro among the folds for Malcam shall go into captivity his priests and his princes together wherefore glorious thou in the valleys thy flowing valley O backsliding daughter that didst trust in thy treasures who shall come unto me behold I will Bring a terror upon thee saith the Lord God of hosts from all that are round about thee and ye shall be driven out every man right forth and there shall be none to gather up him that wandereth but afterward I will bring back the captivity of the children of Ammon saith Hashem of Edom thus saith Hashem of hosts is wisdom no more in Taman is counsel perished from the prudent is their wisdom vanished flee yet turn back dwell deep O inhabitants of Dedan for I do bring the calamity of Esau upon him the time that I shall punish him if grape gatherers came to thee would they not leave some gleaning grapes if thieves by night would they not destroy till they had enough but I have made Esau bear I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself his seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not leave thy fatherless children I will rear them and let thy widows trust in me for thus saith Hashem behold they to whom it pertained not to drink of the cup shall assuredly drink and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished thou shalt not go unpunished but thou shalt surely drink for I have sworn by myself saith Hashem that Basra shall become an astonishment a reproach a waste and a curse and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual wastes I have heard a message from Hashem and an ambassador is sent among the nations gather yourselves together and come against her and rise up to the battle for behold I make thee Small among the nations and despised among men thy terribleness hath deceived thee even the pride of thy heart O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock that holdest the height of the hill though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle I will bring thee down from then saith Hashem and Edom shall become an astonishment every one that passeth by it shall be astonished and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof as in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor. Cities thereof saith Hashem no man shall abide there neither shall any son of man dwell therein behold he shall come up like a lion from the thickets of the Jordan against the strong habitation for I will suddenly make him run away from it and whoso is chosen him will I appoint over it for who is like me and who will appoint me a time and who is that shepherd that will stand before me therefore hear ye the counsel of Hashem that he hath taken against Edom and his purposes that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Taman surely the least of the flock shall drag them away surely their habitation shall be appalled at them the earth quaked at the noise of their fall there is a cry the noise whereof is heard in the Red Sea behold he shall come up and swoop down as the vulture and spread out his wings against Basra and the heart of the mighty men of Edom at that day shall be as the heart of a woman in her pangs of Damascus Hamath is ashamed and arped for they have heard evil tidings they are melted away there is trouble in the sea it cannot be quiet Damascus is waxed feeble she turneth herself to flee and trembling hath seized on her anguish and pangs have taken hold of her as of a woman in travail how is the city of praise left unrepaired the city of my joy therefore her young men shall fall in her broad places and all the men of war shall be brought to silence in that day saith Hashem of hosts and I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus.
and it shall devour the palaces of Ben-Hadad of Kedar and of the kingdoms of Hazer which Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon smote thus Seth Hashem arise ye go up against Kedar and spoil the children of the east their tents and their flocks shall they take they shall carry away for themselves their curtains and all their vessels and their camels and they shall proclaim against them a terror on every side flee ye flit far off dwell deep o ye inhabitants of Hazer Seth Hashem for Nebuchadrezzar. King of Babylon hath taken counsel against you and hath conceived a purpose against you arise get you up against a nation that is at ease that dwelleth without care saith Hashem that have neither gates nor bars that dwell alone and their camels shall be a booty and the multitude of their cattle a spoil and I will scatter unto all winds them that have the corners pulled and I will bring their calamity from every side of them saith Hashem and Hazer shall be a dwelling place of jackals a desolation forever no man shall abide there neither shall any son of man dwell therein the word of Hashem that came to Jeremiah the prophet concerning Elam in the beginning of the reign of Zedekiah king of Judah saying thus saith Hashem of hosts behold I will break the bow of Elam the chief of their might and I will bring against Elam the four winds from the four quarters of heaven and will scatter them toward all those winds and there shall be no nation whither the dispersed of Elam shall not come and I will cause Elam to be dismayed before their enemies and before them that seek their life and I will bring evil upon them even my fierce anger saith Hashem and I will send the sword after them till I have consumed them and I will set my throne in Elam and will destroy from thence king and princes saith Hashem but it shall come to pass in the end of days that I will bring back the captivity of Elam saith Hashem Jeremiah chapter the word that Hashem spoke Concerning Babylon concerning the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet declare yet among the nations and announce and set up a standard announce and conceal not say Babylon is taken Bel is put to shame Merodach is dismayed her images are put to shame her idols are dismayed for out of the north there cometh up a nation against her which shall make her land desolate and none shall dwell therein they are fled they are gone both man and beast in those days and in that time saith. Hashem the children of Israel shall come they and the children of Judah together they shall go on their way weeping and shall seek Hashem their God they shall inquire concerning Zion with their faces hitherward come ye and join yourselves to Hashem in an everlasting covenant that shall not be forgotten my people hath been lost sheep their shepherds have caused them to go astray they have turned them away on the mountains they have gone from mountain to hill they have forgotten their resting place all that found them have devoured them and their adversaries said we are not guilty because they have sinned against Hashem the habitation of justice even Hashem the hope of their fathers flee out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldeans and be as the he goats before the flocks for lo I will stir up and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country and they shall set themselves in array against her from Thence she shall be taken their arrows shall be as of a mighty man that make childless none shall return in vain and Chaldea shall be a spoil all that spoil her shall be satisfied saith Hashem because ye are glad because ye rejoice O ye that plunder my heritage because ye gamble as a heifer at grass and nay as strong horses your mother shall be sore ashamed she that bore you shall be confounded behold the hindermost of the nations shall be a wilderness a dry land and a desert. Because of the wrath of Hashem it shall not be inhabited but it shall be wholly desolate every one that goeth by Babylon shall be appalled and hiss at all her plagues set yourselves in array against Babylon round about all ye that bend the bow shoot at her spare no arrows for she hath sinned against Hashem shout against her round about she hath submitted herself her buttresses are fallen her walls are thrown down for it is the vengeance of Hashem take vengeance upon her as she hath done do. Unto her cut off the sower from Babylon and him that hand left the sickle in the time of harvest for fear of the oppressing sword they shall turn every one to his people and they shall flee every one to his own land Israel is a scattered sheep the lions have driven him away first the king of Assyria hath devoured him and last this Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon hath broken his bones therefore thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel behold I will punish the king of Babylon and his land. As I have punished the king of Assyria and I will bring Israel back to his pasture and he shall feed on Carmel and Bashan and his soul shall be satisfied upon the hills of Ephraim and in Gilead in those days and in that time saith Hashem the iniquity of Israel shall be sought for and there shall be none and the sins of Judah and they shall not be found for I will pardon them whom I leave as a remnant go up against the land of Merahim even against it and against the inhabitants of Pekod. Waste and utterly destroy after them saith Hashem and do according to all that I have commanded thee hark battle is in the land and great destruction how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken how is Babylon become a desolation among the nations I have laid a snare for thee and thou art also taken O Babylon and thou wast not aware thou art found and also caught because thou hast striven against Hashem Hashem hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation for it is a work that the Lord God of hosts hath to do in the land of the Chaldeans come against her from every quarter open her granaries cast her up as heaps and destroy her utterly let nothing of her be left slay all her bullocks let them go down to the slaughter woe unto them for their day is come the time of their visitation hark they flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of Hashem our God the vengeance of his temple call.
Together the archers against Babylon all them that bend the bowing camp against her round about let none thereof escape recompense her according to her work according to all that she hath done do unto her for she hath been arrogant against Hashem against the Holy One of Israel therefore shall her young men fall in her broad places and all her men of war shall be brought to silence in that day saith Hashem behold I am against thee O thou most arrogant saith the Lord God of hosts for thy day. Is come the time that I will punish thee and the most arrogant shall stumble and fall and none shall raise him up and I will kindle a fire in his cities and it shall devour all that are round about him thus saith Hashem of hosts the children of Israel and the children of Judah are oppressed together and all that took them captives hold them fast they refuse to let them go their redeemer is strong Hashem of hosts is his name he will thoroughly plead their cause that he may give rest to the earth and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon a sword is upon the Chaldeans saith Hashem and upon the inhabitants of Babylon and upon her princes and upon her wise men a sword is upon the boasters and they shall become fools a sword is upon her mighty men and they shall be dismayed a sword is upon their horses and upon their chariots and upon all the mingled people that are in the midst of her and they shall become as women a sword is upon her treasures and they shall be robbed a drought is upon her waters and they shall be dried up for it is a land of graven images and they are mad upon things of horror therefore the wild cats with the jackals shall dwell there and the ostriches shall dwell therein and it shall be no more inhabited forever neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof saith Hashem so shall no man abide there neither shall any son of man dwell therein behold a people cometh from the north and a great nation and many kings shall be roused from the uttermost parts of the earth they lay hold on bow and spear they are cruel and have no compassion their voice is like the roaring sea and they ride upon horses set in array as a man for war against thee O daughter of Babylon the king of Babylon hath heard the fame of them and his hands wax feeble anguish hath taken hold of him and pain as of a woman in travail behold he shall come up like a lion from the thickets of the Jordan against the strong habitation for I will suddenly make them run away from it and whoso is chosen him will I appoint over it for who is like me and who will appoint me a time and who is that shepherd that will stand before me therefore hear ye the counsel of Hashem that he hath taken against Babylon and his purposes that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldeans surely the least of the flock shall drag them away surely their habitation shall be appalled at them at the noise of the taking of Babylon the earth quaked and the cry is heard among the nations Jeremiah chapter thus saith Hashem behold I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in Elibi comma e a destroying wind and I will send unto Babylon strangers that shall fan her and they shall empty her land for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about let the archer bend his bow against her and let him lift himself up against her in his coat of mail and Spare ye not her young men destroy ye utterly all her host and they shall fall down slain in the land of the Chaldeans and thrust through in her streets for Israel is not widowed nor Judah of his God of Hashem of hosts for their land is full of guilt against the Holy One of Israel flee out of the midst of Babylon and save every man his life be not cut off in her iniquity for it is the time of Hashem's vengeance he will render unto her a recompense Babylon hath been a golden cup in. Hashem's hand that made all the earth drunk and the nations have drunk of her wine therefore the nations are mad Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed wail for her take bomb for her pain if so be she may be healed we would have healed Babylon but she is not healed forsake her and let us go every one into his own country for her judgment reach it unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies Hashem hath brought forth our victory come and let us declare in Zion the work of Hashem our God. Make bright the arrows fill the quivers Hashem hath roused the spirit of the kings of the Medes because his device is against Babylon to destroy it for it is the vengeance of Hashem the vengeance of his temple set up a standard against the walls of Babylon make the watch strong set the watchmen prepare the ambushes for Hashem hath both devised and done that which he spoke concerning the inhabitants of Babylon O thou that dwellest upon many waters abundant in treasures thine end is come the Measure of thy covetousness Hashem of hosts hath sworn by himself surely I will fill thee with men as with the canker worm and they shall lift up a shout against thee he that hath made the earth by his power that hath established the world by his wisdom and hath stretched out the heavens by his discernment at the sound of his giving a multitude of waters in the heavens he causeth the vapours to ascend from the ends of the earth he maketh lightnings at the time of the rain and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasuries every man is proved to be brutish for the knowledge every goldsmith is put to shame by the graven image that his molten image is falsehood and there is no breath in them they are vanity a work of delusion in the time of their visitation they shall perish the portion of Jacob is not like these for he is the former of all things and Israel is the tribe of his inheritance Hashem of hosts is his name thou art my mall and weapons of war and with thee will I shatter the nations and with thee will I destroy kingdoms and with thee will I shatter the horse and his rider and with thee will I shatter the chariot and him that rides therein and with thee will I shatter man and woman and with thee will I shatter the old man and the youth and with thee will I shatter the young man and the maid and with thee will I shatter the shepherd and his flock and with thee will I shatter the husbandman and his yoke of oxen and with thee will I shatter.
governors and deputies and I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight Seth Hashem behold I am against thee O destroying mountain Seth Hashem which destroyest all the earth and I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain and they shall not take of thee a stone for a corner nor a stone for foundations but thou shalt be desolate forever Seth Hashem. Set ye up a standard in the land blow the horn among the nations prepare the nations against her call together against her the kingdoms of Ararat many and Ashkenaz appoint a marshal against her cause the horses to come up as the rough canker worm prepare against her the nations the kings of the Medes the governors thereof and all the deputies thereof and all the land of his dominion and the land quaked and is in pain for the purposes of Hashem are performed against Babylon to make the land of Babylon a desolation without inhabitant the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight they remain in their strongholds their might hath failed they are become as women her dwelling places are set on fire her bars are broken one post runneth to meet another and one messenger to meet another to tell the king of Babylon that his city is taken on every quarter and the fords are seized and the castles they have burned with fire and the men of war are affrighted for thus saith Hashem of hosts the God of Israel the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor at the time when it is trodden yet a little while and the time of harvest shall come for her Nebuchadrezzar the king of Babylon hath devoured me he hath crushed me he hath set me down as an empty vessel he hath swallowed me up like a dragon he hath filled his maw with my delicacies he hath washed me clean the violence done to me and to my flesh be upon Babylon shall the inhabitant of Zion say and my blood. Be upon the inhabitants of Chaldea shall Jerusalem say therefore thus saith Hashem behold I will plead thy cause and take vengeance for thee and I will dry up her sea and make her fountain dry and Babylon shall become heaps a dwelling place for jackals in astonishment and a hissing without inhabitant they shall roar together like young lions they shall growl as lions whelps with their poison I will prepare their feast and I will make them drunken that they may be convulsed and sleep a perpetual sleep and not wake Seth Hashem I will bring them down like lambs to the slaughter like rams with he goats how is she's hatch taken and the praise of the whole earth seized how is Babylon become an astonishment among the nations the sea is come up upon Babylon she is covered with the multitude of the waves thereof her cities are become a desolation a dry land and a desert a land wherein no man dwelleth neither doth any son of man pass thereby and I will punish Bel in Babylon and I will bring forth out of his mouth that which he hath swallowed up and the nations shall not flow any more unto him yet the wall of Babylon shall fall my people go yet out of the midst of her and save yourselves every man from the fierce anger of Hashem and let not your heart faint neither fear yet for the rumor that shall be heard in the land for a rumor shall come one year and after that in another year a rumor and violence in the land ruler against ruler therefore behold the days. Come that I will do judgment upon the graven images of Babylon and her whole land shall be ashamed and all her slain shall fall in the midst of her then the heaven and the earth and all that is therein shall sing for joy over Babylon for the spoilers shall come unto her from the north Seth Hashem as Babylon hath caused the slain of Israel to fall so at Babylon shall fall the slain of all the land yet that have escaped the sword go yes stand not still remember Hashem from afar and let Jerusalem come into your mind we are ashamed because we have heard reproach confusion hath covered our faces for strangers are come into the sanctuaries of Hashem's house wherefore behold the days come saith Hashem that I will do judgment upon her graven images and through all her land the wounded shall groan though Babylon should mount up to heaven and though she should fortify the height of her strength yet from me shall spoilers come unto her saith Hashem hark a cry from Babylon and great destruction from the land of the Chaldeans for Hashem spoileth Babylon and destroyeth out of her the great voice and their waves roar like many waters the noise of their voice is uttered for the spoiler is come upon her even upon Babylon and her mighty men are taken their bows are shattered for Hashem is a god of recompenses he will surely requite and I will make drunk her princes and her wise men her governors and her deputies and her mighty men and they shall sleep a perpetual Sleep and not wake saith the king whose name is Hashem of hosts thus saith Hashem of hosts the broad walls of Babylon shall be utterly overthrown and her high gates shall be burned with fire and the peoples shall labor for vanity and the nations for the fire and they shall be weary the word which Jeremiah the prophet commanded Syria the son of Neria the son of Masiah when he went with Zedekiah the king of Judah to Babylon in the fourth year of his reign now Syria was quartermaster. And Jeremiah wrote in one book all the evil that should come upon Babylon even all these words that are written concerning Babylon and Jeremiah said to Syria when thou comest to Babylon then see that thou read all these words and say O Hashem thou hast spoken concerning this place to cut it off that none shall dwell therein neither man nor beast but that it shall be desolate forever and it shall be when thou hast made an end of reading this book that thou shalt bind a stone to it and cast it into the midst of the Euphrates and thou shalt say thus shall Babylon sink and shall not rise again because of the evil that I will bring upon her and they shall be weary thus far are the words of Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter Zedekiah was one and twenty years old when he began to reign and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem and his mother's name was Hamadol the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna and he did that which was evil in the sight of Hashem according to all that Jehoiakim 
had done for through the anger of Hashem did it come to pass in Jerusalem and Judah until he had cast them out from his presence and Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon and it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign in the tenth month in the tenth day of the month that Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon came he and all his army against Jerusalem and encamped against it and they built forts against it round about so the city was besieged unto the eleventh year of king Zedekiah. In the fourth month in the ninth day of the month the famine was sore in the city so that there was no bread for the people of the land then a breach was made in the city and all the men of war fled and went forth out of the city by night by the way of the gate between the two walls which was by the king's garden now the Chaldeans were against the city round about and they went by the way of the Arable but the army of the Chaldeans pursued after the king and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho and all his army was scattered from him then they took the king and carried him up unto the king of Babylon to Riblah in the land of Hamath and he gave judgment upon him and the king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes he slew also all the princes of Judah in Riblah and he put out the eyes of Zedekiah and the king of Babylon bound him in fetters and carried him to Babylon and put him in prison till the day of his death now in the fifth month in the Tenth day of the month which was the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon came Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard who stood before the king of Babylon into Jerusalem and he burned the house of Hashem and the king's house and all the houses of Jerusalem even every great man's house burned he with fire and all the army of the Chaldeans that were with the captain of the guard broke down all the walls of Jerusalem round about then Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard carried away captive of the poorest sort of the people and the residue of the people that remained in the city and those that fell away that fell to the king of Babylon and the residue of the multitude but Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard left of the poorest of the land to be vine dressers and husbandmen and the pillars of brass that were in the house of Hashem and the bases and the brazen sea that were in the house of Hashem did the Chaldeans break in pieces and carried all the brass of them to Babylon the pots also and the shovels and the snuffers and the basins and the pans and all the vessels of brass wherewith they ministered took they away and the cups and the fire pans and the basins and the pots and the candlesticks and the pans and the bowls that which was of gold in gold and that which was of silver in silver the captain of the guard took away the two pillars the one sea and the twelve brazen bowls that were under the bases which King Solomon had made for the house of Hashem the brass of all these vessels was without weight and as for the pillars the height of the one pillar was eighteen cubits and a line of twelve cubits did compass it and the thickness thereof was four fingers it was hollow and a capital of brass was upon it and the height of the one capital was five cubits with network and pomegranates upon the capital round about all of brass and the second pillar also had like unto these and pomegranates and there were ninety and six pomegranates on the outside all the pomegranates were a hundred upon the network round about and the captain of the guard took Sirah the chief priest and Zephaniah the second priest and the three keepers of the door and out of the city he took an officer that was set over the men of war and seven men of them that saw the king's face who were found in the city and the scribe of the captain of the host who mustered the people of the land and three score men of the people of the land that were found in the midst of the city and Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard took them and brought them to the king of Babylon to Riblah and the king of Babylon smote them and put them to death at Riblah in the land of Hamath so Judah was carried away captive out of his land this is the people whom Nebuchadrezzar carried away captive in the seventh year three thousand Jews and three and twenty in the eighteenth year of Nebuchadrezzar from Jerusalem eight hundred thirty and two persons. In the three and twentieth year of Nebuchadrezzar Nebuzaradan the captain of the guard carried away captive of the Jews seven hundred forty and five persons all the persons were four thousand and six hundred and it came to pass in the seven and thirtieth year of the captivity of Jehoiakim king of Judah in the twelfth month in the five and twentieth day of the month that evil Merdach king of Babylon in the first year of his reign lifted up the head of Jehoiakim king of Judah and brought him forth out of prison and he spoke kindly to him and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babylon and he changed his prison garments and did eat bread before him continually all the days of his life and for his allowance there was a continual allowance given him of the king of Babylon every day a portion until the day of his death all the days of his life Ezekiel chapter now it came to pass in the thirtieth year in the fourth month in the fifth day of the month as I was among the captives by the river Chebar that the heavens were opened and I saw visions of God in the fifth day of the month which was the fifth year of King Jehoiakim's captivity the word of Hashem came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest the son of Buzi in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chebar and the hand of Hashem was there upon him and I looked and behold a stormy wind came out of the north a great cloud with a fire flashing up so that a brightness was round about it and out of the midst thereof as the color of electrum out of the midst of the fire and out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures and this was their appearance they had the likeness of a man and every one had four faces and every one of them had four wings and their feet were straight feet and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot and they sparkled like the color of burnished brass and they had the hands of a man under there wings on their four sides and as for the faces and wings of them for their wings were joined one to another they turned not when they went they went every one straight forward as for the likeness of their faces they had the face of a man and they four had the face of a lion on the right side and they four had the face of an ox on the left side they four had also the face of an eagle thus were their faces and their wings were stretched upward two wings of every one were joined one to 
another and two covered their bodies and they went every one straight forward whither the spirit was to go they went they turned not when they went as for the likeness of the living creatures their appearance was like coals of fire burning like the appearance of torches it flashed up and down among the living creatures and there was brightness to the fire and out of the fire went forth lightning and the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a flash of lightning now as I beheld the living creatures behold one wheel at the bottom hard by the living creatures at the four faces thereof the appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of a barrel and they four had one likeness and their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel within a wheel when they went they went toward their four sides they turned not when they went as for their rings they were high and they were dreadful and they four had their rings full of eyes round about and when the living creatures went the wheels went hard by them and when the living creatures were lifted up from the bottom the wheels were lifted up whithersoever the spirit was to go as the spirit was to go thither so they went and the wheels were lifted up beside them for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels when those went these went and when those stood these stood and when those were lifted up from the earth the wheels were lifted up beside them for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels and over the heads of the living creatures there was the likeness of a firmament like the color of the terrible eye stretched forth over their heads above and under the firmament were their wings conformable the one to the other this one of them had two which covered and that one of them had two which covered their bodies and when they went I heard the noise of their wings like the noise of great waters like the voice of the almighty a noise of tumult. Like the noise of a host when they stood they let down their wings for when there was a voice above the firmament that was over their heads as they stood they let down their wings and above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne as the appearance of a sapphire stone and upon the likeness of the throne was a likeness as the appearance of a man upon it above and I saw as the color of electrum as the appearance of fire round about enclosing it from the appearance of his loins and upward and from the appearance of his loins and downward I saw as it were the appearance of fire and there was brightness round about him as the appearance of the bow that is in the cloud in the day of rain so was the appearance of the brightness round about this was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of Hashem and when I saw it I fell upon my face and I heard a voice of one that spoke Ezekiel chapter and he said unto me son of man stand upon thy feet and I will speak with thee and spirit entered into me when he spoke unto me and set me upon my feet and I heard him that spoke unto me and he said unto me son of man I send thee to the children of Israel to rebellious nations that have rebelled against me they and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day and the children are brazen faced and stiff hearted I do send thee unto them and thou shalt say unto them thus saith the Lord God and they whether they will hear or whether they will forbear for they are a rebellious house yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them and thou son of man be not afraid of them neither be afraid of their words though defiers and despisers be with thee and thou dost dwell among scorpions be not afraid of their words nor be dismayed at their looks for they are a rebellious house and thou shalt speak my words unto them whether they will hear or whether they will forbear for they are most rebellious and thou son of man hear what I say unto thee be not thou rebellious like that rebellious house open thy mouth and eat that which I give thee and when I looked behold a hand was put forth unto me and lo a roll of a book was therein and he spread it before me and it was written within and without and there was written therein lamentations and moaning and woe Ezekiel chapter and he said unto me son of man eat that which thou findest eat this roll and go speak unto the house of Israel so I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat that roll and he said unto me son of man cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee then did I eat it and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness and he said unto me son of man go get thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them for thou art not sent to a people of an unintelligible speech and of a slow tongue but to the house of Israel not to many peoples of an unintelligible speech and of a slow tongue whose words thou canst not understand surely if I sent thee to them they would hearken unto thee but the house of Israel will not consent to hearken unto thee for they consent not to hearken unto me for all the house of Israel are of a hard forehead and of a stiff heart behold I have made thy face hard against their faces and thy forehead hard against their foreheads as an adamant harder than flint have I made thy forehead fear them not neither be dismayed at their looks for they are a rebellious house moreover he said unto me son of man all my words that I shall speak unto thee receive in thy heart and hear with thine ears and go get thee to them of the captivity unto the children of thy people and speak unto them and tell them thus saith the Lord God whether they will hear or whether they will forbear then a spirit lifted me up and I heard behind me the voice of a great rushing blessed be the glory of Hashem from his place also the noise of the wings of the living creatures as they touched one another and the noise of the wheels beside them even the noise of a great rushing so a spirit lifted me up and took me away and I went in bitterness in the heat of my spirit and the hand of Hashem was strong upon me then I came to them of the captivity at Tel Aviv that dwelt by the river Chebar and I sat where they sat and I remained there appalled among them seven days and it came to pass at the end of seven days that the Word of Hashem came unto me saying Son of man I have appointed thee a watchman unto the house of Israel and when thou shalt hear a word at my mouth thou shalt give them warning from me when I say unto the wicked thou shalt surely die and thou givest him not warning nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity but his blood will I require at thy hand yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness nor 
from his wicked way he shall die in his iniquity but thou hast delivered thy soul again when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity I will lay a stumbling block before him he shall die because thou hast not given him warning he shall die in his sin and his righteous deeds which he hath done shall not be remembered but his blood will I require at thy hand nevertheless if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not and he doth not sin he shall surely live because he took warning and thou hast delivered thy soul and the hand of Hashem came there upon me and he said unto me arise go forth into the plain and I will there speak with thee then I arose and went forth into the plain and behold the glory of Hashem stood there as the glory which I saw by the river Chebar and I fell on my face then spirit entered into me and set me upon my feet and he spoke with me and said unto me go shut thyself within thy house but thou son of man Behold bands shall be put upon thee and thou shalt be bound with them and thou shalt not go out among them and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth that thou shalt be dumb and shalt not be to them a reprover for they are a rebellious house but when I speak with thee I will open thy mouth and thou shalt say unto them thus saith the Lord God he that heareth let him hear and he that forbeareth let him forbear for they are a rebellious house Ezekiel chapter thou also. Son of man take thee a tile and lay it before thee and trace upon it a city even Jerusalem and lay siege against it and build forts against it and cast up a mound against it set camps also against it and set battering rams against it round about and take thou unto thee an iron griddle and set it for a wall of iron between thee and the city and set thy face toward it and it shall be besieged and thou shalt lay siege against it this shall be a sign to the house of Israel moreover lie thou upon thy left side and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon it thou shalt bear their iniquity for I have appointed the years of their iniquity to be unto thee a number of days even three hundred and ninety days so shalt thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel and again when thou hast accomplished these thou shalt lie on thy right side and shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah forty days each day for a year. Have I appointed it unto thee and thou shalt set thy face toward the siege of Jerusalem with thine arm uncovered and thou shalt prophesy against it and behold I lay bands upon thee and thou shalt not turn thee from one side to another till thou hast accomplished the days of thy siege take thou also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and spelt and put them in one vessel and make thee bread thereof according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon thy Side even three hundred and ninety days shalt thou eat thereof and thy food which thou shalt eat shall be by weight twenty shekels a day from time to time shalt thou eat it thou shalt drink also water by measure the sixth part of a hin from time to time shalt thou drink and thou shalt eat it as barley cakes and thou shalt bake it in their side with dung that cometh out of man and Hashem said even thus shall the children of Israel eat their bread unclean among the nations with their eye. Will drive them then said I O Lord God behold my soul hath not been polluted for from my youth up even till now have I not eaten of that which dieth of itself or is torn of beasts neither came there abhorred flesh into my mouth then he said unto me see I have given thee cows dung for man's dung and thou shalt prepare thy bread thereon moreover he said unto me son of man behold I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem and they shall eat bread by weight and with anxiety and they shall drink water by measure and in a palment that they may want bread and water and be appalled one with another and pine away in their iniquity Ezekiel chapter and thou son of man take thee a sharp sword as a barber's razor shalt thou take it unto thee and cause it to pass upon thy head and upon thy beard then take thee balances to weigh and divide the hair a third part shalt thou burn in the fire in the midst of the city when the days of the siege are fulfilled and thou shalt take a third part and smite it with the sword round about her and a third part thou shalt scatter to the wind and I will draw out a sword after them thou shalt also take thereof a few by number and bind them in thy skirts and of them again shalt thou take and cast them into the midst of the fire and burn them in the fire therefrom shall a fire come forth into all the house of Israel thus saith the Lord God this is Jerusalem I have set her in the midst of the nations and countries are round about her and she hath rebelled against mine ordinances in doing wickedness more than the nations and against my statutes more than the countries that are round about her for they have rejected mine ordinances and as for my statutes they have not walked in them therefore thus saith the Lord God because ye have outdone the nations that are round about you in that ye have not walked in my statutes neither have kept mine ordinances neither have done after the ordinances of the nations that are round about you therefore thus saith the Lord God behold I even I am against thee and I will execute judgments in the midst of thee in the sight of the nations and I will do in thee that which I have not done and whereunto I will not do any more the like because of all thine abominations therefore the fathers shall eat the sons in the midst of thee and the sons shall eat their fathers and I will execute judgments in thee and the whole remnant of thee will I scatter unto all the winds. Wherefore as I live saith the Lord God surely because thou hast defiled my sanctuary with all thy detestable things and with all thine abominations therefore will I also diminish thee neither shall mine I spare and I also will have no pity a third part of thee shall die with the pestilence and with famine shall they be consumed in the midst of thee and a third part shall fall by the sword round about thee and a third part I will scatter unto all the winds and will draw out a sword after. 
Them thus shall mine anger spend itself and I will satisfy my fury upon them and I will be eased and they shall know that I Hashem have spoken in my zeal when I have spent my fury upon them moreover I will make thee an amazement and a reproach among the nations that are round about thee in the sight of all that pass by so it shall be a reproach and a taunt and instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee when I shall execute judgments in thee in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes I Hashem have spoken it when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine that are for destruction which I will send to destroy you and I will increase the famine upon you and will break your staff of bread and I will send upon you famine and evil beasts and they shall bereave thee and pestilence and blood shall pass through thee and I will bring the sword upon thee I Hashem have spoken it Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying Son of man set thy face toward the mountains of Israel and prophesy against them and say ye mountains of Israel hear the word of the Lord God thus saith the Lord God concerning the mountains and concerning the hills concerning the ravines and concerning the valleys behold I even I will bring a sword upon you and I will destroy your high places and your altars shall become desolate and your sun images shall be broken and I will cast down your slain men before your idols and I will lay the carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols and I will scatter your bones round about your altars in all your dwelling places the cities shall be laid waste and the high places shall be desolate that your altars may be laid waste and made desolate and your idols may be broken and cease and your sun images may be hewn down and your works may be blotted out and the slain shall fall in the midst of you and ye shall know that I am Hashem yet will I leave a remnant in that ye shall have some that escape the sword among the nations when ye shall be scattered through the countries and they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations whither they shall be carried captives how that I have been anguished with their straying heart which hath departed from me and with their eyes which are gone astray after their idols and they shall loathe themselves in their own sight for the evils which they have committed in all their abominations and they shall know that I am. Hashem I have not said in vain that I would do this evil unto them thus saith the Lord God smite with thy hand and stamp with thy foot and say alas because of all the evil abominations of the house of Israel for they shall fall by the sword by the famine and by the pestilence he that is far off shall die of the pestilence and he that is near shall fall by the sword and he that remaineth and is besieged shall die by the famine thus will I spend my fury upon them and ye shall know that I am. Hashem when their slain men shall be among their idols round about their altars upon every high hill in all the tops of the mountains and under every leafy tree and under every thick terebinth the place where they did offer sweet savor to all their idols and I will stretch out my hand upon them and make the land desolate and waste more than the wilderness of Deblah throughout all their habitations and they shall know that I am Hashem Ezekiel chapter moreover the word of Hashem came unto me saying and thou son of man thus saith the Lord God concerning the land of Israel and end the end is come upon the four corners of the land now is the end upon thee and I will send mine anger upon thee and will judge thee according to thy ways and I will bring upon thee all thine abominations and mine I shall not spare thee neither will I have pity but I will bring thy ways upon thee and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee and ye shall know that I am Hashem thus. Saith the Lord God an evil a singular evil behold it cometh an end is come the end is come it awaked against thee behold it cometh the turn is come unto thee O inhabitant of the land the time is come the day of tumult is near and not of joyful shouting upon the mountains now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee and spend mine anger upon thee and will judge thee according to thy ways and I will bring upon thee all thine abominations and mine I shall not spare neither will I have. Pity I will bring upon thee according to thy ways and thine abominations shall be in the midst of thee and ye shall know that I Hashem do smite behold the day behold it cometh the turn is come forth the rod hath blossomed arrogancy hath buddied violence is risen up into a rod of wickedness not cometh from them nor from their tumult nor from their turmoil neither is their eminency among them the time is come the day draw it near let not the buyer rejoice nor the seller mourn for wrath is upon all the multitude thereof for the seller shall not return to that which is sold although they be yet alive for the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof which shall not return neither shall any stand possessed of the iniquity of his life they have blown the horn and have made all ready but none goeth to the battle for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof the sword is without and the pestilence and the famine within he that is in the field shall die with the sword and he that is in the city famine and pestilence shall devour him but they that shall at all escape of them shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys all of them moaning every one in his iniquity all hands shall be slack and all knees shall drip with water they shall also gird themselves with sackcloth and horror shall cover them and shame shall be upon all faces and baldness upon all their heads they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be as an unclean thing their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of Hashem they shall not satisfy their souls neither fill their bowels because it hath been the stumbling block of their iniquity and as for the beauty of their ornament which was set for a pride they made the images of their abominations and their detestable things thereof therefore have I made it unto them as an unclean thing and I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil and they shall profane it I will also turn my face from them and they shall profane my secret place and robbers shall enter into it and profane it make the chain for the land is full of bloody crimes and the city is full of violence wherefore I will bring the worst of the nations and they shall possess their houses I will also make the pride of the strong to cease and their holy places shall be profaned horror cometh and they shall seek peace and there 
shall be none calamity shall come upon calamity and rumor shall be upon rumor and they shall seek a vision of the prophet and instruction shall perish from the priest and counsel from the elders the king shall mourn and the prince shall be clothed with a palmant and the hands of the people of the land shall be enfeebled I will do unto them after their way and according to their deserts will I judge them and they shall know that I am Hashem Ezekiel chapter and it came to pass in the Sixth year in the sixth month in the fifth day of the month as I sat in my house and the elders of Judah sat before me that the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me then I beheld and lo a likeness as the appearance of fire from the appearance of his loins and downward fire and from his loins and upward as the appearance of brightness as the color of electrum and the form of a hand was put forth and I was taken by a lock of my head and a spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem to the door of the gate of the inner court that looped toward the north where was the seat of the image of jealousy which provoked to jealousy and behold the glory of the God of Israel was there according to the vision that I saw in the plain then said he unto me son of man lift up thine eyes now the way toward the north so I lifted up mine eyes the way toward the north and behold northward of the gate of the altar this image of jealousy in the entry and he said unto me son of man cease thou what they do even the great abominations that the house of Israel do commit here that I should go far off from my sanctuary but thou shalt again see yet greater abominations and he brought me to the door of the court and when I looked behold a hole in the wall then said he unto me son of man dig now in the wall and when I had digged in the wall behold a door and he said unto me go in and see the wicked abominations that they do here so I went in and saw and behold every detestable form of creeping things and beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about and there stood before them seventy men of the elders of the house of Israel and in the midst of them stood Jazania the son of Shaphan every man with his censer in his hand and a thick cloud of incense went up then said he unto me son of man hast thou seen what the elders of the house of Israel do in the dark every man in his chambers of imagery for they say Hashem see thus not Hashem hath forsaken the land he said also unto me thou shalt again see yet greater abominations which they do then he brought me to the door of the gate of Hashem's house which was toward the north and behold there sat the women weeping for Tammuz then said he unto me hast thou seen this O son of man thou shalt again see yet greater abominations than these and he brought me into the inner court of Hashem's house and behold at the door of the temple of Hashem between the porch and the altar were about five and twenty men with their backs toward the temple of Hashem and their faces toward the east and they worshipped the sun toward the east then he said unto me hast thou seen this O son of man is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here in that they fill the land with violence and provoke me still more and lo they put the branch to their nose. Therefore will I also deal in fury mine I shall not spare neither will I have pity and though they cry in mine ears with a loud voice yet will I not hear them Ezekiel chapter then he called in mine ears with a loud voice saying cause ye them that have charge over the city to draw near every man with his destroying weapon in his hand and behold six men came from the way of the upper gate which lieth toward the north every man with his weapon of destruction in his hand and one man in the midst of them clothed in linen with a writer's inkhorn on his side and they went in and stood beside the brazen altar and the glory of the God of Israel was gone up from the cherub whereupon it was to the threshold of the house and he called to the man clothed in linen who had the writer's inkhorn on his side and Hashem said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that are done in the midst thereof and to the others he said in my hearing go ye through the city after him and smite let not your eye spare neither have ye pity slay utterly the old man the young man and the maiden and little children and women but come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary then they began at the elders that were before the house and he said unto them defile the house and fill the courts with the slain go ye forth and they went forth and smote in the city and it came to pass while they were smiting and I was left that I fell upon my face and cried and said O Lord God wilt thou destroy all the residue of Israel in thy pouring out of thy fury upon Jerusalem then said he unto me the iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great and the land is full of blood and the city full of resting of judgment for they say Hashem hath forsaken the land and Hashem seeth not and as for me also mine eye shall not spare neither will I have pity but I will bring their way upon their head and behold the man clothed in linen who had the ink horn on his side reported saying I have done according to all that thou hast commanded me Ezekiel chapter then I looked and behold upon the firmament that was over the head of the cherubim there appeared above them as it were a sapphire stone as the appearance of the likeness of a throne and he spoke unto the man clothed in linen and said go in between the wheel work even under the cherub and fill both thy hands with coals of fire from between the cherubim and dash them against the city and he went in in my sight now the cherubim stood on the right side of the house when the man went in and the cloud filled the inner court and the glory of Hashem mounted up from the cherub to the threshold of the house and the house was filled with the cloud and the court was full of the brightness of Hashem's glory and the sound of the wings of the cherubim was heard even to the outer court as the voice of God Almighty when he speaked and it came to pass when he commanded the man clothed in linen saying take fire from between the wheel work from between the cherubim that he went in and stood beside a wheel and the cherub stretched forth his hand from between the cherubim unto the fire that was between the cherubim and took thereof and put it into the hands of him that was clothed in linen who took it and went out and there 
appeared in the cherubim the form of a man's hand under their wings and I looked and behold four wheels beside the cherubim one wheel beside one cherub and another wheel beside another cherub and the appearance of the wheels was as the color of a barrel stone and as for their appearance they four had one likeness as if a wheel had been within a wheel when they went they went toward their four sides they turned not as they went but to the place whither the head looked they followed it they turned not as they went and their whole body and their backs and their hands and their wings and the wheels were full of eyes round about even the wheels that they four had as for the wheels they were called in my hearing the wheel work and every one had four faces the first face was the face of the cherub and the second face was the face of a man and the third the face of a lion and the fourth the face of an eagle and the cherubim mounted up this is the living creature that I saw by the river Chebar and when the cherubim went the wheels went beside them and when the cherubim lifted up their wings to mount up from the earth the same wheels also turned not from beside them when they stood these stood and when they mounted up these mounted up with them for the spirit of the living creature was in them and the glory of Hashem went forth from off the threshold of the house and stood over the cherubim and the cherubim lifted up their wings and mounted up from the earth. In my sight when they went forth and the wheels beside them and they stood at the door of the east gate of Hashem's house and the glory of the God of Israel was over them above this is the living creature that I saw under the God of Israel by the river Chebar and I knew that they were cherubim every one had four faces apiece and every one four wings and the likeness of the hands of a man was under their wings and as for the likeness of their faces they were the faces which I saw by the river Chebar their appearances and themselves they went every one straight forward Ezekiel chapter then a spirit lifted me up and brought me unto the east gate of Hashem's house which looked eastward and behold at the door of the gate five and twenty men and I saw in the midst of them Jazania the son of Atzer and Palatia the son of Benaiah princes of the people and he said unto me son of man these are the men that devise iniquity and that give wicked counsel in the city that say the time is not near to build houses the city is the cauldron and we are the flesh therefore prophesy against them prophesy O son of man and the spirit of Hashem fell upon me and he said unto me speak thus saith Hashem thus have ye said O house of Israel for I know the things that come into your mind ye have multiplied your slain in the city and ye have filled the streets thereof with the slain therefore thus saith the Lord God your slain whom ye have laid in the midst of it they are the flesh and the city is the cauldron but ye shall be brought forth out of the midst of it ye have feared the sword and the sword will I bring upon you saith the Lord God and I will bring you forth out of the midst thereof and deliver you into the hands of strangers and will execute judgments among you ye shall fall by the sword I will judge you upon the border of Israel and ye shall know that I am Hashem though the city shall not be your cauldron ye shall be the flesh in the midst thereof I will judge you upon the border of Israel and ye shall know that I am Hashem for ye have not walked in my statutes neither have ye executed mine ordinances but have done after the ordinances of the nations that are round about you and it came to pass when I prophesied that Belashia the son of Benaiah died then fell I down upon my face and cried with a loud voice and said O Lord God wilt thou make a full end of the remnant of Israel and the word of Hashem came unto me saying Son of man as for thy brethren even thy brethren the men of thy kindred and all the house of Israel all of them concerning whom the inhabitants of Jerusalem have said get you far from Hashem unto us is this land given for a possession therefore say thus saith the Lord God although I have removed them far off among the nations and although I have scattered them among the countries yet have I been to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they are come therefore say thus saith the Lord God I will even gather you from the peoples and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered and I will give you the land of Israel and they shall come thither and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof and all the abominations thereof from thence and I will give them one heart and I will put a new spirit within you and I will remove the stony heart out of their flesh and will give them a heart of flesh that they may walk in my statutes and keep mine ordinances and do them and they shall be my people and I will be their God but as for them whose heart walketh after the heart of their detestable things and their abominations I will bring their way upon their own head saith the Lord God then did the cherubim lift up their wings and the wheels were beside them and the glory of the God of Israel was over them above and the glory of Hashem went up from the midst of the city and stood upon the mountain which is on the east side of the city and a spirit lifted me up and brought me in the vision by the spirit of God into Chaldea to them of the captivity so the vision that I had seen went up from me then I spoke unto them of the captivity all the things that Hashem had shown me Ezekiel chapter the word of Hashem also came unto me saying son of man thou dwellest in the midst of the rebellious house that have eyes to see and see not that have ears to hear and hear not for they are a rebellious house therefore thou Son of man prepare thee stuff for exile and remove as though for exile by day in their sight and thou shalt remove from thy place to another place in their sight it may be they will perceive for they are a rebellious house and thou shalt bring forth thy stuff by day in their sight as stuff for exile and thou shalt go forth thyself at even in their sight as when men go forth into exile dig thou through the wall in their sight and carry out thereby in their sight shalt thou bear it upon thy shoulder and carry it forth in the darkness thou shalt cover thy face that thou see not the ground for I have set thee for a sign unto the house of Israel and I did so as I was commanded I brought forth my stuff by day as stuff for exile and in the even I digged through the wall with my hand I carried out in the darkness and bore it upon my shoulder in their sight and in the morning came the word of Hashem unto me saying son of man hath not the house of Israel the rebellious house said 
Unto thee what doest thou say thou unto them thus saith the Lord God concerning the prince even this burden in Jerusalem and all the house of Israel among whom they are say I am your sign like as I have done so shall it be done unto them they shall go into exile into captivity and the prince that is among them shall bear upon his shoulder and go forth in the darkness they shall dig through the wall to carry out thereby he shall cover his face that he see not the ground with his eyes my net also will I spread upon him and he shall be taken in my snare and I will bring him to Babylon to the land of the Chaldeans yet shall he not see it though he shall die there and I will disperse toward every wind all that are round about him to help him and all his troops and I will draw out the sword after them and they shall know that I am Hashem when I shall scatter them among the nations and disperse them in the countries but I will leave a few men of them from the sword from the famine and from the pestilence that they may declare all their abominations among the nations whither they come and they shall know that I am Hashem moreover the word of Hashem came to me saying son of man eat thy bread with quaking and drink thy water with trembling and with anxiety and say unto the people of the land thus saith the Lord God concerning the inhabitants of Jerusalem in the land of Israel they shall eat their bread with anxiety and drink their water with a palmant that her land may be desolate from all that is therein because of the violence of all them that dwell therein and the cities that are inhabited shall be laid waste and the land shall be desolate and ye shall know that I am Hashem and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision faileth tell them therefore thus saith the Lord God I will make this proverb to cease and they shall know more use it as a proverb in Israel but say unto them the days are at hand and the word of every vision for there shall be no more any vain vision nor smooth divination within the house of Israel for I am Hashem I will speak what word soever it be that I shall speak and it shall be performed it shall be no more delayed for in your days O rebellious house will I speak the word and will perform it saith the Lord God again the word of Hashem came to me saying son of man behold they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come and he prophesieth of times that are far off therefore say unto them thus saith the Lord God there shall none of my words be delayed any more but the word which I shall speak shall be performed saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own heart hear ye the word of Hashem thus saith the Lord God woe unto the vile prophets that follow their own spirit and things which they have not seen O Israel thy prophets have been like foxes in ruins ye have not gone up into the breaches neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Hashem they have seen vanity and lying divination that say Hashem saith and Hashem hath not sent them yet they hope that the word would be confirmed have ye not seen a vain vision and have ye not spoken a lying divination whereas ye say Hashem saith albeit I have not spoken therefore thus saith the Lord God because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies therefore behold I am against you saith the Lord God and my hand shall be against the prophets that see vanity and that divine lies they shall not be in the council of my people neither shall they be written in the register of the house of Israel neither shall they enter into the land of Israel and ye shall know that I am the Lord God because even because they have led my people astray saying peace and there is no peace and when it buildeth up a slight wall behold they daub it with whited plaster say unto them that daub it with whited plaster that it shall fall there shall be an overflowing shower and yet o great hailstones shall fall and a stormy wind shall break forth and lo when the wall is fallen shall it not be said unto you where is the daubing wherewith ye have daubed it therefore thus saith the Lord. God I will even cause a stormy wind to break forth in my fury and there shall be an overflowing shower in mine anger and great hailstones in fury to consume it so will I break down the wall that ye have daubed with whited plaster and bring it down to the ground so that the foundation thereof shall be uncovered and it shall fall and ye shall be consumed in the midst thereof and ye shall know that I am Hashem thus will I spend my fury upon the wall and upon them that have daubed it with whited plaster and I will say unto you the wall is no more neither they that daubed it to with the prophets of Israel that prophesy concerning Jerusalem and that see visions of peace for her and there is no peace saith the Lord God and thou son of man set thy face against the daughters of thy people that prophesy out of their own heart and prophesy thou against them and say thus saith the Lord God woe to the women that sew cushions upon all elbows and make pads for the head of persons of Every stature to hunt souls will ye hunt the souls of my people and save souls alive for yourselves and ye have profaned me among my people for handfuls of barley and for crumbs of bread to slay the souls that should not die and to save the souls alive that should not live by your lying to my people that hearken unto lies wherefore thus saith the Lord God behold I am against your cushions wherewith ye hunt the souls as birds and I will tear them from your arms and I will let the souls go. Even the souls that ye hunt as birds your pads also will I tear and deliver my people out of your hand and they shall be no more in your hand to be hunted and ye shall know that I am Hashem because with lies ye have cowed the heart of the righteous when I have not grieved him and strengthened the hands of the wicked that he should not return from his wicked way that he be saved alive therefore ye shall no more see vanity nor divine divinations and I will deliver my people out of your hand. And ye shall know that I am Hashem Ezekiel chapter then came certain of the elders of Israel unto me and sat before me and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man these men have set up their idols in their mind and put the stumbling block of their iniquity before their face should I be inquired of at all by them therefore speak unto them and say unto them thus saith the Lord God every man of the house of Israel that setteth up his idols in his mind and putteth the 
stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and cometh to the prophet Ihashim will answer him that cometh according to the multitude of his idols that I may take the house of Israel in their own heart because they are all turned away from me through their idols therefore say unto the house of Israel thus saith the Lord God return ye and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations for every one of the house of Israel or of the strangers that Sojourn in Israel that separateth himself from me and taketh his idols into his heart and putteth the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and cometh to the prophet that he inquire for him of me I Hashem will answer him by myself and I will set my face against that man and will make him a sign and a proverb and I will cut him off from the midst of my people and ye shall know that I am Hashem and when the prophet is enticed and speak the word I Hashem have enticed that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel and they shall bear their iniquity the iniquity of the prophet shall be even as the iniquity of him that inquireth that the house of Israel may go no more astray from me neither defile themselves any more with all their transgressions but that they may be my people and I may be their God saith the Lord God and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man when a land sinneth against me. By trespassing grievously and I stretch out my hand upon it and break the staff of the bread thereof and send famine upon it and cut off from it man and beast though these three men Noah Daniel and Job were in it they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness saith the Lord God if I cause evil beasts to pass through the land and they bereave it and it be desolate so that no man may pass through because of the beasts though these three men were in it as I live saith the Lord God they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters they only shall be delivered but the land shall be desolate or if I bring a sword upon that land and say let the sword go through the land so that I cut off from it man and beast though these three men were in it as I live saith the Lord God they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters but they only shall be delivered themselves or if I send a pestilence into that land and pour out my fury upon it in blood to cut off from it man and beast though Noah Daniel and Job were in it as I live saith the Lord God they shall deliver neither son nor daughter they shall but deliver their own souls by their righteousness for thus saith the Lord God how much more when I send my four sore judgments against Jerusalem the sword and the famine and the evil beasts and the pestilence to cut off from it man and beast and behold though there be left a remnant therein that shall be brought forth both sons and daughters behold when they Come forth unto you and ye see their way and their doings then ye shall be comforted concerning the evil that I have brought upon Jerusalem even concerning all that I have brought upon it and they shall comfort you when ye see their way and their doings and ye shall know that I have not done without cause all that I have done in it saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man what is the vine tree more than any tree the vine branch which grew up among the trees of the forest shall would be taken thereof to make any work or will men take a pin of it to hang any vessel thereon behold it is cast into the fire for fuel the fire hath devoured both the ends of it and the midst of it is cinched is it profitable for any work behold when it was whole it was meat for no work how much less when the fire hath devoured it and it is cinched shall it yet be meat for any work therefore thus saith the Lord God as the vine tree among the trees of the forest which I have given to the fire for fuel so do I give the inhabitants of Jerusalem and I will set my face against them out of the fire are they come forth and the fire shall devour them and ye shall know that I am Hashem when I set my face against them and I will make the land desolate because they have acted treacherously saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter again the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man cause Jerusalem to know her abominations and say Thus saith the Lord God unto Jerusalem thine origin and thy nativity is of the land of the Canaanite the Amorite was thy father and thy mother was a Hittite and as for thy nativity in the day thou wast born thy navel was not cut neither wast thou washed in water for cleansing thou was not salted at all nor swaddled at all no I pitied thee to do any of these unto thee to have compassion upon thee but thou wast cast out in the open field in the loathsomeness of thy person in the day that Thou wast born and when I passed by thee and saw thee wallowing in thy blood I said unto thee in thy blood live yea I said unto thee in thy blood live I caused thee to increase even as the growth of the field and thou didst increase and grow up and thou camest to excellent beauty thy breasts were fashioned and thy hair was grown yet thou wast naked and bare now when I passed by thee and looked upon thee and behold thy time was the time of love I spread my skirt over thee and covered thy Nakedness yea I swore unto thee and entered into a covenant with thee saith the Lord God and thou becamest mine then washed I thee with water yea I cleansed away thy blood from thee and I anointed thee with oil I clothed thee also with richly woven work and shod thee with sealskin and I wound fine linen about thy head and covered thee with silk I decked thee also with ornaments and I put bracelets upon thy hands and a chain on thy neck and I put a ring upon thy nose and earrings in thine ears and a beautiful crown upon thy head thus wast thou decked with gold and silver and thy raiment was of fine linen and silk and richly woven work thou didst eat fine flour and honey and oil and thou didst wax exceeding beautiful and thou wast meat for royal estate and thy renown went forth among the nations for thy beauty for it was perfect through my splendor which I had put upon thee saith the Lord God but thou didst trust in thy beauty and play the harlot because of thy 
renown and didst pour out thy harlotries on every one that passed by as it was and thou didst take of thy garments and didst make for thee high places decked with divers colors and didst play the harlot upon them the like things shall not come neither shall it be so thou didst also take thy fair jewels of my gold and of my silver which I had given thee and madest for thee images of men and didst play the harlot with them and thou didst take thy richly woven garments and cover them and didst set mine oil and mine incense before them my bread also which I gave thee fine flour and oil and honey wherewith I fed thee thou didst even set it before them for a sweet savour and thus it was saith the Lord God moreover thou hast taken thy sons and thy daughters whom thou hast borne unto me and these hast thou sacrificed unto them to be devoured were thy harlotries a small matter that thou hast slain my children and delivered them up in setting them apart unto them and in all thine abominations and thy harlotries thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth when thou wast naked and bare and wast wallowing in thy blood and it came to pass after all thy wickedness woe woe unto thee saith the Lord God that thou hast built unto thee an eminent place and hast made thee a lofty place in every street thou hast built thy lofty place at every head of the way and hast made thy beauty an abomination and hast opened thy feet to every one that passed by and multiplied thy harlotries thou hast also played the harlot with the Egyptians thy neighbors great of flesh and hast multiplied thy harlotry to provoke me behold therefore I have stretched out my hand over thee and have diminished thine allowance and delivered thee unto the will of them that hate thee the daughters of the Philistines that are ashamed of thy lewd way thou hast played the harlot also with the Assyrians without having enough yet thou hast played the harlot with them and yet thou wast not satisfied thou hast moreover multiplied thy harlotry with the land of traffic even with Chaldea and yet thou didst not have enough here with how weak is thy heart saith the Lord God seeing thou doest all these things the work of a wanton harlot in that thou buildest thine eminent place in the head of every way and makest thy lofty place in every street and hast not been as a harlot that enhanceth her higher thou wife that committest adultery that takest strangers instead of thy husband. To all harlots gifts are given but thou hast given thy gifts to all thy lovers and hast bribed them to come unto thee from every side in thy harlotries and the contrary is in thee from other women in that thou didst solicit to harlotry and wast not solicited and in that thou givest higher and no higher is given unto thee thus thou art contrary wherefore O harlot hear the word of Hashem thus saith the Lord God because thy filthiness was poured out and thy nakedness uncovered through thy harlotries with thy lovers and because of all the idols of thy abominations and for the blood of thy children that thou didst give unto them therefore behold I will gather all thy lovers unto whom thou hast been pleasant and all them that thou hast loved with all them that thou hast hated I will even gather them against thee from every side and will uncover thy nakedness unto them that they may see all thy nakedness and I will judge thee as women that break wedlock and shed blood are judged and I will bring upon thee the blood of fury and jealousy I will also give thee into their hand and they shall throw down thine eminent place and break down thy lofty places and they shall strip thee of thy clothes and take thy fair jewels and they shall leave thee naked and bare they shall also bring up an assembly against thee and they shall stone thee with stones and thrust thee through with their swords and they shall burn thy houses with fire and execute judgments upon thee in the sight of many women and I will cause thee to cease from playing the harlot and thou shalt also give no hire any more so will I satisfy my fury upon thee and my jealousy shall depart from thee and I will be quiet and will be no more angry because thou hast not remembered the days of thy youth but hast fretted me in all these things lo therefore I also will bring thy way upon thy head saith the Lord God or hast thou not committed this lewdness above all thine abominations behold every one that youth proverbs shall use this proverb against thee saying as the mother so her daughter thou art thy mother's daughter that loathed her husband and her children and thou art the sister of thy sisters who loathed their husbands and their children your mother was a Hittite and your father an Amorite and thine elder sister is Samaria that dwelleth at thy left hand she and her daughters and thy younger sister that dwelleth at thy right hand is Sodom and her daughters yet hast thou not walked in their ways nor done after their abominations but in a very little while thou didst deal more corruptly than they in all thy ways as I live saith the Lord God Sodom thy sister hath not done she nor her daughters as thou hast done thou and thy daughters behold this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom pridefulness of bread and careless ease was in her and in her daughters neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and needy and they were haughty and committed abomination before me therefore I removed them when I saw it neither hath Samaria committed even half of thy sins but thou hast multiplied thine abominations more than they and hast justified thy sisters by all thine abominations which thou hast done thou also bear thine own shame in that thou hast given judgment for thy sisters through thy sins that thou hast committed more abominable than they they are more righteous than thou ye be thou also confounded and bear thy shame in that thou hast justified thy sisters and I will turn their captivity the captivity of Sodom and her daughters and the captivity of Samaria and her daughters and the captivity of thy captives in the midst of them that thou mayest bear thine own shame and mayest be ashamed because of all that thou hast done in that thou art a comfort unto them and thy sisters Sodom and her daughters shall return to their former estate and Samaria and her daughters shall return to their former estate and thou and thy daughters shall 
return to your former estate for thy sister Sodom was not mentioned by thy mouth in the day of thy pride before thy wickedness was uncovered as at the time of the taunt of the daughters of Aram and of all that are round about her the daughters of the Philistines that have thee in disdain round about thou hast borne thy lewdness and thine abomination saith Hashem for thus saith the Lord God I will even deal with thee as thou hast done who hast despised the oath in breaking the covenant. Nevertheless I will remember my covenant with thee in the days of thy youth and I will establish unto thee an everlasting covenant then shalt thou remember thy ways and be ashamed when thou shalt receive thy sisters thine elder sisters and thy younger and I will give them unto thee for daughters but not because of thy covenant and I will establish my covenant with thee and thou shalt know that I am Hashem that thou mayest remember and be confounded and never open thy mouth any more. Because of thy shame when I have forgiven thee all that thou hast done saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man put forth a riddle and speak a parable unto the house of Israel and say thus saith the Lord God a great eagle with great wings and long pinions full of feathers which had divers colors came unto Lebanon and took the top of the cedar he cropped off the topmost of the young twigs thereof and carried it into a land of traffic. He set it in a city of merchants he took also of the seed of the land and planted it in a fruitful soil he placed it beside many waters he set it as a slip and it grew and became a spreading vine of low stature whose tendrils might turn toward him and the roots thereof be under him so it became a vine and brought forth branches and shot forth sprigs there was also another great eagle with great wings and many feathers and behold this vine did bend its roots toward him and shot forth its branches toward him from the beds of its plantation that he might water it it was planted in a good soil by many waters that it might bring forth branches and that it might bear fruit that it might be a stately vine say thou thus saith the Lord God shall it prosper shall he not pull up the roots thereof and cut off the fruit thereof that it wither ye wither in all its sprouting leaves neither shall great power or much people be at hand when it is plucked up by the roots thereof yet. Behold being planted shall it prosper shall it not utterly wither when the east wind touch it it in the beds where it grew it shall wither moreover the word of Hashem came unto me saying say now to the rebellious house know ye not what these things mean tell them behold the king of Babylon came to Jerusalem and took the king thereof and the princes thereof and brought them to him to Babylon and he took of the seed royal and made a covenant with him and brought him under an oath and the mighty of the land he took away that his might be a lowly kingdom that it might not lift itself up but that by keeping his covenant it might stand but he rebelled against him in sending his ambassadors into Egypt that they might give him horses and much people shall he prosper shall he escape that doth such things shall he break the covenant and yet escape as I live saith the Lord God surely in the place where the king dwelleth that made him king whose oath he despised and whose covenant he broke even with him in the midst of Babylon he shall die neither shall Pharaoh with his mighty army and great company succour him in the war when they cast up mounds and build forts to cut off many souls seeing he hath despised the oath by breaking the covenant when lo he had given his hand and hath done all these things he shall not escape therefore thus saith the Lord God as I live surely mine oath that he hath despised and my covenant that he hath broken I will even bring it upon his own head and I will spread my net upon him and he shall be taken in my snare and I will bring him to Babylon and will plead with him there for his treachery that he hath committed against me and all his mighty men in all his bands shall fall by the sword and they that remain shall be scattered toward every wind and ye shall know that I Hashem have spoken it thus saith the Lord God moreover I will take even I of the lofty top of the cedar and will set it I will crop off from the top most of its young twigs a tender one and I will plant it upon a high mountain and eminent in the mountain of the height of Israel will I plant it and it shall bring forth boughs and bear fruit and be a stately cedar and under it shall dwell all fowl of every wing in the shadow of the branches thereof shall they dwell and all the trees of the field shall know that I Hashem have brought down the high tree have exalted the low tree have dried up the green tree and have made the dry tree to flourish I Hashem have spoken and have done it Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying what mean ye that ye use this proverb in the land of Israel saying the fathers have eaten sour grapes and the children's teeth are set on edge as I live saith the Lord God ye shall not have occasion any more to use this proverb in Israel behold all souls are mine as the soul of the father so also the soul of the son is mine the soul that sinneth it shall die but if a man be just and do that which is lawful and right and hath not eaten upon the mountains neither hath lifted up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel neither hath defiled his neighbor's wife neither hath come near to a woman in her impurity and hath not wronged any but hath restored his pledge for a debt hath taken not by robbery hath given his bread to the hungry and hath covered the naked with a garment he that hath not given forth upon interest neither hath taken any increase that hath withdrawn his hand from iniquity hath executed true justice between man and man hath walked in my statutes and hath kept mine ordinances to deal truly he is just he shall surely live saith the Lord God if he beget a son that is a robber a shedder of blood and that doth to a brother any of these things whereas he himself had not done any of these things for he hath even eaten upon the mountains and defiled his neighbor's wife hath wronged the poor and needy hath taken by robbery hath not restored the pledge and hath lifted up his eyes to the idols hath committed abomination hath given forth upon interest and hath taken increase shall he then live he shall not live he hath done all these abominations he shall surely be put to death his blood shall be upon him now lo if he beget a son that seeth all his father's sins which he hath done and considereth and doth not such like that hath not eaten upon the mountains neither hath lifted up his eyes to the idols of the 
House of Israel hath not defiled his neighbor's wife neither hath wronged any hath not taken ought to pledge neither hath taken by robbery but hath given his bread to the hungry and hath covered the naked with a garment that hath withdrawn his hand from the poor that hath not received interest nor increase hath executed mine ordinances hath walked in my statutes he shall not die for the iniquity of his father he shall surely live as for his father because he cruelly oppressed committed robbery on his brother and did that which is not good among his people behold he dieth for his iniquity yet say yea why doth not the son bear the iniquity of the father with him when the son hath done that which is lawful and right and hath kept all my statutes and hath done them he shall surely live the soul that sinneth it shall die the son shall not bear the iniquity of the father with him neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son with him the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him but if the wicked turn from all his sins that he hath committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right he shall surely live he shall not die none of his transgressions that he hath committed shall be remembered against him for his righteousness that he hath done he shall live have I any pleasure at all that the wicked should die saith the Lord God and not rather that he should return from his ways and live but when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and doth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doth shall he live none of his righteous deeds that he hath done shall be remembered for his trespass that he trespassed and for his sin that he hath sinned for them shall he die yet yes say the way of the Lord is not equal here now O house of Israel is it my way that is not equal is it not your ways that are unequal when the righteous man turneth away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity he shall die therefore for his iniquity that he hath done shall he die again when the wicked man turneth away from his wickedness that he hath committed and doth that which is lawful and right he shall save his soul alive because he considereth and turneth away from all his transgressions that he hath committed he shall surely live he shall not die yet saith the house of Israel the way of the Lord is not equal O house of Israel is it my ways that are not equal is it not your ways that are unequal therefore I will judge you O house of Israel every one according to his ways saith the Lord God return ye and turn yourselves from all your transgressions so shall they not be a stumbling block of iniquity unto you cast away from you all your transgressions wherein ye have transgressed and make you a new heart and a new spirit for why will ye die O house of Israel for I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth saith the Lord God wherefore turn yourselves and live Ezekiel chapter moreover take thou up a lamentation for the princes of Israel and say how was thy mother a lioness among lions she couched in the midst of the young lions she reared her whelps and she brought up one of her whelps he became a young lion and he learned to catch the prey he devoured men then the nations assembled against him he was taken in their pit and they brought him with hooks unto the land of Egypt now when she saw that she was disappointed and her hope was lost then she took another of her whelps and made him a young lion and he went up and down among the lions he became a young lion and he learned to catch the prey he devoured men and he knew their castles and laid waste their cities and the land was desolate and the fullness thereof because of the noise of his roaring then the nations cried out against him on every side from the provinces and they spread their net over him he was taken in their pit and they put him in a cage with hooks and brought him to the king of Babylon that they might bring him into strongholds so that his voice should no more be heard upon the mountains of Israel thy mother was like a vine in thy likeness planted by the waters she was fruitful and full of branches by reason of many waters and she had strong rods to be scepters for them that bore rule and her stature was exalted among the thick branches and she was seen in her height with the multitude of her tendrils but she was plucked up in fury she was cast down to the ground and the east wind dried up her fruit her strong rods were broken off and withered the fire consumed her and now she is planted in the wilderness in a dry and thirsty ground and fire is gone out of the rod of her branches it hath devoured her fruit so that there is in her no strong rod to be a scepter to rule this is a lamentation and it was for a lamentation Ezekiel chapter and it came to pass in the seventh year in the fifth month the tenth day of the month that certain of the elders of Israel came to inquire of Hashem and sat before me and the word of Hashem came unto me saying Son of man speak unto the elders of Israel and say unto them thus saith the Lord God are ye come to inquire of me as I live saith the Lord God I will not be inquired of by you wilt thou judge them Son of man wilt thou judge them cause them to know the abominations of their fathers and say unto them Thus saith the Lord God in the day when I chose Israel and lifted up my hand unto the seed of the house of Jacob and made myself known unto them in the land of Egypt when I lifted up my hand unto them saying I am Hashem your God in that day I lifted up my hand unto them to bring them forth out of the land of Egypt into a land that I had sought out for them flowing with milk and honey which is the beauty of all lands and I said unto them cast ye away every man the detestable things of his eyes and defile not yourselves with the idols of Egypt I am Hashem your God but they rebelled against me and would not hearken unto me they did not every man cast away the detestable things of their eyes neither did they forsake the idols of Egypt then I said I would pour out my fury upon them to spend my anger upon them in the midst of the land of Egypt but I wrought for my name's sake that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations among whom they were in whose sight I made myself known unto them so as to bring them forth out of the land of Egypt so I caused them to go forth out of the land of Egypt and brought them into the wilderness and I gave them my statutes and taught them mine ordinances which if a man do he shall live by them moreover also I gave them my sabbaths to be a sign between me and them that they might know that I am Hashem that sanctify them but the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness they walked not in my statutes and 
they rejected mine ordinances which if a man do he shall live by them and my sabbaths they greatly profaned then I said I would pour out my fury upon them in the wilderness to consume them but I wrought for my name's sake that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations in whose sight I brought them out yet also I lifted up my hand unto them in the wilderness that I would not bring them into the land which I had given them flowing with milk and honey which is the beauty of all lands because they rejected mine ordinances and walked not in my statutes and profaned my sabbaths for their heart went after their idols nevertheless mine I spared them from destroying them neither did I make a full end of them in the wilderness and I said unto their children in the wilderness walk ye not in the statutes of your fathers neither observe their ordinances nor defile yourselves with their idols I am Hashem your God walk in my statutes and keep mine ordinances and do them and hallow my sabbaths and they shall be a sign between me and you that ye may know that I am Hashem your God but the children rebelled against me they walked not in my statutes neither kept mine ordinances to do them which if a man do he shall live by them they profaned my sabbaths then I said I would pour out my fury upon them to spend my anger upon them in the wilderness nevertheless I withdrew my hand and wrought for my name's sake that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations in whose sight I brought them forth I lifted up my hand unto them also in the wilderness that I would scatter them among the nations and disperse them through the countries because they had not executed mine ordinances but had rejected my statutes and had profaned my sabbaths and their eyes were after their fathers idols wherefore I gave them also statutes that were not good and ordinances whereby they should not live and I polluted them in their own gifts in that they said. Apart all that openeth the womb that I might destroy them to the end that they might know that I am Hashem therefore son of man speak unto the house of Israel and say unto them thus saith the Lord God in this moreover have your fathers blasphemed me in that they dealt treacherously with me for when I had brought them into the land which I lifted up my hand to give unto them then they saw every high hill and every thick tree and they offered there their sacrifices and there they presented the provocation of their offering there also they made their sweet savour and there they poured out their drink offerings then I said unto them what meaneth the high place where unto ye go so the name thereof is called Bama unto this day wherefore say unto the house of Israel thus saith the Lord God when ye pollute yourselves after the manner of your fathers and go after their abominations and when in offering your gifts in making your sons to pass through the fire ye pollute yourselves. With all your idols unto this day shall I then be inquired of by you O house of Israel as I live saith the Lord God I will not be inquired of by you and that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all in that yes say we will be as the nations as the families of the countries to serve wood and stone as I live saith the Lord God surely with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with fury poured out will I be king over you and I will bring you out from the peoples and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with fury poured out and I will bring you into the wilderness of the peoples and there will I plead with you face to face like as I pleaded with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt so will I plead with you saith the Lord God and I will cause you to pass under the rod and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant and I will purge out from among you the rebels and them that transgress against me I will bring them forth out of the land where they sojourn but they shall not enter into the land of Israel and ye shall know that I am Hashem as for you O house of Israel thus saith the Lord God go ye serve every one his idols even because ye will not hearken unto me but my holy name shall ye no more profane with your gifts and with your idols for in my holy mountain in the mountain of the height of Israel saith the Lord God there shall all the house of Israel all of them serve me in the land there will I accept them and there will I require your heave offerings and the first of your gifts with all your holy things with your sweet savour will I accept you when I bring you out from the peoples and gather you out of the countries wherein ye have been scattered and I will be sanctified in you in the sight of the nations and ye shall know that I am Hashem when I shall bring you into the land of Israel into the country which I lifted up my hand to give unto your fathers and there shall ye remember your ways and all your doings wherein ye have polluted yourselves and ye shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for all your evils that ye have committed and ye shall know that I am Hashem when I have wrought with you for my name's sake not according to your evil ways nor according to your corrupt doings O ye house of Israel saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man set thy face toward the south and preach toward the south and prophesy against the forest of the field in the south and say to the forest of the south hear the word of Hashem thus saith the Lord God behold I will kindle a fire in thee and it shall devour every green tree in thee and every dry tree it shall not be quenched even a flaming flame and all faces from the south to the north shall be seared thereby and all flesh shall see that I Hashem have kindled it it shall not be quenched then said I ah. Lord God they say of me is he not a maker of parables then the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man set thy face toward Jerusalem and preach toward the sanctuaries and prophesy against the land of Israel and say to the land of Israel thus saith Hashem behold I am against thee and will draw forth my sword out of its sheath and will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked seeing then that I will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked therefore shall my sword go forth out of its sheath against all flesh from the south to the north and all flesh shall know that I Hashem have drawn forth my sword out of its sheath it shall not return any more sigh therefore thou son of man with the breaking of thy loins and with bitterness shalt thou sigh before their eyes and it shall be when they say unto thee wherefore sighest thou that thou shalt say because of the tidings for it cometh and every heart shall melt and all hands shall be slack and every spirit 
shall be faint and all knees shall drip with water behold it cometh and it shall be done saith the Lord God and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man prophesy and say thus saith Hashem say a sword a sword it is sharpened and also furbished it is sharpened that it may make a sore slaughter it is furbished that it may glitter or shall we make mirth against the rod of my son continuing every tree and it is given to be furbished that it may be handled the sword it is sharpened yet it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer cry and wail son of man for it is upon my people it is upon all the princes of Israel they are thrust down to the sword with my people smite therefore upon thy thigh for there is a trial and what if it contemn even the rod it shall be no more saith the Lord God thou therefore son of man prophesy and smite thy hands together and let the sword be doubled the third time the sword of those to be slain it is the sword of the great one that is to be slain which compasseth them about I have set the point of the sword against all their gates that their heart may melt and their stumblings be multiplied ah it is made glittering it is sharpened for slaughter go thee one way to the right or direct thyself to the left whither is thy face set I will also smite my hands together and I will satisfy my fury I Hashem have spoken it and the word of Hashem came unto me saying now thou son of man make thee two ways that the sword of the king of Babylon may come they twain shall come forth out of one land and mark a sign post mark it clear at the head of the way to the city thou shalt make a way that the sword may come to Rabbah of the children of Ammon and to Judah in Jerusalem the fortified for the king of Babylon standeth at the parting of the way at the head of the two ways to use divination he shaked the arrows to and fro he inquireth of the teraphim he looked in the liver in his right hand is the lot Jerusalem to set battering rams to open the mouth for the slaughter to lift up the voice with shouting to set battering rams against the gates to cast up mounds to build forts and it shall be unto them as a false divination in their sight who have weeks upon weeks but it bringeth iniquity to remembrance that they may be taken therefore thus saith the Lord God because ye have made your iniquity to be remembered in that your transgressions are uncovered so that your sins do appear in all your doings because that ye are come to remembrance ye shall be taken with the hand and thou O wicked one that art to be slain the prince of Israel whose day is come in the time of the iniquity of the end thus saith the Lord God the mitre shall be removed and the crown taken off this shall be no more the same that which is low shall be exalted and that which is high abased a ruin a ruin a ruin will I make it this also shall be no more until he come whose right it is and I will give it him and thou son of man prophesy and say thus saith the Lord God concerning the children of Ammon and concerning their taunt and say thou O sword O sword keen edged furbished for the slaughter to the uttermost because of the glitterings while they see falsehood unto thee while they divine lies unto thee to lay thee upon the necks of the wicked that are to be slain whose day is come in the time of the iniquity of the end cause it to return into its sheath in the place where thou wast. Created in the land of thine origin will I judge thee and I will pour out my indignation upon thee I will blow upon thee with the fire of my wrath and I will deliver thee into the hand of brutish men skillful to destroy thou shalt be for fuel to the fire thy blood shall be in the midst of the land thou shalt be no more remembered for I Hashem have spoken it Ezekiel chapter moreover the word of Hashem came unto me saying now thou son of man wilt thou judge wilt thou judge the bloody city then cause her to know all her abominations and thou shalt say thus saith the Lord God O city that sheddest blood in the midst of thee that thy time may come and that makest idols unto thyself to defile thee thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast shed and art defiled in thine idols which thou hast made and thou hast caused thy days to draw near and art come even unto thy years therefore have I made thee a reproach unto the nations and a mocking to all the countries those that are near and those that are far from thee shall mock thee thou defiled of name and full of tumult behold the princes of Israel every one according to his might have been in thee to shed blood in thee have they made light of father and mother in the midst of thee have they dealt by oppression with the stranger in thee have they wronged the fatherless and the widow thou hast despised my holy things and hast profaned my sabbaths in thee have been tale bearers to shed blood and in thee they have eaten upon the mountains in the midst of thee they have committed lewdness in thee have they uncovered their fathers nakedness in thee have they humbled her that was unclean in her impurity and each hath committed abomination with his neighbor's wife and each hath lewdly defiled his daughter-in-law and each in thee hath humbled his sister his father's daughter in thee have they taken gifts to shed blood thou hast taken interest and increase and thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by oppression and hast forgotten me saith the Lord God behold therefore I have smitten my hand at thy dishonest gain which thou hast made and at thy blood which hath been in the midst of thee can thy heart endure or can thy hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with thee I Hashem have spoken it and will do it and I will scatter thee among the nations and disperse thee through the countries and I will consume thy filthiness out of thee and thou shalt be profaned in thyself in the sight of the nations and thou shalt know that I am Hashem and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man the house of Israel is become dross unto me all of them are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace they are the dross of silver therefore thus saith the Lord God because ye are all become dross therefore behold I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it to melt it so will I gather you in mine anger and in my fury and I will cast you in and melt you yea I will gather you and blow upon you with the fire of my wrath and ye shall be melted in the midst thereof as silver is melted in the midst of the furnace so shall ye be melted in the midst thereof and ye shall know that I Hashem have poured out my fury upon you and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man say unto her thou art a land that is 
not cleansed nor rained upon in the day of indignation there is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof like a roaring lion ravening the prey they have devoured souls they take treasure and precious things they have made her widows many in the midst thereof her priests have done violence to my law and have profaned my holy things they have put no difference between the holy and the common neither have they taught difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my sabbaths and I am profaned among them her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ravening the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls so as to get dishonest gain and her prophets have daubed for them with whited plaster seeing falsehood and divining lies unto them saying thus saith the Lord God when Hashem hath not spoken the people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have wronged the poor and needy and have oppressed the stranger unlawfully and I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the breach before me for the land that I should not destroy it but I found none therefore have I poured out mine indignation upon them I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath their own way have I brought upon their heads saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man there were two women the daughters of one mother and they committed harlotries in Egypt they committed harlotries in their youth there were their bosoms pressed and there their virgin breasts were bruised and the names of them were Ohola the elder and Ohalaba her sister and they became mine and they bore sons and daughters and as for their name Samaria is Ohola and Jerusalem Ohalaba and Ohola played the harlot when she was mine and she doted on her lovers on the Assyrians warriors clothed with blue governors and rulers handsome young men all of them horsemen riding upon horses and she bestowed her harlotries upon them the choicest men of Assyria all of them and on whomsoever she doted with all their idols she defiled herself neither hath she left her harlotries brought from Egypt for in her youth they lay with her and they bruised her virgin breasts and they poured out their lust upon her wherefore I delivered her into the hand of her lovers into the hand of the Assyrians upon whom she doted these uncovered her nakedness they took her sons and her daughters and her they slew with the sword and she became a byword among women for judgments were executed upon her and her sister Ohalaba saw this yet was she more corrupt in her doting than she and in her harlotries more than her sister in her harlotries she doted upon the Assyrians governors and rulers warriors clothed most gorgeously horsemen riding upon horses all of them handsome young men and I saw that she was defiled they both took one way and she increased her harlotries for she saw men portrayed upon the wall the images of the Chaldeans portrayed with vermilion girded with girdles upon their loins with pendant turbans upon their heads all of them captains to look upon the likeness of the sons of Babylon even of Chaldea the land of their nativity and as soon as she saw them she doted upon them and sent messengers unto them into Chaldea and the Babylonians came to her into the bed of love and they defiled her with their lust and she was polluted with them and her soul was alienated from them so she uncovered her harlotries and uncovered her nakedness then my soul was alienated from her like as my soul was alienated from her sister yet she multiplied her harlotries remembering the days of her youth wherein she had played the harlot in the land of Egypt and she doted upon concubinage with them whose flesh is as the flesh of asses and whose issue is like the issue of horses thus thou didst call to remembrance the lewdness of thy youth when they from Egypt bruised thy breasts for the bosom of thy youth therefore O Ohalaba thus saith the Lord God behold I will raise up thy lovers against thee from whom thy soul is alienated and I will bring them against thee on every side the Babylonians and all the Chaldeans Pekot and Shoah and Koah and all the Assyrians with them handsome young men governors and rulers all of them captains and counselors all of them riding upon horses and they shall come against thee with hosts chariots and wheels and with an assembly of peoples they shall set themselves in array against thee with buckler and shield and helmet round about and I will commit the judgment unto them and they shall judge thee according to their judgments and I will set my jealousy against thee and they shall deal with thee in fury they shall take away thy nose and thine ears and thy residue shall fall by the sword they shall take thy sons and thy daughters and thy residue shall be devoured by the fire they shall also strip thee of thy clothes and take away thy fair jewels thus will I make thy lewdness to cease from thee and thy harlotry brought from the land of Egypt so that thou shalt not lift up thine eyes unto them nor remember Egypt any more for thus saith the Lord God behold I will deliver thee into the hand of them whom thou hatest into the hand of them from whom thy soul is alienated and they shall deal with thee in hatred and shall take away all thy labor and shall leave thee naked and bear and the nakedness of thy harlotries shall be uncovered both thy lewdness and thy harlotries these things shall be done unto thee for that thou hast gone astray after the nations and because thou art polluted with their idols in the way of thy sister hast thou walked therefore will I give her cup into thy hand thus saith the Lord God thou shalt drink of thy sister's cup which is deep and large thou shalt be for a scorn and a derision it is full to the uttermost thou shalt be filled with drunkenness and sorrow with the cup of astonishment and appalment with the cup of thy sister Samaria thou shalt even drink it and drain it and thou shalt crunk the sherds thereof and shalt tear thy breasts for I have spoken it saith the Lord God therefore thus saith the Lord God because thou hast forgotten me and cast me behind thy back therefore bear thou also thy lewdness and thy harlotries Hashem said moreover unto me son of man wilt thou judge Ohola and Ohalaba then declare unto them their abominations for they have committed adultery and blood is in their hands and with their idols have they committed adultery and their sons whom they bore unto me they have also set apart unto them to be devoured moreover this they have done unto me they have defiled my sanctuary in the same day and have profaned my sabbaths for when they had slain their children to their idols then they came the same day into my sanctuary to profane it and lo thus have they done in the 
midst of my house and furthermore ye have sent for men that come from far unto whom a messenger was sent and lo they came for whom thou didst wash thyself paint thine eyes and deck thyself with ornaments and saddest upon a stately bed with a table prepared before it whereupon thou didst set mine incense and mine oil and the voice of a multitude being at ease was therein and for the sake of men they were so many brought drunken from the wilderness they put bracelets upon their hands and beautiful crowns upon their heads then said I of her that was worn out by adulteries still they commit harlotries with her even her for every one went in unto her as men go in unto a harlot so went they in unto Ohola and unto Ohalaba the lewd women but righteous men they shall judge them as adulteresses are judged and as women that shed blood are judged because they are adulteresses and blood is in their hands for thus saith the Lord God an assembly shall be brought up against them and they shall be made a horror and a spoil and the assembly shall stone them with stones and dispatch them with their swords they shall slay their sons and their daughters and burn up their houses with fire thus will I cause lewdness to cease out of the land that all women may be taught not to do after your lewdness and your lewdness shall be recompensed upon you and ye shall bear the sins of your idols and ye shall know that I am the Lord God Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me in the ninth year in the tenth month in the tenth day of the month saying Son of man write thee the name of the day even of the self same day the self same day the king of Babylon hath invested Jerusalem and utter a parable concerning the rebellious house and say unto them thus saith the Lord God set on the pot set it on and also pour water into it gather into it the pieces belonging to it even every good piece the thigh and the shoulder fill it with the choice bones. Take the choice of the flock and pile also the bones under it make it boil well that the bones thereof may also be seated in the midst of it wherefore thus saith the Lord God woe to the bloody city to the pot whose filth is therein and whose filth is not gone out of it bring it out piece by piece no lot is fallen upon it for her blood is in the midst of her she set it upon the bare rock she poured it not upon the ground to cover it with dust that it might cause fury to come up that vengeance might be taken I have set her blood upon the bare rock that it should not be covered therefore thus saith the Lord God woe to the bloody city I also will make the pile great heaping on the wood kindling the fire that the flesh may be consumed and preparing the mixture that the bones also may be burned then will I set it empty upon the coals thereof that it may be hot and the bottom thereof may burn and that the impurity of it may be molten in it that the filth of it may be consumed it hath wearied itself with toil yet its great filth goeth not forth out of it yet its noisome filth because of thy filthy lewdness because I have purged thee and thou wast not purged thou shalt not be purged from thy filthiness any more till I have satisfied my fury upon thee I Hashem have spoken it it shall come to pass and I will do it I will not go back neither will I spare neither will I repent according to thy ways and according to thy doings shall they judge thee saith thee. Lord God also the word of Hashem came unto me saying Son of man behold I take away from thee the desire of thine eyes with a stroke yet neither shalt thou make lamentation nor weep neither shall thy tears run down sigh in silence make no mourning for the dead bind thy head tire upon thee and put thy shoes upon thy feet and cover not thine upper lip and eat not the bread of men so I spoke unto the people in the morning and at even my wife died and I did in the morning as I was commanded and the people said unto me wilt thou not tell us what these things are to us that thou doest so then I said unto them the word of Hashem came unto me saying speak unto the house of Israel thus saith the Lord God behold I will profane my sanctuary the pride of your power the desire of your eyes and the longing of your soul and your sons and your daughters whom ye have left behind shall fall by the sword and ye shall do as I have done ye shall not cover your upper lips nor Eat the bread of men and your tires shall be upon your heads and your shoes upon your feet ye shall not make lamentation nor weep but ye shall pine away in your iniquities and moan one toward another thus shall Ezekiel be unto you a sign according to all that he hath done shall ye do when this cometh then shall ye know that I am the Lord God and thou son of man shall it not be in the day when I take from them their stronghold the joy of their glory the desire of their eyes and the yearning of their soul their sons and their daughters that in that day he that escapeth shall come unto thee to cause thee to hear it with thine ears in that day shall thy mouth be opened together with him that is escaped and thou shalt speak and be no more dumb so shalt thou be a sign unto them and they shall know that I am Hashem Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man set thy face toward the children of Ammon and prophesy against them and say Unto the children of Ammon hear the word of the Lord God thus saith the Lord God because thou saidst Aha against my sanctuary when it was profaned and against the land of Israel when it was made desolate and against the house of Judah when they went into captivity therefore behold I will deliver thee to the children of the east for a possession and they shall set their encampments in thee and make their dwellings in thee they shall eat thy fruit and they shall drink thy milk and I will make. Rabbah a pasture for camels and the children of Ammon a couching place for flocks and ye shall know that I am Hashem for thus saith the Lord God because thou hast clapped thy hands and stamped with the feet and rejoiced with all the disdain of thy soul against the land of Israel therefore behold I stretch out my hand upon thee and will deliver thee for a spoil to the nations and I will cut thee off from the peoples and I will cause thee to perish out of the countries I will destroy thee and Thou shalt know that I am Hashem thus saith the Lord God because that Moab and Seir do say behold the house of Judah is like unto all the nations therefore behold I will open the flank of Moab on the side of the cities on the side of his cities which are on his frontiers the beauteous country of Beth Shemoth Baalmian and Kiriath Aim together with the children of Ammon unto the children of the east and I will give them for a possession that the children of Ammon may not be remembered.
among the nations and I will execute judgments upon Moab and they shall know that I am Hashem thus saith the Lord God because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them therefore thus saith the Lord God I will stretch out my hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it and I will make it desolate from Taman even unto Dedan shall they fall by the sword and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury and they shall know my vengeance saith the Lord God thus saith the Lord God because the Philistines have dealt by revenge and have taken vengeance with disdain of soul to destroy for the old hatred therefore thus saith the Lord God behold I will stretch out my hand upon the Philistines and I will cut off the Jerethites and destroy the remnant of the sea coast and I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes and they shall know that I am Hashem when I shall lay my vengeance upon them Ezekiel chapter and it came to pass in the eleventh year in the first day of the month that the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man because that Tyre hath said against Jerusalem aha she is broken that was the gate of the peoples she is turned unto me I shall be filled with her that is laid waste therefore thus saith the Lord God behold I am against thee oh. Tyre and will cause many nations to come up against thee as the sea causeth its waves to come up and they shall destroy the walls of Tyre and break down her towers I will also scrape her dust from her and make her a bare rock she shall be a place for the spreading of nets in the midst of the sea for I have spoken it saith the Lord God and she shall become a spoil to the nations and her daughters that are in the field shall be slain with the sword and they shall know that I am Hashem for Thus saith the Lord God behold I will bring upon Tyre Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon king of kings from the north with horses and with chariots and with horsemen and a company and much people he shall slay with the sword thy daughters in the field and he shall make forts against thee and cast up a mound against thee and set up bucklers against thee and he shall set his battering engines against thy walls and with his axes he shall break down thy towers by reason of the abundance of his horses their dust shall cover thee at the noise of the horsemen and of the wheels and of the chariots thy walls shall shake when he shall enter into thy gates as men enter into a city wherein is made a breach with the hoofs of his horses shall he tread down all thy streets he shall slay thy people with the sword and the pillars of thy strength shall go down to the ground and they shall make a spoil of thy riches and make a prey of thy merchandise and they shall break down thy walls and destroy the houses of thy delight and thy stones and thy timber and thy dust shall they lay in the midst of the waters and I will cause the noise of thy songs to cease and the sound of thy harps shall be no more heard and I will make thee a bare rock thou shalt be a place for the spreading of nets thou shalt be built no more for I Hashem have spoken saith the Lord God thus saith the Lord God to Tyre shall not the isles shake at the sound of thy fall when the wounded groan when they Slaughter is made in the midst of thee then all the princes of the sea shall come down from their thrones and lay away their robes and strip off their richly woven garments they shall clothe themselves with trembling they shall sit upon the ground and shall tremble every moment and be appalled at thee and they shall take up a lamentation for thee and say to thee how art thou destroyed that wast peopled from the seas the renowned city that wast strong in the sea thou and thy inhabitants that caused your terror to be on all that inhabit the earth now shall the isles tremble in the day of thy fall yet the isles that are in the sea shall be affrighted at thy going out for thus saith the Lord God when I shall make thee a desolate city like the cities that are not inhabited when I shall bring up the deep upon thee and the great waters shall cover thee then will I bring thee down with them that descend into the pit to the people of old time and will make thee to dwell in the nether parts of the earth like the places that are desolate of old with them that go down to the pit that thou be not inhabited and I will set glory in the land of the living I will make thee a terror and thou shalt be no more though thou be sought for yet shalt thou never be found again saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter moreover the word of Hashem came unto me saying and thou son of man take up a lamentation for Tyre and say unto Tyre that dwelleth at the entry of the sea that is the Merchant of the peoples unto many isles thus saith the Lord God thou O Tyre hast said I am a perfect beauty thy borders are in the heart of the seas thy builders have perfected thy beauty of cypress trees from Sinir have they fashioned all thy planks they have taken cedars from Lebanon to make masts for thee of the oaks of Bashan have they made thine oars thy deck have they made of ivory and laid in larch from the isles of the Kittites of fine linen with richly woven work from Egypt was thy sail that it might be to thee for an ensign blue and purple from the isles of Elisha was thine awning the inhabitants of Sidon and Arved were thy rowers thy wise men O Tyre were in thee they were thy pilots the elders of Gabal and the wise men thereof were in thee thy cockers all the ships of the sea with their mariners were in thee to exchange thy merchandise Persia and Lud and put were in thine army thy men of war they hanged the shield and helmet in thee they set forth thy Comeliness the men of Arvet and Helic were upon thy walls round about and the Gamadim were in thy towers they hanged their shields upon thy walls round about they have perfected thy beauty Tars Hish was thy merchant by reason of the multitude of all kinds of riches with silver iron tin and lead they traded for thy wares Job and Tubal and Meshech they were thy traffickers they traded the persons of men and vessels of brass for thy merchandise they of the house of Togerma traded for thy Wares with horses and horsemen and mules the men of Dedan were thy traffickers many isles were the mart of thy hand they brought thee as tribute horns of ivory and ebony Aram was thy merchant by reason of the multitude of thy wealth they traded for thy wares with carbuncles purple and richly woven work and fine linen and coral and rubies Judah and the land of Israel they were thy traffickers they traded for thy merchandise wheat of minneth and balsam and honey and oil and balm Damascus. 
was thy merchant for the multitude of thy wealth by reason of the multitude of all riches with the wine of Helbon and white wool Vedon and Javan traded with yarn for thy wares massive iron Kasha and Calamus were among thy merchandise Dedan was thy trafficker in precious cloths for riding Arabia and all the princes of Kedar they were the merchants of thy hand in lambs and rams and goats in these were they thy merchants the traffickers of Sheba and Rama they were thy traffickers they traded for thy wares with chief of all spices and with all precious stones and gold Haran and Kenna and Eden the traffickers of Sheba Asher was as thine apprentice in traffic these were thy traffickers in gorgeous fabrics in wrappings of blue and richly woven work and in chests of rich apparel bound with cords and cedar lined among thy merchandise the ships of Tars Hish brought thee tribute for thy merchandise so wast thou replenished and made very heavy in the heart of the seas thy Rowers have brought thee into great waters the east wind hath broken thee in the heart of the seas thy riches and thy wares thy merchandise thy mariners and thy pilots thy cockers and the exchangers of thy merchandise and all thy men of war that are in thee with all thy company which is in the midst of thee shall fall into the heart of the seas in the day of thy ruin at the sound of the cry of thy pilots the waves shall shake and all that handle thee or the mariners and all the pilots of the sea shall come down from their ships they shall stand upon the land and shall cause their voice to be heard over thee and shall cry bitterly and shall cast up dust upon their heads they shall roll themselves in the ashes and they shall make themselves utterly bald for thee and gird them with sackcloth and they shall weep for thee in bitterness of soul with bitter lamentation and in their wailing they shall take up a lamentation for thee and lament over thee who was there like Tyre. Fortified in the midst of the sea when thy wares came forth out of the seas thou didst fill many peoples with the multitude of thy riches and of thy merchandise didst thou enrich the kings of the earth now that thou art broken by the seas in the depths of the waters and thy merchandise and all thy company are fallen in the midst of thee all the inhabitants of the isles are appalled at thee and their kings are horribly afraid they are troubled in their countenance the merchants among the peoples hiss at thee thou art become a terror and never shalt be any more Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man say unto the prince of Tyre thus saith the Lord God because thy heart is lifted up and thou hast said I am a God I sit in the seat of God in the heart of the seas yet thou art man and not God though thou didst set thy heart as the heart of God behold thou art wiser than Daniel there is no secret that they can hide from thee by thy wisdom and by thy discernment thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures in thy great wisdom by thy traffic hast thou increased thy riches and thy heart is lifted up because of thy riches therefore thus saith the Lord God because thou hast set thy heart as the heart of God therefore behold I will bring strangers upon thee the terrible of the nations and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom and they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit and thou shalt die the deaths of them that are slain in the heart of the seas wilt thou yet say before him that slayeth thee I am God but thou art man and not God in the hand of them that defile thee thou shalt die the deaths of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers for I have spoken saith the Lord God moreover the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man take up a lamentation for the king of Tyre and say unto him thus saith the Lord God. Thou seal most accurate full of wisdom and perfect in beauty thou wast in Eden the garden of God every precious stone was thy covering the carnelian the topaz and the emerald the beryl the onyx and the jasper the sapphire the carbuncle and the smaragd and gold the workmanship of thy settings and of thy sockets was in thee in the day that thou wast created they were prepared thou wast the far covering cherub and I set thee so that thou wast upon the holy mountain of God thou hast walked up. And down in the midst of stones of fire thou wast perfect in thy ways from the day that thou wast created till unrighteousness was found in thee by the multitude of thy traffic they filled the midst of thee with violence and thou hast sinned therefore have I cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God and I have destroyed thee O covering cherub from the midst of the stones of fire thy heart was lifted up because of thy beauty thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I have cast thee to the ground I have laid thee before kings that they may gaze upon thee by the multitude of thine iniquities in the unrighteousness of thy traffic thou hast profaned thy sanctuaries therefore have I brought forth a fire from the midst of thee it hath devoured thee and I have turned thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee all they that know thee among the peoples shall be appalled at thee thou art become a terror and thou shalt never be any. More and the word of Hashem came unto me saying Son of man set thy face towards Zidon and prophesy against it and say thus saith the Lord God behold I am against thee O Zidon and I will be glorified in the midst of thee and they shall know that I am Hashem when I shall have executed judgments in her and shall be sanctified in her for I will send into her pestilence and blood in her streets and the wounded shall fall in the midst of her by the sword upon her on every side and they shall Know that I am Hashem and there shall be no more a pricking briar unto the house of Israel nor a piercing thorn of any that are round about them that did have them in disdain and they shall know that I am the Lord God thus saith the Lord God when I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the peoples among whom they are scattered and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the nations then shall they dwell in their own land which I gave to my servant Jacob and they shall dwell safely therein and shall build houses and plant vineyards yea they shall dwell safely when I have executed judgments upon all those that have them in disdain round about them and they shall know that I am Hashem their God Ezekiel chapter in the tenth year in the tenth month in the twelfth day of the month the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man set thy face against Pharaoh king of Egypt and prophesy against him and against all Egypt speak and say thus saith the Lord God. 
Behold I am against thee Pharaoh king of Egypt the great dragon that lieth in the midst of his rivers that hath said my river is mine own and I have made it for myself and I will put hooks in thy jaws and I will cause the fish of thy rivers to stick unto thy scales and I will bring thee up out of the midst of thy rivers and all the fish of thy rivers shall stick unto thy scales and I will cast thee into the wilderness thee and all the fish of thy rivers thou shalt fall upon the open field. Thou shalt not be brought together nor gathered to the beasts of the earth and to the fowls of the heaven have I given thee for food and all the inhabitants of Egypt shall know that I am Hashem because they have been a staff of reed to the house of Israel when they take hold of thee with the hand thou dost break and rend all their shoulders and when they lean upon thee thou breakest and makest all their loins to be at a stand therefore thus saith the Lord God behold I will bring a sword upon thee and will cut off from thee man and beast and the land of Egypt shall be desolate and waste and they shall know that I am Hashem because he hath said the river is mine and I have made it therefore behold I am against thee and against thy rivers and I will make the land of Egypt utterly waste and desolate from Migdal to Sione even unto the border of Ethiopia no foot of man shall pass through it nor foot of beast shall pass through it neither shall it be inhabited forty years and I will make the land of Egypt desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate and her cities among the cities that are laid waste shall be desolate forty years and I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and will disperse them through the countries for thus saith the Lord God at the end of forty years will I gather the Egyptians from the peoples whither they were scattered and I will turn the captivity of Egypt and will cause them to return into the land of Pathros into the land of their origin and they shall be there a lowly kingdom it shall be the lowliest of the kingdoms neither shall it any more lift itself up above the nations and I will diminish them that they shall no more rule over the nations and it shall be no more the confidence of the house of Israel bringing iniquity to remembrance when they turn after them and they shall know that I am the Lord God and it came to pass in the seven and twentieth year in the first month in the first day of the month the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon caused his army to serve a great service against Tyre every head was made bald and every shoulder was peeled yet had he no wages nor his army from Tyre for the service that he had served against it therefore thus saith the Lord God behold I will give the land of Egypt unto Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon and he shall carry off her abundance and take her spoil and take her prey and it shall be the wages for his army I have given him the land of Egypt as his hire for which he served because they wrought for me saith the Lord God in that day will I cause a horn to shoot up unto the house of Israel and I will give thee the opening of the mouth in the midst of them and they shall know that I am Hashem Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man prophesy and say thus saith the Lord God well yet well worth the day for the day is near even the day of Hashem is near a day of clouds it shall be the time of the nations and a sword shall come upon Egypt and convulsion shall be in Ethiopia when the slain shall fall in Egypt and they shall take away her abundance and her foundation shall be broken down Ethiopia and put and lud and all the mingled people and cub and the children of the land that is in league shall fall with them by the sword thus saith Hashem they also that uphold Egypt shall fall and the pride of her power shall come down from Migdal. To Sione shall they fall in it by the sword saith the Lord God and they shall be desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate and her cities shall be in the midst of the cities that are wasted and they shall know that I am Hashem when I have set a fire in Egypt and all her helpers are destroyed in that day shall messengers go forth from before me in ships to make the confident Ethiopians afraid and there shall come convulsion upon them in the day of Egypt for lo it cometh. Thus saith the Lord God I will also make the multitude of Egypt to cease by the hand of Nebuchadrezzar king of Babylon he and his people with him the terrible of the nations shall be brought in to destroy the land and they shall draw their swords against Egypt and fill the land with the slain and I will make the rivers dry and will give the land over into the hand of evil men and I will make the land desolate and all that is therein by the hand of strangers I Hashem have spoken it thus. Saith the Lord God I will also destroy the idols and I will cause the things of not to cease from Noph and there shall be no more a prince out of the land of Egypt and I will put a fear in the land of Egypt and I will make Pathros desolate and will set a fire in Zoan and will execute judgments in No and I will pour my fury upon Sin the stronghold of Egypt and I will cut off the multitude of No and I will set a fire in Egypt Sin shall be in great convulsion and No shall be rent asunder. And in Noph shall come adversaries in the daytime the young men of Avon and of Pibist shall fall by the sword and these cities shall go into captivity at Tehophnes also the day shall withdraw itself when I shall break there the yokes of Egypt and the pride of her power shall cease in her as for her a cloud shall cover her and her daughters shall go into captivity thus will I execute judgments in Egypt and they shall know that I am Hashem and it came to pass in the eleventh year. In the first month in the seventh day of the month that the word of Hashem came unto me saying Son of man I have broken the arm of Pharaoh king of Egypt and lo it hath not been bound up to be healed to put a roller that it be bound up and wax strong that it hold the sword therefore thus saith the Lord God behold I am against Pharaoh king of Egypt and will break his arms the strong and that which was broken and I will cause the sword to fall out of his hand and I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and will disperse them through the countries and I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon and put my sword in his hand but I will break the arms of Pharaoh and he shall groan before him with the groanings of a deadly wounded man and I will hold up the arms of the king of Babylon and the arms of Pharaoh shall fall down and they shall know that I am Hashem when I shall put my sword into the hand of the king of Babylon and he shall stretch it out upon the 
land of Egypt and I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them through the countries and they shall know that I am Hashem Ezekiel chapter and it came to pass in the eleventh year in the third month in the first day of the month that the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man say unto Pharaoh king of Egypt and to his multitude whom art thou like in thy greatness behold the Assyrian was a cedar in Lebanon with fair branches and with a shadowing shroud and of a high stature and its top was among the thick boughs the waters nourished it the deep made it to grow her rivers ran round about her plantation and she sent out her conduits unto all the trees of the field therefore its stature was exalted above all the trees of the field and its boughs were multiplied and its branches became long because of the multitude of waters when it shot them forth all the fowls of heaven made their nests in its boughs and all the beasts of the field did bring forth their young under its branches and under its shadow dwelt all great nations thus was it fair in its greatness in the length of its branches for its root was by many waters the cedars in the garden of God could not hide it the cypress trees were not like its boughs and the plane trees were not as its branches nor was any tree in the garden of God like unto it in its beauty I made it fair by the multitude of its branches so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God Envied it therefore thus saith the Lord God because thou art exalted in stature and he hath set his top among the thick boughs and his heart is lifted up in his height I do even deliver him into the hand of the mighty one of the nations he shall surely deal with him I do drive him out according to his wickedness and strangers the terrible of the nations do cut him off and cast him down upon the mountains and in all the valleys his branches are fallen and his boughs lie broken in all the channels of the land and all the peoples of the earth do go down from his shadow and do leave him upon his carcass all the fowls of the heaven do dwell and upon his branches are all the beasts of the field to the end that none of all the trees by the waters exalt themselves in their stature neither set their top among the thick boughs nor that their mighty ones stand up in their height even all that drink water for they are all delivered unto death to the nether parts of the earth in the midst of the children of men with them that go down to the pit thus saith the Lord God in the day when he went down to the nether world I caused the deep to mourn and cover itself for him and I restrained the rivers thereof and the great waters were stayed and I caused Lebanon to mourn for him and all the trees of the field fainted for him I made the nations to shake at the sound of his fall when I cast him down to the nether world with them that descend into the pit and all the trees of Eden the choice and best of Lebanon all that drink water were comforted in the nether parts of the earth they also went down into the nether world with him unto them that are slain by the sword yea they that were in his arm that dwelt under his shadow in the midst of the nations to whom art thou thus like in glory and in greatness among the trees of Eden yet shall thou be brought down with the trees of Eden unto the nether parts of the earth thou shalt lie in the midst of the uncircumcised with them that are slain by the sword this is Pharaoh and all his multitude saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter and it came to pass in the twelfth year in the twelfth month in the first day of the month that the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man take up a lamentation for Pharaoh king of Egypt and say unto him thou didst liken thyself unto a young lion of the nations whereas thou art as a dragon in the seas and thou didst gush forth with thy rivers and didst trouble thee waters with thy feet and foul their rivers thus saith the Lord God I will therefore spread out my net over thee with a company of many peoples and they shall bring thee up in my net and I will cast thee upon the land I will hurl thee upon the open field and will cause all the fowls of the heaven to settle upon thee and I will fill the beasts of the whole earth with thee and I will lay thy flesh upon the mountains and fill the valleys with thy foulness I will also water with thy blood the land wherein thou swimmest even to the mountains and the channels shall be full of thee and when I shall extinguish thee I will cover the heaven and make the stars thereof black I will cover the sun with a cloud and the moon shall not give her light all the bright lights of heaven will I make black over thee and set darkness upon thy land saith the Lord God I will also vex the hearts of many peoples when I shall bring thy destruction among the nations into the countries which thou hast not known yet I will make many peoples appalled at thee and their kings shall be horribly afraid for thee when I shall brandish my sword before them and they shall tremble at every moment every man for his own life in the day of thy fall for thus saith the Lord God the sword of the king of Babylon shall come upon thee by the swords of the mighty will I cause thy multitude to fall the terrible of the nations are they all and they shall spoil the pride of Egypt and all the multitude thereof shall be destroyed I will destroy also all the beasts thereof from beside many waters neither shall the foot of man trouble them any more nor the hoofs of beasts trouble them then will I make their waters to settle and cause their rivers to run like oil saith the Lord God when I shall make the land of Egypt desolate and waste a land destitute of that whereof it was full when I shall smite all them that dwell therein then shall they know that I am Hashem this is the lamentation wherewith they shall lament the daughters of the nations shall lament therewith for Egypt and for all her multitude shall they lament therewith saith the Lord God it came to pass also in the twelfth year in the fifteenth day of the month that the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man wail for the multitude of Egypt and cast them down even her with the daughters of the mighty nations unto the nether parts of the earth with them that go down into the pit whom dost thou pass in beauty go down and be thou laid with the uncircumcised they shall fall in the midst of them that are slain by the sword she is delivered to the sword draw her down and all her multitudes the strong among the mighty shall speak of him out of the midst of the nether world with them that helped him they are gone down they lie still even the uncircumcised slain by the sword as her is there and all her company their graves are round about them all of them slain fallen by the sword whose 
Graves are set in the uttermost parts of the pit and her company is round about her grave all of them slain fallen by the sword who caused terror in the land of the living there is Elam and all her multitude round about her grave all of them slain fallen by the sword who are gone down uncircumcised into the nether parts of the earth who caused their terror in the land of the living yet have they borne their shame with them that go down to the pit they have set her a bed in the midst of the slain with all her multitude her graves are round about them all of them uncircumcised slain by the sword because their terror was caused in the land of the living yet have they borne their shame with them that go down to the pit they are put in the midst of them that are slain there is Meshech Tubal and all her multitude her graves are round about them all of them uncircumcised slain by the sword because they caused their terror in the land of the living and they that are inferior to the uncircumcised shall not lie with the mighty that are gone down to the nether world with their weapons of war whose swords are laid under their heads and whose iniquities are upon their bones because the terror of the mighty was in the land of the living but thou in the midst of the uncircumcised shalt thou be broken and lie even with them that are slain by the sword there is Edom her kings and all her princes who for all their might are laid with them that are slain by the sword they shall lie with the uncircumcised and with them that go down to the pit there are the princes of the north all of them and all the Zidonians who are gone down with the slain ashamed for all the terror which they caused by their might and they lie uncircumcised with them that are slain by the sword and bear their shame with them that go down to the pit these shall Pharaoh see and shall be comforted over all his multitude even Pharaoh and all his army slain by the sword saith the Lord God for I have put my terror in the land of the living and he shall be laid in the midst of the uncircumcised with them that are slain by the sword even Pharaoh and all his multitude saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man speak to the children of thy people and say unto them when I bring the sword upon a land if the people of the land take a man from among them and set him for their watchman if when he seeth the sword come upon the land he blow the horn and warn the people then whosoever heareth the sound of the horn and taketh not warning if the sword come and take him away his blood shall be upon his own head he heard the sound of the horn and took not warning his blood shall be upon him whereas if he had taken warning he would have delivered his soul but if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the horn and the people be not warned and the sword do come and take any person from among them he is taken away in his iniquity but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand so thou son of man I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel therefore when thou shalt hear the word at my mouth warn them from me when I say unto the wicked O wicked man thou shalt surely die and thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way that wicked man shall die in his iniquity but his blood will I require at thy hand nevertheless if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it and he turn not from his way he shall die in his iniquity but thou hast delivered thy soul therefore O thou son of man say unto the house of Israel thus yes speak saying our transgressions and our sins are upon us and we pine away in them how then can we live say unto them as I live saith the Lord God I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked but that the wicked turn from his way and live turn ye turn ye from your evil ways for why will ye die O house of Israel and thou son of man say unto the children of thy people the righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression and as for the wickedness of the wicked he shall not stumble thereby in the day that he turneth from his wickedness neither shall he that is righteous be able to live thereby in the day that he sinneth when I say to the righteous that he shall surely live if he trust to his righteousness and commit iniquity none of his righteous deeds shall be remembered but for his iniquity that he hath committed for it shall he die again when I say unto the wicked thou shalt surely die if he turn from his sin and do that which is lawful and right if the wicked restore the pledge give back that which he had taken by robbery walk in the statutes of life committing no iniquity he shall surely live he shall not die none of his sins that he hath committed shall be remembered against him he hath done that which is lawful and right he shall surely live yet the children of thy people say the way of the Lord is not equal but as for them their way is not equal when the righteous turneth from his righteousness and committeth iniquity he shall even die thereby and when the wicked turneth from his wickedness and doth that which is lawful and right he shall live thereby yet yes say the way of the Lord is not equal O house of Israel I will judge you every one after his ways and it came to pass in the twelfth year of our captivity in the tenth month in the fifth day of the month that one that had escaped out of Jerusalem came unto me saying the city is smitten now the hand of Hashem had been upon me in the evening before he that was escaped came and he had opened my mouth against his coming to me in the morning and my mouth was opened and I was no more dumb than the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man they that inhabit those waste places in the land of Israel speak saying Abraham was one and he inherited the land but we are many the land is given us for inheritance wherefore say unto them thus saith the Lord God ye eat with the blood and lift up your eyes unto your idols and shed blood and shall ye possess the land ye stand upon your sword ye work abomination and ye defile every one his neighbor's wife and shall ye possess the land thus shalt thou say unto them thus saith the Lord God as I live surely they that are in the waste places shall fall by the sword and him that is in the open field will I give to the beasts to be devoured and they that are in the strongholds and in the caves shall die of the pestilence and I will make the land most desolate and the pride of her power shall cease and the mountains of Israel shall be desolate so that none shall pass through then shall they know that I am Hashem when I have made the land most desolate because of all their abominations which they have committed and as for thee son of man the children of thy people that talk of thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and 
Speak one to another every one to his brother saying come I pray you and hear what is the word that cometh forth from Hashem and come unto thee as the people cometh and sit before thee as my people and hear thy words but do them not for with their mouth they show much love but their heart goeth after their covetousness and lo thou art unto them as a love song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument so they hear thy words but they do them not when this cometh to pass behold it cometh then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man prophesy against the shepherds of Israel prophesy and say unto them even to the shepherds thus saith the Lord God woe unto the shepherds of Israel that have fed themselves should not the shepherds feed the sheep ye did eat the fat and ye clothed you with the wool ye killed the fatlings but ye fed not the sheep the weak have ye not strengthened neither have ye healed that which was sick neither have ye bound up that which was broken neither have ye brought back that which was driven away neither have ye sought that which was lost but with force have ye ruled over them and with rigor so were they scattered because there was no shepherd and they became food to all the beasts of the field and were scattered my sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every high hill ye upon all the face of the earth were my sheep scattered and there was none that did search or seek therefore ye shepherds hear the word of Hashem as I live saith the Lord God surely for as much as my sheep became a prey and my sheep became food to all the beasts of the field because there was no shepherd neither did my shepherds search for my sheep but the shepherds fed themselves and fed not my sheep therefore ye shepherds hear the word of Hashem thus saith the Lord God behold I am against the shepherds and I will require my sheep at their hand and cause them to cease from feeding the sheep neither shall the shepherds feed themselves any more and I will deliver my sheep from their mouth that they may not be food for them for thus saith the Lord God behold here am I and I will search for my sheep and seek them out as a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are separated so will I seek out my sheep and I will deliver them out of all places whither they have been scattered in the day of clouds and thick darkness and I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their own land and I will feed them upon the mountains of Israel by the streams and in all the habitable places of the country I will feed them in a good pasture and upon the high mountains of Israel shall their fold be there shall they lie down in a good fold and in a fat pasture shall they feed upon the mountains of Israel I will feed my sheep and I will cause them to lie down saith the Lord God I will seek that which was lost and will bring back that which was driven away and will bind up that which was broken and will strengthen that which was sick and the fat and the strong I will destroy I will feed them in justice and as for you O my flock thus saith the Lord God behold I judge between cattle and cattle even the rams and the he goats seemeth it a small thing unto you to have fed upon the good pasture but ye must tread down with your feet the residue of your pasture and to have drunk of the settled waters but ye must foul the residue with your feet and as for my sheep they eat that which ye have trodden with your feet and they drink that which ye have fouled with your feet therefore thus saith the Lord God unto them behold I even I will judge between the fat cattle and the lean cattle because ye thrust with side and with shoulder and push all the weak with your horns till ye have scattered them abroad therefore will I save my flock and they shall no more be a prey and I will judge between cattle and cattle and I will set up one shepherd over them and he shall feed them even my servant David he shall feed them and he shall be their shepherd and I Hashem will be their God and my servant David prince among them I Hashem have spoken and I will make with them a covenant of peace and will cause evil beasts to cease out of the land and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods and I will make them and the places round about my hill a blessing and I will cause the shower to come down in its season there shall be showers of blessing and the tree of the field shall yield its fruit and the earth shall yield her produce and they shall be safe in their land and they shall know that I am Hashem when I have broken the bars of their yoke and have delivered them out of the hand of those that made bondmen of them and they shall no more be a prey to the nations neither shall the beast of the earth devour them but they shall dwell safely and none shall make them afraid and I will raise up unto them a plantation for renown and they shall be no more consumed with hunger in the land neither bear the shame of the nations any more and they shall know that I Hashem their God am with them and that they the house of Israel are my people saith the Lord God and ye my sheep the sheep of my pasture are men and I am your God saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter moreover the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it and say unto it thus saith the Lord God behold I am against thee O Mount Seir and I will stretch out my hand against thee and I will make thee most desolate I will lay thy cities waste and thou shalt be desolate and thou shalt know that I am Hashem because thou hast had a hatred of old and hast hurled the children of Israel unto the power of the sword. In the time of their calamity in the time of the iniquity of the end therefore as I live saith the Lord God I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee surely thou hast hated thine own blood therefore blood shall pursue thee thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it him that passeth through and him that returneth and I will fill his mountains with his slain in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy streams shall they fall that are slain with thee. Sword I will make thee perpetual desolations and thy cities shall not return and ye shall know that I am Hashem because thou hast said these two nations and these two countries shall be mine and we will possess it whereas Hashem was there therefore as I live saith the Lord God I will do according to thine anger and according to thine envy which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them and I will make myself known among them when I shall judge thee and thou shalt know that I Hashem.
have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel saying they are laid desolate they are given us to devour and ye have magnified yourselves against me with your mouth and have multiplied your words against me I have heard it thus saith the Lord God when the whole earth rejoiceth I will make thee desolate as thou didst rejoice over the inheritance of the house of Israel because it was desolate so will I do unto thee thou shalt be desolate O Mount Seir and all Edom even all of it and they shall know that I am Hashem Ezekiel chapter and thou son of man prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say ye mountains of Israel hear the word of Hashem thus saith the Lord God because the enemy hath said against you aha even the ancient high places are ours in possession therefore prophesy and say thus saith the Lord God because even because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side that ye might be a possession unto the rest of the nations and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers and the evil report of the people therefore ye mountains of Israel hear the word of the Lord God thus saith the Lord God to the mountains and to the hills to the streams and to the valleys to the desolate wastes and to the cities that are forsaken which are become a prey and derision to the residue of the nations that are round about therefore thus saith the Lord God surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the nations and against all Edom that have appointed my land unto themselves for a possession with the joy of all their heart with disdain of soul to cast it out for a prey therefore prophesy concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains and to the hills to the streams and to the valleys thus saith the Lord God behold I have spoken in my jealousy and in my fury because ye have borne the shame of the nations therefore thus saith the Lord God I have lifted up my hand Surely the nations that are round about you they shall bear their shame but ye O mountains of Israel ye shall shoot forth your branches and yield your fruit to my people Israel for they are at hand to come for behold I am for you and I will turn unto you and ye shall be tilled and sown and I will multiply men upon you all the house of Israel even all of it and the cities shall be inhabited and the waste places shall be builded and I will multiply upon you man and beast and they shall increase and be fruitful and I will cause you to be inhabited after your former estate and will do better unto you than at your beginnings and ye shall know that I am Hashem ye I will cause men to walk upon you even my people Israel and they shall possess thee and thou shalt be their inheritance and thou shalt no more henceforth bereave them of children thus saith the Lord God because they say unto you thou land art a devourer of men and hast been a bearer of thy nations therefore thou shalt devour men no more neither bereave thy nations any more saith the Lord God neither will I suffer the shame of the nations any more to be heard against thee neither shalt thou bear the reproach of the peoples any more neither shalt thou cause thy nations to stumble any more saith the Lord God moreover the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man when the house of Israel dwelt in their own land they defiled it by their way and by their doings their way before me was as the uncleanness of a woman in her impurity wherefore I poured out my fury upon them for the blood which they had shed upon the land and because they had defiled it with their idols and I scattered them among the nations and they were dispersed through the countries according to their way and according to their doings I judged them and when they came unto the nations whither they came they profaned my holy name in that men said of them these are the people of Hashem and are gone forth out of his land but I had pity for my holy name which the house of Israel had profaned among the nations whither they came therefore say unto the house of Israel thus saith the Lord God I do not this for your sake O house of Israel but for my holy name which ye have profaned among the nations whither ye came and I will sanctify my great name which hath been profaned among the nations which ye have profaned in the midst of them and the nations shall know that I am Hashem saith the Lord God when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes for I will take you from among the nations and gather you out of all the countries and will bring you into your own land and I will sprinkle clean water upon you and ye shall be clean from all your uncle Anesses and from all your idols will I cleanse you a new heart also will I give you and a new spirit will I put within you and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and I will give you a heart of flesh and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes and ye shall keep mine ordinances and do them and ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers and ye shall be my people and I will be your God and I will save you from all your uncle Anesses and I will call for the corn and will increase it and lay no famine upon you and I will multiply the fruit of the tree and the increase of the field that ye may receive no more the reproach of famine among the nations then shall ye remember your evil ways and your doings that were not good and ye shall loathe yourselves in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations not for your sake do I this saith the Lord God be it known unto you be ashamed and confounded for your ways O house of Israel thus saith the Lord God in the day that I cleanse you from all your iniquities I will cause the cities to be inhabited and the waste places shall be builded and the land that was desolate shall be tilled whereas it was a desolation in the sight of all that passed by and they shall say this land that was desolate is become like the garden of Eden and the waste and desolate and ruined cities are fortified and inhabited then the nations that are left round about you shall know that I Hashem have builded the ruined places and planted that which was desolate I Hashem have spoken it and I will do it thus saith the Lord God I will yet for this be inquired of by the house of Israel to do it for them I will increase them with men like a flock as the flock for sacrifice as the flock of Jerusalem in her appointed season so shall the waste cities be filled with flocks of men and they shall know that I am Hashem Ezekiel chapter the hand of Hashem was upon me and Hashem carried me out in a spirit and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bones and he caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and 
He said unto me Son of man can these bones live and I answered O Lord God thou knowest then he said unto me prophesy over these bones and say unto them O ye dry bones hear the word of Hashem thus saith the Lord God unto these bones behold I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live and I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am Hashem so I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a noise and behold a commotion and the bones came together bone to its bone and I beheld and lo there were sinews upon them and flesh came up and skin covered them above but there was no breath in them then said he unto me prophesy unto the breath prophesy son of man and say to the breath thus saith the Lord God come from the four winds O breath and breathe upon these slain that they may live so I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great host then he said unto me son of man these bones are the whole house of Israel behold they say our bones are dried up and our hope is lost we are clean cut off therefore prophesy and say unto them thus saith the Lord God behold I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves O my people and I will bring you into the land of Israel and ye shall know that I am Hashem when I have opened your graves and caused you to come up out of your graves O my people and I will put my spirit in you and ye shall live and I will place you in your own land and ye shall know that I Hashem have spoken and performed it saith Hashem and the word of Hashem came unto me saying and thou son of man take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel his companions then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph the stick of Ephraim and of all the house of Israel his companions and join them for thee one to another into one stick that they may become one in thy hand and when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee saying wilt thou not tell us what thou meanest by thee say unto them thus saith the Lord God behold I will take the stick of Joseph which is in the hand of Ephraim and the tribes of Israel his companions and I will put them unto him together with the stick of Judah and make them one stick and they shall be one in my hand and the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thy hand before their eyes and say unto them thus saith the Lord God behold I will take the children of Israel from among the nations whither they are gone and will gather them on every side and bring them into their own land and I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel and one king shall be king to them all and they shall be no more two nations neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols nor with their detestable things nor with any of their transgressions but I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them so shall they be my people and I will be their God and my servant David shall be king over them and they all shall have one shepherd they shall also walk in mine ordinances and observe my statutes and do them and they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant wherein your fathers dwelt and they shall dwell therein they and their children and their children's children forever and David my servant shall be their prince forever moreover I will make a covenant of peace with them it shall be an everlasting covenant with them and I will establish them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forever my dwelling place also shall be over them and I will be their God and they shall be my people and the nations shall know that I am Hashem that sanctify Israel when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forever Ezekiel chapter and the word of Hashem came unto me saying son of man set thy face toward Gog of the land of Magog the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal and prophesy against him and say thus saith the Lord God behold I am against thee O Gog chief prince of Meshech and Tubal and I will turn thee about and put hooks into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth and all thine army horses and horsemen all of them clothed most gorgeously a great company with buckler and shield all of them handling swords Persia Kush and put with them all of them with shield and helmet Gomer and all his bands the house of Togerma in the uttermost parts of the north and all his bands even many peoples with thee be thou prepared and prepare for thyself thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee and be thou guarded of them after many days thou shalt be mustered for service in the latter years thou shalt come against the land that is brought back from the sword that is gathered out of many peoples against the mountains of Israel which have been a continual waste but it is brought forth out of the peoples and they dwell safely all of them and thou shalt ascend thou shalt come like a storm thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land thou and all thy bands and many peoples with thee thus saith the Lord God it shall come to pass in that day that things shall come into thy mind and thou shalt devise an evil device and thou shalt say I will go up against the land of unwalled villages I will come upon them that are at quiet that dwell safely all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates to take the spoil and to take the prey to turn thy hand against the waste places that are now inhabited and against the people that are gathered out of the nations that have gotten cattle and goods that dwell in the middle of the earth Sheba and Dedan and the merchants of Tarshish with all the magnates thereof shall say unto thee comest thou to take the spoil hast thou assembled thy company to take the prey to carry away silver and gold to take away cattle and goods to take great spoil therefore son of man prophesy and say unto Gog thus saith the Lord God in that day when my people Israel dwelleth safely shalt thou not know it and thou shalt come from thy place out of the uttermost parts of the north thou and many peoples with thee. 
all of them riding upon horses a great company and a mighty army and thou shalt come up against my people Israel as a cloud to cover the land it shall be in the end of days and I will bring thee against my land that the nations may know me when I shall be sanctified through thee O Gog before their eyes thus saith the Lord God art thou he of whom I spoke in old time by my servants the prophets of Israel that prophesied in those days for many years that I would bring thee against them and it shall come to pass in that day when Gog shall come against the land of Israel saith the Lord God that my fury shall arise up in my nostrils for in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel so that the fishes of the sea and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the field and all creeping things that creep upon the ground and all the men that are upon the face of the earth shall shake at my presence and the mountains shall be thrown down and the steep places shall fall and every wall shall fall to the ground and I will call for a sword against him throughout all my mountains saith the Lord God every man's sword shall be against his brother and I will plead against him with pestilence and with blood and I will cause to rain upon him and upon his bands and upon the many peoples that are with him an overflowing shower and great hailstones fire and brimstone thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself and I will make myself known in the eyes of many nations and they shall know that I am Hashem Ezekiel chapter and thou son of man prophesy against Gog and say thus saith the Lord God behold I am against thee O Gog chief prince of Meshech and Tubal and I will turn thee about and lead thee on and will cause thee to come up from the uttermost parts of the north and I will bring thee upon the mountains of Israel and I will smite thy bow out of thy left hand and will cause thine arrows to fall out of thy right hand thou shalt fall upon the mountains of Israel thou and all thy bands and the peoples that are with thee I will give thee unto the ravenous birds of every sort and to the beasts of the field to be devoured thou shalt fall upon the open field for I have spoken it saith the Lord God and I will send a fire on Magog and on them that dwell safely in the isles and they shall know that I am Hashem and my holy name will I make known in the midst of my people Israel neither will I suffer my holy name to be profaned any more and the nations shall know that I am Hashem the Holy One in Israel behold it cometh and it shall be done saith the Lord God this is the day whereof I have spoken and they that dwell in the cities of Israel shall go forth and shall make fires of the weapons and use them as fuel both the shields and the bucklers the bows and the arrows and the hand staves and the spears and they shall make fires of them seven years so that they shall take no wood out of the field neither cut down any out of the forests for they shall make fires of the weapons and they shall spoil those that spoiled them and rob those that robbed them saith the Lord God and it shall come to pass in that day that I will give unto Gog a place fit for burial in Israel the valley of them that pass through on the east of the sea and it shall stop them that pass through and there shall they bury Gog and all his multitude and they shall call it the valley of Hamangog and seven months shall the house of Israel be burying them that they may cleanse the land yet all the people of the land shall bury them and it shall be to them a renown in the day that I shall be glorified saith the Lord God and they shall set apart men of continual employment that shall pass through the land to bury with them that pass through those that remain upon the face of the land to cleanse it after the end of seven months shall they search and when they that pass through shall pass through the land and any seeth a man's bone then shall he set up a sign by it till the buriers have buried it in the valley of Hamangog and Hamanah shall also be the name of a city thus shall they cleanse the land and thou son of man thus saith the Lord God speak unto the birds of every sort and to every beast of the field assemble yourselves and come gather yourselves on every side to my feast that I do prepare for you even a great feast upon the mountains of Israel that ye may eat flesh and drink blood the flesh of the mighty shall ye eat and the blood of the princes of the earth shall ye drink rams lambs and goats bullocks fatlings of Bashan are they all of them and ye shall eat fat till ye be full and drink blood till ye be drunken of my feast which I have prepared for you and ye shall be filled at my table with horses and horsemen with mighty men and with all men of war saith the Lord God and I will set my glory among the nations and all. The nations shall see my judgment that I have executed and my hand that I have laid upon them so the house of Israel shall know that I am Hashem their God from that day and forward and the nations shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity because they broke faith with me and I hid my face from them so I gave them into the hand of their adversaries and they fell all of them by the sword according to their uncleanness and according to their transgressions. Did I unto them and I hid my face from them therefore thus saith the Lord God now will I bring back the captivity of Jacob and have compassion upon the whole house of Israel and I will be jealous for my holy name and they shall bear their shame and all their breach of faith which they have committed against me when they shall dwell safely in their land and none shall make them afraid when I have brought them back from the peoples and gathered them out of their enemies lands and am sanctified in them in the sight of many nations and they shall know that I am Hashem their God in that I caused them to go into captivity among the nations and have gathered them unto their own land and I will leave none of them any more there neither will I hide my face any more from them for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter in the five and twentieth year of our captivity in the beginning of the year in the tenth day of the month in the fourteenth year after that the city was smitten in the self same day the hand of Hashem was upon me and he brought me thither in the visions of God brought he me into the land of Israel and set me down upon a very high mountain whereon was as it were the frame of a city on the south and he brought me thither and behold there was a man whose appearance was like the appearance of brass with a line of flax in his hand and a measuring reed and he stood in the gate and the man said 
Unto me son of man behold with thine eyes and hear with thine ears and set thy heart upon all that I shall show thee for to the intent that I might show them unto the earth thou brought thither declare all that thou seest to the house of Israel and behold a wall on the outside of the house round about and in the man's hand a measuring reed of six cubits long of a cubit and a hand breadth each so he measured the breadth of the building one reed and the height one reed then came he unto the gate which looked toward the east and went up the steps thereof and he measured the jam of the gate one reed broad and the other jam one reed broad and every cell was one reed long and one reed broad and the space between the cells was five cubits and the jams of the gate by the porch of the gate within were one reed he measured also the porch of the gate toward the house one reed then measured he the porch of the gate eight cubits and the posts thereof two cubits and the porch of the gate was inward and the cells of the gate eastward were three on this side and three on that side they three were of one measure and the posts had one measure on this side and on that side and he measured the breadth of the entry of the gate ten cubits and the length of the gate thirteen cubits and a border before the cells one cubit on this side and a border one cubit on that side and the cells six cubits on this side and six cubits on that side and he measured the gate from the roof of the one cell to the roof of the other a breadth of five and twenty cubits door against door he made also posts of three score cubits even unto the posts of the court in the gates round about and from the forefront of the gate of the entrance unto the forefront of the inner porch of the gate were fifty cubits and there were narrow windows to the cells and to their posts within the gate round about and likewise to the arches and windows were round about inward and upon each post were palm. Trees then brought he me into the outer court and lo there were chambers and a pavement made for the court round about thirty chambers were upon the pavement and the pavement was by the side of the gates corresponding unto the length of the gates even the lower pavement then he measured the breadth from the forefront of the lower gate unto the forefront of the inner court without a hundred cubits eastward as also northward and the gate of the outer court that looked toward the north he measured the length thereof and the breadth thereof and the cells thereof were three on this side and three on that side and the posts thereof and the arches thereof were after the measure of the first gate the length thereof was fifty cubits and the breadth five and twenty cubits and the windows thereof and the arches thereof and the palm trees thereof were after the measure of the gate that looked toward the east and it was ascended by seven steps and the arches thereof were before them. And there was a gate to the inner court over against the other gate northward as also eastward and he measured from gate to gate a hundred cubits and he led me toward the south and behold a gate toward the south and he measured the posts thereof and the arches thereof according to these measures and there were windows in it and in the arches thereof round about like those windows the length was fifty cubits and the breadth five and twenty cubits and there were seven steps to go up to it. And the arches thereof were before them and it had palm trees one on this side and another on that side upon the posts thereof and there was a gate to the inner court toward the south and he measured from gate to gate toward the south a hundred cubits then he brought me to the inner court by the south gate and he measured the south gate according to these measures and the cells thereof and the posts thereof and the arches thereof according to these measures and there were windows in it. And in the arches thereof round about it was fifty cubits long and five and twenty cubits broad and there were arches round about five and twenty cubits long and five cubits broad and the arches thereof were toward the outer court and palm trees were upon the posts thereof and the going up to it had eight steps and he brought me into the inner court toward the east and he measured the gate according to these measures and the cells thereof and the posts thereof and the arches thereof. According to these measures and there were windows therein and in the arches thereof round about it was fifty cubits long and five and twenty cubits broad and the arches thereof were toward the outer court and palm trees were upon the posts thereof on this side and on that side and the going up to it had eight steps and he brought me to the north gate and he measured it according to these measures the cells thereof the posts thereof and the arches thereof and there were windows therein. Round about the length was fifty cubits and the breadth five and twenty cubits and the posts thereof were toward the outer court and palm trees were upon the posts thereof on this side and on that side and the going up to it had eight steps and a chamber with the entry thereof was by the posts at the gates there was the burnt offering to be washed and in the porch of the gate were two tables on this side and two tables on that side to slay thereon the burnt offering and the sin offering. And the guilt offering and on the one side without as one goeth up to the entry of the gate toward the north were two tables and on the other side of the porch of the gate were two tables four tables were on this side and four tables on that side by the side of the gate eight tables whereupon to slay the sacrifices moreover there were four tables for the burnt offering of hewn stone a cubit and a half long and a cubit and a half broad and one cubit high whereupon to lay the instruments. Wherewith the burnt offering and the sacrifice are slain and the slabs a hand breadth long were fastened within round about and upon the tables was to be the flesh of the offering and without the inner gate were chambers for the guard in the inner court which was at the side of the north gate and their prospect was toward the south one at the side of the east gate having the prospect toward the north and he said unto me this chamber whose prospect is toward the south is for the priests. The keepers of the charge of the house and the chamber whose prospect is toward the north is for the priests the keepers of the charge of the altar these are the sons of Zadok who from among the sons of Levi come near to Hashem to minister unto him and he measured the court a hundred cubits long and a hundred cubits brought four square and the altar was before the house then he brought me to the porch of the house and measured each post of the porch five cubits on this side and five cubits. 
on that side and the breadth of the gate was three cubits on this side and three cubits on that side the length of the porch was twenty cubits and the breadth eleven cubits and it was by steps that it was ascended and there were pillars by the posts one on this side and another on that side Ezekiel chapter and he brought me to the temple and measured the post six cubits brought on the one side and six cubits brought on the other side which was the breadth of the tent and the breadth of the entrance was ten cubits and the sides of the entrance were five cubits on the one side and five cubits on the other side and he measured the length thereof forty cubits and the breadth twenty cubits then went he inward and measured each post of the entrance two cubits and the entrance six cubits and the breadth of the entrance seven cubits and he measured the length thereof twenty cubits and the breadth twenty cubits before the temple and he said unto me this is the most holy place. Then he measured the wall of the house six cubits and the breadth of every side chamber four cubits round about the house on every side and the side chambers were one over another three and thirty times and there were cornices in the wall which belonged to the house for the side chambers round about that they might have hold therein and not have hold in the wall of the house and the side chambers were broader as they wound about higher and higher for the winding about of the house went higher and higher round about the house therefore the breadth of the house continued upward and so one went up from the lowest row to the highest by the middle I saw also that the house had a raised basement round about the foundations of the side chambers were a full reed of six cubits to the joining the breadth of the outer wall which belonged to the side chambers was five cubits and so that which was left by the structure of the side chambers that belonged to the house and between the Chambers was a breadth of twenty cubits round about the house on every side and the doors of the side chambers were toward the place that was left one door toward the north and another door toward the south and the breadth of the place that was left was five cubits round about and the building that was before the separate place at the side toward the west was seventy cubits broad and the wall of the building was five cubits thick round about and the length thereof ninety cubits and he measured the house a hundred cubits long and the separate place and the building with the walls thereof a hundred cubits long also the breadth of the face of the house and of the separate place toward the east a hundred cubits and he measured the length of the building before the separate place which was at the back thereof and the galleries thereof on the one side and on the other side a hundred cubits now the temple and the inner place and the porches of the court the jams and the narrow windows and the galleries that they three had round about over against the jams there was a veneering of wood round about and from the ground up to the windows and the windows were covered to the space above the door even unto the inner house and without and on all the wall round about within and without by measure and it was made with cherubim and palm trees and a palm tree was between cherub and cherub and every cherub had two faces so that there was the face of a man toward the palm tree on the one side and the face of a young lion toward the palm tree on the other side thus was it made through all the house round about from the ground unto above the door were cherubim and palm trees made and so on the wall of the temple as for the temple the jams were squared and the face of the sanctuary had an appearance such as is the appearance the altar three cubits high and the length thereof two cubits was of wood and so the corners thereof the length thereof and the Walls thereof were also of wood and he said unto me this is the table that is before Hashem and the temple and the sanctuary had two doors and the doors had two leaves apiece two turning leaves two leaves for the one door and two leaves for the other and there were made on them on the doors of the temple cherubim and palm trees like as were made upon the walls and there were thick beams of wood upon the face of the porch without and there were narrow windows and palm trees on the one side and on the other side on the sides of the porch there were also the brackets of the house and the thick beams Ezekiel chapter then he brought me forth into the outer court the way toward the north and he brought me into the chamber that was over against the separate place and which was over against the building toward the north even to the front of the length of a hundred cubits with the door on the north and the breadth of fifty cubits over against the twenty cubits which belonged to the inner court and over against the pavement which belonged to the outer court with gallery against gallery in three stories and before the chambers was a walk of ten cubits breadth inward away of one cubit and their doors were toward the north now the upper chambers were shorter for the galleries took away from these more than from the lower and the middle most in the building for they were in three stories and they had not pillars as the pillars of the courts therefore room was taken away from the lowest and the middlemost in comparison with the ground and the wall that was without by the side of the chambers toward the outer court in front of the chambers the length thereof was fifty cubits for the length of the chambers that were toward the outer court was fifty cubits and low before the temple were a hundred cubits and from under these chambers was the entry on the east side as one goeth into them from the outer court in the breadth of the wall of the court toward the east before the separate place and before the building there were chambers with a way before them like the appearance of the chambers which were toward the north as long as they and as broad as they with all their goings out and according to their fashions and as their doors so were also the doors of the chambers that were toward the south there was a door in the head of the way even the way directly before the wall toward the way from the east as one entereth into them. Then said he unto me the north chambers and the south chambers which are before the separate place they are the holy chambers where the priests that are near unto Hashem shall eat the most holy things there shall they lay the most holy things and the meal offering and the sin offering and the guilt offering for the place is holy when the priests enter in then shall they not go out of the holy place into the outer court but there they shall lay their garments wherein they minister for they. 
are holy and they shall put on other garments and shall approach to that which pertaineth to the people now when he had made an end of measuring the inner house he brought me forth by the way of the gate whose prospect is toward the east and measured it round about he measured the east side with the measuring reed five hundred reeds with the measuring reed round about he measured the north side five hundred reeds with the measuring reed round about he measured the south side five hundred reeds with the measuring reed he turned about to the west side and measured five hundred reeds with the measuring reed he measured it by the four sides it had a wall round about the length five hundred and the breadth five hundred to make a separation between that which was holy and that which was common Ezekiel chapter afterward he brought me to the gate even the gate that looked toward the east and behold the glory of the God of Israel came from the way of the east and his voice was like the sound of many waters and the earth did shine with his glory and the appearance of the vision which I saw was like the vision that I saw when I came to destroy the city and the visions were like the vision that I saw by the river Chebar and I fell upon my face and the glory of Hashem came into the house by the way of the gate whose prospect is toward the east and a spirit took me up and brought me into the inner court and behold the glory of Hashem filled the house and I heard one speaking unto me out of the house and a man stood by me and he said unto me son of man this is the place of my throne and the place of the solace of my feet where I will dwell in the midst of the children of Israel forever and the house of Israel shall no more defile my holy name neither they nor their kings by their harlotry and by the carcasses of their kings in their high places in their setting of their threshold by my threshold and their doorpost beside my doorpost and there was but the wall between me and them and they have defiled my holy name by their abominations which they have committed wherefore I have consumed them in mine anger now let them put away their harlotry and the carcasses of their kings far from me and I will dwell in the midst of them forever thou son of man show the house to the house of Israel that they may be ashamed of their iniquities and let them measure accurately and if they be ashamed of all that they have done make known unto them the form of the house and the fashion thereof and the goings out thereof and the combings in thereof and all the forms thereof and all the ordinances thereof and all the forms thereof and all the laws thereof and write it in their sight that they may keep the whole form thereof and all the ordinances thereof and do them this is the law of the house upon the top of the mountain the whole limit thereof round about shall be most holy behold this is the law of the house and these are the measures of the altar by cubits the cubit is a cubit and a hand breadth the bottom shall be a cubit and the breadth a cubit and the border thereof by the edge thereof round about a span and this shall be the base of the altar and from the bottom upon the ground to the lower settle shall be two cubits and the breadth one cubit and from the lesser settle to the greater settle shall be four cubits and the breadth a cubit and the hearth shall be four cubits and from the hearth and upward. There shall be four horns and the hearth shall be twelve cubits long by twelve broad square in the four sides thereof and the settle shall be fourteen cubits long by fourteen broad in the four sides thereof and the border about it shall be half a cubit and the bottom thereof shall be a cubit about and the steps thereof shall look toward the east and he said unto me son of man thus saith the Lord God these are the ordinances of the altar in the day when they shall make it to offer burnt offerings thereon and to dash blood against it thou shalt give to the priests the levites that are of the seed of Zadok who are near unto me to minister unto me saith the Lord God a young bullock for a sin offering and thou shalt take of the blood thereof and put it on the four horns of it and on the four corners of the settle and upon the border round about thus shalt thou purify it and make atonement for it thou shalt also take the bullock of the sin offering and it shall be burnt in the appointed place of the house without the sanctuary and on the second day thou shalt offer a he goat without blemish for a sin offering and they shall purify the altar as they did purify it with the bullock when thou hast made an end of purifying it thou shalt offer a young bullock without blemish and a ram out of the flock without blemish and thou shalt present them before Hashem and the priests shall cast salt upon them and they shall offer them up for a burnt offering unto Hashem. Seven days shalt thou prepare every day a goat for a sin offering they shall also prepare a young bullock and a ram out of the flock without blemish seven days shall they make atonement for the altar and cleanse it so shall they consecrate it and when they have accomplished the days it shall be that upon the eighth day and forward the priests shall make your burnt offerings upon the altar and your peace offerings and I will accept you saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter then he brought me back the way of the outer gate of the sanctuary which looked toward the east and it was shut and Hashem said unto me this gate shall be shut it shall not be opened neither shall any man enter in by it for Hashem the God of Israel hath entered in by it therefore it shall be shut as for the prince being a prince he shall sit therein to eat bread before Hashem he shall enter by the way of the porch of the gate and shall go out by the way of the same then he brought me the way of the north gate before the house and I looked and behold the glory of Hashem filled the house of Hashem and I fell upon my face and Hashem said unto me son of man mark well and behold with thine eyes and hear with thine ears all that I say unto thee concerning all the ordinances of the house of Hashem and all the laws thereof and mark well the entering in of the house with every going forth of the sanctuary and thou shalt say to the rebellious even to the house of Israel thus saith thee. Lord God O ye house of Israel let it suffice you of all your abominations in that ye have brought in aliens uncircumcised in heart and uncircumcised in flesh to be in my sanctuary to profane it even my house when ye offer my bread the fat and the blood and they have broken my covenant to add unto all your abominations and ye have not kept the charge of my holy things but ye have set keepers of my charge in my sanctuary to please yourselves thus saith the Lord God no alien uncircumcised in 
Heart and uncircumcised in flesh shall enter into my sanctuary even any alien that is among the children of Israel but the Levites that went far from me when Israel went astray that went astray from me after their idols they shall bear their iniquity and they shall be ministers in my sanctuary having charge at the gates of the house and ministering in the house they shall slay the burnt offering and the sacrifice for the people and they shall stand before them to minister unto them. Because they ministered unto them before their idols and became a stumbling block of iniquity unto the house of Israel therefore have I lifted up my hand against them saith the Lord God and they shall bear their iniquity and they shall not come near unto me to minister unto me in the priest's office nor to come near to any of my holy things unto the things that are most holy but they shall bear their shame and their abominations which they have committed and I will make them keepers of the charge of the house for all the service thereof and for all that shall be done therein but the priests the levites the sons of Zadok that kept the charge of my sanctuary when the children of Israel went astray from me they shall come near to me to minister unto me and they shall stand before me to offer unto me the fat and the blood saith the Lord God they shall enter into my sanctuary and they shall come near to my table to minister unto me and they shall keep my charge and it shall be that when they enter in at the gates of the inner court they shall be clothed with linen garments and no wool shall come upon them while they minister in the gates of the inner court and within they shall have linen tires upon their heads and shall have linen breeches upon their loins they shall not gird themselves with anything that causeth sweat and when they go forth into the outer court even into the outer court to the people they shall put off their garments wherein they minister and lay them in the holy chambers and they shall put on other garments that they sanctify not the people with their garments neither shall they shave their heads nor suffer their locks to grow long they shall only pull their heads neither shall any priest drink wine when they enter into the inner court neither shall they take for their wives a widow nor her that is put away but they shall take virgins of the seed of the house of Israel or a widow that is the widow of a priest and they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and the common and cause them to discern between the unclean and the clean and in a controversy they shall stand to judge according to mine ordinances shall they judge it and they shall keep my laws and my statutes in all my appointed seasons and they shall hallow my sabbaths and they shall come near no dead person to defile themselves but for father or for mother or for son or for daughter for brother or for sister that hath had no husband they may defile themselves and after he is cleansed they shall reckon unto him seven days and in the day that he goeth into the sanctuary into the inner court to minister in the sanctuary he shall offer his sin offering saith the Lord God and it shall be unto them for an inheritance I am their inheritance and ye shall give them no possession in Israel I am their possession the meal offering and the sin offering and the guilt offering they even they shall eat and every devoted thing in. Israel shall be theirs and the first of all the first fruits of everything and every heave offering of everything of all your offerings shall be for the priests ye shall also give unto the priest the first of your dough to cause a blessing to rest on thy house the priests shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself or is torn whether it be fowl or beast Ezekiel chapter moreover when ye shall divide by lot the land for inheritance ye shall set apart an offering unto Hashem a holy portion of the land the length shall be the length of five and twenty thousand reeds and the breadth shall be ten thousand it shall be holy in all the border thereof round about of this there shall be for the holy place five hundred in length by five hundred in breadth square round about and fifty cubits for the open land round about it and of this measure shalt thou measure a length of five and twenty thousand and a breadth of ten thousand and in it shall be the sanctuary which is most holy it is a holy portion of the land it shall be for the priests the ministers of the sanctuary that come near to minister unto Hashem and it shall be a place for their houses and a place consecrated for the sanctuary and five and twenty thousand in length and ten thousand in breadth which shall be unto the Levites the ministers of the house for a possession unto themselves for twenty chambers and ye shall appoint the possession of the city five thousand broad and five and twenty thousand long side by side with the offering of the holy portion it shall be for the whole house of Israel and for the prince on the one side and on the other side of the holy offering and of the possession of the city in front of the holy offering and in front of the possession of the city on the west side westward and on the east side eastward and in length answerable unto one of the portions from the west border unto the east border of the land it shall be to him for a possession in Israel and my princes shall no more wrong my people but they shall give the land to the house of Israel according to their tribes thus saith the Lord God let it suffice you O princes of Israel remove violence and spoil and execute justice and righteousness take away your exact irons from my people saith the Lord God ye shall have just balances and a just ephah and a just bath the ephah and the bath shall be of one measure that the bath may contain the tenth part of a homer and the ephah the tenth part of a homer the measure thereof shall be after the homer and the shekel shall be twenty giras twenty shekels five and twenty shekels ten and five shekels shall be your mana this is the offering that ye shall set apart the sixth part of an ephah out of a homer of wheat and ye shall give the sixth part of an ephah out of a homer of barley and the set portion of oil the bath of oil shall be the tithe of the bath out of the cor which is ten baths even a homer for ten baths are a Homer and one lamb of the flock out of two hundred from the well-watered pastures of Israel for a meal offering and for a burnt offering and for peace offerings to make atonement for them saith the Lord God all the people of the land shall give this offering for the prince in Israel and it shall be the prince's part to give the burnt offerings and the meal offerings and the drink offerings in the feasts and in the new moons and in the sabbaths in all the appointed seasons of the house of 
Israel he shall prepare the sin offering and the meal offering and the burnt offering and the peace offerings to make atonement for the house of Israel thus saith the Lord God in the first month in the first day of the month thou shalt take a young bullock without blemish and thou shalt purify the sanctuary and the priest shall take of the blood of the sin offering and put it upon the doorposts of the house and upon the four corners of the settle of the altar and upon the posts of the gate of the inner court and so thou shalt do on the seventh day of the month for every one that earth and for him that is simple so shall ye make atonement for the house in the first month in the fourteenth day of the month ye shall have the Passover a feast of seven days unleavened bread shall be eaten and upon that day shall the prince prepare for himself and for all the people of the land a bullock for a sin offering and the seven days of the feast he shall prepare a burnt offering to Hashem seven bullocks and seven rams without blemish daily the seven days and a he goat daily for a sin offering and he shall prepare a meal offering an ephah for a bullock and an ephah for a ram and a hin of oil to an ephah in the seventh month in the fifteenth day of the month in the feast shall he do the like the seven days to the sin offering as well as the burnt offering and the meal offering as well as the oil Ezekiel chapter thus saith the Lord God the gate of the inner court. That looked toward the east shall be shut the six working days but on the Sabbath day it shall be opened and in the day of the new moon it shall be opened and the prince shall enter by the way of the porch of the gate without and shall stand by the post of the gate and the priests shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offerings and he shall worship at the threshold of the gate then he shall go forth but the gate shall not be shut until the evening likewise the people of the land shall worship at the door of that gate before Hashem in the Sabbaths and in the new moons and the burnt offering that the prince shall offer unto Hashem shall be in the Sabbath day six lambs without blemish and a ram without blemish and the meal offering shall be an ephah for the ram and the meal offering for the lambs as he is able to give and a hin of oil to an ephah and in the day of the new moon it shall be a young bullock without blemish and six lambs and a ram they shall be without blemish and he shall prepare a meal offering an ephah for the bullock and an ephah for the ram and for the lambs according as his means suffice and a hin of oil to an ephah and when the prince shall enter he shall go in by the way of the porch of the gate and he shall go forth by the way thereof but when the people of the land shall come before Hashem in the appointed seasons he that entereth by the way of the north gate to worship shall go forth by the way of the south gate and he that Entereth by the way of the south gate shall go forth by the way of the north gate he shall not return by the way of the gate whereby he came in but shall go forth straight before him and the prince when they go in shall go in in the midst of them and when they go forth they shall go forth together and in the feasts and in the appointed seasons the meal offering shall be an ephah for a bullock and an ephah for a ram and for the lambs as he is able to give and a hin of oil to an ephah and when the prince shall prepare a freewill offering a burnt offering or peace offerings as a freewill offering unto Hashem one shall open for him the gate that looked toward the east and he shall prepare his burnt offering and his peace offerings as he doth on the Sabbath day then he shall go forth and after his going forth one shall shut the gate and thou shalt prepare a lamb of the first year without blemish for a burnt offering unto Hashem daily morning by morning shalt thou prepare it. And thou shalt prepare a meal offering with it morning by morning the sixth part of an ephah and the third part of a hin of oil to moisten the fine flour a meal offering unto Hashem continually by a perpetual ordinance thus shall they prepare the lamb and the meal offering and the oil morning by morning for a continual burnt offering thus saith the Lord God if the prince give a gift unto any of his sons it is his inheritance it shall belong to his sons it is their possession by inheritance. But if he give of his inheritance a gift to one of his servants it shall be his to the year of liberty then it shall return to the prince but as for his inheritance it shall be for his sons moreover the prince shall not take of the people's inheritance to thrust them wrongfully out of their possession he shall give inheritance to his sons out of his own possession that my people be not scattered every man from his possession then he brought me through the entry which was at the side of the gate into the holy chambers for the priests which looked toward the north and behold there was a place on the hinder part westward and he said unto me this is the place where the priests shall boil the guilt offering and the sin offering where they shall bake the meal offering that they bring them not forth into the outer court to sanctify the people then he brought me forth into the outer court and caused me to pass by the four corners of the court and behold in every corner of the court there was a court in the four corners of the court there were courts enclosed forty cubits long and thirty broad these four in the corners were of one measure and there was a row of masonry round about in them round about the four and it was made with boiling places under the rows round about then said he unto me these are the boiling places where the ministers of the house shall boil the sacrifices of the people Ezekiel chapter and he brought me back unto the door of the house. And behold waters issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward for the forefront of the house looked toward the east and the waters came down from under from the right side of the house on the south of the altar then brought he me out by the way of the gate northward and led me round by the way without unto the outer gate by the way of the gate that looked toward the east and behold there trickled forth waters on the right side when the man went forth eastward with the line in. His hand he measured a thousand cubits and he caused me to pass through the waters waters that were to the ankles again he measured a thousand and caused me to pass through the waters waters that were to the knees again he measured a thousand and caused me to pass through waters that were to the loins afterward he measured a thousand and it was a river that I could not pass through for the waters were risen waters to swim in a river that could not be passed through and he said unto me. 
Hast thou seen this O son of man then he led me and caused me to return to the bank of the river now when I had been brought back behold upon the bank of the river were very many trees on the one side and on the other then said he unto me these waters issue forth toward the eastern region and shall go down into the Araba and when they shall enter into the sea into the sea of the putrid waters the waters shall be healed and it shall come to pass that every living creature wherewith it swarmeth whithersoever the rivers shall come shall live and there shall be a very great multitude of fish for these waters are come thither that all things be healed and may live whithersoever the river cometh and it shall come to pass that fishers shall stand by it from Engadi even unto Eneglame there shall be a place for the spreading of nets their fish shall be after their kinds as the fish of the great sea exceeding many but the miry places thereof and the marshes thereof shall not be healed they shall be given for salt and by the river upon the bank thereof on this side and on that side shall grow every tree for food whose leaf shall not wither neither shall the fruit thereof fail it shall bring forth new fruit every month because the waters thereof issue out of the sanctuary and the fruit thereof shall be for food and the leaf thereof for healing thus saith the Lord God this shall be the border whereby ye shall divide the land for inheritance according to the twelve tribes of Israel Joseph receiving two portions and ye shall inherit it one as well as another concerning which I lifted up my hand to give it unto your fathers and this land shall fall unto you for inheritance and this shall be the border of the land on the north side from the great sea by the way of Hadlon unto the entrance of Zedad Hamath Baroth Asabraim which is between the border of Damascus and the border of Hamath Hazer Hadikon which is by the border of Oran and the border from the sea shall be Hazarinon at the border of Damascus and on the north northward is the border of Hamath this is the north side and the east side between Oran and Damascus and Gilead and the land of Israel by the Jordan from the border unto the east sea shall ye measure this is the east side and the south side southward shall be from Tamar as far as the waters of Meriboth Kadesh to the brook unto the great sea this is the south side southward and the west side shall be the great See from the border as far as over against the entrance of Hamath this is the west side so shall ye divide this land unto you according to the tribes of Israel and it shall come to pass that ye shall divide it by lot for an inheritance unto you and to the strangers that sojourn among you who shall beget children among you and they shall be unto you as the homeborn among the children of Israel they shall have inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel and it shall come to pass that. In what tribe the stranger sojourneth there shall ye give him his inheritance saith the Lord God Ezekiel chapter now these are the names of the tribes from the north end beside the way of Hadlon to the entrance of Hamath Hazaranan at the border of Damascus northward beside Hamath and they shall have their sides east and west Dan one portion and by the border of Dan from the east side unto the west side Asher one portion and by the border of Asher from the east side even unto the west side Naphtali one portion and by the border of Naphtali from the east side unto the west side Manasseh one portion and by the border of Manasseh from the east side unto the west side Ephraim one portion and by the border of Ephraim from the east side even unto the west side Reuben one portion and by the border of Reuben from the east side unto the west side Judah one portion and by the border of Judah from the east side unto the west side shall be the offering which ye shall set. Aside five and twenty thousand reeds in breadth and in length as one of the portions from the east side unto the west side and the sanctuary shall be in the midst of it the offering that ye shall set apart unto Hashem shall be five and twenty thousand reeds in length and ten thousand in breadth and for these even for the priests shall be the holy offering toward the north five and twenty thousand in length and toward the west ten thousand in breadth and toward the east ten thousand in breadth and toward the south five and twenty thousand in length and the sanctuary of Hashem shall be in the midst thereof the sanctified portion shall be for the priests of the sons of Zadok that have kept my charge that went not astray when the children of Israel went astray as the Levites went astray and it shall be unto them a portion set apart from the offering of the land a thing most holy by the border of the Levites and answerable unto the border of the priests the Levites shall have five and twenty thousand in length and ten thousand in breadth all the length shall be five and twenty thousand and the breadth ten thousand and they shall not sell of it nor exchange nor alienate the first portion of the land for it is holy unto Hashem and the five thousand that are left in the breadth in front of the five and twenty thousand shall be for common use for the city for dwelling and for open land and the city shall be in the midst thereof and these shall be the measures. Thereof the north side four thousand and five hundred and the south side four thousand and five hundred and on the east side four thousand and five hundred and the west side four thousand and five hundred and the city shall have open land toward the north two hundred and fifty and toward the south two hundred and fifty and toward the east two hundred and fifty and toward the west two hundred and fifty and the residue in the length answerable unto the holy offering shall be ten thousand eastward and ten thousand westward and it shall be answerable unto the holy offering and the increase thereof shall be for food unto them that serve the city and they that serve the city out of all the tribes of Israel shall till it all the offering shall be five and twenty thousand by five and twenty thousand ye shall set apart the holy offering four square with the possession of the city and the residue shall be for the prince on the one side and on the other of the holy offering and of 
the possession of the city in front of the five and twenty thousand of the offering toward the east border and westward in front of the five and twenty thousand toward the west border answerable unto the portions it shall be for the prince and the holy offering and the sanctuary of the house shall be in the midst thereof thus the possession of the levites and the possession of the city shall be in the midst of that which is the princes between the border of Judah and the border of Benjamin shall be the princes and as for the rest of the tribes from the east side unto the west side Benjamin one portion and by the border of Benjamin from the east side unto the west side Simeon one portion and by the border of Simeon from the east side unto the west side Issachar one portion and by the border of Issachar from the east side unto the west side Zebulun one portion and by the border of Zebulun from the east side unto the west side Gad one portion and by the border of Gad at the south side southward the border shall be even from Tamar unto the waters of Meribat Kadesh to the brook unto the great sea this is the land which ye shall divide by lot unto the tribes of Israel for inheritance and these are their portions saith the Lord God and these are the goings out of the city on the north side four thousand and five hundred reeds by measure and the gates of the city shall be after the names of the tribes of Israel three gates northward the gate of Reuben one. The gate of Judah one the gate of Levi one and at the east side four thousand and five hundred reeds and three gates even the gate of Joseph one the gate of Benjamin one the gate of Dan one and at the south side four thousand and five hundred reeds by measure and three gates the gate of Simeon one the gate of Issachar one the gate of Zebulun one at the west side four thousand and five hundred reeds with their three gates the gate of Gad one the gate of Asher one the gate of Naphtali one. It shall be eighteen thousand reeds round about and the name of the city from that day shall be Hashem is there Hosea chapter the word of Hashem that came unto Hosea the son of Beri in the days of Uzziah Jotham Ahaz and Hezekiah kings of Judah and in the days of Jeroboam the son of Joash king of Israel when Hashem spoke at first with Hosea Hashem said unto Hosea go take unto thee a wife of harlotry and children of harlotry for the land doth commit great harlotry departing from. Hashem so he went and took Gomer the daughter of Deblame and she conceived and bore him a son and Hashem said unto him call his name Jezreel for yet a little while and I will visit the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehu and will cause to cease the kingdom of the house of Israel and it shall come to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel and she conceived again and bore a daughter and he said unto him call her name Loruhamah for I will know more have compassion upon the house of Israel that I should in any wise pardon them but I will have compassion upon the house of Judah and will save them by Hashem their God and will not save them by bow nor by sword nor by battle nor by horses nor by horsemen now when she had weaned Loruhamah she conceived and bore a son and he said call his name Lo am I for ye are not my people and I will not be yours Hosea chapter yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered and it shall come to pass that instead of that which was said unto them ye are not my people it shall be said unto them ye are the children of the living God and the children of Judah and the children of Israel shall be gathered together and they shall appoint themselves one head and shall go up out of the land for great shall be the day of Jezreel say ye unto your brethren am I and to your sisters Ruhamah plead with your mother. Plead for she is not my wife neither am I her husband and let her put away her harlotries from her face and her adulteries from between her breasts lest I strip her naked and set her as in the day that she was born and make her as a wilderness and set her like a dry land and slay her with thirst and I will not have compassion upon her children for they are children of harlotry for their mother hath played the harlot she that conceived them hath done shamefully for she said I will go. After my lovers that give me my bread and my water my wool and my flax mine oil and my drink therefore behold I will hedge up thy way with thorns and I will make a wall against her that she shall not find her paths and she shall run after her lovers but she shall not overtake them and she shall seek them but shall not find them then shall she say I will go and return to my first husband for then was it better with me than now for she did not know that it was I that gave her the corn and the wine and the oil and multiplied unto her silver and gold which they used for Baal therefore will I take back my corn in the time thereof and my wine in the season thereof and will snatch away my wool and my flax given to cover her nakedness and now will I uncover her shame in the sight of her lovers and none shall deliver her out of my hand I will also cause all her mirth to cease her feasts her new moons and her sabbaths and all her appointed seasons and I will lay waste her vines and her fig trees whereof she hath said these are my hire that my lovers have given me and I will make them a forest and the beasts of the field shall eat them and I will visit upon her the days of the Balaam wherein she offered unto them and decked herself with her earrings and her jewels and went after her lovers and forgot me saith Hashem therefore behold I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness and speak tenderly unto her and I will give her her vineyards from thence and the valley of acre for a door of hope and she shall respond there as in the days of her youth and as in the day when she came up out of the land of Egypt and it shall be at that day saith Hashem that thou shalt call me Ishi and shalt call me no more Bali for I will take away the names of the Baalim out of her mouth and they shall no more be mentioned by their name and in that day will I make a covenant for them with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven and with the creeping things of the ground and I will break the bow and the sword and the battle out of the land and will make them to lie down safely and I will betroth thee unto me forever yea I will betroth thee unto me in righteousness and in justice and in loving kindness and in compassion and I will betroth thee unto me in faithfulness and thou shalt know Hashem and it shall come to pass in that day I will respond saith Hashem I will respond to the heavens and they shall respond to the 
earth and the earth shall respond to the corn and the wine and the oil and they shall respond to Jezreel and I will sow her unto me in the land and I will have compassion upon her that had not obtained compassion and I will say to them that were not my people thou art my people and they shall say thou art my God Hosea chapter and Hashem said unto me go yet love a woman beloved of her friend and an adulteress even as Hashem loveth the children of Israel though they turn unto other gods and love cakes of raisins so I bought her to me for fifteen pieces of silver and a homer of barley and a half homer of barley and I said unto her thou shalt sit solitary for me many days thou shalt not play the harlot and thou shalt not be any man's wife nor will I be thine for the children of Israel shall sit solitary many days without king and without prince and without sacrifice and without pillar and without ephod or teraphim afterward shall the children of Israel return and Seek Hashem their God and David their king and shall come trembling unto Hashem and to his goodness in the end of days Hosea chapter hear the word of Hashem yet children of Israel for Hashem hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land because there is no truth nor mercy nor knowledge of God in the land swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery they break all bounds and blood touch it blood therefore doth the land mourn and every one that dwelleth. Therein doth languish with the beasts of the field and the fowls of heaven yea the fishes of the sea also are taken away yet let no man strive neither let any man reprove for thy people are as they that strive with the priest therefore shalt thou stumble in the day and the prophet also shall stumble with thee in the night and I will destroy thy mother my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest too. Me seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God I also will forget thy children the more they were increased the more they sinned against me I will change their glory into shame they feed on the sin of my people and set their heart on their iniquity and it is like people like priest and I will punish him for his ways and will recompense him his doings and they shall eat and not have enough they shall commit harlotry and shall not increase because they have left off to take heed to. Hashem harlotry wine and new wine take away the heart my people ask counsel at their stock and their staff declareth unto them for the spirit of harlotry hath caused them to err and they have gone astray from under their god they sacrifice upon the tops of the mountains and offer upon the hills under oaks and poplars and terebinths because the shadow thereof is good therefore your daughters commit harlotry and your daughters-in-law commit adultery I will not punish your daughters when they commit harlotry nor your daughters-in-law when they commit adultery for they themselves consort with lewd women and they sacrifice with harlots and the people that is without understanding is distraught though thou Israel play the harlot yet let not Judah become guilty and come not yet unto Gilgal neither go yet up to Bethaven nor swear as Hashem liveth for Israel is stubborn like a stubborn heifer now shall Hashem feed them as a lamb in a large place Ephraim is joined to idols let him alone when their carouse is over they take to harlotry her rulers deeply love to see an the wind hath bound her up in her skirts and they shall be ashamed because of their sacrifices Hosea chapter hear this O ye priests and attend ye house of Israel and give ear O house of the king for unto you pertaineth the judgment for ye have been a snare on Mizpah and a net spread upon Tabor and they that fall away are gone deep in making slaughter and I am rejected of them all I even I. No Ephraim and Israel is not hid from me for now O Ephraim thou hast committed harlotry Israel is defiled their doings will not suffer them to return unto their God for the spirit of harlotry is within them and they know not Hashem but the pride of Israel shall testify to his face and Israel and Ephraim shall stumble in their iniquity Judah also shall stumble with them with their flocks and with their herds they shall go to seek Hashem but they shall not find him he hath withdrawn himself from them they have dealt treacherously against Hashem for they have begotten strange children now shall the new moon devour them with their portions blow ye the horn in Jibia and the trumpet in Ramah sound an alarm at Bethaven behind the O Benjamin Ephraim shall be desolate in the day of rebuke among the tribes of Israel do I make known that which shall surely be the princes of Judah are like them that remove the landmark I will pour out my wrath upon them like water. Oppressed is Ephraim crushed in his right because he willingly walked after filth therefore am I unto Ephraim as a moth and to the house of Judah as rottenness and when Ephraim saw his sickness and Judah his wound Ephraim went to Assyria and sent to king contentious but he is not able to heal you neither shall he cure you of your wound for I will be unto Ephraim as a lion and as a young lion to the house of Judah I even I will tear and go away I will take away and there shall be none to deliver I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their guilt and seek my face in their trouble they will seek me earnestly Hosea chapter come and let us return unto Hashem for he hath torn and he will heal us he hath smitten and he will bind us up after two days will he revive us on the third day he will raise us up that we may live in his presence and let us know eagerly strive to know Hashem his going forth is sure as the morning and he shall come unto us as the Rain as the latter rain that watereth the earth O Ephraim what shall I do unto thee O Judah what shall I do unto thee for your goodness is as a morning cloud and as the dew that early passeth away therefore have I hewed them by the prophets I have slain them by the words of my mouth and thy judgment goeth forth as the light for I desire mercy and not sacrifice and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings but they like men have transgressed the covenant there have they dealt 
treacherously against me Gilead is a city of them that work iniquity it is covered with footprints of blood and as troops of robbers wait for a man so doth the company of priests they murder in the way toward Shechem yet they commit enormity in the house of Israel I have seen a horrible thing there harlotry is found in Ephraim Israel is defiled also O Judah there is a harvest appointed for thee when I would turn the captivity of my people Hosea chapter when I would heal Israel. Then is the iniquity of Ephraim uncovered and the wickedness of Samaria for they commit falsehood and the thief entereth in and the troop of robbers make the raid without and let them not say to their heart I remember all their wickedness now their own doings have beset them about they are before my face they make the king glad with their wickedness and the princes with their lies they are all adulterers as an oven heated by the baker who ceaseth to stir from the kneading of the dough. Until it be leavened on the day of our king the princes make him sick with the heat of wine he stretcheth out his hand with scorners for they have made ready their heart like an oven while they lie in wait their baker sleepeth all the night in the morning it burneth as a flaming fire they are all hot as an oven and devour their judges all their kings are fallen there is none among them that calleth unto me Ephraim he mixed himself with the peoples Ephraim is become a cake not turned. Strangers have devoured his strength and he know it it not yet grey hairs are here and there upon him and he know it it not and the pride of Israel testifieth to his face but they have not returned unto Hashem their God nor sought him for all this and Ephraim is become like a silly dove without understanding they call unto Egypt they go to Assyria even as they go I will spread my net upon them I will bring them down as the fowls of the heaven I will chastise them as their congregation hath been made to hear woe unto them for they have strayed from me destruction unto them for they have transgressed against me shall I then redeem them seeing they have spoken lies against me and they have not cried unto me with their heart though they wail upon their beds they assemble themselves for corn and wine they rebel against me though I have trained and strengthened their arms yet do they devise evil against me they return but not upwards they are become like a deceitful bow. Their princes shall fall by the sword for the rage of their tongue this shall be their derision in the land of Egypt Hosea chapter set the horn to thy mouth as a vulture he cometh against the house of Hashem because they have transgressed my covenant and trespassed against my law will they cry unto me my God we Israel know thee Israel hath cast off that which is good the enemy shall pursue him they have set up kings but not from me they have made princes and I knew it not of their silver and their gold have they made them idols that they may be cut off thy calf o Samaria is cast off mine anger is kindled against them how long will it be ere they attain to innocency for from Israel is even this the craftsman made it and it is no god yet the calf of Samaria shall be broken in shivers for they sow the wind and they shall reap the whirlwind it hath no stock the bud that shall yield no meal if so be it yield strangers shall swallow it up Israel is swallowed up now are they become among the nations as a vessel wherein is no value for they are gone up to Assyria like a wild ass alone by himself Ephraim hath hired lovers yet though they hire among the nations now will I gather them up and they begin to be minished by reason of the burden of king and princes for Ephraim hath multiplied altars to sin ye altars have been unto him to sin though I write for him never so many things of my law they are accounted as a strangers as for the sacrifices that are made by fire unto me let them sacrifice flesh and eat it for Hashem acceptate them not now will he remember their iniquity and punish their sins they shall return to Egypt for Israel hath forgotten his maker and builded palaces and Judah hath multiplied fortified cities but I will send a fire upon his cities and it shall devour the castles thereof Hosea chapter rejoice not O Israel unto exaltation like the peoples for thou hast gone astray from thy God thou hast loved the harlots Higher upon every corn floor the threshing floor and the wine press shall not feed them and the new wine shall fail her they shall not dwell in Hashem's land but Ephraim shall return to Egypt and they shall eat unclean food in Assyria they shall not pour out wine offerings to Hashem neither shall they be pleasing unto him their sacrifices shall be unto them as the bread of mourners all that eat thereof shall be polluted for their bread shall be for their appetite it shall not come into the house of Hashem what will ye do in the day of the appointed season and in the day of the feast of Hashem for lo they are gone away from destruction yet Egypt shall gather them up Memphis shall bury them their precious treasures of silver nettles shall possess them thorns shall be in their tents the days of visitation are come the days of recompense are come Israel shall know it the prophet is a fool the man of the spirit is mad for the multitude of thine iniquity the enmity is great Ephraim is a watchman with my God as for the prophet a fowler's snare is in all his ways and enmity in the house of his God they have deeply corrupted themselves as in the days of Jibiah he will remember their iniquity he will punish their sins I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness I saw your fathers as the first ripe in the fig tree at her first season but so soon as they came to Baal Peer they separated themselves unto the shameful thing and became detestable like that which they Loved as for Ephraim their glory shall fly away like a bird there shall be no birth and none with child and no conception yet though they bring up their children yet will I bereave them that there be not a man left yet woe also to them when I depart from them Ephraim like as I have seen Tyre is planted in a pleasant place but Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the slayer give them O Hashem whatsoever thou wilt give give them a miscarrying womb and dry breasts all there. Wickedness is in Gilgal for there I hated them because of the wickedness of their doings I will drive them out of my house I will love them no more all their princes are rebellious Ephraim is smitten their root is dried up they shall bear no fruit yet though they bring forth yet will I slay the beloved fruit of their womb my God will cast them away because they did not hearken unto him and they shall be wanderers among the nations Hosea chapter Israel was a luxuriant vine which put 
forth fruit freely as his fruit increased he increased his altars the more goodly his land was the more goodly were his pillars their heart is divided now shall they bear their guilt he will break down their altars he will spoil their pillars surely now shall they say we have no king for we feared not Hashem and the king what can he do for us they speak words they swear falsely they make covenants thus judgment springeth up as hemlock in the furrows of the field the inhabitants of Samaria shall be in dread for the calves of Beth Aven for the people thereof shall mourn over it and the priests thereof shall tremble for it for its glory because it is departed from it it also shall be carried unto Assyria for a present to king contentious Ephraim shall receive shame and Israel shall be ashamed of his own counsel as for Samaria her king is cut off as foam upon the water the high places also of Aven shall be destroyed even the sin of Israel the thorn and the thistle shall come up on their altars and they shall say to the mountains cover us and to the hills fall on us from the days of Jibia thou hast sinned O Israel there they stood no battle was to overtake them in Jibia nor the children of arrogancy when it is my desire I will chastise them and the peoples shall be gathered against them when they are yoked to their two rings and Ephraim is a heifer well broken that loveth to thresh and I have passed over upon her fair neck I will make Ephraim to ride Judah shall plow Jacob shall break his clods sow to yourselves according to righteousness reap according to mercy break up your fallow ground for it is time to seek Hashem till he come and cause righteousness to reign upon you ye have plowed wickedness ye have reaped iniquity ye have eaten the fruit of lies for thou didst trust in thy way in the multitude of thy mighty men therefore shall a tumult arise among thy hosts and all thy fortresses shall be spoiled as shall man spoiled Beth. Arbil in the day of battle the mother was dashed in pieces with her children so hath Bethel done unto you because of your great wickedness at daybreak is the king of Israel utterly cut off Hosea chapter when Israel was a child then I loved him and out of Egypt I called my son the more they called them the more they went from them they sacrificed unto the Baalim and offered to graven images and I I taught Ephraim to walk taking them by their arms but they knew not that I healed them. I drew them with cords of a man with bands of love and I was to them as they that take off the yoke on their jaws and I fed them gently he shall not return into the land of Egypt but the Assyrian shall be his king because they refuse to return and the sword shall fall upon his cities and shall consume his bars and devour them because of their own counsels and my people are in suspense about returning to me and though they call them upwards none at all will lift himself up how shall I? Give thee up Ephraim how shall I surrender thee Israel how shall I make thee as Adma how shall I set thee as Zeboim my heart is turned within me my compassions are kindled together I will not execute the fierceness of mine anger I will not return to destroy Ephraim for I am God and not man the Holy One in the midst of thee and I will not come in fury they shall walk after Hashem who shall roar like a lion for he shall roar and the children shall come trembling from the west they shall. Come trembling as a bird out of Egypt and as a dove out of the land of Assyria and I will make them to dwell in their houses Seth Hashem Hosea chapter Ephraim compasseth me about with lies and the house of Israel with deceit and Judah is yet wayward towards God and towards the Holy One who is faithful Ephraim striveth after wind and followeth after the east wind all the day he multiplieth lies and desolation and they make a covenant with Assyria and oil is carried into Egypt Hashem hath also a controversy with Judah and will punish Jacob according to his ways according to his doings will he recompense him in the womb he took his brother by the heel and by his strength he strove with a godlike being so he strove with an angel and prevailed he wept and made supplication unto him at Bethel he would find him and there he would speak with us but Hashem the God of hosts Hashem is his name therefore turn thou to thy God keep mercy and justice and wait for thy God. Continually as for the trafficker the balances of deceit are in his hand he loveth to oppress and Ephraim said surely I am become rich I have found me wealth in all my labors they shall find in me no iniquity that were sin but I am Hashem thy God from the land of Egypt I will yet again make thee to dwell in tents as in the days of the appointed season I have also spoken unto the prophets and I have multiplied visions and by the ministry of the prophets have I used similitudes of Gilead be given to iniquity becoming altogether vanity in Gilgal they sacrifice unto bullocks yea their altars shall be as heaps in the furrows of the field and Jacob fled into the field of Aram and Israel served for a wife and for a wife he kept sheep and by a prophet Hashem brought Israel up out of Egypt and by a prophet was he kept Ephraim hath provoked most bitterly therefore shall his blood be cast upon him and his reproach shall his Lord return unto him Hosea chapter 1. Ephraim spoke there was trembling he exalted himself in Israel but when he became guilty through Baal he died and now they sin more and more and have made them molten images of their silver according to their own understanding even idols all of them the work of the craftsmen of them they say they that sacrifice men kiss calves therefore they shall be as the morning cloud and as the dew that early passeth away as the chaff that is driven with the wind out of the threshing floor and as the Smoke out of the window yet I am Hashem thy God from the land of Egypt and thou knowest no God but me and beside me there is no Savior I did know thee in the wilderness in the land of great drought when they were fed they became full they were filled and their heart was exalted therefore have they forgotten me therefore am I become unto them as a lion as a leopard will I watch by the way I will meet them as a bear that is bereaved of her whelps and will rend the enclosure of their 
heart and there will I devour them like a lioness the wild beast shall tear them it is thy destruction O Israel that thou art against me against thy help O now thy king that he may save thee in all thy cities and thy judges of whom thou saidst give me a king and princes I give thee a king in mine anger and take him away in my wrath the iniquity of Ephraim is bound up his sin is laid up in store the throes of a travailing woman shall come upon him he is an unwise son for it is time. He should not tarry in the place of the breaking forth of children shall I ransom them from the power of the netherworld shall I redeem them from death ho thy plagues o death ho thy destruction o netherworld repentance be hid from mine eyes for though he be fruitful among the reed plants an east wind shall come the wind of Hashem coming up from the wilderness and his spring shall become dry and his fountain shall be dried up he shall spoil the treasure of all precious vessels Hosea. Chapter Samaria shall bear her guilt for she hath rebelled against her God they shall fall by the sword their infants shall be dashed in pieces and their women with child shall be ripped up return O Israel unto Hashem thy God for thou hast stumbled in thine iniquity take with you words and return unto Hashem say unto him forgive all iniquity and accept that which is good so will we render for bullocks the offering of our lips as her shall not save us we will not ride upon horses. Neither will we call any more the work of our hands our gods for in thee the fatherless findeth mercy I will heal their backsliding I will love them freely for mine anger is turned away from him I will be as the dew unto Israel he shall blossom as the lily and cast forth his roots as Lebanon his branches shall spread and his beauty shall be as the olive tree and his fragrance as Lebanon they that dwell under his shadow shall again make corn to grow and shall blossom as the vine they Sent thereof shall be as the wine of Lebanon Ephraim shall say what have I to do any more with idols as for me I respond and look on him I am like a leafy cypress tree from me is thy fruit found whoso is wise let him understand these things whoso is prudent let him know them for the ways of Hashem are right and the just do walk in them but transgressors do stumble therein Joel chapter the word of Hashem that came to Joel the son of Peth will hear this ye old men and give. Hear all ye inhabitants of the land hath this been in your days or in the days of your fathers tell ye your children of it and let your children tell their children and their children another generation that which the palmer worm hath left hath the locust eaten and that which the locust hath left hath the canker worm eaten and that which the canker worm hath left hath the caterpillar eaten awake ye drunkards and weep and wail all ye drinkers of wine because of the sweet wine for it is cut. Off from your mouth for a people is come up upon my land mighty and without number his teeth are the teeth of a lion and he hath the jaw teeth of a lioness he hath laid my vine waste and blasted my fig tree he hath made it clean bare and cast it down the branches thereof are made white lament like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the husband of her youth the meal offering and the drink offering is cut off from the house of Hashem the priests mourn even Hashem's ministers the field is wasted the land mourneth for the corn is wasted the new wine is dried up the oil languisheth be ashamed O ye husbandmen wail O ye vine dressers for the wheat and for the barley because the harvest of the field is perished the vine is withered and the fig tree languisheth the pomegranate tree the palm tree also and the apple tree even all the trees of the field are withered for joy is withered away from the sons of men gird yourselves and lament ye priests wail ye ministers of the altar. Come lie all night in sackcloth ye ministers of my God for the meal offering and the drink offering is withholden from the house of your God sanctify ye a fast call a solemn assembly gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land unto the house of Hashem your God and cry unto Hashem alas for the day for the day of Hashem is at hand and as a destruction from the Almighty shall it come is not the food cut off before our eyes ye joy and gladness from the house of our God the grains. Shrivel under their hose the garners are laid desolate the barns are broken down for the corn is withered how do the beasts groan the herds of cattle are perplexed because they have no pasture yet the flocks of sheep are made desolate unto the O Hashem do I cry for the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness and the flame hath set ablaze all the trees of the field yet the beasts of the field pant unto thee for the water brooks are dried up and the fire hath devoured thee. Pastures of the wilderness Joel chapter blow ye the horn in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of Hashem cometh for it is at hand a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and thick darkness as blackness spread upon the mountains a great people and a mighty there hath not been ever the like neither shall be any more after them even to the years of many generations a fire devoureth before them and behind them a Flame blazeth the land is as the garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness ye and nothing escapeth them the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses and as horsemen so do they run like the noise of chariots on the tops of the mountains do they leap like the noise of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble as a mighty people set in battle array at their presence the peoples are in anguish all faces have gathered blackness they run like mighty men they Climb the wall like men of war and they move on every one in his ways and they entangle not their paths neither doth one thrust another they march every one in his highway and they break through the weapons and suffer no harm they leap upon the city they run upon the wall they climb up into the houses they enter in at the windows like a thief before them the earthquake the heavens tremble the sun and the moon are become black and the stars withdraw their shining and Hashem uttereth.
his voice before his army for his camp is very great for he is mighty that executeth his word for great is the day of Hashem and very terrible and who can abide it yet even now saith Hashem turn ye unto me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with lamentation and rend your heart and not your garments and turn unto Hashem your God for he is gracious and compassionate long suffering and abundant in mercy and repenteth him of the evil who know it whether he will not turn and repent and leave a blessing behind him even a meal offering and a drink offering unto Hashem your God blow the horn in Zion sanctify a fast call a solemn assembly gather the people sanctify the congregation assemble the elders gather the children and those that suck the breasts let the bridegroom go forth from his chamber and the bride out of her pavilion let the priests the ministers of Hashem weep between the porch and the altar and let them say spare thy people O Hashem and give not thy heritage to reproach that the nations should make them a byword wherefore should they say among the peoples where is their God then was Hashem jealous for his land and had pity on his people and Hashem answered and said unto his people behold I will send you corn and wine and oil and ye shall be satisfied therewith and I will no more make you a reproach among the nations but I will remove far off from you the northern one and will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face toward the eastern sea and his hinder part toward the western sea that his foulness may come up and his ill savor may come up because he hath done great things fear not O land be glad and rejoice for Hashem hath done great things be not afraid ye beasts of the field for the pastures of the wilderness do spring for the tree beareth its fruit the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength be glad then ye children of Zion and rejoice in Hashem your God for he giveth you the former rain in just measure and he causeth to come down for you the rain the former rain and the latter rain at the first and the floors shall be full of corn and the vats shall overflow with wine and oil and I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm my great army which I sent among you and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and shall praise the name of Hashem your God that hath dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am Hashem your God and there is none else and my people shall never be ashamed Joel chapter and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit and I will shew wonders in the heavens and in the earth blood and fire and pillars of smoke the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of Hashem come and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of Hashem shall be delivered for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be those that escape as Hashem hath said and among the remnant those whom Hashem shall call Joel chapter for behold in those days and in that time when I shall Bring back the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem I will gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and I will enter into judgment with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and divided my land and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine and have drunk and also what are yet to me O Tyre and Zidon and all the regions of Philistia will ye render retribution on my behalf and if you render retribution on my behalf swiftly speedily will I return your retribution upon your own head for as much as ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly treasures the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the sons of Jebanim that ye might remove them far from their border behold I will stir them up out of the place whither ye have sold them and will return your retribution upon your own head and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah and they shall sell them to the men of Sheba to a nation far off for Hashem hath spoken proclaim ye this among the nations prepare war stir up the mighty men let all the men of war draw near let them come up beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears let the weak say I am strong haste ye and come all ye nations round about and gather yourselves together thither cause thy mighty ones to come down O Hashem let the nations be stirred up and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat for there will I sit to judge all the nations round about put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe come tread ye for the wine press is full the vats overflow for their wickedness is great multitudes multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of Hashem is near in the valley of decision the sun and the moon are become black and the stars withdraw their shining and Hashem shall roar from Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake but Hashem will be a refuge unto his people and a stronghold to the children of Israel so shall ye know that I am Hashem your God dwelling in Zion my holy mountain then shall Jerusalem be holy and there shall no strangers pass through her any more and it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down sweet wine and the hills shall flow with milk and all the brooks of Judah shall flow with waters and a fountain shall come forth of the house of Hashem and shall water the valley of Shittim Egypt shall be a desolation and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land but Judah shall be inhabited forever and Jerusalem from generation to generation and I will hold as innocent their blood that I have not held as innocent and Hashem dwelleth in Zion Amos chapter
The words of Amos who was among the herdmen of Tekoa which he saw concerning Israel in the days of Uzziah king of Judah and in the days of Jeroboam the son of Joash king of Israel two years before the earthquake and he said Hashem roareth from Zion and uttereth his voice from Jerusalem and the pastures of the shepherds shall mourn and the top of Carmel shall wither for thus saith Hashem for three transgressions of Damascus yet for four I will not reverse it because they have threshed Gilead. With sledges of iron so will I send a fire into the house of Hazael and it shall devour the palaces of Ben-Hadad and I will break the bar of Damascus and cut off the inhabitant from Bicathaven and him that holdeth the scepter from Beth Eden and the people of Aram shall go into captivity unto Kir Seth Hashem thus Seth Hashem for three transgressions of Gaza for four I will not reverse it because they carried away captive a whole captivity to deliver them up to Edom so will I send a fire on the wall of Gaza and it shall devour the palaces thereof and I will cut off the inhabitant from Ashdod and him that holdeth the scepter from Ashkelon and I will turn my hand against Ekron and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish saith the Lord God thus saith Hashem for three transgressions of Tyre yet for four I will not reverse it because they delivered up a whole captivity to Edom and remembered not the brotherly covenant so will I send a fire on the wall of Tyre and it shall devour the palaces thereof thus saith Hashem for three transgressions of Edom yet for four I will not reverse it because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever so will I send a fire upon Taman and it shall devour the palaces of Basra thus saith Hashem for three transgressions of the children of Ammon yet for four I will not reverse it because they have ripped up the women with child of Gilead that they might enlarge their border so will I kindle a fire in the wall of Rabbah and it shall devour the palaces thereof with shouting in the day of battle with the tempest in the day of the whirlwind and their king shall go into captivity he and his princes together Seth Hashem Amos chapter thus Seth Hashem for three transgressions of Moab yet for four I will not reverse it because he burned the bones of the king of Edom into lime so will I send a fire upon Moab and it shall devour the palaces of Kirioth and Moab shall die with tumult with shouting and with the sound of the horn and I will cut off the judge from the midst thereof and will slay all the princes thereof with him Seth Hashem thus Seth Hashem for three transgressions of Judah yet for four I will not reverse it because they have rejected the law of Hashem and have not kept his statutes and their lies have caused them to err after which their fathers did walk so will I send a fire upon Judah and it shall devour the palaces of Jerusalem thus saith Hashem for three transgressions of Israel yet for four I will not reverse it because they sell the righteous for silver and the needy for a pair of shoes that pant after the dust of the earth on the head of the poor and turn aside the way of the humble and a man and his father go unto the same maid to profane my holy name and they lay themselves down beside every altar upon clothes taken in pledge and in the house of their God they drink the wine of them that have been fined yet destroyed I the Amorite before them whose height was like the height of the cedars and he was strong as the oaks yet I destroyed his fruit from above and his roots from beneath also I brought you up out of the land of Egypt and led you forty years in the wilderness to possess the land of the Amorites and I raised up of your sons for prophets and of your young men for Nazi rights is it not even thus O oh, yet children of Israel saith Hashem but yet gave the Nazi rights wine to drink and commanded the prophets saying prophesy not behold I will make it creak under you as a cart creak that is full of sheep and flight shall fail the swift and the strong shall not exert his strength neither shall the mighty deliver himself neither shall he stand that hand left the bow and he that is swift of foot shall not deliver himself neither shall he that ride the horse deliver himself and he that is courageous among the mighty shall flee away naked in that day saith Hashem Amos chapter hear this word that Hashem hath spoken against you O children of Israel against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt saying you only have I known of all the families of the earth therefore I will visit upon you all your iniquities will two walk together except they have agreed will a lion roar in the forest when he hath no prey will a young lion give forth his voice out of his den if he have taken nothing Will a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where there is no lure for it will a snare spring up from the ground and have taken nothing at all shall the horn be blown in a city and the people not tremble shall evil befall a city and Hashem hath not done it for the Lord God will do nothing but he revealeth his counsel unto his servants the prophets the lion hath roared who will not fear the Lord God hath spoken who can but prophesy proclaim it upon the palaces at Ashdod and upon the palaces in the land of Egypt and say assemble yourselves upon the mountains of Samaria and behold the great confusions therein and the oppressed ions in the midst thereof for they know not to do right saith Hashem who store up violence and robbery in their palaces therefore thus saith the Lord God an adversary even round about the land and he shall bring down thy strength from thee and thy palaces shall be spoiled thus saith Hashem as the shepherd rescueth out of the mouth of the lion too legs or a piece of an ear so shall the children of Israel that dwell in Samaria escape with the corner of a couch and the leg of a bed here yet and testify against the house of Jacob saith the Lord God the God of hosts for in the day that I shall visit the transgressions of Israel upon him I will also punish the altars of Bethel and the horns of the altar shall be cut off and fall to the ground and I will smite the winter house with the summer house and the houses of ivory shall perish. 
and the great houses shall have an end Seth Hashem Amos chapter here this word Yekin of Bashan that are in the mountain of Samaria that oppress the poor that crush the needy that say unto their lords bring that we may feast the Lord God hath sworn by his holiness lo surely the days shall come upon you that ye shall be taken away with hooks and your residue with fish hooks and ye shall go out at the breaches every one straight before her and ye shall be cast into harm and Seth. Hashem come to Bethel and transgress to Gilgal and multiply transgression and bring your sacrifices in the morning and your tithes after three days and offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving of that which is leavened and proclaim free will offerings and publish them for so ye love to do O ye children of Israel saith the Lord God and I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities and want of bread in all your places yet have ye not returned unto me saith Hashem and I also have withhold in the rain from you when there were yet three months to the harvest and I caused it to rain upon one city and caused it not to rain upon another city one piece was rained upon and the piece whereupon it rained not withered so two or three cities wandered unto one city to drink water and were not satisfied yet have ye not returned unto me Seth Hashem I have smitten you with blasting and mildew the multitude of your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees hath the palmer worm devoured yet have ye not returned unto me Seth Hashem I have sent among you the pestilence in the way of Egypt your young men have I slain with the sword and have carried away your horses and I have made the stench of your camp to come up even into your nostrils yet have ye not returned unto me Seth Hashem I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and ye were as a brand plucked out of the burning yet have ye not returned unto me Seth Hashem Therefore thus will I do unto thee O Israel because I will do this unto thee prepare to meet thy God O Israel for lo he that formeth the mountains and createth the wind and declareth unto man what is his thought that make the morning darkness and treadeth upon the high places of the earth Hashem the God of hosts is his name Amos chapter here yea this word which I take up for a lamentation over you O house of Israel the virgin of Israel is fallen she shall no more rise she is cast. Down upon her land there is none to raise her up for thus saith the Lord God the city that went forth a thousand shall have a hundred left and that which went forth a hundred shall have ten left of the house of Israel for thus saith Hashem unto the house of Israel seek ye me and live but seek not Bethel nor enter into Gilgal and pass not to Beersheba for Gilgal shall surely go into captivity and Bethel shall come to not seek Hashem and live lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph and it devour and there be none to quench it in Bethel Yehu turn judgment to wormwood and cast righteousness to the ground him that make the Pleiades and Orion and bringeth on the shadow of death in the morning and darkneth the day into night that calleth for the waters of the sea and poureth them out upon the face of the earth Hashem is his name that causeth destruction to flash upon the strong so that destruction cometh upon the fortress they hate him that reproveth in the gate and they abhor him that speak uprightly therefore because ye trample upon the poor and take from him exact irons of wheat ye have built houses of hewn stone but ye shall not dwell in them ye have planted pleasant vineyards but ye shall not drink wine thereof for I know how manifold are your transgressions and how mighty are your sins ye that afflict the just that take a ransom and that turn aside the needy in the gate therefore the prudent doth keep silence in such a time for it is an evil time seek good and not evil that ye may live and so Hashem the God of hosts will be with you as ye say hate the evil and love the good and establish justice in the gate it may be that Hashem the God of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph therefore thus saith Hashem the God of hosts the Lord lamentation shall be in all the broad places and they shall say in all the streets alas alas and they shall call the husbandmen to mourning and proclaim lamentation to such as are skillful of wailing and in all vineyards shall be lamentation for I will pass through the midst of thee saith Hashem woe unto you that desire the day of Hashem wherefore would ye have the day of Hashem it is darkness and not light as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him and went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bid him shall not the day of Hashem be darkness and not light even very dark and no brightness in it I hate I despise your feasts and I will take no delight in your solemn assemblies ye though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meal offerings I will not accept them neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts take thou away from me the noise of thy songs and let me not hear the melody of thy psalteries but let justice well up as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream did ye bring unto me sacrifices and offerings in the wilderness forty years O house of Israel so shall ye take up Sikith your king and Kiun your images the star of your god which ye made to yourselves therefore will I cause you to go into captivity beyond Damascus saith he whose name is Hashem God of hosts Amos chapter woe to them that are at ease in Zion and to them that are secure in the mountain of Samaria the notable men of the first of the nations to whom the house of Israel come pass ye unto Kalna and see and from thence go ye to Hamath the great then go down to Gath of the Philistines are they better than these kingdoms or is their border greater than your border ye that put far away the evil day and cause the seed of violence to come near that lie upon beds of ivory and stretch themselves upon their couches and eat the lambs out of the flock and the calves out of the midst of the stall that thrum on the psaltery that devise for themselves instruments of music like David that drink wine in bowls and anoint themselves with the chief ointments but they are 
not grieved for the hurt of Joseph therefore now shall they go captive at the head of them that go captive and the revelry of them that stretched themselves shall pass away the Lord God hath sworn by himself Seth Hashem the God of hosts I abhor the pride of Jacob and hate his palaces and I will deliver up the city with all that is therein and it shall come to pass if there remain ten men in one house that they shall die and when a man's uncle shall take him up even he that burneth him to bring out the bones out of the house and shall say unto him that is in the innermost parts of the house is there yet any with thee and he shall say no then shall he say hold thy peace for we must not make mention of the name of Hashem for behold Hashem commandeth and the great house shall be smitten into splinters and the little house into chips do horses run upon the rocks doth one plow there with oxen that ye have turned justice into gall and the fruit of righteousness into Wormwood ye that rejoice in a thing of naught that say have we not taken to us horns by our own strength for behold I will raise up against you a nation O house of Israel saith Hashem the God of hosts and they shall afflict you from the entrance of Hamath unto the brook of the Arab Amos chapter thus the Lord God showed me and behold he formed locusts in the beginning of the shooting up of the latter growth and lo it was the latter growth after the king's mowings and if it had come to pass that when they had made an end of eating the grass of the land so I said O Lord God forgive I beseech thee how shall Jacob stand for he is small Hashem repented concerning this it shall not be Seth Hashem thus the Lord God showed me and behold the Lord God called to contend by fire and it devoured the great deep and would have eaten up the land then said I O Lord God cease I beseech thee how shall Jacob stand for he is small Hashem repented concerning this this also shall not be saith the Lord God thus he showed me and behold the Lord stood beside a wall made by a plumb blind with a plumb line in his hand and Hashem said unto me Amos what seest thou and I said a plumb line then said the Lord behold I will set a plumb line in the midst of my people Israel I will not again pardon them any more and the high places of Isaac shall be desolate and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste and I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Then Amaziah the priest of Bethel sent to Jeroboam king of Israel saying Amos hath conspired against thee in the midst of the house of Israel the land is not able to bear all his words for thus Amos saith Jeroboam shall die by the sword and Israel shall surely be led away captive out of his land also Amaziah said unto Amos O thou seer go flee thee away into the land of Judah and there eat bread and prophesy there but prophesy not again any more at Bethel for it is the king's sanctuary and it is a royal house then answered Amos and said to Amaziah I was no prophet neither was I a prophet's son but I was a herdman and a dresser of sycamore trees and Hashem took me from following the flock and Hashem said unto me go prophesy unto my people Israel now therefore hear thou the word of Hashem thou sayest prophesy not against Israel and preach not against the house of Isaac therefore thus saith Hashem thy wife shall be a harlot in the city and thy sons and thy Daughters shall fall by the sword and thy land shall be divided by line and thou thyself shalt die in an unclean land and Israel shall surely be led away captive out of his land Amos chapter thus the Lord God showed me and behold a basket of summer fruit and he said Amos what seest thou and I said a basket of summer fruit then said Hashem unto me the end is come upon my people Israel I will not again pardon them any more and the songs of the palace shall be wailings in that day. Saith the Lord God the dead bodies shall be many in every place silence shall be cast here this O ye that would swallow the needy and destroy the poor of the land saying when will the new moon be gone that we may sell grain and the sabbath that we may set forth corn making the ephah small and the shekel great and falsifying the balances of deceit that we may buy the poor for silver and the needy for a pair of shoes and sell the refuse of the corn Hashem hath sworn by the pride of Jacob surely I will never forget any of their works shall not the land tremble for this and every one mourn that dwelleth therein yet it shall rise up holy like the river and it shall be troubled and sink again like the river of Egypt and it shall come to pass in that day saith the Lord God that I will cause the sun to go down at noon and I will darken the earth in the clear day and I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentation and I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon every head and I will make it as the morning for an only son and the end thereof as a bitter day behold the days come saith the Lord God that I will send a famine in the land not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water but of hearing the words of Hashem and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Hashem and shall not find it in that day shall the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst they that swear by the sin of Samaria and say as thy God O Dan liveth and as the way of Beersheba liveth even they shall fall and never rise up again Amos chapter I saw the Lord standing beside the altar and he said smite the capitals that the posts may shake and break them in pieces on the head of all of them and I will slay the residue of them with the sword there shall not one of them flee away and there shall not one of them escape though they dig into the Netherworld thence shall my hand take them and though they climb up to heaven thence will I bring them down and though they hide themselves in the top of Carmel I will search and take them out thence and though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea thence will I command the serpent and he shall bite them and though they go into captivity before their enemies thence will I command the sword and it shall slay them and I will set mine eyes upon them for evil and not for good.
For the Lord the God of hosts is he that toucheth the land and it melteth and all that dwell therein mourn and it riseth up holy like the river and sinketh again like the river of Egypt it is he that buildeth his upper chambers in the heaven and hath founded his vault upon the earth he that calleth for the waters of the sea and poureth them out upon the face of the earth Hashem is his name are ye not as the children of the Ethiopians unto me O children of Israel saith Hashem have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt and the Philistines from Kaphtar and Aram from Kir behold the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob saith Hashem for lo I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all the nations like as corn is sifted in a sieve yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. That say the evil shall not overtake nor confront us in that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof and I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the nations upon whom my name is called Seth Hashem that doth this behold the days come Seth Hashem that the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the treader of grapes him that soweth seed and the mountains shall drop sweet wine and all the hills shall melt and I will turn the captivity of my people Israel and they shall build the waste cities and inhabit them and they shall plant vineyards and drink the wine thereof they shall also make gardens and eat the fruit of them and I will plant them upon their land and they shall no more be plucked up out of their land which I have given them saith Hashem thy God.